decor, clothing. You can work with iron on vinyl, paper, card, wood, fabrics. The possibilities are endless. On the shows, I hope I can inspire you with ideas to help you become your creative best with Cricket. So make sure you don't miss the Cricket shows. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. Uh, it's seven o'clock on a Wednesday morning. It's the 7th, 8th, 9th. 9th of June already. Where's the day going? Uh, it's a cool breeze outside. It's going to get warmer. Uh, so join me all morning long because we have got a treat for you. I genuinely don't know where this intro is going. So let me introduce you. I went in proper weather report. I thought, what are you doing, Adam? We're a craft store. Let me introduce the lady herself. Uh, I'm not alone. We're talking bed up. We've got uh, Lou Withers is with me. Hello. I've got chopstick there. Look, I'm, I'm channeling Frida today. And this is what I'm giggling at, and that's what put me off at the start of the show. Just seeing Lou sticking um, little things in her hair. How not, are you, love? They're not little ones, either. No, they're big. Uh, no, I'm really good. I'm glad to be here um, doing pens out because it's more mucky and media. So, yeah, and we have a laugh. I mean, we do, uh, but we've got some cracking little stuff. Uh, some, phenomenal little prices with the oh. pen tart that we got. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to say you do to me is shop ahead of me. For the sheer fact we can't get... Um, I've had a few days off and I can tell. Um, we can't get everything out on the counter. There's two shows. There's this one there's one at 10 o'clock as well. I can't cram everything onto the show because uh, we're here forever. Jump to the website. Everything is on there. Uh, we've got kits on there. I've got individual items on there as well. Those boards, the clock boards that you saw just then... Uh, for seven um, for seven ninety five. Obviously, you can get it in the kit with the clock, but if you get an extra one, so I would go for the clock, then I'd get an extra one, and I'd turn it into a cake stand. More on that later. Uh, but then you've also got your acrylic paints on there as well. You've got your galaxy bag. That is a cracking little bundle. There's two different options. I've got it in blue, or I've got it in the red section. Um, it's an amazing little bundle, phenomenal prices. Uh, and the trays, we've we've got them live in the studio. I don't think we'll be down on, but they are worth their weight in gold. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence, especially with the sunshine uh, that we've got at the moment. Nice little lap trays, little drink trays, little jug of orange juice, little jug of pims maybe. Um, can't go wrong. And you've got stencils on the show. See, I could go on and on. There is loads on there, and the leather. Do not miss that leather because I've got leather paint on the show. Um, and if you're thinking, well, it's well and good, Adam, but I don't like the colours of the leather, you can change the colour of that leather, and I'll explain more as the hour goes on. Right, let me kick off with the clock kit that we've got on already. £21.41. and pence. A saving of a tenner is what you're saving on this already. 358303 is your item number. Now, you get the base of the clock, which is this here, which is good old chunky wood. Yeah, it's not... It's not rubbish this is really nice ply this you can even leave it like that and varnish it if you want not not the black that's really it's nice white, i like the white side yeah it's I quite do. nice I do. then you get a full clock kit yep. that's in there mechanism so with the big hand little hand and the uh, second hand as well no quality clock when you get a quality second hand then you get your mediums 
Now, in theory, this is where this is where the money is. I would pay twenty one forty one just for the. It forget is. about the clocks. Call that a freebie, yeah. if you will, uh, because you're getting your heavy body medium gel in the matte, which we all love anyway. That yeah. is like your go to sort of like a go to glue, isn't it? Yeah, I mean that is so strong as well. And we've got the matte version, so you know there are, there is a gloss one, but with this. You don't need it because of those galaxy flakes, which he, these are new, and these are absolutely amazing. I love them. I love I love amazing. galaxy flakes. I don't think these have been opened. Oh, they have as well. Get in. Uh, so. Oh, you... they're just absolutely. Because I love something. I used to make glass jewelry called Dichroic, which is a waste product from NASA, and this is like it. It's the iridescence, and you know That's when cute. you think you, you, this is plastic or waste, it's. Um, it, it, I don't think that's a nice word for it, plastic waste, because it does. Look, but this is absolutely beautiful. Setting resin, oh. Oh, pouring resin, we've got on the show as well, in the in or oh, in the trays. Oh. In the trays, it would be beautiful. I was also chatting to Catherine before we come on, and I saw it online over the weekend while I was off. Um, you imagine doing resin dominoes yeah. with these in the back. Wow, yeah. You have like your own domino set, but you've made them yourself. I saw someone making them. Uh, but you're getting two colours of your flakes in there, so you're sort of getting sort of your iridescent sort of your aurora brilliant, so your purple that you've got in there. And then you've also got your greens as well. And then on top of that, you've also got your acrylic paints in black and also in white. Now, what I want to stress, for $21.49, you're not getting tester pots. These are the pots that you're getting. I'll bring one in from another pack shop. These are the size of the pots that you are getting so these aren't tester pots, okay? These are full-size pots. And that's 50 mils uh, is what you get, and then 100 mils of the heavy body jab. And what I was saying a minute ago, and I will move on, I, will get, I would get another one of these with a little bolt and a washer, and then a little bolt and a washer on the top. You'd make a beautiful cake stand mm. and use your clock maybe in your tea tray and change that up for the kitchen and go down that route. You don't have to drill a little hole. Um, I would use this somewhere else, my clock mechanism, but I'd definitely be using these as key, uh, tea stands and things like that. I think it would do something different. You can, if you've got old vinyls, 40, uh, 45s, you know, 33s, you could make a clock out of them as well. That bit. Right then, uh, dis dispatch date. 17th of June, okay, because it's Pentart, so it, it comes from board. Uh, I think we're coming straight to you, Lou. Right. Uh, so, 358303, we are getting busy already. Shop ahead of me, the bag kit, phenomenal. So much more on the show. Uh, we are going to do a little demos on it, it's just so you can see, otherwise you're just looking at parts. And if you're just joining me, you're thinking, well, that's all well and good, Adam, but what does that white pot do? Yeah. I will show you as we go, do not worry. If you've got any questions as well, Lou's here with me for two hours, email him in, studio at thecraftstore.com is what you're looking at, and we'll put your questions forward. Lou's got all the stuff, so we can use it all right, Lou. Yeah, I'll do demos from all of it well i did the clock just the, the the day before and all i did was this is the black acrylic not gesso and it, it works brilliantly and it's lovely and matte and i just one coat and i seriously just one coat i promise you nothing else and i've drawn circles on it now what i thought i'd show you is something really simple really easy to do and that you'll be able to see it at 12 11 o'clock sorry when we're back on 11, whatever time it is later, um, ten. ten. That's it. Ten o'clock. That when I show you how to do this, you'll realise that in a couple of hours you can revamp everything at home. It just takes a little bit of drying time, but I, I, I get quite asked quite a lot. Well, how long? And I'm going to show you now. It's so simple to do. I have got the heavy gel because you don't need a lot of this. And all I'm doing is I'm just applying it within the circle so we could have it quite light quite light you don't need a heavy heavy sort of Does density it dry clear this dries clear now anything that's got a matte in the name has a milky residue only because of it's called mattifying agents oh. so if it's a gloss it'll be clear if it's a matte it'll have a milky look so don't worry too much now, my advice is just put your glue on. Um, if you've got um, one of these, I haven't got one here, but you've got like um, an applicator, a little applicator. They work great because you can just stamp it on. So all I'm doing, really simply, now I'm not covered the hole um, up. It doesn't matter to me because I'll just poke it out before it dries. Do it before it dries. And then just like a bit of icing. And then if you go a bit off piece, just rein it back in. So... That's all I'm going to do. And if I don't want it there, just pull it across. So, and all I do now, 
I think that's way too much, but I think it shows better on the telly when I do that. I've done a series of circles because I thought it looks really cool as planets. Yeah. And you could put some colour in the background, some inks, and then put it. So I've got, if you can see, a selection of sizes, and it was inside and outside of masking tapes oh. and stuff. So I just looked for circles around the house, and you know, little pot lids, and right, drew them on. And then all I do, this is the easiest bit in the world because you just get your flakes. Now, purple and green are amazing together. So you've got the best of both worlds. Now, I have tried at some point to iron certain flakes and, and you can iron them together. So I haven't tried these, but what I mean by is I put these between two sheets, ironed them and I've got a sheet of iridescent paper. Nice. So that's a nice little thing. So you just spread them on. It looks a bit, seriously, it doesn't look good. But you get a spreader and you just, and then what you need to do is you need something flat to just go like that. And all you're going to do is press it down. You can use your fingers. That's entirely up to you. But I like this, using a spatula. And then if you've got your glitters at home or anything else that you've got that you think, no, that I'd like that with that, put it on now while it's, dry, while it's drying. Right. I'm guessing as well, because it dries clear, could you put in your micas and things oh, like that yeah. if you wanted to give it another sparkle underneath? Absolutely. And then just... All you need to do is get a soft brush. Now, this brush I don't really care for much because it's not a, it's not a, um, a paint brush as such. It's a glue brush. So I always try and keep some brushes a little bit separate because I don't want to use my good brushes with, for glue. And I'm just going to brush that off. Now, it doesn't matter because anything that isn't stuck won't stick. But what you're doing is you're pressing that in. Now, this is... I hope... Is it on the show, the pouring glaze? I want to say it is. I hope so because we've got a yes, it is. we've got a product called Pouring Glaze and it's like a liquid resin. It's not resin, but it acts like resin. So oh oh, but before I, what am I doing here? Get that off there, silly woman. Now I'm going to do this now, but it's not something you need to do. This is like a liquid resin. It's like glossy accents. It's like all those little stickle things. But all you do is you pour it on. So I'm just going to pour it on. So it now, gives us a high gloss. Coating. Absolutely. It gives you, it's quite good for rounding. And what do I mean by that? Well, it means that it spreads, <clears throat> but it doesn't spread all over the place. It's sort of, we call it self-doming. It's also like cabochons and things like absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. And all you do is you do need something, and I'm using a silicon tool here, and I'm just pushing it to the edges because I want the gloss to be all over, but I want it to be, generally in the middle so you can create layers i can do this now push it out to the sides and it does self-level you can push your iridescence away um to wherever you want it let the light you know sh do all work that's it done now it looks a bit dodgy like that but i can guarantee when it's dry and you do it in the gold and uh, sorry the pink and the purple the green. purple and the green it does look like planets, especially, I'm going to clean that off, just clean this off, and I'll show you with a pencil when it's dry. I'll just put a couple of rings around it to make it look like satin. Oh, you say. So, but before you forget, the hole needs to be put back in. If you don't, it's always worse later. Get the end of a paintbrush, it just fits in, and just flick it away. And there's a reason is, because if you don't do it like that, it's going to be harder later. It will be harder to move. And then just push it in, because you, you won't see it. Uh, you can get hold of your clock kit as well with base mechanism and mediums and your acrylics and your Galaxy Flakes, all for £21 and 41 pence is what we're looking at for this one. Well worth having a look. Look, 358303 is your item number. Uh, pouring glaze. If you want yours, those worth getting hold of. A big old pot is what you're getting. 230 mil of your pouring glaze, 21 pounds and 98 pence. A little will go a long way with this one. Uh, 218633 is your item number, 21 pounds and 98 pence. We've got more bundles, come with me, uh, because there's so much more on the show. This is a bundle and a half. I've got two different colorways. I've got blues or I've got reds, uh, but you do get the fabric medium with both of them, that's why it's in the middle, okay? 
So in your blue kit, we'll start with the blues. It's exactly the same in the reds as well, uh, but it's just in the blue colourways. You're getting your fabric and your leather paint. Now this is the paint I was talking about earlier. You're getting it in that beautiful blue. You're going to get it in the beautiful sort of green. And you're also going to... This one's called uh, Country Blue that we're looking at at the bottom. Then you're also getting your fabric paints. A uh, look at the colourways that you are getting in here. That's greenish silver. Just greenish silver and silver is what you're getting, uh, pots three and pots four. Uh, you're getting both of this, you're getting this little bundle and you're gonna get your fabric medium as well. And we're gonna throw in the bag with you. Fabric medium, now I understand the paints, mm -hmm. I understand your leather and your fabric paints, I yeah. understand the, the sort of the, the other times. What do I need the white fabric medium for? What does that bring to the party? That is the, that, that's the key, because you want things to go on fabric and you've got a special colour, whatever you want. By adding the medium, you're making an ordinary acrylic fabric medium. Oh, so now, so all those paints I've already got at home, I just mm. use my acrylic paints with, I can turn those into fabric paint? Absolutely. Oh, my word. And all you do that. is, you paint on it like I've done. I've not ironed this. Uh, you paint on it and then let it dry, let it cure, and then f I don't do it on a hot iron. Turn it over, put a piece of grease proof on it, and just hold, don't wiggle around the iron. Just 30 seconds, sealed, good. Then you can rewash and rewash it 30 or 40. I think this is where I love this little bundle. I really, really do. It doesn't crack pounds. either. It doesn't crack. That, and that's what you. I suppose that's what we all worry about, don't we? About when we fabric paint and you yeah. think, oh, it's all going to be well and good, but the minute I do it, yeah. it's all going to crack and start peeling away. Like when you it get those trousers and you got all that line on the side. And just it oops. actually goes into the fibres rather than just sitting on the top and missing the insides. It seeps in. So when you do that, it doesn't flake, which is what you want if you're using it on clothes. But you do really, because obviously if you're wearing it and you're going Absolutely. to be using it, but you don't, the last thing you want is, oh, I painted that, and the next thing it's all falling apart. It doesn't Absolutely. look very good, does it? With this, you've got the quality with there. So you, there's your blue sets, or we've now got your red sets as well. So oh, I love these colourways that you are getting. Look at these. Now, yours won't come with stickers on the bottom. But look at the colourways that you're getting there. You've got Bordeaux, rose and red in there. Then you've sort of got a, I'm going for a bronze and a, might be bronze or slightly bronze. Met oh, metallic rose gold and dark gold is what you're getting in there as well. And you're getting the fabric medium and the bag, £24.99. pence. Call it £25, 30 quid for all the colours. Oh, I think that's pretty good for two yeah. bags as well. And don't forget you get all the colours that you mix when you mix them up. Yes. And when you're using the actual fabric medium with them, you're getting a light glaze of every colour, so you can go light, medium and dark with every colour. So don't just think of it as one colour. This then makes it transparent. It makes it all the shades in between. I'm staying with you, Lou. What, let's, see, let's see this in action. Yeah, cool. So which colours would you like me to use? Any particular? Oh, uh, Rossi said it's entirely up to you. Okay. They're even Stevens at even the moment, Stevens. if that's what words were. Right, well, this is the second fabric medium I've used, and I've used a lot. So it's well worth actually using, uh, getting this on its own and having it in a pack is even better. So what I've done here is I'm starting to mix some other colours. So I've got a little bit of yellow, but you don't have to. I'm just going to use the colours I've got here and show you. So I'm going to show you how we can use these. We've got um, a sort of, well, what colour are they calling this? Which one is it? Bordeaux. Oh, Bordeaux. Bordeaux. But this is a really nice colour because... When you're mixing um, best bulk colours, this is a hard colour to get and maintain because you, you're having to mix blue and red together and the ratios have to be right before the... And it's just a pain, but having that colour is perfect. So I'm going to do this circle quickly here. Um, now, you don't have to... If you're going to wash and clean and do this, my advice is always wash your fabric first in case there's a shrink shrinkage. Clean it, dry it, do what you want. And then when you go to do it in a bag, you or anything, cloth, you put something so it doesn't run through into the back. And then that way you're sealing it off. And what you'll find is that it'll colour, like here, it'll colour the inside, but it won't actually ruin it in any way. I've left it like that just to show you, so that you can see it's sunk through, but it's not, it's not sort of tacky or anything. It doesn't stick to the card. And that, I, seriously, I've had that on there a long time. It's creasing the fabric, but it's not doing anything. But this is an ordinary yellow acrylic mixed with a red, and then mixed with the fabric medium. So I'm able to use all that. So I'll show you here. So I've got um, a stiffer brush because you're having, it's not like a watercolour where you, 
I'm being attacked by a fly. Do we, that's our aircon for today. I'm going to hit him in a minute. So, anyway. Me or the fly? <laughs> no, never you. Now, you can see it's got quite a creamy uh, texture, and you just need a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just, this is how easy it is. I'm using a stiffer brush because you're having to push the paint into the fibres. Not, I don't mean that is hard work at all, so don't think that. And I'm just going to lightly go over. Now, I'm doing a circle there, and it looks, you can, hopefully you can just see the line. And then all I have to do now is just put a little bit there, and I'm going around the edge with it. Now, you can put masking tape on, you can do uh, contour lining with the relief paint, you can do anything you want. So I'm just going to turn it round and it's actually much easier having the um, cardboard in because you're able to just whiz it around um, and and it's it's easier to work on a flat surface than something that's flexible so I'm just I wouldn't don't be tempted don't be tempted to dip into water it's at this point where it's a bit heavy it's not too heavy I'm going to mix in the fabric medium to extend it because what I don't want is to put water on this because you, you're adding water that means you're getting rid of pigment whereas that you don't get rid of pigment so I've got a bit more um, fluid on there I'm just going to go around add a little bit more now even cleaning your brush you my advice is make sure it's nice and dry so again I'm going to just drop in to my medium and blend that out and this it really doesn't get rid of the pigment but what it does do is it gets rid of the um it doesn't get rid of the pigment it just gets rid of the thickness so it thins it out so i'm not cleaning my brush and wiping the colors off only because i'm going back into the same color so go back into this and then here this is how simple it is i've blended it there we go done Look at that. So then, then all you simply need to do, let it dry and wash it and then give it a little press, don't iron, press, yep. uh, and it will be permanent. Yep. It's not going to go absolutely anywhere. Also, the leather paints, obviously that's on fabric, you can also do it on leather yep. as well. Now, if I told you that this colour leather, you think, oh, what am I going to do with that little bit, a little swatch of leather that we've got there? Lovely. But using your, fab using your fabric and leather paints, you could turn it into that. There's something, so, oh, I think that is amazing. You go from that, and obviously that's the back of the leather, so it would have been brighter than that anyway. Uh, but now we've dulled that lilac down to these beautiful blue colours that you've got. I have got another one uh, as well, and I think this is on brown leather. Brown, oh, there's the leather. they're the colours. Ah, oh, Lou's got them. There they are, they're the colours that started. So that is how it started. That is what it finished like. It's so easy to do. You would never, ever know that they were the same colourways. And that is using the fabric and leather paint that you've also got in there. I can show you that other one because I found it now. That doesn't look anything like that. That looks, look at that. It looks like a completely, and that's on leather. That's on your faux leather that we've also got on the show. It's down the bottom of the counter. I'll get there shortly, don't worry. Uh, but it's totally different. The details are now on the screen for your leather. You get four pastel colours. You're getting two of each. But, um, it's well worth having a little look. There is another option because that's the other option I've got on the counter. Uh, £15.99 is what you're looking at. 725165. That's for the leathers. But let me give you details for the bag and the two different colourways. You've got your blues or you've got your reds uh, in there. £24.99. 315878 is your item number. Uh, from there, we're now moving on to Stone Effect Paste. Okay, now this is a little trio bundle. Once again, if your budget don't stretch, you can go for them on their own. But I've got a terracotta, I've got a pine in there, and I've also got a sandstone uh, in there. Love the colourways that you're getting here because this is what you're going to be sort of creating. This is what you can do. It gives you that texture, but I love the colourways that you've got going through. And it does feel like stone. It's it weird. Does. It really does feel like stone wool. It, it, yeah, it really is really beautiful to use. It's got a really thick consistency. I've left the colours prime as they are because it gives you that, that old sort of terracotta wall finish. But these are so great with your waxes or with, with a dilute dye, which I can show you. Well, that's what we're going to do. So I was, my next question was, how would we use these so with simple. the kits that we've already got on the show? It's so simple. You can use it in any way you want. You can use it with... Um, you can actually use it with a paintbrush, you can use it with a spatula, you can use it with anything, and you can use it through a stencil. But I just love, I've done it on a little tag here, I'm just going to put it on this heart. And it's so simple to do. If you want 
any effect, you can just sort of put it down and wiggle and, 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 and just tie. It's like butter and bread, just tiny bits. And you, you don't have to be careful with it. Don't have to think, oh, well, that goes there, that goes there. You can do if you want. But I'm just going to show, show you how you can mix it. I'm just going to put a little bit there and then I'm going to get the other colour. And then I'll show you the really nice sort of mix we get. And this is all I did. So the first thing that we can do is we can use our knife just to colour it in. This would be nice on the clock. Oh, it's brilliant on the clock. That's what I was thinking about showing you. Um, I did it on that, the bigger version just to show you how nice it looks. But if I don't want that, I can now bring in this and lighten it all. So I can scrape it back and have elements like plaster. I can go in with my paintbrush, really soften it up. So now I've got a really smooth, like, um, like stipple, like staccato. Um, no, it's not. It's, there's a special name for it. It's like plaster um, on walls. Is it? It's not staccato. It's something like that. And it, it's like you can just see it now. It just get a really soft texture, oh, yeah. rather than a really heavy texture. Um, and I'll just show you what I mean because I can easily, and it does stain underneath. So. If I wanted it heavy, I can have it as heavy as I want. If I want it through a stencil, I can do that. So if I wanted to build, like, um, say, edges, I can even draw with it. So I could just but draw with it. you've got, like, your brickwork stencils or, like, the ivy stencils Perfect. where they're climbing up, um, clematis, they're climbing up walls and things. You use this as your background and you Absolutely. go in. Absolutely. Could then we put our other inks over the top of it? Once it obviously, it's dry. Yeah. It doesn't take long to dry in this heat as well. You're great. It's, it doesn't sort of fall all over either. Um, what you can do is mix that all together. Just a quick it's demo. sort of got the texture of fish paste. Yeah, it has, yeah. That, you know, when you have salmon paste? Yeah, it I'm is. I'm back to salmon That's paste it. again, but... It's got that, it's got that texture to it. It has, it has. And don't forget, you can colour this. So if I don't Sand want, paste. if I don't want that sort of colour, I'll get a colour that I do like, mix it before I apply it. And then, and I'm thinking, I quite like that colour now. It's got a softer hue to it. I'll just show you on here. It's got a softer hue. Oh, yeah, look at Oh, that's but, proper terracotta. That's all sort of Grecian. Grecian? Italian. If I put a tiny scrape of tiny, see it's drying that now. I can actually darken this with a bit of a black or white. I make it a stone just by pulling it. So now I've got like lots of colours. And when you put that on a plant pot or anything for outside, it looks absolutely brilliant. Leave it to dry. You can put it under all your medium works, all your, your, your mixed media works. It's not too heavy. It doesn't dry like a lead balloon. It dries really light and it's really strong and it's quite flexible. What I've also done here is a tiny bit where I put it on a little, little tag just to show you. And it's sandable, which is brilliant. I'm just using a... Um, uh, a P100 grit, it's just a soft grit, and I'm just going to sand it to soften it. So I'll leave it like that, it doesn't need a lot, just be careful of the dust, but you know, in this day and age, we've more or less all of us got masks. Make sure that this isn't too, I mean, that's got that colour on. So again, try and keep away from water as much as you can. And what you can do are two things, I can add a tiny bit of the black with a little bit, and you do, you can do it two ways. You can do a tiny wash, so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I'm going to mix a tiny bit of that in and then put it on and then wash it on and wash it off. So I'll just show you now what I mean. Put that in, let it sink in, give it a minute and then wipe back and you've got more of a, it's more aged. The more, the thicker you apply it, the more it'll sort of I suppose the colours that you use, if you go on with greens, it's going to look mossy. Absolutely. And you, can, you can really go... So I'm thinking if you do things like dolls' houses and things yeah. like that, this oh, would yeah. be perfect for... Absolutely. And you can take it back as much as you want. So if you don't want it as dark, you know, you can take it back. Now there, that looks more antique -y. And then what I could do is just... It's, just let it dry and you can rub it back a little bit but then what I can do is maybe get, and it's great, I've used it on my fingers, and just a tiny bit of the white or white paint, just highlight it, you get an amazing, because it's still the same effect, 
you can bring up all those lovely colours underneath. And where it's dark, it's really dark. And where it's light, it's light. Or I can use some of the gel paste on it, the glitter paste. So I'll just show you the stencil paste, uh, the light one, which is the only one I haven't opened. And again, tiny bit on my finger. But all I'm going to do is just highlight tiny bits. And then I've got a wonderful iridescence to it, which looks no. like marble. There we go. And it's so simple to do. Change the colours. Um, if I wanted to do green, I'll do one and do a moss green later. So, yeah, the, it's it's absolutely invaluable for mixed meat. Got it. Got it. Uh, it all works. Why are Lou points with the fly? Uh, it all works really well together. The whole counter works together as well. Uh, you can have yours uh, for £9.99 and pence of saving at £6.51. and 51 pence. 715 three, uh, I'll start that again. 715535 is your item number. You can tell I've been off for a few days. Uh, 9 99 is what you're looking at for your stone effect paste. Now, these are the trays that we were talking about earlier. Very, very busy. You get all three sizes. I am going to ruin the display. I do apologise. Uh, but because they are stackable. I feel like Missy. What was her name in An Acorn Antiques with the tray? I didn't watch it. Oh, I used to love it. Um, but that's who I felt like. Mrs. Bucket. Uh, Mrs. Bouquet. Oh, remember. is it? Is it Bouquet? Uh, but you've got really sturdy trays that you've got here. Really, really nice uh, trays that you are. It weren't Mrs. Bouquet. I can't remember the name. Uh, but you've got. Uh, no, I won't keep it up here. It's an Acorn Antiques. She bought the tea in. Uh, anyway, uh, £14.99, 646494 is your item number uh, for this one. Played by Julie Walters. Uh, oh. Worth having. Mrs. Overall, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, it's worth having a go at these, even if you just use a bit of decoupage. I would be decoupaging these all the way up because they would look absolutely stunning. They really, really would. Even if you're going to be using them just to pop your mediums on Great, just yeah. so you know where all your mediums are maybe you haven't got a craft room i don't own a craft room i have two currently i'm on my third storage box now of stuff oh, you'll get you'll get worse um, but uh, this is what i have in mind i don't have trays i have those little bucket things uh, but this is what you can have and then literally i pull out all my mediums so i know they're all there i've got pens in another one so i pull out all my watercolor pens so i know what i'm doing with them you can do that as well uh, but you need the mediums first. Uh, you can either leave them as they are, you can paint them. Imagine going in with your galaxy flakes and then pouring your little bit of resin in there because you have got a tiniest lip uh, on the side. So you've sort of got that resin coating base uh, that you've got going on. Worth having a little look at these. £14.99, 646494 is your item number. Come with. Uh, busy for those. Now, this is what we're talking about. We're talking a stencil with a set of, well, you've got sparkling gels, you've got your stencil paste uh, that's in here as well. Then this, I'm not going to lie, is no ordinary stencil. Normally they're um, mylar. This is really strong. It takes all the structures, you see, uh, and it creates quite depth, quite a lot of depth, whereas a lot of them are thinner. I like this already. And then I like the paste colours that you've got with it. We'll start with the sparkles. Oh, uh, you're gosh. getting two sparkles in there. So you've got a red and sort of like a bronze sort of sparkle that you've got running through. They are beautiful. Uh, not only do you get those, those, they're your sparkle gels that you got. Then you've got your stencil pastes uh, that we've got. So you've got things like your pearl. I don't know if it's called pearl. I think I've just made that up. I think they're all pearls. Uh, apricots. Just, yeah, just in pearls. Uh, then you've got your vanilla. And then you've got your gold that's in there as well. So you're getting all three of these colours. £19.47 and 74 pence. You really can't go wrong with these sorts of prices uh, for these sorts of shows as well. Because this is what you can achieve. Look at the shine that you have got on that. 385-327 is your item number. £19.74. and pence. A saving of £8 uh, is what you're getting on these. Absolutely beautiful and worth having a little look. 385-327. Shall we see it? Oh, by the way, I might as well tell you about the next ones as well because it's all the same sort of little kit. And then we'll go to Lou um, and we'll show him all the work. Because uh, you've got a sparkling gel bundle. Okay, so you get two sparkling gels with your stencil, but this time I'm going to give you four sparkling gels for £14.99 on this one. You've got green gold in there, uh, you've got blue silver in there, olive gold in there, and you've got thorn gold in there as well. Beautiful, beautiful uh, little colourways uh, that you're looking at. Look at that, look at that green. That little olive green that you've got running through. Absolutely sumptuous and absolutely beautiful. Uh, worth having 
a little look at these if I was you for 14 99 So there, <laughs> I'm trying to do it in a monitor. It's, I'm literally going backwards. Uh, right then, let's go over to Lou. Details okay. there. So you've got it in the bundle with the stencil and you've also got them on their own as well. Lou, what can I do with them though? This is the question. Well, we're going to do a little bit, and I'm going to show you that we did have some boards, but we, they are somewhere, whether they're lost in transit, I'm not too sure, but we'll have another look. But just to show you, the gels create this amazing glitter. Oh, is uh, that the gel? Yeah, the gel, and that's on top. So I've put, just there, you can just see the greens and the golds. I'll just try and keep it there for you. So you can just see the iridescence. So it's, it's got a beautiful transparency. However, it mixes with all these. So this piece of fake faux leather is basically going to be a journal cover and I didn't want it to look that color this is the that I didn't want it to look like that and I'm like I want it to look a little bit older so that when I put that and sew it into my journal it starts to look really personal and it was so easy to do I'll just show you the gold on this maybe you can see it a bit the green on that is a bit there we go you see it the green in the gel the glitter yeah. is just the iridescence but there's an iridescence that runs right through all the sparkling gels so um right well that is not appealing to me it really isn't now i tend to just wet damp my brush off and put a little bit of water i don't like to use too much water because i don't want it to be watery on here but you do need some so how did i do it well the first thing i did was i got some pori i got some mi media fabric medium and I just give it a bit of a now on this you can't do your washing and all that with it so just give it a wipe with a, a clean damp cloth we do say isopropyl or anything so it, you've got rid of skin residue oils and stuff so the next thing is I'm going to go in now you can keep a paintbrush for each so it's, oh, it's really difficult this <laughs> really just terribly difficult There we go, that's it. Yeah, if you are just tuning in, Lou's Seriously, that's all I Lou's need joking. to do. I'm going to get the white, and I'm just going to do that. This is all the fabric paints together, and a little bit of the white. I'm going to put with the white a little bit of the bond, the fabric medium. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want that to flake off. And all I do then is just put the green down, the blue down, the darkest blue, I get rid of straight away because I don't want that. I don't want that to be uh, the prominent colour. I just want that in the background. Isn't more there's more kitchen towel up there on that can on that uh, by that flower book. Up. up, up, got it's mine that as well. I wonder where it was. You're using, you're using the scraggiest piece of towel. That's a brand new that's a brand new tube up there. Right, I'm just going to scumble that in and that's what i mean by and have another piece here because whatever you're transferring there it looks awful i know it does i don't but I, you should have a little bit more faith with me sometimes because you know that it, if it starts like this it generally it usually starts starts rubbish and ends a bit better but so, it, it's at this point though Lou, isn't it? it at this point as you say it looks a bit rubbish and you go i don't oh, know what yeah. i'm doing this is where everyone gets at home and goes oh that's it i'm done now this is not for me but you've just got to keep working with it haven't you i put more white on now because it needs to join now that looks like an explosion in in a paint factory oh that's an old-fashioned one isn't it so what you can do is go back in now with your roller now i do like to put some and, and, and I'm not putting a lot of water on it. I don't mean what, you're just damping it up. So now I can just really. It's moist. Yeah. I'm just bringing the colours in and I'm melt, melding them together. Sorry about the squeak. It needs a bit of oil. This. And it's now blending it a bit together. If I find that, that's annoying me, that. Need a bit of WD on that, don't we? Right. So I've now sort of blended it down a bit. Anything spare goes on here. Easy and this bit. is how as easy as it is and then what i'm going to do is get my paintbrush again and i'm just going to work it in now i'm softening it up now and that seriously that's nice as it is just soften it up you can add your gels to it if you wish so because the medium is on that it's now got a softer look so i think i need a little bit more white and then just I'm not going to go over the top with white because I don't want it to overtake it. I just want it to, to lighten areas. And then again, and then if you've got like a piece of 
this works really well so you can take some off and leave the pink in the background and you can put it on as well so what you do then is you get all that you think right okay i really like that i'm loving that right i can add a few galaxy things in here i'm going to put a little bit of the sparkling gel blue now this has got a silver base and it's a beautiful sort of um it, it, it's a cool it's a lovely blue it's a soft blue and i'm going to get the green as well because these i can't tell you how beautiful oh this is the best ever look at this color what's, what's this one? Oh, this is green gold oh so the, the green gold comes in the kit of four look. i'll bring the details oh. up for those four oh. that you're going to get that shows you second of all right so here it's still damp because i've got the medium on so you do need to give it a little bit of time and i'm just going to pull it sounds a silly question i think i've answered it in my head already but you wouldn't be able to force dry this would you because it's on leather yeah you can oh can you yeah you can as long as it's not too hot um because you can heat it from behind from the back side but yeah just oh this is so annoying me this right get rid of that i've got another one she's doing me head in i bet this squeaks as well if this one squeaks and it's sabotage oh no right so can you see now we've got an iridescence to it oh, that, you, that it's just popping out just popping out so what you can do while it's wet or while it's whatever you want you can take your stencil and you can wipe away just be careful though because it's still damp what will happen is it'll stick to that so just be careful with that but you can stamp on top of it now i've just got the plain stamp to show you if you're quick enough you can pull the paint off and you can just see i've got a little bit there where it's pulled it off and it's used the distressing so but what i can do you can leave it to dry if you want i'm get a bit impatient and i'm just going to put this is a big stamp and i'm using an archival ink and i'm using a big stamp because i want to show you how you can while it's wet paint on it and then i'm going to put that on now i did those ones that you're seeing um i did all those on my stamping platform this is dry now so i could just stamp like that and then just pull it off and you can just it might be hard to see i'll now pull it see you. so you can just see it there yeah and this is where this is where it gets really hard work not you get a paintbrush now you need a flat paintbrush she said where is it i just had this thing where is it Oh, it doesn't matter, I'll get another one. So you need a flat, and the reason you use a flat is that it's easier to control. So I'll use... There it is, there it is, and I'll show you what I mean. So I've got this now, and I'm going to use a tiny bit of the blue. And it's wet, it doesn't matter. A bit of this, the medium with it, and a tiny bit of the, the green. So I've got two different blues. And then I've got white and I'm putting the blobs there, clean off my brush and I can just show you where. And all I'm doing is putting a little bit, watching where my stamp is, where the dark bit is. I'm going in and doing that where the dark bit is. And then the bit underneath it, I'm going to put a little bit of white on it. You'll probably see the petals jumping out a bit more now. So you can see that now. I could just blend them together and what happens is the background settles i'll bring the other one in to show you the background settles and then this honestly the background settles and then we can see where you can put on that so i mean this is more i've used more reds in this one i've used the bordeaux but i'll just show you with the bordeaux get a little bit of the bordeaux you don't you, honestly you don't need skills you don't don't worry about anything like that all I'm going to show you is it's a little bit easier to see, so I'll go on to this one. And I'm just going to do that and paint, literally, just stick it on them petals like that. And then the one underneath a bit lighter, and the one underneath a bit lighter. And then get my lovely sparkling gels. I'll use a gold one because you just have to. Um, and each one of these has got a, a, a slightly different base, so it might have a gold base and a silver base. So... And then I can just flick this at the edge. And I promise you it's not hard. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it. Right, lift it up. Can you see how it's got that wonderful... It's got a sort of shine to it, isn't it? Like... 
and it's gone to orange now. So that, believe it or not, and the Bordeaux make an orange. There we go. You can just see a, a, a rusty orange. Um, and that, that now, I can change it up. I can put a little bit more on there, add a bit to that. And then I'll show you straight onto this pink one here. Just a little bit. And then that is, again, it all matches. So when you think, leave it to dry, you get a background like that. And then that becomes that. It's, it's quite a different look. Um, and it is worth thinking that it started off as a bright colour. And again, the dark one, I'll do the dark one later as well, is basically that. And that's how that starts off. So it don't look much, but when you really put your own stuff to it, what a great journal cover or any cover, it doesn't matter what it is. They make, if you put some nice um, card on the back or apply, they make great placemats. Well, that's the thing, and this is what I was thinking, like, you could really go to town, and you get some little brass studs, and you could really age and start really doing things Absolutely, with it. But yeah. sometimes Good when you look at them, we're coming to the leather in a minute, but when you look at what you've got in the leather, you think, those colours aren't for me. Yeah. Well, now, with the right mediums, you can change the colours. And if you're just starting out in the world, and you need some, some not the sparkle gel, but maybe you just need some stencil gel, maybe you need these colours, you think, oh, I don't really know what I would do with them. Well, for £14, you've not lost much, let's put it that way. For fourteen pounds, you're getting four. You're getting four of the colourways uh, that you see here. If I do it this way, I can show you all the colours uh, that you're getting. Beautiful, beautiful sparkle and shine of the colours that you're getting for fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five, four, eight, seven, two, four is your item number. Uh, not only are you getting them though, so that is one bundle. But if you're thinking, oh, I'd like, have, I'd like to have a go at that little stencil as well, we can also do that for you. Uh, you've got the stencil. You're getting the two sparkle gels this time, but I'm also going to throw in. Three of the stencil pastes as well. Vanilla, apricot, and metal gold is what you're looking at in your pastes. Uh, A385327 is your item number, 19 pounds and 74 pence, a saving of eight pounds. Uh, we are talking the big name of Pentart as well, is what we're talking about. So it's well worth having a little look. Now, I've got two bundles of the leather for you. I've got the darks on the counter at the moment. Uh, so it's things like uh, you're getting two of your black that you've got in there. So there's two of the black, you've got two of the brown uh, that you've got, you've got two of the orange. Now orange is that colour that you would think, I don't know what to do with that, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Then you get that beautiful sort of silvery gold uh, that you've got on there. You're getting all of these, you're getting two sheets of each, what's that, two, four, six, eight sheets of the leather is what you're getting, still early for maths. Uh, 15 pounds and 96 pence is what you're looking at. Five, five, eight, five, two, seven is your item number. We've also got pastel colours on the show as well. So once again, you're getting two of each, so the same price, uh, but you're getting two of each once again, as I said. Uh, you can't go wrong with these ones. And these are the ones that Lou was using. That pink, that little pink one there that you've got in there, that little pink one, that was the one that we turned into that beautiful background. 1599725165 is your item number uh, with a four pound saving. And remember, all these prices that I'm reading now, if you're a Freedom member, I owe delivered price to your door. What? You're not a Freedom member yet? Come on, Madness. come and join the family. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Yes, indeed. Join Freedom today. It's worth having a little look. Uh, something else that's worth having a little look at. Trays. We love a tray. Love a tray. You know, you get all three uh, of the trays that we're looking at here. So you get the small, you get the medium, and you also get the large tray. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. I absolutely adore them. They're little nesting trays. Uh, that what you've got. I wonder. No, you can't. Uh, so I thought you could use the back as like a little pallet if you wanted to, but they sort of rock because of the uh, over ledge uh, that you've got there. These would look nice in any kitchen. Condiments. Love a condiment. 
love a set of condiments. Uh, you could take them out now if you're going to the garden. Oh, I've bought the, the Tommy ketchup. I've bought the salt and pepper of the vinegar uh, that you've got in there. Uh, you could be a little tea tray. Maybe you're going to use them for, you're getting three sizes, so you can use them for so much, or you could literally just use them uh, on your little tray. How beautiful is that? Once again, I just have more thoughts while you're watching Freedom. I thought, why wouldn't, why don't you take one of the trays and get a little bit of acetate and just put it down the side or fill the bottom and use it as your palette. Mm. Because they're easy to hold, you could use it as your palette and you know, then you know it's white clean, maybe for your water brushes and your pens and stuff and you know everything is there and you know it's all in one. It's worth having a little go. $14.99 for a set of three trays is what you're looking at. 646494 is your item number there. Uh, you could paint them. But what are you going to paint them with? Well, you could use this kit. You could do it as a little bundle. You could get the bag and pop the trays in the bag and give it as a gift. Uh, two bundles is what we're talking about here. I've got blues or I've got reds. The choice is yours. Uh, and you also get your free fabric medium with both sets as well. First of all, you get your canvas bag. Good size canvas bag is what we're looking at. I can show you the canvas bag. I know you know what a canvas bag looks like, but those people that don't. Uh, it's a good shopper bag uh, is what you're getting. But that now... You can personalise the shopper bag in the three in the two colourways that I've just showed you now. First of all, we said the blues. Uh, so you are getting your blue, you're getting your green, and you're sort of getting your country blue that's in there. I like the country blue. It's sort of like a duck egg. Yeah, it's beautiful. sort of It is that sort of duck egg blue uh, that we're looking at. And you're going to get the fabric medium as well. Not only that, you're also going to get your two parts of your uh, fabric paints. So you've got your greenish silver and your silver that's in there. So you're going to get thrown in. So there's your sparkle. Okay, so that's the sparkle element with the colours that you've got. And you've also got your fabric medium in there as well. Uh, and from there, we then also move to the reds. Now, your red section, I can't pick a favourite with these. No, they all work together, especially with stencil paste as well. Absolutely. And don't forget the gels. Though. These sparkling gels work on top as well. So. Oh, so these are sparkling gels from the bottom? Yeah, I just wanted to show you that the, the, how iridescent they are. So you, you really get the idea of it there. It's hard to see, but yeah, that's on brown card as well. One, okay, wow. one little swipe of it. So these go with those colours as well. So if you can stretch to it, the sparkling gels will be brilliant on fabrics. So if your budget will go, go for the sparkling gels that we saw at the end of the counter, you know, the sets of four that you've got, or it comes with the stencil as well, and go with these because it, it will all tie in together, and it's something you are going to use. Old t-shirts. I had a clear out the wardrobe the other day, and the amount of old t-shirts that I've got, they're still in good quality, but you're like, well, what do I do with them now? You just give them to charity, but you could upcycle them. Yeah. You could have a go with them, saying, well, before I do that on that, my favourite napkin, before I put that little fleur de lis on, as it were, you could go on and just have a little practice. Could we stamp with these if we want, yeah. obviously, so we could put a leather down and stamp and then Absolutely. stamp out? Yeah, you can stamp as long as you make sure that you clean the stamp afterwards, yeah? So now, so if you're thinking, oh, that's all well and good, but I'm no good at drawing. I'm trying to break down the walls. I'm trying to break every barrier for you because we all put up barriers to go, well, I can't draw. We've got a canvas bag and I can't really paint. Well, you can. Stamp it out is the quickest, easiest to go. There is so much on the website for you to look at as well. Have a look on there. You'll see it there. You've got your clock kit that's on there. You've got your clock paint board that's on there as well. You've got your clock mechanism. It's all about the clocks. Uh, then you've also got your uh, your fabric medium if you want fabric medium on its own. If your budget won't stretch to the bundles, I've got everything on its own as well. Uh, so don't worry about that. We've got your stone pastes in there. You've got your stone pastes on their own. I've not got the grey this hour. Uh, it's just a faulty photo. Uh, then we've got your trays in there, then we've got your stencil on its own if you just want your stencil. There is so many things on this show. Pouring glaze that's on there. I've got you two lots of leathers on the show as well. You can become a Freedom member and I've also got your seven day savers uh, which were worth having a little look at as well. Right then, let's go back to our Lou for more hints and techniques. Lou, what are we up to this time? Well, just to show you that I put, um, I hope you can see it, there's just a flash of the green going through oh. it at the moment. So I put the pouring glaze over the top. You can see how the matte gel dries to a matte consistency. So I'll just leave that down. And then it's got a better, uh, you can see now, if you have gone over it and you don't like it, just get the black matte and go around it. But what I'm going to show you is all these mediums, I know they're for fabric, it seems quite decadent doing this, but I also, they, they work brilliantly on this. So I'm just going to show you the idea of just using them as a paint. I'm just going to put, this is the, the goldy one on it, 
and, and this is on black, so I'm hoping that I can see it wonderfully. I'm just wondering that Yeah, you we can, can see it's like a lovely shadow. And then I'm just going to put that on, and I'm just blending it across because it's not, I'm not using it as a fabric paint. I can be quite sparing with this. So I'm just going to put that on. Then I'm going to get the red and the brown. I'm going to mix them up just to show you how wonderful they look together. And they, they do blend, and because there's a common, like, other side to, to all of them you can mix all of these colors together so these have got like the gold undertone and if i add the blue at the bottom i'll get a blue undertone with it which is stunning so i'll just mix that up see how easy they are to blend these are some of my favorites these i must admit i've used a lot of sparkling stuff but these are, are some of my favorites because they're just so easy to use i'm just going to darken it a tiny bit and we've got a, um like a bronzy color it was there yeah it's actually i can't tell you the name because i've just changed all the lid all the lids around so i haven't got a clue <laughs> so here's the darker one and this has got like a brown um like not a rust i want to say copper. this comes with your stencil so there we go do. I've got that Sparkle there. Gel. I'm just going to go back in and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of white. And you can mix it with this just to put a highlight. And we've got like bubbles. So at the moment it looks a bit, but when, as it dries, and when I pick that up, you'll really start to see. Oh, look at that. So you've got all the colours. That's a bit too, too brash for me. So if we just pat it in with my finger but that is that's on, on, on plywood so and it does look different there but when you put it on there you start to see the bronzes come through and I can add a pour a medium to it if you feel because I think there's a little patch there that to me it needs a little bit more and that's the beauty of it because you can just add a little bit more and strengthen the color without ruining everything because sometimes you start to do this and you'll get what, what, I, well, what I call tide marks. And that's where one colour goes with another. But with this, you don't get that. You, it, it's easy because it's a gel. It blends. So there, that's a much better colour, much that's better nice. consistency. And then don't forget, if I'm not happy with that. Um, or say, say you're like me and my hands are really sore. Sometimes yours might be the same. And I think, no, I can't, I can't physically tidy that up like have a, a, a really neat line don't worry get the black at the end and just neaten it up this way and then that way you're not too precious because it does upset you if you go over and and you want it to be neat so there we go i've tied completely tidied that up now it looks so much neater and i can do that around every of it but if you think that this is clock is just a piece of plywood and you could put all your different elements and then have you you could actually put everything you wanted on here and have a really cool clock. You could. Imagine Love the it. leather. Like oh, the leather yeah. background in there. You could Stone. turn it into a record. Uh, yeah, anything you could add that. But um, And you could actually use the shape, as I said, as a record and do a couple of records. So, yeah, put your that, name on them. But, yeah, I, I, I wish I had one of these trays to show you that I could put a pouring medium in the bottom um, because you can put, like, a set of resin into the bottom with galaxy flakes. But unfortunately, I didn't, for some reason, nice. uh, they're not, I haven't got these, so... Uh, oh, I was it. thinking as well, put a photo at the bottom and then put the glaze over the top of the photo. The pouring glaze will work like that. It's a really good resin, and uh, it, it, it's like a thin resin, so it's not as tricky as some resins to use. It's worth having a look. £14.99 for a set of three of the tray sets that you've got. The 45 seconds left when no. this hour gone. Wow. Uh, very, very busy. Louis back at 10 o'clock uh, yeah. with our Catherine this morning. I think with other things on the counter as well. Remember, there is so much on the website. We've got budgets for everyone. Uh, thank you, Lulu. We've Thank got you. Seconds. Aww, but Where great is this hour gone? I know. It's me chatting my head off. Very, very busy. Start checking out your baskets, though, if I was you. Because I don't want you to miss out on any of the deals. You've got your clock, you've got your bag, you've got your paste, you've got your trays, uh, and you've also got your gels and your leathers as well. You can watch all the techniques back on thecraftstore.com. Uh, it's the quickest and the easiest place to go. You're thinking, oh, I don't really know how to use that. I've bought it, but I don't know what I'm doing with it. Do not worry, it's all there for you. I will see you in an hour's time, but I'll tell you all that when I do the menu. Yes, that's now. Oh, it's my favourite background picture where she just sprinkles glitter onto nothing. Uh, she's put no glue down. Rowan Dean is up next. You don't want to miss that one. Then, 
a brand new supplier. That's all I'm saying, you don't want to miss it. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hello, a very good morning to you. Yes, I've got the absolute pleasure of, of course, opening the brand, well, it's a brand new one day special launching last night. Brand new day, eight o'clock, first live hour. Of course, it is Rowan Dean. I love it when Rowan Dean get a one day special as well. That means we've got the wonderful Katrina with us. We're just gonna say good morning and then we'll have a look at the one day special itself. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thank you, oh, lovely. Do you know, as soon as you walk into the studio, we say this every time you're here, but the colours just sort of, they make such an impact. The beautiful kits you've got on offer again. And of course, a one day special. We're gonna look at that now and then we're gonna get to you for demonstration if we may. Sounds great. Amazing. Right, let's have a look what's on offer then. Off to a busy start last night and I'm not surprised. Over half of the stock of the one day special has already gone. Now this is a huge kit. It really, really is. You've got an awful lot here. So let's go through the individuals. Katrina, when it comes to the one day special, you really cramp up this full of all sorts of goodies. Well, I think, I think it's nice to have projects that you can do individually and then ones that you can mix up together. So they're all connected uh, and they're all easy. It's so easy, but so different from each other. They really, really are. And you can see there, Summertime Delight Bundle, that's the name of it. We're going quite coastal. We've got beautiful flowers in here as well. There's also, I must pick this up actually, I'm just having a look at everything and then I'm gonna pick up the needle case uh, because this is absolutely beautiful. Now, Katrina, you've supplied us with all the materials to create this, haven't you? I'm going to open this right out so you can really appreciate what you've got there. You are known for putting lots of beautiful I'm beads into your kids. <laughs> You've absolutely got to tell me this one. I know. I know. I got a bit carried away. You know, you start <laughs> stitching one bit and then and you think, oh, I think I'll just add a little bit more sparkle and then a bit more. And then I think, oh, yeah, I think I'll add a different set of threads. So it's all, it's all exciting and it's all lovely to do. And I hope people enjoy it. 
It really, really is. Well, you're getting so much in this kit, as I say, beads galore. You're getting the threads, you're getting organza, you're getting tweed in here. We've got the pre-printed cotton, depending on which kit you're looking at. Overall, this is huge. And because you've got those individuals in there, you've got card blanks and envelopes as well. Those little projects you can break down and use separately if you so wish. You can use them, um, you know, notebooks on the, more needle cases perhaps. Maybe cushions, maybe little pictures to frame. Absolutely amazing quality. And of course, that price. Well, you've got a seven pound saving at 49 pounds and 85 pence. It's an absolute snip in my eyes. It's also on flexi, so we can break that cost down to you into two payments of just 24 pounds and 93 pence 678299 now if we look at that flexi price at 24.93 that is actually less than you'd be paying for the needle kit that is at the bottom of the screen individually so you can go for these individually but as a bundle that's where the saving is and that's where the flexi is as well you're getting everything you need of course everything comes beautifully packaged you get needles you get all your threads you get all the components do have a look at upsells like uh, the frames if you want to frame something we've got many many items available separately there um, you know so you've got those choices and with the flexi buy you can split the cost of anything else that you want as well so there we are the one day special it is huge we're going to have a look at the website and then we're going to get to demo with Katrina because we're going to have a look at the one day special in demonstration time everything you should want is there on the website do look out for the accessory kits we've got the hoops for you not only the display hoops but also of course the hoops that you need for creating your projects as well we've got pins on there we've got the play around kits we've got fabric bundles we've got uh, tweed we've got cotton that's sold separately as well so you really it really can go to town now just something we can see the little mouse cursor there it's having a little dance over a picture there uh, we just want to point out that that image is actually showing the wrong colors when you click on it it will show you the right colors we'll see if we can get that sorted out for you but yes the brights are there that's what you will be getting the picture that you're seeing now amazing oh. I love it when Katrina's here. We get so much colour. Katrina, straight over to you, Vimei, for demonstration. Great. That sounds fun. Uh, I'm going to start with the, the needle case. Um, it's worked on our tweed. It's, it's a lovely fabric to, to work with, and it lends itself, I think, to the, to the theme of sand. So I've got the design printed on. So all our designs would have... Uh, an outline drawing on uh, as a starting point so it's you've got a guide before you start as well as the instructions so I've, I've done it over the last couple of shows I've done a little bit on each just to show you how easy it is um, to create this but there's so much in this kit so we've got the full design uh, for the front and back of the of the kit um, in the, it's you work them separately so I'm using my five inch spring hoop and you're able to work the front part and the back of the needle case and then in the center it's much flatter uh, so if you're going to fold it into a into a book or as a, a textile journal or you're using the needle case you're going to be able to fold that without getting any sequins or beads in the way and there, there is a printed line to show you the halfway mark uh, on there but the first thing so we've got the the whole piece that you're going to stitch and then we've also got the inside pages of the kit. So here you've got two designs. Uh, we've got the starfish and we've got some seaweed. We've got some fabulous beads. And when you look at the beads, you just look at the, the textures and the colors. They really just sparkle. We've got uh, green and, and terracotta. We've got shell shapes. We've got beads and we've got a whole array of things. And I know there's far too many, but I think you can you can put them on lots of pages. <laughs> You've been I very think. generous, yeah. haven't you, Katrina, this time? So and then the other part is the, the hand-dyed felt. So the hand-dyed felt is really, really good. You can you can work the page, pages you, before you put it together as a needle case, or you can wait and you can stitch that as you go along. So you'll get all of those things. And then, but the fabulous thing for this design are the colours and the organzas. So I've got here, I did get carried away because there's 27 different colours in this kit. <laughs> uh, so it really, so some of them are just fabulous uh, colours for the, the beach, uh, fabulous colours for the limpets. I've got some fabulous colours for the pebbles. So I've got here, we've got some Appleton threads, some Jameson threads 
and some stranded cotton. So the mix of the textures is great. And then as we go up through to the watery colours, you've got a really good variegated threads. And okay, then again, do we get the beading thread as well? Is we that get the beading thread? Well, I can see um, that. So that's good. So you know, if you're using uh, as many beads as we are, uh, a good thread doesn't stretch. Okay. So that that means that it's not going to fall as as you're working. And then we've got some some uh, textured ones as well, some knitting yarns, and then a little bit of sparkle. So there's lots to use. And the idea is that uh, obviously you can start with either either piece. But I'm going to start with the actual cover to the needle case, and I'm just going to put that in into the into the hoop. So this is a great hoop. It's really versatile. You just hold on a, on a flat surface, and then you just hold the spring and then let go when it's inside the hoop and just be careful if you've got any beads in there as well. Katrina, if I may, we're just going to show the hoop kit actually because <clears throat> not only do you get the five inch and the seven inch, you get the embroidery scissors as well. Now, this is selling very, very well actually. Over half of the stock has gone. Fifteen ninety nine is the price for that kit. Six four six seven eight five is the item number. Do you know, I'm really pleased that we're selling a lot of these because that's telling me we've probably got a lot of new viewers or people that are trying something new as a craft because your followers are more likely to already have these aren't they yeah i think it, i think it's a, such a good thing uh if you do machine embroidery or you just yes, you want to point. hold your work it just stops it distorting so yeah if you're using a lot of texture then it's going to keep the fabric flat while you're stitching Perfect. i mean there are some stitches that you don't need a hoop but we, there is a mix and this is it's just brilliant yeah really yeah. good so the first thing i'm just going to show you that there are different elements on this design so we've got um a shell uh, made with organza and then thread threaded through it. I suppose it's a bit like shadow work. So that's going to create a shell. We've got pebbles on the beach. And underneath there, we've got a little bit of felt just to raise the surface. So when you do the padded satin stitch, it really looks like a pebble that's on the beach. And they're obviously each other are, are very different from each other. And then we've got some shells to create. And so you, you work all the elements first and then you fill in with the water and the sand across your design and then that really brings it to like you know when you're looking in that tide pool the sun shining and and the, the sort of water's glistening and moving slightly so you'll get some great effects so the, the first thing i'm going to show you here is is the limpet all right so i have okay. worked uh got two circles of felt and i'm going to bring the needle up just at the side to start with I'm using the full six strands and I'm going to use the um, eye of the needle. So I'm just going to go back under one and under the next one. And I'm just going to guide the thread in. And I've used a contrasting colour. I mean, you'll get the instructions which say which ones. But really, you've got 27 to choose from. And so I think it doesn't matter which ones you, you really, really choose if you... If you like one more than the other so as you work round you're just going to go all the way around just turn your work as you go and where you're going over that thread you'll find that it becomes a raised slightly like the like a shell is it important Katrina to have the two pieces of felt cut to different sizes is that a guideline for I when think you're that's stitching a, or? yeah just a guideline I mean it, hopefully it'll just change the shape a little bit perhaps raise it up in the middle. If you wanted it heavier than that, um, you could put more layers on and build, okay. you know, several layers up there. So it's just a different way of working a shell. And you just go round and round and round. It's quite satisfying to see the colours appearing. And because it's a variegated thread, the magic just happens. And I think that's what makes embroidery really exciting. And you can really see the strength of colour coming through on that thread now. It's lovely. Now you've seen it work together. So as you start to stitch, that magic happens. You don't need to think about where the colours are landing. They just, they'll just they just blend in. And this one's got a really sort of nice corally colour. So you just go round and round. And then when you want to change colours, all that you're going to do is just take the thread down to the back. And then you're going to fasten that off. And just by fastening it off, you're just going to wind it around a couple of threads a couple of times. And I think it doesn't matter about the back. You won't see the back when it's all in its needle case at all. 
And so these just... kits, Katrina, are achievable by someone that has never stitched before, aren't they? Because the stitches, all the instructions are there. The kits are, are so easy to work with. Everything that you need to get going is already there for you. Um, do you find that you do get a lot of new people who have never done soft press before that pick these up, Katrina? Because because of that reason, there's no rules really, so they can improvise as they go That's along right. a little it's bit not, as well. It's not, it's not prescriptive, and I think... Um, if you've done a lot of counted work, this is quite different, but it's it's actually a lot easier because yeah. it's never wrong. You know, as you're stitching, uh, we're using the basic, really basic embroidery stitches like stem stitch and French knot, uh, a little bit of fly stitch, a little bit of lazy daisy. It's the way that we use the colours uh, that really make these designs, and really, it's never wrong. You know, whatever you whatever you're stitching, it's never wrong. Um, and you'll get some fabulous effects. So I'm just going to show you that you can use other yarns in there. Okay. And I'm just going to go around again. This time, I'm, d I'm repeating the same thing, but this time I'm going to go around with a heavier yarn, and that will fill up that space much quicker and create a lot of texture. So you just go round and round, and you can turn your work as you go and that will just give you the, a great effect for well, the show. It does show. work well, doesn't it? You can see that building nicely. We are busy on the one-day special, approaching 60% of the entire stock has now gone. Uh, don't miss out on this. You're getting so much free money. We're just looking at everything here. I mean, there's so many ways you can break this down as well. There's something for everyone. You've got the florals in there. You've got the coastal projects. You've got the needle case in there as well. I'm just going to open that out again just while I'm here, uh, just to show you how beautiful this is. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can change this around if you want to. So much sparkle in there those beautiful colors the blues the greens the corals the browns oh that's just stunning now i'm just going to show you inside as well because there are some projects of course you can work on every single page katrina hasn't made you know her work run right the way through this one just yet but you could do that of course you know you maybe you've got other kits or little bits of leftovers as well that you could work with but you're getting such a huge amount here i don't think you're going to need to sort of take from anywhere else either item numbers on the screen six seven eight two nine nine because you've got those smaller projects say you've even got the card blanks and envelopes but you don't have to use them as cards we have got of course that beautiful little floral display there as well do watch out for those extra accessories if you want to go for the display hoops but look at the amount of threads you're getting organza tweed cotton pre-printed as well of course all those kits include your needles all of the threads you literally can just start work straight from the pack 49.85 with that flexi 24 pounds and 93 pence is all you need to pay today 60 percent of the stock has now gone back to katrina okay so you continue around on your on your uh, and you'll get the full shell and i'm just going to show you one from the one that I've got here. So this is the this is the first one I did. So this is my design. This is my practice. When I plan a design, I do all the all the t stitch techniques and then I have a look and see what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to take away. But it's more or less um, the same the same design except um, I decided that I would give you a bigger piece of fabric so that you would work the front and the back and so that you've got um, a flatter area for the sea. Uh, in between so you've got a bigger piece of fabric and that's great if you want to make it as a, a textile journal or you want to cover um, a book cover with it so you're gonna you've, that's the the limpet that we've done so here I've done one where I've started off in the gold and then I've gone on Doesn't to the strand well. and that and that, that mohair thread just looks fabulous so basically you're you're filling in all the all the elements on the on the design and then you're going to fill in with the sand uh, and the water afterwards and that brings the whole design together so it looks quite spotty when you first start but when you, as soon as you get that sparkle in there with the sand it looks Beautiful. it looks great and if you are new to this everybody if you are watching thinking you know i want to have a go at this i would recommend going for those accessory hoops as well perhaps you're going to start with the one day special because you're getting so much in there actually if you bring in or if you were to pop into your basket those hoops as well and you do get the little scissors 
Now, because you've got the flexi there and you can split the cost of everything, you can see there, all you'd be paying today is 36.88. If you're a Freedom member as well, there'd be no postage and packaging to pay. So for just 36.88, everything would be shipped to you. That's the hoops, the embroidery scissors, and everything in the one day special. I mean, there's a multitude of projects here as well. So uh, do consider going for all those accessories. Now, before we get back to Katrina, we're just going to have a look at one or two other products as well, because of course it's not just about the one day special. We have got lots more on offer as well so we're going to move down now something that's very very popular when it comes to Rowandine are the play around packs now these are great because these really do allow you to be creative yourself now the first one we're looking at here is spring now look at the amount of different threads in here again you've got all those different textures there's various different yarns there's the I think it's called boucle yarn. Is that right? They've, the sort of curly one, boucle, yes. yeah. Uh, love that. You, we noticed actually on Katrina's sample of the needle case there, there was a lot of the green that had been used. But in the spring play around kit, you've got all those different colours in there. Needles, beads again, sequins in there, lots of organza. Now, you will get a piece of tweed and a piece of cotton. This will enable you to create whatever you wish or maybe take inspiration from some of the other kits, perhaps if you've already bought them. But all that for just £18.95. Item number 519571. Now, the next one, I absolutely love this one. These are my colours. Now, you've got the purple and the pink selection here. Now, with this one... It's a little bit different. You can choose cotton or you can choose tweed. So rather than getting one of each, you'll get two of tweed if you're going for that or two of the cotton. But look at those colours in there. Again, you've got everything that you need. There's even a little bit of uh, silver in this one. Isn't that beautiful? 18.95 again. Those beautiful colours there. Look at the sparkle. Oh, wow. 319597 is the item number. You seem to be liking the tweed the best so far. That's the one that's in the lead. As I say, 319597 if you want to go for the purple and the pink play around pack. We do have another one for you as well. Now, this is your bright. So lots of green again in this one. We've got the earthy tones, which are so important for your landscapes and your flowers, of course. But you've got those very very bright colours. All sorts of different threads in there again. You've got your needles, you've got your sequins and your beads. There is, I can see it there, there is the beading thread in there as well so you don't have to worry about anything. Again with this one you've got the choice of the tweed or the cotton. You're going to get two pieces depending on which one you go for. It will be the tweed or the cotton. As I say, £18.95 again, 915244. Now, I do think we have probably got lots of new uh, viewers watching or people watching this for the first time and thinking, do you know, I'm going to have a go at this. You may want to go for Katrina's book as well. We see this every time Katrina comes to the show. This book has sold so many copies and it's been printed in different languages. It's absolutely beautiful. The photography in here is just exquisite. You've got so much information in here. It will talk you through all the equipment, all the different yarns, all the different hints and tips are in there as well. There are full projects. You can actually get kits on the website that will correspond with some of these projects. But of course, you can go, maybe go for a play around pack and the book as well and start to create your own following the details in the book. This is absolutely beautiful. This is one of those books you want to keep it on the coffee table. You will keep picking it up and looking at it. I'm not going to give you every single page, but I do want you to appreciate what you're getting here when it comes to the amount of work that's gone into this book. An amazing price. Perhaps you've already got that for yourself. You want to buy it as a gift for someone as well. $17.99 is the price. Nine zero three four eight three. Now, we've got the Seaside Doodles for you next. So, a little bit like the, the bundle that's part of the One Day Special, but completely different when it comes to design here. The doodles, you've got the card blanks, you've got the envelopes again. You don't have to use them as cards. You can create whatever projects you want, but you have got everything included. All those different threads again. You've got textures, you've got sparkle, you've got the sequins. You've got everything you need to get going. Lots of organza again in this one as well. Only £19.95. and pence. Nine five four zero nine. One. Now, if you were making cards, you've got six of them to create there. As I say, the blanks and the envelopes are included. But if you want to break that down in a different way, you certainly can do. Then, moving down again. Oh, this is lovely. We've got garden foxgloves for you. 
Oh, Katrina takes so much inspiration from her surroundings, her own garden as well. This is beautiful, isn't it? You've got the height there with the foxgloves. You've got the smaller flowers in the foreground, lots of greenery in this one. Again, you're getting everything you need when it comes to the printed cotton. You've got the needles, the organza, the beads. Of course, the full instruction, all the threads you require. If you want, if you like the display hoop, watch out for that separately. You don't get that included because you can use these projects however you wish. Um, Katrina, with this one, what size hoop is this display so that's, down? Um, that's a seven inch. That's a seven inch. So, and the lavender in the one day special is a five inch. So there's a five, six and seven. Okay. Uh, and that means you can frame them straight away. Perfect, perfect. We'll bring up the details in a second. So for the Fox Glove 789799, the display hoops are actually at the bottom of the screen there. So you get three, five, six, and seven, all in that one kit. Again, maybe if you're going for the one day special, pop that into your basket and split the costs on it as well. Do not miss out on that. Oh, this is so sweet. We've got duck in the wreaths. Oh, isn't that so sweet? So a little bit of water again. You've got the sparkle in there because of the organza and the beads. It's so beautiful. Uh, now, you do get the hoop with this one, do you, Katrina? Yeah, you, yeah this one's a, a four-inch hoop. And so, you know, if you're doing, that, you're doing that project, you know, you can actually frame it straight away. Oh, uh, isn't and it that fits lovely? That one. That's a great gift. If you want to buy and gift for somebody else or make it and then gift it or just make it and keep it for yourself, fifteen ninety five is the price here. 943-177 is the item number. Lovely to have the hoop in that one, actually. So it, it makes it that complete set if you do want to gift it. Then we've got some summer leaves for you. Beautiful greens alongside the pinks here. We've got some very deep pinks in this as well as bright pinks. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, you've got the organza. That really does lift this one, doesn't it? The little bit of pink and green organza I can see in the leaves there is beautiful. Again, very easy to work with. You've got a very large piece, actually, of the printed cotton here as well, as long as all of those threads and all those components that you would expect. Item number for this one is 287808, and it's £29.95. And then finally, on the counter, oh, this is gorgeous. Maybe you live by the coast. Maybe you can't get to the coast, but you'd like to be there. Well, this is next best thing, isn't it? Look at this. This is Shingle Beach. Now, Rowan Dean and Katrina are known for a very particular method when it comes to a lot of the kits, and that's working with the detail in the foreground there. So you're drawn into the picture. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful. You've got a flexi on this one. Two payments of £29.48, 029518. Now, you don't get the frame, but you do get the mount with this one. And, of course, you get all those other components as well. Now, we do have a few more accessories to tell you about as well. We've got the needles and pins. Now, this is a really, really good kit. There are some magnets in here as well. I'm going to see if Katrina can explain why those magnets are so important in a little while. But it's another great kit to go for. 10.99 is the price. 741201 is the item number. We'll give you a reminder of those display hoops as well, so we can show a proper picture. There we are. Oh, actually, the accessory set we've got here. So that's the five and the seven inch hoop with those beautiful scissors as well. Do you know what? You will be very sorry if you don't go for these. If you haven't got them already, it makes life a lot easier when you're working with the projects because you can keep that fabric taut and you can avoid, of course, all those beads and things because they're so easy to manoeuvre around your work. 646-785. There we are. Right, we are going to go back to Katrina. I think we might be carrying on with the one-day special, are we? Katrina? I am. I've got. I've got. Lovely. We're quite into the show and haven't done a French knot yet. So <gasps> we've just. We've just oh. got to do that. Oh. We're just going to have a go at that. So I'm, I'm just going to show you uh, how to do that. Uh, it's a really, really easy stitch, and it's something that we use quite a lot uh, to get different effects. So once once you've mastered it, you know. Really, it's just it's just a great stitch. It's really just lovely to do. So if you bring the thread from the back of the fabric, and then I'm just going to use um, six strands, so it's going to be quite a heavy uh, French knot. So I'm going to take the thread, I'm going to go around once, twice, and then as I turn the needle, I'm not going back into exactly the same place, sort of one thread over, and that's just going to give you the right uh, place for it to go and then just tighten that thread with the other hand and it just just secret really is to hold that thread as you pull it through and as soon as it's through the fabric just let go 
and it'll guide itself into place. The danger is it, the, don't be tempted to sort of guide the thread through yourself. Just let it travel on its own. It'll work much better. So you're just going to go around once, twice. So if you wanted the, the knot to be much bigger, the secret is to make the thread thicker. Don't wind it round any more time. So you'll get great big knots just with the six strands. And then you can do sometimes use a single turn French knot. So that means you're just going to go bring the thread up and you're just going to go around once. And that will just give you a smaller knot without having to fasten off. And you'll get lots of effects with the French knots. And again, Katrina, we can see the magic of that very It's just It's just there. a lovely thing to do. And then as you get to the edge of your uh, design where the water is you can add little bits of organza the, there's a collection of organzas that you can fray so you can add those over the wavy line and then add beads and French knots um, just to create an edge to the design so I that's going to give you a lovely and the colours are just fabulous I mean yeah. I just love these ones here I know my cards are a little bit messy but so we've got shades of Blue, blue with green, and then a sort of teal shaded one, and a lovely fat or lilac one as well. And to me, those just say beach, really. They're just going to, they're shaded, they've got a little bit of metallic there. So all of those ones blended together with some of the wools, just going to give a fabulous, fabulous Gorgeous. effect. So, no, yeah, you can't stop doing French knots. You want to get going, <laughs> you just keep going. We wouldn't let you out the building unless you'd shown no, us the no, French no, knots. No, 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 can't do a whole program with that. Programme, you know we have had a really, really lovely email in. This is coming from Jane. Oh, this is so lovely, Jane, because Jane is saying uh, she really likes when Katrina says or uses the phrase, never wrong. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that phrase as well. Because when Jane was at school, a teacher used to keep taking a work offer and saying it was wrong. That is terrible. I and she had to do it again. But that's not the case here. No, there is just, no wrong. There is no wrong. And really, I love the idea when you, you know when people send their work in, I love it. You say, oh, look at that. That's really good. Yeah. And, the, and their interpretation and their creativity is just so lovely. And, yeah. uh, you know, just to see that you enjoy your work. And, you know, sometimes when you're st stitching away, you forget to look at it. So it's nice to put it somewhere in the kitchen or in the, in the conservatory or wherever you are and just say, I've done that. That looks yeah, really exactly. great, and that's that's really what it's all about. Is it's having, although I'm stitching techniques, it's really a project you can just drift into, Definitely. relax. Yeah. It's got that, got that yeah. mindfulness it's thing. It's a project if you're able to sit out in the nice sunshine we're having lately as well. You could sit in the garden in your garden chair, sit in your conservatory, sit with family because you can be social at the same time. Pick the kit up, put it down, do it at your own ease. It really doesn't matter. Love that email from Jane. That was very, very nice. Oh, and Jane did say as well that you are a perfect fit for the craft store. Thank you. Isn't that lovely? Thank you so much. Thank oh. you. That's good. Right. Oh, we're busy on the one day special. Two thirds of the entire stock has now gone. Shall we have a quick run through this and then we'll get back to Katrina? Right, okay, we're about halfway through the show, so let's just recap because some of you may just be getting up in the morning. Um, lucky you, you've had a lie-in. Uh, let's have a look. We're, oh, we've got so much here. So we're starting it. The, the actual name of the kit is the Summertime Delight Bundle. We can see that beautiful, beautiful floral display there. You don't get the hoop in here. You will, if you want the display hoop, that is a separate. But you get the kit to create that beautiful design. And how you use that design is entirely up to you. What I love about this particular one is the beads in there are all white and silver. They're absolutely beautiful, all clear beads. They're so pretty because they catch the light perfectly. Absolutely gorgeous. For instructions with everything you're getting here as well of course then moving on we have of course got the kit here you can create six individual cards if you wish because you've got the blanks you've got the envelopes you've got the pre-printed tweed all of the components that are required if you want to break these down and use them separately you certainly can do that is huge by itself isn't it that kit look at that all that texture in those threads as well a little bit of shimmer in there the metallic threads gorgeous then, also included in the one day special, we have got the needle case as well. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Now, individually, this kit has gone. 
Now, you are getting everything you need again. I mean, Katrina has really spoiled us this time with the beads in there. I mean, there's so much texture, the different colours. You've got wooden beads in there. You've got lots of glitz and glimmer in this one. Of course, you've got organza again. You've got so many wonderful bits and pieces of beautiful colours. I'm loving that boucle wool, that yarn with the curly effect. It's, it's really like really, seaweed, really isn't it? It is, isn't it? Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So the only way you can get the needle kit now is to go for the one-day special individually. That is sold out. You've got the hand-dyed felt in there, all the components, as, as I say, that you need to work, create that beautiful project. It is printed on the tweed. You've got the lining in there as well. Everything. Absolutely everything. Um, now, the tweed, Katrina, I'm right in thinking you have that woven especially for Rowan Dean, don't you? That's right, that's right. It's woven, woven for us here in the UK, uh, and it's a, a really a good quality. <laughs> Very really, good quality. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. You can get, it's not part of the one-day special, if you look separately as well, if you want more tweed, you can buy that by a fat quarter as well. It's the same tweed, but if you want more, you can do that. And, of course, we've got the play arounds as well. Details at the bottom of the screen, actually, now for the fat quarter. But if you're going for the one-day special, everything that I've just mentioned there, everything you can see in front of me, in fact, 678 is the item number. Full instructions come with absolutely everything. All of the kits, you've got photography in there as well, so... Do you know, Katrina thinks about everything. She works so, so hard behind the scenes. Two payments of £24.93. and pence. Anything else you want to add in, you can split the cost with that flexi as well. Now, let's have another look at the play around packs, actually, because we've got three different ones, different item numbers for each one. The first one is spring. So you can see we've got those beautiful yellows in there. There's some pinks and blues. There's always a bit of sparkle in there. Lots of green. <coughs> this kit contains a piece of the cotton and a piece of the tweed as well. You've got beads in here. You've got your needles. I mean, Katrina supplies different needles in the kits because you'll want one for beading, so it's a finer needle. And then you've got the larger needles as well. Uh, there's a little bit of satin in this one, organza. In fact, it's huge. You can decide how to work with that. Perhaps if you're going for the one-day special, pop a play-around kit in your, your pack as well, in your basket as well, and then take you know the, the designs from the one-day special and work them again in your own colours or just do whatever you wish with them. They're just amazing value. £18.95, 519571. Then the purple and pink. If I had to be pushed to go for a favourite, this is definitely my favourite. Do you know what I love about this? It's not just the purple and pink. It's the green that comes through, that gorgeous sort of limey green. You've got those beautiful beads in there again. Bugle beads, seed beads and sequins in there. So you're getting the needles that will be needed, of course. Lots of organza. This one, you've got a choice of either tweed or cotton. Now, you do get two pieces of each. The cotton, 50% of the stock has gone when it comes to this particular colour. Here we can see the tweed, so you have got the choice there. Just choose whichever one you like. 18.95 is the price, 319.597. Then we have the brights for you. So it's the same thing as the purples. You've got a choice of the cotton or the tweed with this one. Lots of lovely greens in here. So beautiful for your flowers, beautiful for your landscapes. You've got those gorgeous bright colours in there. I mean, everything through the rainbow, really. Oranges, yellows, blues, purples, pinks, everything's there. Tweed or cotton again, 18.95. Same as the other prices, actually. They're all different item numbers, though. 915244. There we are. And then, of course, the book. Do not forget the book. Let's just open randomly a few pages. Look, look. It doesn't matter where I open. Everything is stunning. Applying beads because you get beads in so many of these kits. I'm sure there'll be French knots in here somewhere as well. Yeah, they're definitely in there, aren't they? Those different stitches. Katrina keeps it simple. Those stitches give you the texture give you the perspective in the landscapes, but they're simple to do. If you've never stitched before, you will be able to create with these kits. The book is, to me, it's a must-have. I do have this book myself, and I absolutely love it. 17 99 is the price, 903483. Right, I think we can come back to you now, Katrina, if that's, that's all right. That's great, that's great. Um, I'm going to have a look at uh, the card kit. So it's a great way of stitching and getting uh, six different designs based on, on the, uh, the coastal theme. So I'm starting with the um, sea bindweed. So I've put a, a backing, um, a little bit of organza, so you'll get a collection of colours in your kit. 
uh, just so that you can use and create the texture. Sometimes I use it as a background and then other times I use it as texture. So if you wanted to use it as texture, you just take the scissors and you're just going to cut it on the bias. So that's like the stretchy part of the fabric. And you're just going to use the sharp scissors and just cut across and you're just going to get a little piece of fabric and then you're just going to distort it and just really fray it to make it look interesting and then messy just think messy and then you'll get a little bit of fabric there and then you can place that on your design and you're just going to create a little bit of texture now every time I do the card kits um, they sort of get bigger and bigger the fabric gets bigger and bigger so if you get carried away just check with the card that you, you've got it all in there and you're not going to lose some of your design uh, it's easy to get carried away so just keep just keep checking and I think it's a great idea to to stitch them all before you um, cut them up and put them, on, put them on something. Katrina, I know you always supply the cards and the envelopes and they make the most beautiful cards and you could frame those on the card blanks if you wanted to as well. But you've got a notebook in front of you as so well. You could use those for little notebook covers and smaller projects as well, couldn't you? I, th I mean, we've got fat quarters of different colours of fabric and I think it's, sometimes it's nice to make a collection of something. I mean, mine, mine's just, the, the, you know, obviously you can do uh, lots of different sizes. Um, and I'm going to stitch it on like a, you know, like a, a book cover that yeah. you get with a, a paper cover and just over sew the edge there. So it's a nice way of creating texture. And I think something like a collection, if you are going away, if you're on, or, or you are on holiday, something like this would be great just to take as a memory of that of a trip that you've, you've been on. Definitely. Especially the one, the beach do, seaside doodles as well. Uh, and they come in lots of different colours. And it's the same fabric that is in the... Um, the white fabric we use for the background so you'll get it's a lovely fabric just to stitch on I even want if you're not to adding. bring that fabric because every every time I do a show with you I think we need to see that fabric it is absolutely gorgeous there's so many colors I think that's the powder blue that Katrina that it, got is, there. it is yeah we've got lots and lots of different colors for you if you just click on the drop down menu you can see those beautiful oh, mushy peas gorgeous isn't it uh, asparagus is in there as well so you've got those greens which make a great backdrop you drop you've got your naturals you've got your blues in there blush mauve mauve is gorgeous as well it's entirely up to you in fact the terror Cotter works very well with a lot of the kits and the uh, threads and things as well. That is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, oh! Treat yourself to some of that. Look at all those five-star reviews as well. Amazing. Only twelve ninety-nine. Two four six zero six four. Okay, back to you, Katrina. Okay, we're just going to um, use a, a couple of easy stitches. I'm just going to show you the colours here uh, because we've got a lot of variegated threads. We've got some wools, we've got some gold, and we've got the bead thread. So we've got a great collection there for all the different designs. But to me, they're, they're really bright and vibrant. And I think this, the subtle colours work well as the seaweed uh, and the water. So I'm just going to show you the first bit. Um, I've got my work in, in the hoop. And I'm just going to do a little bit of stitching on this flower here. I've got two strands in my needle. And so we use a chenille needle. And that, the, the needle has a large eye. So it's easy to thread and it will take different thicknesses. So all you're going to do is just take a straight stitch. And then you're just going to go over and just take that thread. And just really relax with the stitching. You can chat if you want, but sometimes it's nice just to drift off and just imagine you're at, at, at the beach and the sunshine. And it's so easy to do. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be even. And you're just going to fill that shape in, angle the stitches towards the center. You'll cover the print and as it's shaded, it'll change colour, which is really lovely. So as you go round the flower, then you're just going to fasten off when you've reached that part. You can go back, if you've got a little bit of a space, you can go back onto the flower if you want to add and fill a little bit more densely. So Talking wouldn't of you? flowers, uh, Katrina, I bet your garden's starting to look beautiful now. It's actually, it's looking great at the minute. It wasn't, you know, there were 
lot of stray weeds in there, which are lovely. Oh. But, but no, at the moment it's it's coming into its own. Yeah, I bet uh, it is. Yeah, so Katrina, that's a hint for next time. I keep asking Katrina to bring photographs in, because I know her garden's going to be absolutely amazing. This is the other thing. Take inspiration from your own garden. Whether it's weeds or not, they still look pretty. Some of them have beautiful flowers on. Uh, you get the play around pack. Go for the accessory kit as well. You get the hoop that's five inches and also seven inches. You also get those very, very special embroidery scissors as well. These are the ones that you see Katrina using throughout all the demonstrations. Been busy on these. $15.99 is the price. 60% of the stock has gone. 646785 Right, we'll go back to Katrina again. Okay, so um, this time I'm going to show you how to put on some of the beads. Uh, the beads here, so half is stitched and half is, is actually using the beads. So you've got a mixture of threads. You've got quite a lot of different colours there. And I've put them in a container because they actually go everywhere if you knot them over. So I'm just going to show you. I've got my needle. This time I've got using the bead needle and the, the bead thread and just put them in a container and just pick the bead up and then you're just going to place it. And it doesn't really matter where you place the colours, you've got a mixture of colours, you've got, just let me get my needle, there we go. You've got different sizes so you're going to create different effects and you just pick them up and because the, the thread is not going to stretch it's just going to give you a really, really nice effect to go with the stitching. So take each one and fill that shape. And you'll have, lo you'll have loads of beads in there, so you, you, know, you can so really generous. get I've carried away. I've said that a away. few times. You can get lots of, lots of beads While there. we're working here, Katrina, we've had another really good question in, actually. This has come in from Susan. And when we're looking at the card kits, her daughter, um, she pr finds it a little bit overpowering, overwhelming if, if she's looking at something too big. So to cut down individually, could she work with a smaller hoop? I know we've got the, the five and seven inches in the accessory part, but to cut those out individually and work with them, if she's got a really small hoop, could she do that? You could if you had a, a really, really small hoop. I mean, maybe a, a four inch hoop, uh, you could use one of those. And, I th uh, you know, I mean, uh, that's at the moment when you're looking at the, this, I've, I've got the five inch there. You could put it a little bit further over to the edge and use that. So, yeah, okay. yeah, if you're going to cut them up individually. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, Susan, I do hope uh, that your daughter enjoys working with the kits, actually. We'd love to see some pictures if you ever want to send them into the studio. But what a great question again. Thank you very, very much. Okay, okay. I'm to just you, going Katrina. to get on to the next little bit so the thing about the, the great thing about these is that there are lots of lots of things that you can do on your um, piece you can you don't have to complete one you can always move on to the next one and you can just just see which one is, is inspiring uh, to go with so I'm just going to take this one here I'm going to put my fabric back in And I think if you're uh, starting, perhaps, you know, the, the lavender one would be a good one. Yes. You know, because that one is, is uh, slightly smaller as well to use. So I'm just going to go over this. We're just going to use a little bit of a, a star here. So this, I've got a print, and I'm just going to go over the stitching as a guide just to give some star shapes on there. And that's the other thing as well, Katrina, isn't it? You provide the prints. It's the tweed or the cotton depending which kits you're going for is always printed but you don't overprint. you give those guidelines without creating something that's too fussy too detailed that you wouldn't then be able to hide that's right I mean it, I mean it is printed with a fabric print so you know it once it's on there it's on there but yeah the the idea is that you know you can add to it and you're going to cover that at the end of the day you don't really want to see you don't want to see the print so there'll be a way of adding more so that you're used, just using it as a starting point and then you can develop the design from there. So these little stars are just worked over the fabric. And then if you wanted to, you could make them even larger. You can go and add and develop with straight stitches and increase the size and go in between so that you end up 
with a really nice star shape in the thread. So you can, once you know a stitch, you can develop it a little bit more and it's just going to go all the way around. And because it changes colour, you'll get an instant hit of colour all the way around. So you'll, there are different things to do on each design, so it's quite interesting to do different things rather than, you know, just repeat the same thing. So there you go, just got a little star, and that adds texture and interest to your piece. Wonderful. We are going to have another look at your book, if we may, Katrina, as well, because despite the fact we've sold literally hundreds and hundreds of these, uh, there are still people finding these really, really attractive. If you want to have a quick peek inside, I'm going to flick through one or two pages now. These are a treat to yourself. They're a gift waiting to be given, I think, as well. You've got so much inspiration in here, so much information. There are kits available on the website that correspond with certain projects in here, but you don't need to go for those. There's so much information. You can follow the step-by-steps. You can apply those step-by-steps into your own work, maybe if you're going for a play-around kit as well. We've got small flowers, uh, large flowers. We've got landscapes. We've got stone walling. We've got animals in there as well. Look at the sheep. So many beautiful projects, fully, fully packed full of gorgeous photographs here as well. Isn't that gorgeous? The butterflies in there as well. Treat yourself. Oh, the poppies. Oh, the use of organza, you know, the bees. Everything that Katrina's showing us now included and more, much, much more. Beautiful book. 17 99 is the price. 903483. Now, we're just going to give you a quick update as well when it comes to the one-day special. You're getting so much in this, aren't you? You really are. And you've got a flex as well. You've got a saving of £7. The only way you can get the needle kit now is part of the one-day special because it's sold out individually. We are approaching 70% of the entire stock now gone. 678-299 is the item number. Independently, we count up all these bits and pieces. Well, you can't do it really, can you? Because there's so many beads in here as well. But you've got various different kits. You've got the kit there with the beautiful florals, the lavenders there. I love, still love those beads in there. The white beads add that bit of sparkle. Everything comes, when well, you break this down into individual kits, everything will have its own threads, its own needles, its own organza, its own printed fabric. Full instru instructions, of course, as well. Then we've got those beautiful coastal pack of six cards here these uh, i'm saying cards again but they don't have to be cards we've just seen actually one of these in demonstration the top one that's the finished project there the use of those beads very very clever again so much sparkle susan i think if you're watching this hopefully your daughter will be able to manage these splitting them down as well um individually this one is limited stock if you're going for this particular bundle as an individual limited stock so you might only be able to get this as part of the one day special soon as well then the needle case which is only available as part of the one day special there we are let me just open that out so you can see it in all its glory there is some stitching inside as well you're getting your tweed you're getting your lining you're getting the hand dyed felt all of those beads and katrina has been so generous this time so, so generous. I think Ted had to tell her to stop at one point. It was telling me this morning, she just kept putting more and more in. It's like, enough, enough. You've got all the beautiful organzas in here, the tweed again. Oh, it's just stunning, isn't it? All of that, all those kits that I've just mentioned there, part of the one day special for £49.85, pence, but it is on Flexi. So all you need to pay today is £24.93. pence. Six, seven, eight. 299 is your item number. We've still got a few minutes left, so we're going to head back to Katrina. We're trying to give her as much demo time as possible this hour. So, Katrina, back to you. Okay, well, I'm going to look at the Garden Fox Clubs this time. So, this is a nice way uh, of using uh, organza. So, this time it's printed on a cotton fabric uh, and the design's printed on. So, that's you've got a guide there. And then you've got pieces of organza that you just place over the top. And that's going to give you the colour on your piece, just to, just a, a mistiness. And then once it's on there, I've secured it with uh, a couple of French knots, just to, in the same colours as the fabric, uh, just to keep it out the way. And I'm using this time. I'm going to use the seven-inch hoop. Uh, so you're just going to take the colours, and you're just going to go each foxglove. I mean, they come in just fantastic colours. So to start with, we're just going to do a straight stitch over the printed line and you're just going to create the flowers 
just cover the print and you'll find that because it's a variegated thread you'll be able to change that colour and see the, see, the, see the sort of change in it as you go along. You don't have to think about it, it just happens. So you just go from one flower to another and they just look fabulous in the garden. I've got some of these in that are different shades of, of pink and they're just great because they self seed everywhere. So the next year the garden looks great. And they just look like tall spires in amongst all the foliage. So they, and they flower for a long time. And sort of my garden's got a few shady spots in it, so they work well in there as well. So you just go over the over the stitching and that it grows quite quickly. And I think that's what is lovely about this kind of stitching is that it's not going to take hours and hours to complete. You're going to get more or less an instant effect with the stitching and you can see it just grow. Oh, Katrina, I've got the finished sample here. You've got some very pretty beads in this one. There's some lovely sort of... St they're almost like polished glass. They at are. The bottom there. I wonder if we could come in nice and close to the sample I've got. Look at these. Oh, they're they're just gorgeous. Uh, and there's a couple of those. And then, of course, you've got the white beads for the cow parsley. Yeah. You've got so a little really bit of, um, bit of texture gauze there. in there as well, which good, adds good texture. Texture from the organza there as well. You've got the height of the foxgloves. Beautiful. Again, if you want to go for the display hoops, this is a seven inch one. You get a pack with a four, a five and a seven, I believe. We'll, we'll bring the details up for that. Uh, lovely finished sample. Yeah, I've just spotted those beads. They're, I think they're my new favourite beads. I think they're, they're just lovely. So you'll get the beads and just stitch those on with the, the bead needle as you go through. But sometimes if you, um, I put the needle in and I put a certain size in uh, for you. But if you, if you uh, want, you can get a pebble. And the pebbles are great because they've got a mixed group of sizes. So if you're finding it difficult to thread one of, the, one of them, then there are a collection of larger needles with a larger iron, slightly heavier needle. And that's quite good, if you're, especially if you're working with wool. So it's, it's quite a nice thing to have, as well as the magnet. Uh, now, yeah, I've looked you know, on my I, table. I was waiting for a pause there. Uh, no, I can't find that. I've had oh. two magnets on it. Anyway, inside here is a magnet. All right, so I've just made a little... Uh, keeper for my threads and my needles and the magnet just allows the pins and everything not to fall on the floor so that's something that you can make you know if you've got the yeah. play around or the bits that you cut off from when you've mounted your work in a, in a hoop but the other thing that you can do is a pack of two magnets so what the idea is that you put the magnet on uh, the top and the mother magnet on the other yeah, side and you place. can just hold your scissors and everything in place as you're starting to work such a lovely idea so, so useful I think that's, qu that's quite nice yeah. but I, I've, I've sort of I've made quite a few of the magnets all right so I just any little piece that you cut off with the threads that are left over so you can use those you don't throw anything away just you can make a little little of a magnet holder put them on the fridge uh, for notes but then you know we've got a couple of spiders webs on that one few beads and then this one was more like the cherry blossom so I've got all the cherry blossom colors but I'm definitely going to do one for the beach colors as well Ooh, so no, that, that would be, be it's nice. a nice way just to have a little image on the fridge but really its main purpose is to be useful I just think they're such a lovely idea and they're going to make great gifts but what a way to practice those stitches as well again if you're new to this perhaps you want to just sort of practice on those smaller bits before you start with the main project as well and then you've got something very useful afterwards now the fox clothes proving very very busy actually now we've seen it i'm just going to hold this up again how much has gone 20% of the stock gone, just like that. Look at this, it's beautiful. You've got those gorgeous beads in there. You've got the white beads, you've got the organza. In fact, it's one of those kits again, they all are. It's the same with everything from Rowan Dean. Everything you need is straight in the pack. You know, you can watch the inspiration from Katrina here live in the studio, but of course you've got all of the instructions there as well. All of those different stitches, it's nothing complicated at all. And of course, as we've learned, there is no wrong. 
Okay, so we're almost at the end of another hour, would you believe it? Let's just give you a, a quick reminder again of the one day special and go through that because it's been very, very busy. We're looking there at the six cards. You're getting the blanks, you're getting the envelopes, you're getting, of course, the pre printed tweed, all of the threads, the sequins, the beads. I mean, there's some real texture in here. You've got the needle case, you've got the lovely lavender kit there as well. We are over 70% of the entire stock now gone. A reminder of you've just uh, joined us as well if you like the needle case individually that's sold out so if you really really love that then you will be looking at going for the one day special to get this but that's where the saving is you've got a saving of seven pounds in total and of course you've got a flexi on this one as well two payments 24 pounds and 93 pence check those baskets out we are so busy don't miss out we make sales in between shows as well myself and katrina are back at 12. katrina thank you so so much thank you that thank was you. a very packed show check those baskets out do not miss out uh did we all hear that then <laughs> Yeah, menu coming up. I think it was trying to get in a little bit early then. Oh, we've got a new supply coming up next. Looking forward to this. <laughs> yeah, brand new supplier coming up next. Do not miss this. This looks very interesting. Our Lou's back a little bit later at uh, 10 o'clock with Pent Out. Then we're letting Leonie loose. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Palace, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just um, the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. Um, I get to work with loads of really cool brands, um, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful um, viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. We are looking at a brand new supplier and oh my word, uh, wait till you see this. We are talking uh, the social circle. This is one of those things that you look at and go, why has this never been done before? For the sheer fact, it makes what was sort of cumbersome is a word. 
cumbersome, hard work. You're thinking, oh, I've got to do another one of those, or I've got to make another one of those, and I'll tell you what all those are shortly. Do not fear. All now in one tool. Pom-poms, tassels, friendship bracelets. I don't know if you've seen on the socials lately, friendship bracelets are very, very, they're back on trend again now, around the wrist and around the ankles as well. We are very busy already. I've not even given you an item number or a price yet. Not even introduced a guest, which I'm about to do now. Um, please be upstanding if you can. Give a warm welcome, uh, bless her. She knows her stuff. What she doesn't know about a pom-pom and a tassel is not worth knowing. Uh, it's our Katie. Good morning, my love. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Uh, no, not a problem. You're more <laughs> than welcome. Uh, right, and let's go. Before we talk about what we're making here, because we are making, like, from your pom-poms to your tassels to your friendship bracelets to your na uh, to necklaces to weaving to cord making and that's just six options that I've thought of uh, for a five in one I know uh, but <laughs> let's go all the way back how did you get into it and how did you be where you are today so I started uh, the social circle in 2013 um, I started teaching children sewing classes after school clubs then I got into birthday parties that continued and then in the workshops the girls were always asking can we make pom-poms can we make pom-pom class like okay sure I'll get some pom-pom makers in the ones that I had in were so difficult for them to use I was like there's got to be a better way to make a pom-pom and that's when I discovered the loom on Instagram these have totally changed my crafting game um, same as the kids in the workshops um, they're really sturdy to you, so I tested them with the girls in my workshops and classes. Uh, they loved them, so um, I brought them in. I started to design kits and products to go with them, um, accessories, basically anything to get you crafting and making more stuff. And that's when the mums started calling me to say, I want to make crafting stuff too. I want to have kits as well. I want to craft along with my kids. Um, so that's where I've just totally expanded the range, um, just anything to get people crafting and making. Um, it's so good um, for our mental health um, and it's so much fun and you get to make really cool stuff. So that's how it started. Um, that's why I still that's do. That's amazing. Though. And it is that case of, and it is a parent's worst nightmare. Molding it to me on many of occasions. Daddy, I need, to, I need four pom-poms and I need them by tomorrow morning. Oh, do you now? <laughs> uh, and then you scan around, you're cutting into um, cardboard boxes, half the cereals poured out because you thought, well, I need a box and I need something sturdy uh, to wrap it all around. Or then you can get them little plastic ones that are sort of the clips, but if you go too much, it doesn't clip together and you cut it and it's all wrong and you can't sew it properly. With this, We've took all the hard work out for you. Now, I've got them on their own, or I've got them part of kits as well. Now, they're five in one. Now, they come under two names. So this one here, okay, this one is your robot because it looks like a robot. Go with me. <laughs> this one here is the big A because obviously it looks like an A when we turn. I know it's upside down, but it looks like an A when it's turned around. Okay. With these, you can make things like your pom-poms, your tassels, your weaving, your friendship bracelets. You can also make your necklaces as well. Uh, choose which one. We will be demoing throughout the hour, but I have also got them in part of kits. £11.99, 511747 is your item number. The Loom Tool gift set is up next. Now, this is a gift set and a half. This is a beautiful, now you've got two options with this. You have got, you've got the robot or the big A, but you're gonna get everything else in the middle. Okay, let's work out what these all do now. So, they're five in one because they both make the same thing. They just do it in a slightly different way. Let's go That's right it. the way back to basics, because I don't know if you know, and they tell you, I've only got the one viewer, and we both started crafting together. Uh, me and the viewer, so we want to we want to start making. Which one would we go for? So when people uh, first see the tools, I usually ask them, would you make more pom-poms and tassels or more weaving? So for example, with the robot tool, and this one has two sides, um, two different ends. They're different widths. So on this tool, you can make two sizes of pom-poms two lengths of tassels really quickly. So this is tends to be the most popular one just because people love pom-poms. Um, with the big A tool, so the main difference between these tools is the weaving. So with the big A, you can have a 12 string warp here. 
So there's 12 different strings, and that just means your weaving's a little bit tighter, um, and you can make some really nice um, experimental weavings, which you can turn into little badges or little weavings to hang on your wall. So the weavings, just to compare um, apples with apples, the weavings on the robot tool are a little bit um, looser. You only have four strings, so it's okay. a bit looser. Um, so they just make two different styles of weaving. So if you're into your weaving, you go big A. Exactly. If you're into your pom-poms and your tassels, and let's be fair, who's not, uh, you go for your <laughs> robot. Okay, so your robot for your pom-poms uh, and tassels, but will still do everything else. If you're more into your weaving, go for the big A, but then you can still create everything else. Uh, you're also beginning getting the big Y in there as well. Uh, with the big Y, you can, these, I'm guessing, because we've called it big, we can make bigger pom-poms, bigger, bigger tassels, uh, bigger um, weaving, in, or is it smaller weaving because of the handle? Yeah, so the weaving on the extra large Y tool, so you warp it up from the two arms down to the middle, so it makes like a triangular weaving, which is good for like jewelry making, if you want to make like a woven cuff for a bracelet, that sort of thing, um, but yeah, it creates like a triangular shape weaving along you've, there. You've then got your friendship bracelets, and then, with your big Y, you've also got your cord, now, you know, they called it, uh, uh, when we used to go sailing with the school, uh, they used to have this massive boy. I know, <laughs> throw that in. It wasn't that all that it cracked up to. It was in the middle of a reservoir in the middle of Edgefast and it was freezing. Uh, but uh, they used to have a massive boy on the end of a piece of cord, which was absolutely, and you always thought, well, how do they make them? Uh, you can do that with this as well. Not only are you getting that, it all comes beautifully presented as well. You also get full instructions on how to use every project. And then, oh yeah, there's more. Uh, you're also getting your comb to make your tassels tasselless. So make it all nice and flowing without the mats in there. And then you also get your, what is the circle? So the little bamboo circle, where's mine gone here? Oh, these um, are the end of call, by the way, but you are getting them included in the kits. Yeah, so these are really brilliant. So a lot of people ask me, how do you get your pom-pom so round and perfect? And the key to that is using a trim guide. So when you have, for example, um, your pom-pom all nice and shaggy off the tool, lots of people tell me, oh, that's what my pom-pom looks like. And I'm like, no, you've got to trim it. So once you've got that kind of messy bundle, you hold your tool, and I'll demo this in a little bit, you hold your tool on top, and that's all that excess is what you cut off to create these really um, mm. nice, dense pom-poms. So that's you, how we get the professional pom-pom. Yes, yeah, so you need to use a trim guide. Essential piece of kit right here. <laughs> it is indeed, and you're getting that included in the kit. Two flexible payments of £24.25. and pence. Uh, one five three three eight three is your item number. Now, um, there is over, if you go and do your own research out there, on Katie's website, over 200 five-star reviews on our Katie's website. And we've took some off just to show you. So these are people like you. This is for the loom toolkit. So the loom is the big A option, isn't it? So she did more looming, as it were, if that is such a word. Uh, she said, I can't wait uh, for my daughter to get <laughs> stuck into making perfect pom-poms and little weaves. Uh, I know she's going to love it, and it looks to be extremely durable. It really is durable for big hands and little hands, isn't it, Gainey? But it doesn't matter the age, whether you're two or 92, you'll be able to knock off a decent pom-pom tassel or friendship bracelet. Totally. They're really tactile as well. If you really love to use like wooden tools, they're nice and sturdy. Um, they're laser cut bamboo, so that's a really nice sustainable material and just really lovely to hold in your hand as you're crafting. Uh, Bethan's up next talking about the robot option. Okay, once again, in the same kit, remember it's either or. Uh, since receiving this tool, uh, uh, since receiving this tool of dreams, I have been living in a pom pom haze. Well, I never. Uh, if anything, uh, the tool has ruined my life as it's simply uh, eat, sleep, and repeat pom poms. She loves a pom pom. Our uh, Bethan loves a pom pom. Uh, they are excellent quality throughout. Well, they will be. For the sheer fact, you are going to get perfect pom poms every time. Now I'm with you. You know me. I say it as it is. I'm heart my sleeve. When I first saw it, I thought, well, pom pom, just a pom pom. Is it not? When I was doing my research last night, I was like, well, a pom pom's just a pom And that, that's when I thought the shaggy pom pom. I was like, that's what all pom poms should look like. But then when you go to like your Nexts and your Debenhams, your House of Frasers and things like that, you have these beautiful pom poms on the cushions that are perfectly round. There's not a, a bit out of place. Well, these are the sorts of kits that you're going to be doing. So now add them on to your cushions. Add them on to your big necklaces, uh, headbands, alice bands, things like that. Now we're getting into the summer. 
you can start using them to start creating uh, things, should you wish. Very busy on this already, but then I have another kit for you. I've got a pom-pom starter kit. So if you're just thinking, um, I'd like a pom-pom, I'd just like to make pom-poms. Now, this kit in alone is amazing. You're getting merino wool in there. Let's just talk about that first of all. Merino wool for $27.99 plus your added accoutrement as it were. Oh yeah, very posh. Uh, 27 pounds and 99 pence. So you've got three color options. You've got rose and mustard, very on trend colors, love a mustard, violet and blue, and then you've got azalea and sky blue uh, that's also on there, including the kits as well. Beautifully presented, may I say. This is how your kits will come to you. Absolutely stunning. So a reusable uh, bag as well for the sheer fact if you've not got a craft room, where do you normally put all your sewing stuff that you do? Your sewing, your knitting, your crochet. Is it stuffed in a little carrier bag down the side of the sofa? Yes. Is to be the answer. Yes, or it's just shoved down the side of the sofa. Uh, with this, you've got the bag. Not only are you getting that, though, you are getting the robot tool included as well. Remember, this is still the, the five-in-one. This is still a five-in-one. So just because we're saying it's a beginner's pom-pom kit, it's not beginner's being the slightest. Let me put that first of all. Uh, you are still getting that five-in-one to make your pom-poms, to make your tassels, to make your weaves, to make your friendship bracelet, to make your cords that's in there. Not only are you getting that, you've also got your little guide in there. You're also getting the string. I'm guessing the string is to tie the pom-poms. To tie the centre of the pom-poms, yeah. So you get everything you need in this kit. The only, you're getting the trim guide included in there. So you also get your trim guide to make your perfect pom-poms. Uh, so you know everything's going to be working perfectly. If you want one of the wooden ones that you saw, you'll see there at the end of cool. Do not worry about that. But for £27.99, let's put the forest out there. You're getting merino wool. How many pom-poms, I know it's like asking how long you play string, would I get from two balls of wool? Uh, about 16, like, small to medium-sized pom-poms. So that is 16. What, in each colourway or a total? Total, with the two together. That's a yeah. lot of pom-poms. Yeah, it's about eight pom-poms per That is a lot of, of pom-poms. Uh, I don't know where I've said, oh, it's on the back, that's what it keeps reminding me, is the uh, sort of the rainbow. So you could have it rain round down, beautiful for children's room. Home decor is very big. Macrame is massive at the moment. And it's sort of on that line. This would work with your macrame style that we've got going on. Yeah, totally. You can add pom-poms to your weave. Um, here's the rainbow that you saw on the back. I brought it in. I've like <laughs> taken it, it down somewhere. from my kids' room. Um, so this is just an idea of what you can do with your pom-poms. Just a piece of plywood. Um, I've painted it in an arch, but you can string them up. You can make wall hangings. You don't need the rainbow. You could just have a dowel with strings of pom-poms hanging down to create like a statement piece for your wall. Could, could, <laughs> they say this is where my mind works. Could we make a mat? Can you join uh, pom-poms together? Yeah, so you can get that, um, you know what you use for latch hook? It's like a yes, canvas yes, yeah, yeah, webbing. So you can do that. What I find works best for like pom-pom rugs is keeping your pom-poms a little bit shaggier so that it's not like stepping on balls. <laughs> so keep your pom-poms a bit shaggier if you're going to attach them to the like webbing to make a pom-pom But once you've got your starter kit, <laughs> and it's not a starter kit, I'm going to stop calling it a starter kit because it's not a starter <laughs> kit at all. You get so much in here. Um, you are good to go. You, you can, the world is your oyster because not only, as I said, you're not only making pom-poms with this, you're making your cords, you're making your friendship bands, you're making your, uh, your tassels in there, you're making your pom-poms as well. And we all love a good tassel. You can't go wrong and I'll be coming on to those uh, shortly as well. Oh, another review, little from Becky that we've got here. Absolutely adores this kid. Another five-star review. Finally bought it and made a wonderful Easter gift for, a nine, for my nine-year-old daughter who loves it uh, to be creative and all things crafty. I love how quickly you can make a pom-pom. Um, gone are the days of wrapping the wall around a circle of cards. See, this is what I was talking about. Around a circle of card for hours on end, and it took weeks. And if you only miss one, oh, you'd have it. Uh, going to make a rainbow pom-pom <laughs> wreath for Christmas. Oh, how not about it. Ooh, beautiful house for Christmas. I want to see the wreath. Uh, 27 pounds and 99 pence is what you're looking at. 450048 is your item number. Now, a cord and bead necklace kit. I love this because I, I love the fact, I love the yarn that you've got in there. Even our director is now getting excited as well. Uh, it, this is t-shirt yarn, is it not? Yeah. So it's recycled from the textile industry in Portugal. So it's giving a second life to um, fabric that would normally go to landfill. So you could do bracelets or necklaces with this kit. Look at these. 
So you imagine doing these now, that little breath, uh, little dress even, uh, in the beer garden. We've all been there over the weekend, sitting there. You want that little bit, you want that little bit of jewellery to go on there. You don't want nothing too blingy, you just want something subtle. You can do this in the colourways that I'm about to show you as well. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, £25 and £99. And the tactile, which I'm guessing if they're t-shirt yarn, they're washable. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's just throw that. <laughs> Let's throw that into there. Uh, Twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. We are looking. Are we getting all these colourways? Or is it two colourways here? It's two oh, there's two options. Way. Okay. You've got blue mint and oh, it's all in the program. Uh, blue mint and orchid is what you've got first of all. Then you've got salmon, aqua, and yellow. I like. You imagine doing the. How beautiful are these colourways? Once again, this time though, you are getting the uh, the big A uh, that's in there. So you are getting the big A in this kit. Is that because this is an easier technique with the big A, or if I'm going for, maybe I'm going for this kit and I'm going to throw in the robot as well for 11 99 could I still do them both on the same tool? Yeah, you can make cords on the robot as well, I'll just show that here. So this is the robot um, corded up. Um, so you can do the same. I chose the big A just to offer something different because the pom-pom kit comes with the robot, so I thought I'd do the big A in the necklace kit. But like I said, you can do also cords on I'd like the that robot. I'd like my car keys. I'm now just donning, donning jewelry <laughs> now I am. I'm just going all out. Loving it. Look at this. Matching necklace and bracelet. Look at it. Love it all. Uh, so do we get enough in the kit to make a uh, uh, bracelet and a necklace or do we choose one or the other? So there's enough to make three necklaces or you could do with one of the bundles, you could do two bracelets instead of one necklace. So you can mix and match how you do it. You can mix and match. I don't think I can get this bracelet off. £25.99. Uh, <laughs> Another review from our Emma. Uh, Emma, I bought two of these kits, someone's doing well, uh, one for my daughter and then one for her friend. Uh, they both created beautiful necklaces uh, that uh, they are wearing and they, could you adapt them with a pom-pom? Could you throw a pom-pom into this if you wanted to? Yeah, if you want to, it's got beads on it, but you could also attach some little pom-poms to the end or a little tassel. So now these are beautiful kits, easy to get going, well worth the money. Sorry, I went back to the review then, I thought I was fetching. Uh, that's from our Emma, another five star <laughs> review. It, see, yeah, and these are people like you. These are people that are currently sitting at home like you at the moment going, nah, just a pump pop, innit? So I, do, I can make pop pops. Can you? Can you make <laughs> professional looking pom poms though? Because normally, as we've read in that reviews before, uh, you have to cut up the cardboard packet, then you have to wrap it all the way round, then it's. It's literally really, really easy. Whether you're two or 92, <laughs> you can make professional, and that's the key word here, professional quality products. Whether it be a pom-pom, whether it be a tassel, that bag making kit that you've got. Maybe you've bought all that beautiful K-Facet uh, material or you bought the William Blake material the other day and you've got beautiful wool to match, but you think it needs a tassel. Now I'm just gonna wait for them to put tassels on the TV. We don't need to wait anymore. You can start making your own tassels. And I'm sure once you get the kit home and you work out the science of how they all work, you can go to town with these things. Right then, should we see this in action? Let's see it in action. Right then, what are you showing me first? So first we are going to do a little pom-pom demo since I know that's probably the one that you're like, I've got to know how they work. Um, so we're going to um, just use the robot tool for ease. Um, I've picked a few of my favorite yarns from my stash. Um, so I've got a mix. Um, they're all natural fibers. So I've got some of the merino wool um, and then I've got this lovely um, little hand dyed yarn um, just to add that little extra special color to it. So I'm going to hold the loom tool in my hand. So here's a trick um, to wrap your pom-poms a bit quicker, is to pull the yarn from the middle of your ball and the yarn from the outside. So you're wrapping two strands at the same time and that just makes it go a little bit quicker. Um, so these tools have handy little notches on the end. So those are to just hold your yarn in place. And these are hard working tools, but they're bamboo tools. Yeah. So they're not gonna, they're not flimsy, they're not flexible, they're, they're made for the job as it were. Yeah, so this one's got a little bit, let me give myself a bit of slack. And then I'm just going to hold it, I'm just wrapping around. So once I think that's enough of that color, I want to switch my color, I just put the ends in another notch just a multicolored 
one, these pom-poms are really good for using up your yarn scraps, that sort of thing. Um, so you don't need much. If you keep your yarn scraps from other projects, you can just wind them around a little bit and make lots of multicolored ones. Obviously, if you want a single colored one, you just wind one color. Um, but I think the multicolored ones always look quite nice. So I'm going to do a bit of yellow. Have a little notch in the end, so you're never going to lose the end. Yeah, you, you always just put know it where in you the start notch. and where you stop. Yeah, and you're just just loading it on basically. So there is, um, in the guide, it does tell you if you want a certain size pom-pom, how many times to wrap it. But it really is, you can just do it by eye once you've got a nice fat bundle. Could you overwrap? Is there too much? No. <laughs> so the trick with getting dense pom-poms is you need to wrap more yarn onto the tool. Also, if you want a bigger pom-pom, just wrap more yarn onto it and it will make a bigger pom-pom. So you can't overwrap, but you can underwrap if you, um, they turn out a little bit sparse if you don't add enough yarn. So Even the sparse ones, though, are still nice yeah, for like, mixed so media projects like and things like that. We call it the starburst pom-poms. <laughs> it's just like, just adds that little bit of texture there. I've got a bit of a tangle. There we go. So I'm just going to wrap it round and round. Um, I've switched hands a couple times, so they're good for lefties and righties. I'm a lefty, but um, there we go. I think I'll add a little bit more, and then I will show you how to tie the center of the pom-pom. So when you're like troubleshooting pom-poms, maybe at home you're like, oh, I've made a pom-pom, but they always fall apart. The trick to making sure your pom-pom doesn't fall apart is when you tie the middle string, so I'll tell you about that now. So when you tie the center of your pom-pom, you want to make sure that you're using a strong string or embroidery floss, not um, yarn that you've used. Because if you use yarn, if you pull it too tight, it will just snap. Um, and you want to make sure your middle knot is really, really tight. So I've got um, crochet cotton. And like I said, you can use embroidery floss as well. Um, someone even told me they use dental floss to tie the middle of their really? pom -poms. <laughs> So, I mean, if you're like hard going and you haven't got anything else, um, you could always Wait, use. not, want not, <laughs> I suppose. You could always use dental floss. So, to tie the center, so you can see I've got like a nice thick bundle on there ready to tie the middle of the pom pom. So, I'm just going to put my string down there. I'm going to wrap it once around and pull it through the back again. So, I just grab that. And then we're going to do. Um, what's called like a double overhand knot. So I want to just make sure that you can see this. There we go. So I've wrapped it once around. Just make sure your string is like nice in the middle. And then it's just like tying your shoelaces, the left over right. But we're going to do it one more time, left over right again. And just pull that snug. So we've done that, it just grips the yarn a little bit more. Before I tighten it and um, tie the rest of the knot, I'm just gonna slide it off and then I can pull it much tighter. I'm just gonna hold that in place and then just do a single knot to tie it. And then you want to have a really, you shouldn't be able to feel the yarn move around at all in there. It's a nice, tight bundle. And then I tend to just do another double knot on the other side. So I'm just going to separate so I can pull my yarn through just in case um, that knot fails me. Um, it's never happened, but I just feel a bit better having two <laughs> double knots in there. You, you, you know the minute just you put into that on the case. telly, we're going to have little pieces of yarn in. Yeah, so I'm just going to do another double knot there. And then we're going to cut all of our loops and trim it up. So I'll just tie my knot. And then we are ready to go. So to remember, trim. though, if you are going for the pom pom kit on its own, we've called it a pom pom kit, but it's slightly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be upfront with you. You can do so much more with it with just pom poms. Uh, obviously, we put the yarn in there for your pom pom because you are getting your pom pom guide and yours to get in there. But you're getting your merino wool. So if you want merino tassels, uh, you've got those in there. If you want a merino cord bracelet, if you want a merino friendship bracelet, you've got the wool and the yarn already included in the kit as well. Three different colorways. You've got rose and mustard, uh, violet and blue and azalea and sky bloat that's in there. Uh, it's nice to have, maybe when the grandkids come around, maybe just for you. You're a card maker and you're just getting bored of making cards. We all go through that stage. You go, I just want something else to do. You could just sit and make a couple of pom-poms. Knock a couple of pom-poms out. 
it's wor worth to have a go in it. And then you've got a staff, your mixed media projects, all those little crochet projects that uh, our Catherine is going to bring to you as well. Right then, we are very, very busy this hour. Let's go back to the crucial part of making a pom pom is the cutting. You're going to do is just get your scissors under those loops and cut it. So if you're doing multicolored one, this is where all the magic happens. All your patterns come out. So you're just cutting all those loops. I'm using um, nice strong scissors. So I'm just cutting the loops. Make sure you get all of them. There we go. And then this is uh, the shaggy bit. But we're going to trim it up so it's nice and round and dense. And that's where it, this little bamboo trim guide comes into play. So I'm just going to hold it center to center over my Now bundle. in the pom-pom kit you just get the cardboard one. You get you? a card one, yeah. So it's the same size um, but I love to use the bamboo one um, and I'll show you in my next demo what else you can make with this little trim if guide. If you want a bamboo one, if you think I'm going for the pom-pom kit and I would love a bamboo one, they are at the end of call. That's just before you check your baskets out we go, oh just before you go, would you like and that's where you that's where you do. Can you do any could you do anything with the off cuts with the pom pom? Yeah, so one of the reasons why I only use merino wool and natural fibers in the pom pom kits is because I was doing it with acrylic and I thought, oh my gosh, what a waste. Um, so I switched it to merino because you can use it for stuffing for your sewing projects, or if you do like wool felting of any kind, you could use the little off cuts for wool felting. Um, or you can compost them. So that was my thing. I don't want to create a lot of waste with my crafting. Ooh. So at least, um, as long as it's 100% natural fiber, you can compost it so it doesn't um, go to landfill. This looks quite satisfying. Yeah, so I've cut all the way around. You can see how dense it is there. Um, I'm just going to turn it on its side and cut one more time just to get those corners. And then I just trim the rest up by eye. But you can already see, I've got the bulk of the excess off there. So there we go. I give it a little Oh here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Drum roll. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, look at that. There we go. So then I've just got uh, another pair of scissors to help me just, just there's always going to be a few like little bits sticking up. So just get those. I'm just going to rotate it around and um, snipping and cleaning it up. Um, but you've got the bulk of the trimming done using the guide, and here you just trim it up. And there I would add, I'd have these massive pom pom, and I just keep cutting it, be down like to the size of a pea. Yeah, the so I'm that's finished. the thing. If you do it by eye, you don't know where to stop, or it comes out a little bit lopsided. So that's where the trim guide comes in handy. So there we go. I think that's pretty Look at good. These perfect pom poms every single nice colors time. and then with the wool as well the fibers um, just naturally felt themselves together and stick together so for example some of these um, I've made years ago um, and they've just come around with me at different workshops um, and shows and stuff and they still look really beautiful so they keep their shape really well oh, they're amazing look at these if you've got, and I know I keep talking about kids, but if you've got like <laughs> little little ones uh, that uh, that play shops, these are like lollipops. We do a lot of that in our house at the moment. Uh, but we make lollipops, and we we sort of m try and make things. That's just me. Uh, I do TV on the own. Uh, but <laughs> if you are making things, I know little ones would absolutely adore to do this, and they could do this as well. But not even little ones. You are watching at home now, going, my pom poms never look like that. My pom-poms are always straggly. They're always wild. Well, now you can have the perfect pom-pom and it all goes down to the right tools for the job. But not only can you create pom-poms, there is so much more that you can create once you get this home. We are looking at a tassel. We are looking uh, at weaving. You're looking at, I'm choking at so time. Uh, you're looking at cords and you're also looking at friendship bracelets. Uh, absolutely beautiful. You could turn them into earrings. You could turn them into necklaces. You could make a whole set of jewellery and it's all yours. Uh, 450048 is your item number. Is for the pom pom kit. Uh, thank you, Katie, my love. I will be back That's to you okay. very, very shortly. <laughs> Do not worry about that. But we are very, very busy. Let me show you the tools on their own, first of all, because there's two different. OK, if you just want to get started, obviously, you are now going to need your own wool which you'll find on the website. I found some uh, alpaca wool uh, that's on the website uh, at the moment that you, if you want to use that. 
or you've got some of your own. You've got the robot or you've got the big A. The only thing you need to add to these is a pair of scissors, which you'll also find on the website as well, and your own yarn which I've also got on the website because I have checked for you. £11.99, that is for the tools on their own. You've got the robot or you've got the big A. They both do the same thing, but if you like to, do, if you like to weave more, I would go for the big A. If you like to make pom-poms and tassels, I would go for the robot. Uh, in there. Absolutely love it. £11.99. pence. But you do get these in your kits as well. Now I have got the kit that's also on flexible payments. Now this is your um, loom tools gift set. Includes your four loom tools and also your project book as well. Now the only thing you need to add with this is once again is yarn. Find it on the website and scissors. You'll find it on there as well uh, because you only get one of the tools. So if you like to do more pom poms and tassels you're going to go for your robot option but not only do you get the robot you also get the big Y which if I turn this around you can see then what you can actually do with it uh, everything is on the back okay so once again it's going to guide you through everything you're also then going to get your pom-pom guide uh, which is down at the bottom and you're also going to get your pom-pom comb your tassel comb to make all sure your tassels are all nice and beautiful uh, or your other option is going for the big a that you've got in there your project book though is everything is broken down step-by-step -step guides on how to use everything it is beautifully packaged it's a beautiful gift and it's a project that you can put away and pick out whenever ever you need it but not only that though let's once again let's play devil's advocate with this i get any of these kits home i've read the instructions i've watched the telly on rewind many a time and i still don't quite understand what i'm doing with it is there anywhere else to go or well, once i bought the kit am i on my own no, definitely not. So The Loom has created over 150 um, short videos on YouTube. So if you just search The Loom on YouTube, you'll find the library. It goes through all the skills. Um, there's different pattern pom-poms. There's all the different types of tassels, how to do the cords. There's loose cording, tight cording. There's about eight different variations on the friendship bracelet. Um, so you learn how to do all of them. Um, by the YouTube videos, um, but you can also just DM me on Instagram. I'm always in my DMs, always on stories, and I'm more than happy to help if you ever have uh, any trouble with your pom-pom making or any of the crafts with the loom. So you are never on your own. So what you're buying into is you're buying into a masterclass is what you're buying into. A bit like our Susanna. Susanna bought into this as well, and she loves it. She did my, she's got the big A kit. Uh, she says, my son and I love our loom. We can't stop making pom-poms. Well, who could? Once you've got the tools and it's easy to do, you just keep making them, I'm guessing. You're just like, oh, I'll just make another one. It was quick and easy. Uh, Gabby said the same sort of thing as well. Another five-star review uh, from uh, the website as well. Uh, you've got, that's Georgina, though. Georgina loved her pom-poms as well. Great little item, she thought. I bought it. Oh, my God. Uh, now, <laughs> now I've got Aaron. See? Review after review after review after five star after five star after five star. Uh, 153383 is your item number one. Now, that was for your uh, start, like basically your loom kit. That's, that is your like everything kit. Everything is in that kit that you need. You just have to. Now we've got the pom pom kit. But once again, with your pom pom kit uh, that you've got there, so you're getting your robot tool. Once again, the robot tool is a five in one tool. You can buy that on its own for 11 99 today. And in theory, I did my research last night and I did some more this morning. I've not seen that for any, even your website is more than what we're selling them here at the moment for. Uh, so go and, do your web, uh, don't, go and do your own research on this. I think retail they're about $16.99, just saying. Uh, but this, uh, you're getting that in student your kit. Your kits arrive like this. This is how your kits will arrive. You get full booklets and then it's down to you to pick your colorways that you want to go for. I am loving this set of colorways here at the moment. This is your rose and mustard. So on trend at the moment that you've got. You've also got your violet and blue option in the middle. And last but no means least, Azalea and Sky Blue is what we're looking at. 450048 is your item number. £27.99. and pence. Uh, Let's go to the random generator of reviews. Uh, it's Roz. 
fun and easy to use. Really good idea. Very, very happy. Remember, they are made from bamboo as well, and it's merino wool. They are sturdy and durable, and they are sustainable, which we also love as well. Uh, if you're thinking, which is all well and good, but I want to make some jewellery out of them into my jewellery making kits, we've got that as well. But this time in t-shirt yarn. Now, if you've never used it before, it's the same material that you make in your t-shirt, so it's got that bit of stretch to it as well. Uh, but with this one, there are two different colorways. You are either getting your blue, your turquoise, and your blue mint or orchid. I was close. Uh, then you've got salmon, aqua, or your yellow. You get the beads included as well. Obviously, your beads are to go on the end. I've just noticed mine have been painted. Uh, they go on the end there, so you can colour them uh, to match. How beautiful is that? And then you've got your matching bracelets to go with it as well, so you know everything is gonna, um, everything is gonna work. I reckon, can we make to sell with these? Sure, yeah. <laughs> You said it on the I'll tell you something about the cord necklace, oh, yeah, how on. it came to be. Um, always from since I was a child, I always liked to hand make my Christmas gifts. So one year I was like, oh, what can I send? So my family lives in Canada, so I needed something like compact and small that I could send to my aunt's cousin's mum. Um, so I made them all necklaces and they all loved them and they get compliments on, on them all the time and I thought I'll just turn it into a kit. So that's how it started. I made them as gifts um, for Christmas so everyone got a corded necklace one Christmas. They're smart because I'm guessing you can do them different thicknesses as well. You're yeah, it depends. yeah, it depends on the t-shirt yarn. So some, just because of the nature of it being recycled, some is a bit bulkier, some is a bit thinner. So the thinner t-shirt yarn works nicer for um, neck or for bracelets, sorry. Um, the chunkier one I think looks really good um, as a necklace. Um, and then you could also, you don't have to cord it like this. You could do it longer. So if you had a thinner one, you could make it a bit longer, put the beads however you like on them. The options are really endless. So. It's worth having a little look. It really, really is. £25.99. Um, now, there are two uh, people that really love these kits. Let's go back to the random generator of reviews. Anon loves this kit as well. Um, I thought that was a name. It's not. It's just anonymous. Uh, with, uh, with a newborn and toddler underfoot, I'd love having a crafty project that I could complete in a short period of time. Um, which you can, I suppose, with these. You can sort of pick them up and put them down whenever you want to. Uh, the fact that I got some cute, uh, something cute to wear out of it was a bonus. That's from Anon. Random Generator has come up again. Here's our Emma this time. Uh, I've bought two of these kits. One for my daughter and then my daughter's friend. They both love them. Now, but I suppose you, will, you are making uh, something that they can wear. This will be cracking for little parties. Well, and that's how it all starts. Uh, beautiful necklace uh, uh, I'm wearing and there's also the pom-poms on the way too. Beautiful uh, beautiful kits are very easy to use and well worth the money. Uh, it is worth having a little, little look at these because they are made for any hands in mind from 2 or 92 I reckon you could use these from £25.99 and, and that is for your necklace uh, that you've got on there. Right then, let's go back for another demonstration. What are we up to this time? Well, I thought since we were chatting about the necklaces, I'll show you how to make yes. the necklace. Just so that you can see how easy it is. So I've picked the yellow from the kit because it's a nice vibrant um, colour for summer. Uh, and I've got my big A ready to go. So when you start off your necklace, um, you want to leave a little bit of slack just so that you've got um, the little end bit to tie up. So what you're going to do is just hold your slack in the back and we're just creating two figure of eights around our tool. So I've just wrapped it around twice. I'll show you once more just so you can see. So I'm just wrapping it over, under, over under so two figure of eight and because it's a little bit stretchy um, it's really easy you just pull the bottom two loops over the top and then just pull it to tighten it I'm going to do another figure of eight pull the bottom two loops over the top and that's all you do you just keep creating your figure of eights pull it tight and your cord will start forming so figure of eight again Pull the bottom two loops over the top two, pull it tight, and you can start to see the cord forming in the back. So it's really easy to do, something nice to do um, while you're sitting on the sofa, watching TV, you've got a movie on and you want to do something that you don't have to really concentrate too hard on, and you just keep 
pulling it to tighten it. And you can already see the cords starting to form in so the back So this is using there. the big A. Would we do the same over the robot's arms? It's exactly the same. Yeah, you do it over the robot. And same with the extra large tool, the Y-shaped tool. You do the cord the exact same way over the two top arms there. So you can do this craft with any of the tools. The good thing about the kit is that it comes with the t-shirt yarn already. And same with the beads, um, they're hand drilled because you need a really big hole to feed it through the t-shirt yarn. So it's not just any um, wooden bead. Um, they're, they've all been hand drilled to have that extra big hole for the necklaces so that you can thread it on really easily. So that's all you do. You just keep going, you get your rhythm with it and you just keep going and it gets longer and longer and then you just decide how long you want your necklace to be or if you're doing a bracelet, just measure it around your wrist. Um, but that's it, it's really easy because um, it's stretchy. So you can just keep going like that. And if you think, um, oh, my tension's not quite right or um, it's not quite even, you can just do this. So you just pull it out and start all over pull it again. Out and start it again, yeah, it's super simple. It's worth having a look at this. The details are on the screen. Twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two nine five nine two three is your item number. Uh, jump to the website. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go uh, because then you can also create a flexible basket as well. Uh, let's get our rube kit. We're going to get in the big eight. You can go for either or. Okay, they both do the same job. If you like weaving more, though. I would go for the big A, uh, and then if you like, uh, we're going for violet and blue in the pom-pom maker as well. We're going to put that in to open up a flexible biscuit, and someone's, someone's on the fence. Uh, we've also got the salmon as well in this one. Uh, from there, we've also got the books throw in as well for all your pom-pom needs uh, that you need. So you go all the way up and check out your baskets, so go to the baskets. So there's our three things. Now we want to put on flexi. Okay, that will put everything onto Flexi. Remember, one thing in your basket on Flexi will put everything onto Flexi. For those three kits today, I think it was three kits in a book, uh, 58 pounds, and then you've got your end of calls. Now, this is where you can add that extra uh, two-in-one pom-pom trimmer. And it is a two-in-one. It does more than trim pom-poms because you see the little notches in it. That will also do something in there as well. Uh, then you've got a couple more books in there as well, should you want to, little crochet books. Uh, you can't go wrong with that uh, so our loom kit has been very very busy uh, this hour is what we're looking at uh, we are uh, loving them all uh, for you've got your pom-pom kit then you've also got your loom kit in there as well uh, from your loom kit now it's a, either or you either go for your robot loom kit or you go for your big a the big a is in the lead so far uh, they both do the same job if you like warm weaving, I would go for your big A. If you like more pom-poms and tassels, uh, I would also I'd go for the robot. It's a either or. You get your trimmer in there, you get your tassel comb in there as well, uh, and you also get uh, the big Y. It all comes beautifully packaged. Look at this. How beautiful is all this? Literally, you've got somewhere to keep it all time and time again. Uh, beautiful little boxes uh, that you're getting in here with all your kit needs. Uh, right then, can we have a look in this in more detail? Which one? Whichever, whichever oh, one yeah. you feel. Can we, go, can we go loom? Can we look at the loom kit? Um, How to loom? Yeah, so for the weaving, yeah. So I wanted to show you the weaving just because that's what really sets the big A apart. So this is how um, it looks to set it up. So here's an example of something you could make with the weaving. So this is a cute little badge you could have on your jacket or your bag. Um, so they're really sweet ways to use up your yarn scraps. So I'm going to show you how to warp it up and then I'll show you a few rows on this one and how to take it off of your loom. So we're going to start with warping it up. I've got my blank one here. So like I said, with the kit, um, once you have the tool, you can keep doing all the crafts. Um, so if you finished your pom-pom kit or finished your necklace kit, you just keep making um, the next crafts. Um, because once you have the tool, you've got it. You could just keep going. Um, so I'm going to start by warping up my big A. So I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape um, just to hold it in place. And then it really is as simple as, let me just make sure we've got the right angle here, wrapping it around the tool. So just going around and around 
So we go around the top ones, then we go back through the bottom ones. Yeah, so each bottom notch will have two warp strings in it. And I'm just wrapping around, get myself a little bit of slack here. So it's really simple to warp it up. And then the thing with the tin is that you can just drop your weaving in the tin to take it with you if you're going traveling or you want to do um, crafting on the go. So we've got two here. And then again, I'm just using crochet cotton um, for the warp string. So it's really versatile. There we go. And let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. So, just going to finish that and then tape that down as well. So, I've got 12 here. There we go. On the front, oh, I missed one. So once you've got it warped up, then you're ready to start weaving. Um, so I've got here a bent tip weaving needle. And then you can just use any sort of yarn that you want. Um, so here we're just going to start um, just under, over, under, over. And you can just continue like that. It's really helpful if you have a bent tip needle. Um, just to pick up those strings and just leave a little tail and then at the end you'll be able to um, weave them in. So going back, I'm going over, under, over, under and I'm just working my way across, across the way. So many and just pull it through. Yeah, it's really good if you're doing like sometimes with the bigger weaving looms and you think, oh gosh, I don't want to commit to that sort of size of a project or maybe I want to just experiment with something a little bit smaller. This is a really good like introduction to weaving. And then as you go along, you've got your little comb, which of course can be used to comb out your tassels, but you can also use it as a weaving beater to push Aww. down your work. So everything with the loom is multiple uses with the same tool. So use that little comb to push down your work, make sure it's really nice and tight, and then keep going with your next row. So just always over, under, over, under, and you just keep going along. So I'll do a couple of rows, um, and then I'll show you how to just take it off, and you can create a little badge um, using just a safety pin, um, and they're really sweet little gifts. And you just keep going along like that. And remember, is this the same tool that we are weaving on now that you still do your pom-poms on, that you still make your tassels on, uh, that you still do your friendship bracelets on, that you do your cords on as well? It will take all sorts of materials through it as well, from your t-shirt uh, material all the way up through to your big and chunkies, I'm guessing, as well. Yeah, so if you use a thicker, and you can see on this row, I've used like a really chunky roving yarn to just create that nice like raised bump there. Um, so you can use thicker yarns, you can use thinner, like this little badge was made with like sock fingering weight yarn, so really thin. Um, each yarn will give its own effect. So even with the pom pom making, I always say like just have a little experiment and um, find which yarn, which yarn you like. You can mix and match the yarns in the same pom pom. There's good no for off cuts as well. Yeah. So if you finished your jumper or your knit toque or your hat um, and you've got the end of the skein or end of the ball and it's not enough to make another project, keep all those little bits and pieces because as long as you've got enough yarn to wrap a couple times or for the weaving to do a few rows, um, they're worth saving and then you don't waste um, any yarn and turn all your little scraps into other projects, that sort of thing. So I'll just finish this row and then I'll show you how to take it off the loom so that you can use the loom for other projects. So I'll just cut that off. So when you're ready to take your project off the loom, you can just take off the masking tape here. And then you just cut across. So I'll just lift up the strings to cut across here. Okay. So you just cut across the back. And then to turn it into a badge, so you're just cutting and then just gently 
take it off the notches there. And then it just lifts up. So that would be your weaving. So here, um, I would just tie little double knots at the bottom to secure the bottom of the little weaving. And then on the back, um, it literally is just um, a little piece of felt, some fabric glue. You just fold them over. You could even iron it a little bit to hold them nice and secure. And just put a little bit of fabric glue, a little bit of felt. Um, with your safety pin and then that will create a nice little badge or you could use a little tiny dowel as well if you want to have oh. it to hang on the wall um, but they're really simple it's nice in your mixed media use. projects on your canvases and stuff like that remember think really do think outside the box this is not a one drink pony you can use this in so many different elements uh, that you're using at the moment i'm currently playing with a tassel at the moment because look at what you can create with this it is absolutely uh, beautiful. Cook, we're going to go slightly off piece. Would you be able to show us how to make a tassel? Yeah, sure. It's really easy. Put you on your spot for your first show. <laughs> uh, well, you said I'll do some numbers. Uh, but then I was thinking, if you just look at that bit there, you imagine getting a glass jar, doing these in white, and making little snowmen. For your Christmas scenes and things like that, you could have little snowmen, uh, little snowmen antlers, little baubles that you're going to make. The kids can do it. They'll need a hand with the scissors, but if you get safety scissors, if you're buying some safety scissors, they're perfectly do. Could I just say, on a side note, I got ID'd yesterday for scissors. Scissors and foam tape I bought, and they ID'd me. But then, when I bought the bottle of wine, nothing. Uh, £24.25 is what you're looking at. It costs two flex payments. payments. Um, somebody else that loves the lube and the five-in-one, it's our Emily. This could be our Emily from the office. She's She dabbles in everything. Uh, can't wait for my daughter. Oh, she's not got a daughter. Uh, can't wait for my daughter to get stuck in and to making the perfect pom-pom and the little weaves. I know she's going to love it and she'll be extremely durable too. They are really, and they are for all hands. Uh, everyone can do one of these. Have we got more reviews? Susanna is up next. Uh, my son and I love our loom. We can't stop making uh, pom-poms. Any more? We've got Gabby as well, the random computer generator. Uh, I love using, uh, I have used other pom-pom tools before, but this is far the easiest and most fun. It makes lovely tassels as well. Uh, we've had a question in from Myra. Thank you, Myra, for your question. Thank you for watching. For the necklace kit that I've got down the road, could you turn them into bag handles? Short yarn, um, where's my necklace gone? It's quite stretchy, so you'd want to make sure it was more um, of like a lighter clutch bag sort of thing. Um, I wouldn't want to put this on like a book bag or a tote that would be carrying a lot of weight, but you can see they're quite strong. Um, but yeah, I would do it more as like a decorative. I wouldn't pile all my... She's saying, would, could you use fine leather strips in the same way to create the braid and then yeah. use that as a handle? Yeah, so you can use other types of material. You have to remember, though, that leather isn't stretchy, so it will be a bit harder um, to pull the loops over the two arms. But you can do it. It will be... Um, a looser cord than this one because you saw it when I did the demo I was pulling it tight um, and because it has that stretch it kind of compresses a bit so if you're using leather it would be a little bit looser um, and it doesn't have that stretch so that's why I like the t-shirt yarn because it just makes it easier to do but the best thing to do have a play have a go what's the worst that can happen it'll just be a bigger necklace by the end of the day <laughs> that's all it will be uh, right then we have got two and a half minutes Oh gosh, do you, to make you want the tassel or do you want me to do the friendship bracelets? Tassel, they're saying tassel, tassel. in my ear, they're saying okay. tassel in my ear. <laughs> okay, so um, my favourite tool for the tassel is the extra large tool, so let's go for... The big Y comes in the kit, the details are on the screen, and your friendship bracelet kit, that smaller circle, is also on the kit as well, but you'll find all that on YouTube. So the only difference with the pom-poms is that you want to make sure you start and end on the same side of the tool. So I've got my notch there. With tassels, oops, um, with tassels you don't need to wind as much yarn. So I'm just going to do a little bit just to make a nice little tassel. So that's probably good. And I'm just ending on the same side so I know I've got my little notch there. I'm going to cut that. So this is basically our tassel. Grab some strong string same that we use for the pom-poms same that's in your pom-pom starter kit i'm just going under one layer so i've just gone through the middle okay. there 
pull that up to the top and just tie a little double knot. So I've kept this quite long um, in case I want to attach my tassel to anything. So you're tying your knot at the top there. And then I want a little string around to create a head of my tassel. So I'm just going to wrap that around here. If you are trying to order on the app, we know it's down. It's been down since yesterday. So don't worry about it. We are on it. We are on it. And then I'm just going to slide my tassel off the tool. And then you can tidy up the top part if you want to wrap it a few more times. This is a, this is a game changer wrap in the it world a couple of, of times. costume making Tie. for parents. A double knot here just to secure it. You can use contrasting yarn, you can use the same yarn, you don't even have We've to got tie. 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, <laughs> down to the wire. Here we go, ready? We're ready, we're ready. Cut your loops. There's your tassel. Ah, oh, look at that. You just cut the pink one, make it all look nice. You are good to go. Then you can turn your tassels and put it on to your pom-poms and then you can also put it on to your moons as well. Right then, we're not meant to, but where do we find you on the socials? Give yourself a plug. Let's start with Instagram. So uh, it's social, S-E-W-C-I-A-L underscore circle for Instagram. Facebook is the same. Just search The Social Circle and you can find me on my website, thesocialcircle.com. There you go. There we go. Our oh, little tassel. Yeah. Give it a little well trim. done. Well done. You, we, we crammed so much in and we <laughs> sort of went off piste as well. Just to test you. Just a little <laughs> test that we put you through. Uh, we've only got 25 seconds left. Uh, any questions, jump to the website. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed. Start checking out your baskets if I was you as well because. You are in for a treat. You really, really are. These are a game changer. It really is. Made of bamboo and fully strong. Uh, thank you again, Katie. Always a pleasure. Thank Don't you. you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for. I will see you in an hour's time. Yes, you need the next three hours look a little bit like this. Pentart Mixed Media. Oh, then I'm going to let Leone loose. Then it's a little bit of Rowan Dean. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This. And we have so much more to bring you. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. 
I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Yes, we've got another hour of mixed media and of course that means we've got Lou here. Is Lou with us? She is with us. She's here in the studio. I am a messy. I got, <laughs> look at the state of that. I just washed my hands, washed everything. I've got it everywhere. So, oh. hello. Oh. Sorry. Well, you had some fun earlier, didn't you? Oh, I did. Oh. oh, do you know what I saw the other day? It made me laugh. There was me and Paul and you in a bin bag. Do you remember? <laughs> It was here. Oh, it yes. was here. Yeah, you Oh, sounds. I know what you're talking about. Do you remember that day? <laughs> yes. I was trying to get Paul Mucky. Yes. And he was like, I'm not having nothing. She came in and been back. <laughs> so I don't have oh, a phone like that. Those were the days. <laughs> Well, we're going to see much more of Lou. No bin bags uh, no. in this hour, not at all. It's all about Penta. We've got lots of fabulous mediums for you as well as some great bundles. In fact, we're going to start right here. This is a really, really nice bundle. Do you know, you've got everything you could want here to make a wonderful project, haven't yeah. you? And I mean, I'm doing like a planet one, but it's, it's absolutely, you can do whatever you want with this you've got an open canvas haven't you? you certainly have well you've got the clock kit here your base is wood as well it's not mdf it is wood and it's a really good size do we know what the diameter of that is no but I'll have a look. it's got to be a good foot in diameter it is hang on ooh, ooh. 30 centimeters it is a foot yeah 12 and a bit yeah no 11 and a bit inch i don't do it yeah we got 30 centimeters brilliant <laughs> Brilliant. Not only that, you also get the heavy body gel in there. This is a matte finish. Uh, this gets better because you've got galaxy, galaxy flakes in here as well. I will show you a board in a second. Those green ones are absolutely beautiful, but then with the purple in there as well. Oh, mix them together. Absolutely gorgeous. What else have we got in here? We've got the acrylic paints in here as well. We've got the matte finish. We've got the black and the white. You're getting the mechanism for the clock and everything. It's not just the base. It's the whole mechanism. So it really is a great way to cre create a fabulous project. Mm -hmm. Whether you're using everything together, whether you want to this down that's entirely up to you three five eight three zero three is the item number saving ten pounds on that as well it's only 21 41 a quarter of the stock has already gone now oh shall i just show you the couple of colors on the board actually while i'm here so we're looking at the galaxy flakes so it's this one the earth green Stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? And also the Vesta purple. Now, individually, they are gorgeous, but also mix them together as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get satin green solids. That one is it. Oh, it's darker, that one on the counter that I've we've got, got here. What's mine what called? colour have you got? Mine's satin green. That's satin green. Oh, it's deceptive. Isn't hey, it? look, the planets are coming on. This must be how the lights catch it. It looks so much darker in the pot. It, it right. Does. Even I better than satin green. Beautiful colour. Those two together, they're the ones you get in. 358303 is the item number. Right, okay. Now, just to remind you or to let you know, if you just watched for the first time, 17th of June is the dispatch from date. There was a show at 7 o'clock this morning, so you can always go back and watch that a little bit later. Right, moving down again. We've got some really nice variations today. Now, this particular item number carries two different options. So we're going to go through this. We've got the blues for you, first of all. Now, we've got here, Lou, this mm. is a really nice kit again, regardless of option, because yeah. you've got the fabric paints and mediums here. And I can see you've got different variations, fabric and leather paint as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. It's hard to find leather paint because it's so flexible. And it's full leather as well, not just man-made. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then we've got, uh, what are the delicate ones then? These are these like... These are really the, shimmery. Look at these. These are beautiful because they're so finely milled that when you put them through a stencil or anything onto it, lycra, they're great for dance things or anything where you, 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 you do need a lot of stretch. These don't flake. So, these are beautiful. Yeah, and there's, there is a glamour one and there is the delicate and that's a lot finer milled. But the colours are just stunning and you can mix them together as well. They work beautifully fabrics. together, don't they? In fact, that whole bundle is yeah, absolutely do. gorgeous. Do we get the fabric medium in the bag with each one? Oh, so the fabric medium. Am I right in thinking you can make turn other paints into a fabric paint? Using yeah, that? it was made to extend the paint so you can get more of a transparency. But I've mixed it with mine. 
and it's been absolutely fine. All my, all my fabric's on there oh. as well. You know, some of the colours have had to sort of thing, and I've, I've, I've done it using the same colours. Now, you do get a bag, so you can create whatever you wish with the bag. So this has all been painted. Have you done that? Is it all freehand, then? Though? Freehand, the, yeah. Well, I've used uh, masking tape and stuff. All I've done is just drawn around it and then done little circles and just... I've not drawn on it. Well, I have, but I've used, like, nozzles or the ends of pencils or the ends of paintbrushes. And all you need to do when you've done that is uh, steam it, 30 seconds. Put, I always put a cloth over our grease proof and it's ready to wash then. I like to cure it for a day or two, though. But yeah, you yeah, can do I'm all that. Yeah, I'm testing it. I was being a bit careful just in case, but actually I'm really scrunching that now. No, no, you can now. do it because if you're gonna, if you're gonna put it on a t-shirt, you need all, it is there? To Yeah, absolutely. But you oh, can use it on paper as well. You don't just have yeah, to use it Yeah, of course, of course. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. So that's look at option number two. So that's your blues. Then we have, oh, look at this one as well. We've got, oh, the pinks and the reds together for you. So, yeah, we're classing this as the reds. So, again, you've got the, the fabric and the leather paint in there. We've got the delicates there as well. Um, of course, you're getting the bag and the medium there. I've got another sample here to show you. I presume this has been done with this bundle then, Lou. Has the it? It's yeah, red, and it? the other side, you can see, I've mixed it with some of the ink, ink sprays that they do. Um, so yeah, that's through a stencil, really fine as well. And then the other side, this was all playing with oh, like me adding that. the colours and the fabric mediums to inks and sprays. That's really nice. Through one of the stencils. Really so, nice. Yeah, really, really adaptable. So usable. You could go for both. Just one of each. You'll get two bags then, won't you? And two lots of the yep. fabric medium, all those different colours there. But individually, $24.99. There's a £10 and 74 saving, 315878. Right, moving on again. Oh, these are nice. We've got stone paste Ooh. for you. Oh, these are re so really textured. Yeah. All I've done is just slapped it on the canvas, only because I wanted to show people that if you want to use the colours as, as is, you can do. You can mix all the colours together, but you can mix your acrylic paint with them and make your own colours. So I've made a stone finish. And the way I've done that is I've applied a black ink over the top, wiped it back, and it's got a really textured look. And you've got the other stencil paste I've just used to go over the top. So don't think of it as just that. That is like a background that brings extra texture, but it's very light. It's not, yeah, and it's sandable. Is it? Yeah, it's really hard sandable it's not, stuff. It doesn't feel particularly rough, rough no. as it is either. No, it's really you can nice use that outside as well, as long as you protect it. Oh, I like it. I love it when the products, products exactly. can go outside. Yeah. Three gorgeous colours there as well. So we have got terracotta, we've got clay, and we've got sandstone. Only nine ninety nine for all three. There's a six fifty one saving on those. So That's grab really those while one. you can. Seven one five five three five is the item number. Now, something that uh, was proving very popular earlier on today. Actually, I saw these on a previous show and they were flying out then. I think these are an absolute bargain. They're a steal, them. They all really them. are, aren't they? I love them. Now, th there was an issue with me getting these, but if you wanted to just put the pouring glaze we've got on the flakes in the bottom, yeah. for it, like a, almost like a, 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 a resin effect. Oh, yeah. stunning. These, again, you could split these down them. into individual gifts for people. Oh, yeah. You know, you could gift them and let them create, but you could use all sorts of mediums on these. Your texture paste, your paint, your sprays, your pens, you your, your decoupage kit. papers, you rice kit, papers. You? you could, yeah. Could you make, make three little gifts for people and have Definitely. a bit of paper in there, paint? I think that's a brilliant. But I just like them because they're handy because I'm always looking for a tray. They are really, really nice. Lovely surfaces to work straight onto yeah. as well. Fourteen ninety nine for all three of those. They all nest together beautifully as well. Third of the stock gone on those. Six four six four nine four. They are wood as well, aren't they? They are wood. Yeah, they are really really nice. Very good buy those. Uh, right, let's have a look at the next bundle. Now this is a nice little one. So I think we we're going to see this in demonstration as well. It's been a busy one. Busy little bundle at seven o'clock this morning. Now you're getting the stencil paste and the sparkling gel collection. Now, you get three stencil pastes, and again, these are beautiful colours. Yeah. In fact, we'll go through those colours. We've got vanilla, which is this one. Apricot, which I absolutely love. Look at that. Oh, and metal gold. So let me just put all those three together. Aren't they? Oh, they're so yummy. Really, really nice. Gorgeous. And then we've also got the sparkling gel as well. Oh, 
Ooh. Brown gold. Oh, she's saying oh. Brown gold and red gold. And you can just catch there with the lights, the shimmer in there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've got a couple of boards at the back here, actually. So let's have a look. We've got the apricot here. So apricot on white. I've got to say, look at the apricot on the black. Stunning, isn't that it? That is really nice. Look how fine nice. it is, that, that stencil yep. is really fine. So beautiful. to get that detail, it's, it shows you how, how, you know, good quality it is. Oh, no wonder it's been a busy bundle, this one. Yeah. Now, you do get the stencil as well. Um, the stencil, it's quite a deep one. So if you want to sort of have raised areas, you know, those bigger pieces of texture there, then you can use this one. You can see if I just turn that to the side, it really is very sort of textured there. Yeah. I like this stencil though, because I think if you take your fine liners Absolutely. and draw into that, you can doodle perfect. through it. Absolutely perfect for that. And it's with it being a thicker one, you get a higher um, sort of three dimensional effect. Yeah. But yeah, I do like that because you could have that as the highlight and go over it to so finish your whole thing and then go over that with black. It looked really oh, definitely. cool. What a great buy that is. Yeah. £8 saving, £19 and 74 pence. In fact, we've got five pots there. I don't know individually if they'd be different prices, but five pots, that's less than four. That's right, isn't it? That's less than four pound a pot. Three pounds something, isn't it? Three ninety-five a pot. That's really, really good. Because then, I'm not even counting the stencil. You'd be paying for the stencil, so it would be far less than that. Three eight five three two seven. Don't miss out on that one. Now, if you want more of the gels, the sparkling gels, we do have more. Now, we've got four other colours here. Now, I have got a little bit of a swatch here as well. You're getting all four of these. Fourteen ninety-nine is the price. Green gold, which is beautiful. That's one there. Blue silver, which I'm presuming is it this one? Blue silver. I don't know. It might be the one at the bottom. I think that one's long green, that one. Uh, you get them all anyway, so it doesn't really <laughs> yeah. matter, does it? Olive gold and blue. Ah, blue on gold is that one at the top. Yeah. You see the gold in it. Beautiful. So that's the blue silver at the bottom. Let me just show you this little swatch that Lou's just done. It's just on craft card, but you can see the glimmer in there. Look at that. It's absolutely... I've done it on so many little textures here. This is my... Honest, go, if you're going to buy anything, really go for like these. these. Get them. These yeah. are beautiful. You've also got the colours there in the previous bundle on that swatch as well. Yes, so sorry, you can yeah. see all um, of them there to show together. you how they all work together. Yeah, beautiful. But for the bundle of four, 548724 is your item number. Now, we did talk about the leather and fabric paint. Well, we've got some faux leather for you now. These sheets you can stitch through, you can stencil, you can stamp, you can add those paints to, you can do all sorts of things. I presume you can die cut if you've got dies that will go through the thickness as well. <laughs> Two sheets of each colour. Um, we'll bring the details up as soon as we can. So there's four different colours there. So that's eight sheets in total because there's two in each pack. I'm loving that champagne colour. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's that's like a, it is like a rose gold, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Mm. 15 .96 for the whole bundle. You're saving four pounds. Five five eight five two seven. Now we do have some more. We've got some pastel leather sheets for you as well. It says leather sheets, but they are faux leather, mm -hmm. uh, just to make that clear, so if anybody's worried about that. There you are, same price, £4 saving, 725165. Uh, right, okay, so we have got one or two other items we can mention as well. Uh, we've also got the pouring glaze. Now, if you're going for anything with Galaxy Flakes, mm -hmm. then the pouring glaze you may want to go for as well. Um, with the pouring glaze, you are getting two, two pots. I'm going to show you the size of the pot. So two of these. Now, Lou was saying earlier, although it's not classed as a resin, it's almost like a resin when it's dried. It's, it dries very clear. I mean, it doesn't look clear there at all, but it dries very clear. I'm sure we'll be hearing more from Lou about this. But a great buy with a £6 saving there. 128633 is the item number. So that would be 460 millilitres in total, because each pot has 230 and you're getting two of those. 128633. Right, I'm stood behind our stencil kit, and I think that's what we're going to see in the first demonstration. So yeah. let's go over to Lou and see what she's going to be up to. Well, I was messing about before, as I always. <laughs> why, why try and be uh, organised? And I thought the stencil kit is great, but what happens if you've got your own stencils, you want to put your own. So I was trying it out with different textures. So I've got, this is partly done. Um, it's the faux leather that's on the show, and I'm using a pink one. Now, it's not necessarily a colour that you generally go for. I wouldn't, but it's very pink. 
very lilac -y. And I thought, well, how can people change it up? Well, this item, our item is amazing because I'm making all my own journals at the moment. And if I can get a piece of faux leather like this and create my own individual journal styles, I am absolutely over the moon. So that's what I wanted to show you. And it's just... It's just lovely because you can draw on it, you can do everything, but these paints make it beautiful. So I thought, right, okay, I did the background for this. There's the, there's the brown one. So that's on the very dark brown. Let me just show you, sorry, it's here. There. That's on the brown one. So it just shows you the difference that you can get. And you get a really... That's a massive difference, isn't it, with that bit of colour on top? And the colours I've used to get that are the duck egg blue, which I can't see it is something blue country blue and the green believe it or not and a bit of white and a and the fabric medium because the fabric medium is the one that allows it to blend out and a little bit of the blue and those colors are what made that that i really like that and blues are one of the options we've got two different options with that particular bundle haven't we that's yeah. the one that comes with the bag as well and the fabric medium uh, details on the screen for that really well worth popping into your baskets and having to go with that one because I think you're going to create some most amazing projects there yeah. you know you said as well could you use was that the bundle you said yes it was you said you could use it on paper as well it doesn't oh, have yeah. to be on your fabric oh no I've done I've, I've show you on this now you can use it on everything but it's for fabric but the flexibility will be on anything you can use it on anything then you could put it in um in with the pouring medium and make molds and resins Oh, you were saying earlier as well, you could even paint on yarn. Yeah. We had this conversation. Yeah. This is the bundle, I'm right, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. So if you've got... So, uh, did you say it's got to be 20% natural fibres? Well, I thought... It, well, it says to, up to 20% of... Like, it has to have 20% or more. Um, and I was like, right, well, I'm not listening to that. So, sorry. I didn't listen, but I thought <laughs> I'm going to try it. And, and I did some lace and i'll put it on the back of this and i painted some lace and th that's what i've got with it so it'll work on that ah so and that's the go. sparkle just, just try it on various different yeah but it does it does say for washing purposes and laundry purposes up to 20 percent but i mean i've used it on things that i'm not going to wash and i'm really happy with the finish of them so yeah i like to play with you see to me that now because they all go, that will go with anything I put in that. I've, I've got a match because the colours are all running through. So to me, it all goes. But yeah, Lovely. it says that. But So what I want to show you is, I've just dropped my paintbrush, so I'll get another one. Um, you get a real, to me, you get a, lot, a little tatty paintbrush. And I'm just going to show you how I'm going to put the gel on the fabric. You can do this if you want. You can paint it full, I'll show you. And all I'm going to do is I stamped it and I'm just picking out the very end, so really technical, blob it on <laughs> and then pull it out. And what happens is you get that effect. Can you, let me just do it right for you. You can just see the effect there on the edges of the... See, I'm really liking these uh, paints, whether it's the gel, because Beautiful. it's got that flexibility, so it's going to work on the faux leather. We've got yep. the details on the screen for the set of four, actually. It's really, really good price, that $14.99. You have got a saving. We've got savings oh, on really? lots of things today, 548-724. But also, right. I'm going back to that fabric bundle as yep. well, because if you go for that and you can paint on other surfaces, not just your fabric, I know many of you are going for those trays as well. You've got multi-use paints whether it's the gels whether it's the fabric whether it's anything we've got on the show they're all going to work across all of those different surfaces um so we're talking porous and non-porous as well yeah really. i'm i've used it on quite a lot um it it, it tends to it, it's really made for fabrics but all of these can be transferred to a lot of other mediums the only issue is if it's going to be laundered then you have to make sure yeah. that that's applicable but I found that if it's like artwork stuff, it it doesn't it really doesn't matter. And the stone, the stone one can go on porous and non-porous. Yeah. Because it, it holds fast. But yeah, I'm going to um, do some stenciling now, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I've got one of my old stencils, um, and I've got the background that I've created using like the 
the leather paint and all I've done seriously if you watch it over you'll see I just went like that and flicked it on it's so easy to paint really easy to paint and all I'm going to do now is I've got like a wisteria and I'm just going to place that on there normally you'd have you'd have it taped down you do it right well I never do that so why change it now um, and I'm going to put the gels and a little bit of the leather paint with it as well because you can add all of that to it yeah. you know you don't just have to stick to that you can put your delicate on as a highlight so just to show you colors the the green and the I tend to keep that on but for today I'll take it off just it's just something I do at home so I've got a highlight which is the white delicate I've got the green delicate as well which I can use for the foliage I've got a little bit of pink and I've got these wonderful golds that I can sort of match so this color here is going to be a great lightener that you've got because it's got a brilliant like um, opaqueness to it so okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is where I love this bit because it's like alchemy so I'm going to get a bit of the leather paint and I'm looking for colors they, they, they don't have to be um, what's the word they don't have to be lifelike I'm just using the colors I like and I've got a little bit down here of the leather paint okay. I'm going to put a tiny bit of the, the pink with it as well it's a nice thick consistency that leather paint. exactly it doesn't go anywhere so I'm just picking that up and I'm going to sort of move around and do different bits with it so I've got a bit of the gel and this is what people don't realize that you can mix all this together and put it through the stencil and I've got the stencil paste which is really cool that's really gloopy these it's colors brilliant. are beautiful and I'm just going to pick it up and I'm just going to put it through and I'm going to allow it to mix okay. I'm not bothered if it mixes on here um, randomly at all I'm going to go over with the stencil paste so I've got a little bit of texture with it as well don't push now people sort of push it under and it don't just be lightly and just do as left as li little as possible because by that you're not going to push it underneath because we are busy on that kit actually in it's fact we're approaching stuff. half of the stock gone it really is a lovely little bundle not only are you getting the stencil you're getting three of the stencil paste those colors are just stunning uh, if I remember rightly, we've got vanilla, we've got apricot, and we've got the gold in there as well. They are absolutely beautiful colours together, these. But using them separately as well, using them individually, oh, look at those. They are really, really nice. Then we've got the sparkling gel in the brown gold and the red gold as well, which you can really see. Well, we're going to see with Lou in a second, but you can really catch that shimmer in the pots as well when the light catches. Beautiful. Eight pounds saving. Don't forget, you are getting that stencil as well. Uh, really, really good by that one. Three eight five three two seven. You're loving that, right? I've taken one side off, just doing the other side, and I'm putting the colours willy nilly because I want them to to be sort of higgledy piggledy. And then I'm pulling the leather paint through it as well and the gel through it just to get a different bit of colour. And um, this is the best bit for me when I go like that and I see all different colours. So I've nice. got this lovely, now you do need to leave it to dry when you get to that bit there because that bit you don't want to overlap yet. Yeah. But this goes straight in your journal, absolutely straight in your journal. Now I know this is terrible but I, I, I won't waste it, I won't waste it so I'll just put it in there for a minute. Actually because that's a good point because you can use either side of oh, that yeah. the leather sheets can't yeah. you? And I'm just going to clean it off because this is not going to be seen but and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because that isn't going to harm it so I've got that there just wanted to show you here okay. so now I've got a little bit of the green and I'm going to get the leather paint in the blue now the thing is you can use a tiny bit of your acrylic paint with this to darken it and I'll show you what I mean it's to get a depth so I've just stuck my hand in it but never mind so I'm going to darken this a little bit I've got a little bit of white in it I need a bit more. could we mix mica powder into that absolutely all of it. it all of it Ooh. So I'm putting a little bit of the green separately and all I'm going to do is I've got a big brush it's it's a it's a hog we call it a hog air it, some it, this one's a synthetic copper so it's not a real animal hair but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a bit of all of it and I'm just going to let the brush breathe the okay, actual yeah. leaves I'm not trying to sort of make a leaf shape I am just allowing the brush to do it because later on 
I'll just show you a little trick. If you just go on along, right along with it, I'll move it round. Um, let it go into some of the flowers. It doesn't matter. It looks more natural that way, doesn't it? Does, it does. So you're just going along, blobbing along. Um, and you could even keep it like that because that could be the seam in your book. So it'd be on your spine. Yeah, that's true. And then I'm just going to put this here. And then all I'm going to do is you can get anything you want. If you've got a little scratch um, or a little cocktail stick, you can just ah, draw into it. And then that way, what you're doing is you're creating the idea of foliage, but you're not having to draw. I mean, if you wanted to, you could draw into it and create leaves. But I'm just saying for people who perhaps, and you can even draw with it if you want, you can draw your leaves, but people just want to create texture along there. Yeah. Now, if you've got certain ones and you want to create, here's a little trick. You just go to the top and flick like, and it's like a little triangle. And that just allows you to sort of put a little leaf in. Maybe it's gone a bit peaked on here, put a leaf in. So, and you're just pulling it out, put another one. So you can create all your patterns that way. And then it's quite a nice little seam, that. But if you do want anything else and you want other flowers or other shapes, the best bet is to use the end of your um, paintbrush. And just oh, I do some... this a lot with paintbrushes and Brilliant, bossing it? tools. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and the different shape bossing tools. Sorry, the only reason I wiped that off is because I've got a big blob on it. But you can break it up a little bit. Um, so you can put that on or I can go in with the, the green gel and put the green gel in. So you're building it up. Either way, leaf by leaf, you can go in with your stencil and put, sorry, I didn't get enough there, and go in and it, look how that stays high. Yeah. It doesn't lose its shape. So here we're just creating lots of textures, lots of different shapes in the background. I reckon if we put a little bit of that in an um, applicator, one of those fine applicators, you could turn, make your own sort of oh, contour, very yeah. neat gems, Absolutely. pearl gems. Well, what I'm going to show you now is... Don't forget that all these stens this stencil paste is strong. So yeah, you can put it through a stencil. It looks absolutely brilliant. Put it with uh, your paints because it's going to change the colours you've got. It'll go from having 10 colours to, to infinity. But I just wanted to show you again that if you've painted using less pigments or uh, less stencil paste less, and you've got a flatter, you can always just... This finishes anything off. Just right. by adding... Yeah, it looks lovely on the centre of flowers. And it, it, depending on the colour, so I'm going for like a, the silver here, but I can build it up. I just keep dabbing. And the more you dab, the sort of more of a confusion you've got there. But it's entirely up to you if you want them more defined. I, I just think that people who, who sort of do patterns, they think that you've got to draw, but no, patterns are great for just dots like this, for you know, like stone painting with the yeah. dots. and um, So you can have one more higgledy piggledy, or you can have one more ornate, but you can also use it as a glue. Oh, I did have a mirror. I had a glue for my little gems, and I've got some little oh. gems, and they squash in and come round. They were there somewhere. I put them down somewhere, but oh, they I don't matter. Oh, I saw you with those, Ellie, those yeah. little pearls. Yeah, they're like, push a pearl in, and it just pops out. And you can do the same with these as well. Um, and what you were saying, um, Catherine was saying before, you can use them as a pen. They're not in your trolley, are they, Lou? Like the pearls? Do you know what I'm like? They're here somewhere. They're just not here. I think they might, they might be to your right somewhere. They're here. Are they here? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. But the, <laughs> the gel pen, just forget it, they're here somewhere. Um, but, yeah, they just push, a, push a, a thing in it. I just wanted to show you this as well. Don't forget what we said. Oh, hey, there they were, they were on the floor. Hey. <laughs> but they're like a glue as well. So you get your... Get... Weren't me that, that was our wonderful floor manager. And just posh him in, push, posh, push him in. Actually, um, oh, come on, get your tweezers on these because I've got fingers like sausages. But they act like a glue as well. So you could put all your little beads on. You could have some as beads, some as the stencil paste. You could build it all up. You could do the same with this, adding like little beads at the bottom of this. I'm not going to lay it down now, but it will change colour. But you've gone, 
a really beautiful sort of garden. Can you feel hold to that, that to the front camera? Yeah, give sure. it a bit of a wiggle, though. I so have put my hand in it several times, so <laughs> just ignore the big smears. At my just so we can see all the different sort of shimmers coming through. Oh, there we are. Just as you wiggle it about, you can catch all the shimmery effect. And yeah. when it dries, you'll get a deep, deeper colour in that, and you'll get a deeper. And you can keep drawing in it, keep drawing into it and doodling yeah. into it and put your gems. But what a lovely, if I was to just, come on, if I was to just do that, that's my gardening journal book. Look at that. How beautiful would that be that for someone to lovely. collect as that, a, as a yeah, present, really, my journal? really effective. I think that's beautiful yeah. with a little I'm, bit of I'm twine. with you as well. I wouldn't join that centre, but I'd leave it as the spine. I wouldn't necessarily yeah, add any more I, to no. that. I think sometimes these things happen, don't they, where they happen for the best. You think, no, I'm going to leave that. So I've got that. Right, this is where I've used the stencil paste and the paint together, okay. and I've got these wonderful colours. Now you st oh, look at that. You started this at 7 o'clock, yeah. didn't you? It's so it's been drying longer now. Well, I pushed these in. I did this before. I just wanted to test it. So the pouring glaze is more or less dry now, and Ooh. I didn't put a lot on, and I can show you how it's done. It's just really easy, and all you do is you pour it, and it self-levels. So yeah. it's like a resin, and what you could do with those, get those trays, you could put a layer of this down, and I've, I wasn't able to do it, and then put a layer of the pouring glaze, and you sort of tip your tray around, and it just self-levels. You've got a wonderful, um, a wonderful sort of decor thing, but it's resinous. It looks like dichroic. There's the green. And there's the pink. I've got pink in the background and a, a, just a little bit of green there. So I'm hoping that that's catching the light and you can see how stunning it looks. And it's really easy, it just flicks off. But that is the stencil paste, uh, the gel mixed together. Oh, really? When you just catch the light with that, Louis, I'm going to show really you how to do shine. it. It's so easy. Um, and just to, again to say, it wasn't made to go on MDF wood or paper it was made to go on fabric so you've got the best of all yeah. worlds with this what i've done here is i've alert the mistake not that there was one but i thought i wanted that color to be a bit more of a pop so i applied a thin white acrylic underneath just so that i got a lighter base because i still want it black so then what i did was i got this one which is don't ask me it's like you will ask me i know uh, what's it called bronze gold and oh it's so easy to do i'm just going to put a bit of bronze gold there and all i'm going to do i've got a tiny bit of water on my brush um stay away from water as much as you can only because you're thinning out the consistency yeah, of course if you want to thin in it use the pour uh, use the fabric medium or the pouring glaze now yeah. if i put pouring glaze on that that gets a glaze so yeah of course you, you get you're gonna it's the best of both worlds so half on there so now we're going to dry your brush off as much as possible i can't tell you that because you don't want it to sort of dry it looks nice when it's wet as soon as it dries it looks patchy yeah so you're, you don't need a lot so i'm just going to lay this down and put and i love i've always loved green green gold and blue gold because i think you get the bow it's like a turquoise with gold in it i just think there's the colors are smashing right i'm blending them together okay so just do that and it still looks a bit so i'm just clean cleaning my brush and i'm just pulling them together with with my brush and before you know it yeah you get that natural blend don't you know hard lines yeah and the white underneath has made that color stand so if you have got a little bit of lines just use a, a stiffer brush not a fit if you use a soft brush you end up like pushing paint around yeah. this you sort of you, you really sort of combing through and then you've got that wonderful oh, transition that. but they're both gold based so when you look at it you can um you, you get a different fleck but you could put it underneath this and have another color on the top so but if i wanted to I could put the stencil paste on that but i just thought what a great idea of using something like this and creating something like planet yeah so. that of course is the clock base you yeah. get the mechanism and everything don't you get the galaxy flakes in fact both colors it was wasn't earth green it was the forest green was it saturn green saturn green that's the one and was it the vest vesta purple yeah vesta, yeah, vesta purple mm -hmm. mix them together use them separately you've got acrylic paint in there as well you've got the uh, heavy body gel what a great kit 10 pounds saving today 21 41 358 303
Now, don't forget, if you are buying multiple items and you're spending over £60, you can automatically go for the flexi basket. Let's just remind you how that all works. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Yes, who was that? I've no idea. No um, idea. Nice voice there. <laughs> Posh one. That was a phone voice. It voice. catches me out every time. I just I hate it. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this bundle. Brand new today. This is such a good buy. So let me show you actually the depth of the clock. Oh, that's why I didn't pick it up earlier. Look what I've done. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I just want to show you how uh, <laughs> how deep the actual wood is. And it yeah, is wood, not MDF as well. So great surface to work from you do get you do get <laughs> just a great joke just come from the gallery I've got no respect for time haha <laughs> yeah you do get the clock mechanism you get all the hands in there including that second hand as well of course the little nuts and the washer that all forms part of that mechanism you just need to pop your own battery in there don't you then of course the galaxy flakes beautiful colors I will show you the board again I've worked out I think why that looks so much darker it's because it's in the black lid and on the board, it's on white, yes. so you get different effects, don't yes. you? That's what it is, because it looks so much lighter there. But beautiful colours, so you're getting the satin green and the Vesta purple. They're your Galaxy Flakes. You're also getting the heavy body gel, it's the matte finish, and you're getting some acrylic paint, you're getting the black and the white in there as well. All in all, that is a really lovely kit with that great saving, 358303. Then, something that's probably been popular this hour, and I'm not surprised actually, because when it comes to the fabric paint, we've got all sorts of different mediums in here actually, different sort of finishes, you've got shimmery ones, you've got more matte finishes, but you can mix these together, you can mix mica into them, use your other paints to sort of knock the colours back if you so wish. Not just for fabric, it says fabric, but we've seen from Lou already that you can actually use these on multiple surfaces. Yes. You do also get the bag included, so if you are going on to fabric, of course you can decorate your own bag. This is one that Lou's done earlier. And you can see here those different finishes, you know, you can see the glimmer in there, you can see the di various different colours. We have got two options when it comes to this bundle. We've got the blues, I've got to say the blues are my favourite, so if I had to pick one it would be the blues for me. Let me just show you these colours again because with the delicate fabric paint you've got your greenish silver and your silver there. I think they are absolutely gorgeous colours. Then the other paints, we've got country blue which is that paler blue, we've got the green and we've got the blue at the top there as well. Remember you can mix these all together, you get the bag, you also get the fabric medium. So you can use that to extend your paints or you can use that with other paints to turn them into a fabric paint. The other option we've got for you, actually this is so pretty as well, mm. it's hard to choose. The reds, those lovely, lovely pinks in there as well. We've got Bordeaux, Rose and we've got red in there. But these delicate paints again, I adore these colours. <gasps> Metallic rose gold and dark gold in there. They're lovely, aren't they, as well? Beautiful. Really nice. Oh, I do like these. Uh, 24 .99. Again, that particular bundle comes with the fabric uh, medium and the bag. 315-878. You are met saving that £10.74. Just a reminder, very quickly, the dispatch day. Everything dispatched on the 17th of June, which the rate we're going through June is going to be here in the blink of an eye. Right, now then, the stone effect paste. Really like this as well. You can sand it. You can use it indoors. You can use it outdoors. You're getting three different colours here. So what have we got? We've got terracotta, we've got clay, and we've got sandstone. Now, Lou's just spread some onto a canvas there, but of course you could use these three stencils. You mm. could make your backgrounds with it. You could apply this. You said porous and non-porous for this? 
Yep, absolutely. I've tried it on glass as well. Although I don't know if it's made for that, but it has stuck to it. But it's worked fabulous. Love it. Nine ninety nine. Another good saving here. Six fifty one saving. Seven one five five three five is your item number. Now you are loving the trays. I am not surprised. Do you know, I can think of so many things I could do with these. We've got so many mediums on the show today, so any of the mediums we've got would work with these. You've also got your rice papers, your decoupage papers. Mm. You could draw into them, use your alcohol pens, use, you know, your any sorts of paints, your acrylic paints. You could stick embellishments to it. You could put a nice message in there, uh, varnish over it, use it as a bit of a tea tray. Father's Day's coming up, isn't it? I think we'll probably miss that. Yeah, I don't think they might, they might not arrive in time for that, but you never know. Birthdays, Christmas, think ahead for those gifts as well they nest together but this is the way i look at it i'm from yorkshire i've got to be thrifty that's three presents yep all in that one purchase three yep. kits absolutely definitely for 14.99 can't go wrong 646-494 is the item number in fact very busy in those three quarters of the stock has gone uh, right now another kit that's been very busy i am not surprised I'm not surprised at all I absolutely love these stencil pastes. Do you know, the colours are the first thing that draw me in to a product. And these colours are just beautiful. Together, they're gorgeous. Separately, they're absolutely gorgeous. You've got vanilla, you've got apricot, and you've got metal gold. Now, the colours are what attract me first, but then, of course, it's more important. How are these going to perform? And we know that these are going to perform really, really well. In fact, if I pick up the board again and show you through a stencil, how delicate you can use a stencil. I think that's probably... I don't know. It might. I don't, is it one of the studio light stencils, or is it... Uh, I'm not too sure not about sure. that one. It, I think it, it kind of looks be a, familiar. It might be a La Blanche, you know. I think that. it might be a Stamperia. Oh, could well be. But it shows how fine you can get that detail. Such a lovely, lovely finish. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Not only do you get the stencil paste in there, you also get two of the sparkling gels. So the brown gold and the red gold. I'm just going to bring this board in so I can point out which two it is. I think it will be these two here. There you are. Brown gold, red gold, that looks right to me. There we go. So you're going to get those as well. £19.74. You have got a saving of £8 on this one. You do get the stencil as well. 385-327 is the item number. 70% of the stock has gone on that bundle. Then if you're loving those sparkling gels, and you are... Uh, not only are you getting two in that bundle, but we've got another bundle with four. So maybe if you're going for that one, you want to add this in as well. You can get all the colours on the swatch here because, oh, that green and gold together. You've got the silver blue, uh, olive gold and thorn gold as well. There, look how they're catching the light. Really, really, really pretty. $14.99. That is a great price, isn't it? $14.99 for four pots of gel. And that's going to go a long way. Four pound and a penny saving. Every penny counts. Five, four, eight, seven, two, four. And then don't forget the faux leather as well. Now, it says leather sheets, but they are faux leather. You could use the, the sort of texture side or you could use the other side. You can die cut this. You can cut it. You can stamp on it. You can uh, stitch it. You can uh, paint on it. Of course, we've got the fabric paints and leather paints on the show. You can do whatever you wish with this. Fifteen ninety six is the price. You've got a four pound saving. Five, five, eight, five, two, seven. And we've also got the pastel colours for you as well. We'll just show you those. There they are. And, of course, you can change those considerably with the paints. We did see one of the samples with, with Lou, the pink one, that looked completely different with some of the leather paint on the top. £4 saving again, 15 99 Okay, right. We're going to get back down to the other end of the counter with our Lou now. Got about 15 minutes, Lou. Oh, cool. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of things now with the stone, with the stencil paste and a stencil and a bit of, I've got a bit of pl uh, plywood here, a bit of wood. And I was thinking if anyone's doing the kitchens or great for you, this um, any home decor and you want to create your own tiles for the wall. Yeah. Perfect. If you get the right size or you get a plain white one. Right, you can yeah, build on course, it, whatever, yeah. but you can create these like this. So what I've got is the stone paste in this. Um, the I don't know what colour it is. It's the ochre one. I've got the light colour, and I'm just... I'll show you this way, and then I'll show you another way. Oh, look how thick that is. And the really, really consistency is brilliant. Now, I've, you know, all depending on the colours that you want, that's up to you. I'm going to go 
and dip my my applicator straight on here. I'm going to mix on it, and I'm going to try and create like um, a really easy sort of marble look by just mixing the, the black in while it's wet and, and on the board. You could do this on the outside edge of those trays, or at least you could do if you manage to get hold of them because they've gone limited stock now. That surprised me. Grab That's so quickly. cool. So, you know, you could go for that if you wanted. I could put a little bit more black in. I could use any colour I wanted and just use it as like that. Now, I would say just be careful with black because it does overpower and don't put too much in because it will alter the, the colours. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that so I've got a nice little background. Like, So you could do it like that and then pull out, you know, some um, gels that you've got. So we've got that. It's quite an earthy background. You might think, I don't like that. Well, that's cool, but don't forget, it's very different when it's dried. I'm going to just run through, run through, like, on the top, the gels and the stencil paste because you're creating like a marble effect. So you can just draw with them. You can add a little bit here, there and everywhere and it will shine and you get a wonderful sort of patterning happen. So you can build all these together. So you've got that and you think, well, that looks like some sort of modern, modern artwork. Right. But I found this out. Take this off. Just leave it oh. there. I wasn't expecting you to do that. No, take it off. And you've got this wonderful... I'm, don't, I'm using this, don't worry. I'm not going to bin it. I'm just taking it off because it's the colour of the stone under a paste has actually coloured the background. Oh, yeah, the, the pigment's gone through into the yeah. wood and dyed it. So it's actually got this wonderful background, so I don't have to paint it. This is how I found out because I was messing about and I thought, oh, I don't like that. Ripped it off. Oh, I love that. So <laughs> then I've got a stencil... And I put in a stencil back on and have it however you want. Ah. And I'm going to create like a fake Moroccan stencil. Because this is all mixed up, I've got a stone effect, I've got yeah. gel, I've got gold, I've got silver in here. Oh, hey, nearly. I'll get that up, don't worry. And I'm just putting this round the sides. I wouldn't waste it. Don't forget this going to go through. This is going to look really good. I like that technique, though. And then I'm going to get the stencil paste in the middle yeah. and a little bit of the stone paste in the cream okay. and the creamy one the white one is slightly different so just be warned it's slightly different because it's it's softer so I'm just going to put that in there I don't want it to look as I want it to look a bit more weathered like it's been outside for a while keep that because all that goes on to another and then there we go nice look at that that's a lovely stencil as well it is and then what happens is when that's dry, you let that dry properly. You can't see all the little um, the peaks and troughs too well at the moment, but you've got darker elements that are showing underneath and lighter elements. So you let that dry, but because you've got the colours underneath, it'll sink through. What happens is, then you can add, I'll do it to this one. I've done this and I've put a, a wash over it. And the way to do that is you can use an ordinary paintbrush. I've got a bit of green on that, but it doesn't matter. Oh, well, in fact, I'll put green because I said I was going to do moss. So I'm going to go with a sparkle gel. Okay. Um, oh, is this the gold? Yeah. The gold one. Oh, it's stunning. And I'm going to paint it on. And what am I doing that for? You're covering it all. Well, that's, I'll tell you what, you can actually do that as well. If you don't want a coloured base like that, uh, you want more of a, this in a textured yeah. gel. More of a stone effect. Oh, I see. So just use, yeah, just use the texture on the top. Uh, yeah. But then the you wipe it back. It just move it out of the way because it does take a little bit of time to dry. But wipe it back, and it can completely tames it down. It's too much for me still. So what I'm going to do is just. You can see that texture well though. Yeah. I'm just taking the next the top next bit off. Bit more water you said it. you could sand this as well so I'm you could sand, sand it away yeah. the top bit if you wanted to so i've got that now and, and and you can just see the gold is in the background the green settled in there yeah. so i get my oh here we go oh it's here i get my sand sandy paper this is a hundred grit and i'm going to sand it back 
Now you should, in essence, wait for it to dry so that the dust doesn't go into the little nooks and crannies, but you can create all your own different colours, got Lovely. gold. So you can get that really sort of distressed look as well. Absolutely. Beautiful. And if you think that you can do it with that so that I can make the, the middle bit really light and the darker bit round the edge. But then what I would do is paint it all with a really liquidy black and wipe it all back and you'd get like a black grout. Yeah. But you'd have some of these little colours peeking through. Yeah. So don't just think that you can uh, pencil uh, the, the paste, the stone, doesn't mix with it you mix with it all as long as you realize that if you're going to use it you've got to do appropriate measures afterwards yeah. like sealing and stuff but if you've got a couple of um black backsplashes a new one you know individual best boat ones you could do a couple of these and just sit them in do you know that would look really nice if you'd got uh, a little old occasional table that's looking a bit worse for wear Absolutely. you want to do that and make a lovely garden table to do that technique on the top it's this is so good because what you can do is if you do it on tile then it's already level yeah. at the bottom and yeah. everything so you can stencil yeah. on tiles as well um and and there's all so much you can do but don't just think of it as being one one item for one thing i mean i've got that there i've got the waste here let's go to my leather because i've got this i'm not wasting it and i'm just going to put no not that one we'll use another one we'll use that one mm -hmm. so i've got the the paste there that i don't want to lose and i'm just going to push that through onto the leather no one's told me i can't do it so why not so well, that's it. As we said earlier, just give it a go. If, if you've got the mediums, try it on those different surfaces. I mean, I wouldn't if it was wearing. This is how we find these things out. We're discovering things all the oh. time. Look at that. Oh, I really like that. And so you're going to have a, a more of an earthy and not as sparkly. That looks great on that brown leather. It does. Mm. And then, you know, all sorts. I mean, you've got the negative on that. But if you think you could do your coasters, you could do placemats. Yeah. As long as you seal them with your pouring glaze. You're, yeah. you're laughing and if you wanted to don't forget your clock just mask off where you won't go through with your stencil so you've endless endless options with this and if you think just mixed media rather than fabric yeah. you're laughing that's it mixed media doesn't have to be anything specific no. it's exactly what it is it's mixed Need it. it can be exactly. anything you want it to be and we've got so many different bundles on the show today you can mix and match everything together you can use things individually oh it just goes on doesn't it the way you can create with these now the stone paste proving popular gorgeous colors you can see how you can mix them together you can see how you can knock those colors back you can see how you can sand them as well 9.99 is the price you're getting all three pots and these are generous size pots love the consistency of these pent out such a well-known brand everything's been tried and tested and developed over a period of time you know nothing's just thrown out there pentap make sure everything is checked and is it about six months they they test things for and they oh yeah they're, they're the real they're, they start as chemists yeah that's what they are yeah. it's amazing isn't it so you know you're getting things that will work they will do exactly as they say and on they're the not tip. mean with sizes they're not mean with the sizes no. or the prices either no. seven one five five three five is the item number if you want to go for the stone paste now the fabric mediums proving very popular Lovely. as well now you've got two different options do you know it was the blue that's my favorite but i don't know i, like, oh, I wish i could mix it all up you just got to get them both haven't you 24.99 is going to get you so much well look at the blues first of all so with your delicate paints these are the ones with the shimmer in these are just stunning the greeny silver and the silver together use them independently as i say mix them together you're going to get those wonderful effects and then of course you've got your fabric and leather paint you've got your blue your green and your country blue, I love that colour as well, that is beautiful. You're also getting the fabric medium and you're also getting the bag as well. So you can decorate that bag with those, but use these paints on all sorts of mediums as we've seen with Lou. Then the other option, we've got the reds. So you do have Bordeaux in there. You've got rose and you've got the red as well, but it's these delicate ones again. Look at these colours. Oh, these are divine. Rose gold and dark gold. I wouldn't call that dark gold, but that's the name it's been given. I just think they're stunning again. 315-878. Remember, both options come with the fabric medium and, of course, the bag. 
Then what about the clock kit? Because you're getting a lot here for your money as well. Yes, you can use all of the mediums that you're getting in the kit to create your clock. Or you might want to break this down and do something completely different. But you are getting the clock base, which is 30 centimetres in diameter. You're getting the clock mechanism. You're getting the, the hands and the components to fix that together. You just need to apply your own battery, of course. Then you're getting your Galaxy Flakes, two different colours here. We've got the satin green, and we've also got the Vesta purple. You've got heavy body gel, which you're going to use for all sorts of different reasons, including attaching those Galaxy Flakes. You've also got paint in here. You've got your white and your black. So great bundle again. If you need those paints, you know, use those again. Spread them across the other bundles if you're going for more than one option. 358-303 is the item number. A £10 saving on these. Yep, 21.41, that's all it is today. Now, the pouring glaze, if you want to go for this, you actually get two of these. Uh, I will show you the size of the bottle when you come back to me as well. But yes, you're getting two at 230 millilitres. So that's 460 altogether. A £6 saving today, £21.98, 128.633. Do you know, you can use that in small amounts or cover a large area as well it's self-leveling it doesn't look clear but it dries completely clear so you're going to get two of these for that price in your molds as well yeah it dries in your molds and all yes that. yeah you'll find all sorts of reasons for using that as well now i did tell you earlier on that the trays had gone limited stock we've still got a little bit of stock you get all three of these you'd have to choose the sizes they nest together you can use them totally separately you can use these with all sorts of mediums, anything we've got on the show. You can use these with your rice papers, with your decoupage papers. Oh, a little bit of a blanche paper in there would look wonderful, wouldn't it? Yeah, with the Pentart products over the top. Oh, stencil onto them, use the pouring glaze into there, put photographs in them, make your own designs. It's entirely up to you. Limited stock, 14 dollars for all three, 6 4 6 4 9 4. We've got another limited stock for you now as well. Yes, it's those sparkling gels. Let's have a little look at the next bundle. You know, don't just get the sparkling gels. Of course, you get the stencil paste as well. I love these colours, and I've said that a few times, but I really, really do. Vanilla, apricot, and gold. You've also got the stencil included in here as well, but of course, if you've got stencils at home, you're going to use your own as well, and you're going to use these in so many different ways. Then with the sparkling gel, you've got the red gold and the brown gold as well. What a lovely bundle that is. £8 saving, 1974-385-327. And then when it comes to the sparkling gel... We've got the bundle of four. So if I show you the swatch, if you're going for the previous bundle, the red and the brown gold are there. And then the other colours are the ones we're looking at now. All of them are just beautiful. Look at that shimmer. 14.99, 401 Where did that hour go? Lou, um, got to say quick, thank you and I've goodbye. But you're back tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, one day <gasps> special. Oh, one day special. And so don't miss Collins. out. Fabulous. Check your baskets out. Don't miss out on these. Limited stock on some. See you soon. Oh, it's that time again. We're letting Leone loose. And there, oh, do not miss the one-day special. Rowan Dean back at 12 o'clock. And then we've got embroidery with Quilt Dragon Kits. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. 
Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. lovely show and that's what you are about to have good morning one good morning all I hope you're well the time has just gone 11 o'clock the day is Wednesday which can only mean one thing it's the middle of the week and it's time to let Leone loose see what I did there seamless, seamless. Uh, it is and it's gonna be busy so what I'm gonna tell you to do now even without seeing a counter is shop ahead and I know that is like tele talk as it were but I would do because this is the last, this is the first time you've seen it since it last sold out. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there because now I'm going to introduce the lady herself. It is <laughs> Alione. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello and welcome. Thank you, dear. That's all right. Thank you. For a bit um, of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about this hour. It is the mighty Stamperia, and we have got Sir and Lady Vagabond in the house. Um, now, the first time we did launch this range, it absolutely flew, which means a lot of you have got this at home. I'd love to see photographs. It's such a cool collection. Um, the artistry, the, the, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's just amazing, and it's the imagination that's gone into these two collections phenomenal and it's already busy um, and then what I love about this the papers you will if you've had these before you'll have run out hopefully because hopefully you will have cut into them um, and that's the thing you want to restock on your papers I'm going to whip through the counter so first of all what we have got our fabulous Sir Vagabond now 12 by 12 paper pads only 11 pounds and 99 pence and absolutely beautiful and what I love about this collection it is an amalgamation of the imagination of Belinda and um, Antonis and honestly the two working together amazing so this is Antonis's um, take on um, on the wonderful Sir Vagabond and Sir Vagabond is uh, basically flying from America um, to, to meet up with Lady Vagabond now what you've got that's the story so what you've got double-sided papers so of course first of all you've got Sir Vagabond I mean he's amazing it's such a cool image um, you've got all these wonderful, like on this one, it looks like all the different paper cuttings, you know, of all the different places it's been, all the different things that he's made. On the other side, you've got the um, the wonderful sentiments. I really like that because that's the other side of the, the cover. It means you're not wasting anything. So you've got some really good sentiments there. Let your dreams uh, take wings. There's some beautiful sentiments. The next page, they're all double-sided, but it's really good quality. Now, what I love about this, with the reflection in Sir Vagabond's glasses, if you have a little look at that, that one, nope, it's that time. Ah, cool that, isn't it? So he's looking across the beautiful smoky town. I love that. It's just such a cool image again. 
absolutely beautiful and then on the other side you've got that wonderful map and what the thing is we are stamp area stamp area are so good i mean they're they're just just incredible artwork but it does mean if you've got one of these you might have had trouble cutting it up because every page is a piece of art you don't want to cut into it so having two absolutely makes sense i mean sir and lady vagabond it is really steampunk so obviously you need weird and wonderful machines so this is his fantastic flying machine which is that amazing amalgamation of the steam train uh with the the fly well the um the air balloon and i adore that and then you've got your old map again that well the newspaper and the the village that is just fabulous isn't it i love that that village again but um merging it in with the the beautiful paper i mean this it's magical you know it's got that it it has got that proper steampunk but for me it's also got a bit of a you know a harry potter-esque kind of thing because it is all magical but then and obviously the magical things are available but then when you look at this it's almost got that sacred geometry thing going on as well because you've got so much every single paper has got so much and um, you've then got the beautiful old world map and i uh, i love that again see i've said it again and i'll say it no i've said it before and i'll say it again uh stamperia should do a uh, fabric you know, a wallpaper. But in fact, they should do fabric. I buy fabric like this. It's just beautiful. The next page, and I do apologise, it takes me ages to show these papers, but it's because each one is so involved. Each one has so much going on. Now, I love these because they're double-sided. So when you're making pockets, when you're making your beautiful books, because they're precisely double-sided, it means you use those as your journal cards. That page, again, is beautiful. You've got that incredible... Uh, sky you've got all the the um again the geometry going on there which is just cool quite frankly uh, the other side of those cards it is the actual journal cards which is superb uh, plenty of space to write on you've then got sir vagabond with all these calculations all these working out and again the town from which is uh, traveling i love this page because that does look like a page in a book you know uh, that page is wonderful I, I love that. It's got all your compasses, all your different um, traveling gauges. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, aren't they fabulous? And if you've not used this before, oh, it's such a treat. It's such good quality. I mean, we are talking Stamperia. Stamperia are amazing. I love this paper. That is just fabulous. Stamperia is such a good company. They bring out so many quality products. This has been one of my uber favorites from them and it never fails to impress. I mean, I love this because it's got, again, it's got all your different advertisements. So you've got some really cool, weird and wonderful advertisements. That again is just beautiful. And it's the hue, it's that beautiful vintage hue that you've got going on here. And all the layering, I mean, this is, they are magnificent at layering, at giving us that collage element. Now you have got loads and loads, again, loads and loads of, um, your beautiful advertisements, but then you get loads of toppers. So dead easy to cut these out and use them as toppers. Now, we're over 10% of the stock gone. If you do want to get hold of this, it is busy. Uh, we have had it on before, but it's one of those that if you're, if you're getting it, it means you can cut up your last one or it's the stuff that you've run out of that it's like, you know what, I need that in my life again. Um, so that's our wonderful Sir Vagabond. Very busy. Please check your baskets out. It is coming over from Stamperia, so we have got a bit of a um, delay on that one. It's been uh, dispatched from the 23rd of June. Absolutely worth it because they're amazing. So the wonderful Lady Vagabond. Now, this is already over 10% as well. Lady Vagabond is uh, by Belinda. Please, please look up. If you've not already, and I bet you've already found Stamperia online, but they have some amazing tutorials. And Belinda's fabulous. She's on Instagram as well. So please look her up because she's ace. Um, but, oh, this is so, so cool. So Lady Vagabond is beautiful. I love the layering of all the papers. I love that you can see the city in the background the, the cobblestones but lady vagabond herself i mean the clothes are just amazing absolutely amazing she's got um she looks fabulous in her, her wonderful stripy stockings her 
cool boots. I mean, she's just fabulous. You've then got loads and loads of sentiments again. Um, so, so many different elements for you to build up your collections. I really do like that you've got your sentiments. So you've got something um, like, let's have a little read. Let your dreams be your compass. I like that. See, there's some really good ones. Um, let's find some beautiful place to get lost. Oh, see, aren't they cool? So you've got some amazing sentiments. The next one, oh, now look at these. Oh, see, they're just beautiful. Um, and we have got rice papers that will coordinate with the whole collection. So please do have a look. But yeah, rice papers that coordinate with this one. Again, you can see the city in the background. All those beautiful old fashion, fashion trunks um, from around the world, which are just glorious. There's so many elements on this. Again, that beautiful um, Lady Vagabond with her, her eyeglass looking out over the cityscape. I do love the cat as well. She's got a trusty cat that has to travel with her. See, look, with his goggles on. Fabulous. Isn't it cute? Um, I love the other side of the paper. Again, this is why Stampy needs to do fabric because that is super cool. And there's loads of elements that you can cut out as well. The other side of that is beautiful because that does look like um, your, your wallpaper. What I love about this though, in the corner, you've got the, the little um, doodah what's it, the, the keyhole. But on the other side of the paper, on that side, where's the key? You've got the key. See? Isn't that cool? So there you've got your key. And on this one, you've got your actual um, keyhole. Fabulous. I love that. That's gorgeous. I mean, that straight away, it's just, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful. You've then got, of course, Lady Vagabond has to have a fly, flying machine. And um, it's a bit of a cool flying machine. I mean, she hasn't just got a flying machine. She's got a city on wings. I mean, that is just beautiful, isn't it? And again, the imagination is incredible. You've got Big Ben there. You've got the, the clocks. That is such a good page. Now, this is really, really busy. A quarter of the stock has gone, if you would love to get hold of this one. Uh, beautiful papers. You've got backgrounds. You've got main images. And you've got that vintage look, but obviously there's so much you can do. I love these because, again, you could be putting those on one page if, you do, if you're art journaling. Open the actual doors so it looks like you're going into the next page. Um, You've got your toppers, you've got your beautiful world map again. So Lady Vagabond is in London. So Sir Vagabond is tra tra traipsing, I nearly said. He's travelling over to, to London to go and, and find his lady. Um, I love it, though, because she might be in London, but look at these. I mean, that's got a bit of an Amsterdam look about it, hasn't it? I, I adore them. I love all the roofs. They're fabulous. But then again, when you've got all the eagle piggle roofs, it always reminds me of... Um, Oh, Mary Poppins. You know when there's, they're doing the sweep song? Yeah, the chimney sweeping. And they've got all the fabulous roofs. This one is one of my favourites because that proper looks like an old book. It looks beautiful. And I love the actual books at the bottom there. And this one on the other side of that, can you see? You've got your pages. So when you're cutting that out, <clears throat> it is properly double-sided, which is amazing. The other side of that you have got, um, again, you can start creating um, <coughs> your journal pages. So on this one, these are double-sided. Well, you look at them, I'll just have some water. <laughs> Well, my throat's hating me speaking recently, which isn't great for a presenter. Um, so um, you've got your yeah, that side and say double sided. Uh, uh, these are beautiful. They're beautiful because they look like old book, uh, worn book covers, don't they? Oh, man, they're just so nice. And then you've got all your toppers. Um, it isn't coated. It allows you to do so much. This is is seriously cool if you haven't got this collection yet you need it in your life if you have got it then obviously i'm hoping you've already started using it and now you'll probably be ready for getting another uh, paper pad they're only 11.99 fantastic value for money and just beautiful one two six six nine one is your item number now the eight by eight so i won't go through both of your eight by eights because you've just seen them and they are the same designs however 
forever on a smaller scale. So I'll just flick through uh, briefly. I love that you've got them on a smaller scale because there's so much you can do with them as well. Now, 20% of the stock has gone. And a lot of people will want the, uh, the 8x8 for card making, whereas your 12 by 12 sometimes you might think that's a little bit too big for some of your cards, whereas that's absolutely perfect and such good value. Both of those for just £13.98. And um, that is 941335. Now, I will show you some finished samples in a second because the finished samples, especially the ones from Stamperia, are phenomenal. Um, the moulds. Now, the moulds are amazing. So, your first one is your wings. I'm just going to spin it because look at your wings. Man, that is too cool. This is my favourite mould. 20% of the stock has gone, yeah, I'm not surprised. Now, you, oh my gosh, you're getting both of these for $14.98. Those wings are amazing. Whether you're using your um, air dry clay, whether you're using resin with them, seriously cool. You've then got Sir Vagabond with his flying machine. Honestly, it's so cool. And then you've got loads of different cogs and things in this one. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you finished samples because um, this is one I did in um, the last the last time or the first time we had it on. And that's the beautiful wings. I mean, oh, I love them. Building that up with your um, with your other moulds there. Um, we have got the, if you do want the chipboard on the show, we've got the chipboard. Rice paper in the background there as well. And of course the paints that we've also got on the show. Just beautiful. Let me show you a few more because on this one although we haven't got the actual and this has been sent in from Stamperia how phenomenal is that it's just such a good uh, finished sample we haven't got the um, the owl unfortunately but you've got your beautiful papers and I mean it's the papers in the background it's the wonderful uh, cogs and things that we've got and um, this is so busy you really 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 need to check your baskets out please do not miss out let me show you one more finished sample oh, I'm going to show you all the finished samples but I'll show you a few at a time I mean again that's been sent in from Stamperia isn't that amazing? So layering, layering that beautiful paper. That has actually got an acetate over the top, a printed acetate, which is seriously cool. And again, oh, they make fantastic um, mixed media pieces. Okay, if you do want those moulds, you do need to be busy. Uh, sorry, yeah, you need to be quick with them because they're busy. <laughs> Get busy with your moulds. Uh, 906157, a quarter of the stock has gone flying out the door. Now, We've also got, and we've got all sorts of different configurations from what we had last time. Um, this is gorgeous because in Sir Vagabond Traveller, you've got in this kit, first of all, you've got your mould. Now, I don't think we had this one on last time. So I think this is a new mould from, I don't remember seeing it last time. And it's a cracking mould because you've got your, your beautiful little clocks. You've got all the different keys. I like how there's a kind of normal Yale key on there as well. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of the time they're really vintage, but that one's like, yeah, actually it's kind of up to date as well. Um, so you've got your beautiful mould, first of all. Flexible mould, really handy. You've then got your paper. Now it is just one paper. Do remember, Stampiri do sell the papers singular. With that used to seeing them in the, the pads, we kind of forget that they sell them singular. Um, and it's really handy having extra paper because you are going to be cutting it up and it allows you to to make your pads go further you've then got your your really beautiful rice paper i mean this one is amazing um so first of all you've got your a3 this is your backgrounds these are i mean there's so many elements on that uh, and stamp area in my personal opinion are still the best when it comes to rice paper the imagery is phenomenal when you look at that it is edge to edge you are wasting nothing on that rice paper and the the detail is fat fabulous um, of course it is a gorgeous rice paper so it'll allow you to use it on lots of different surfaces but it's tough you know and like something like this the colors don't run you know so you've got that beautiful color isn't that amazing now this is busy only 9.99 for those rice papers for that mold and your paper um that is fabulous 
520891. Um, now, 30% of the stock has gone. If you do want that, please check your baskets out. Very, very busy indeed. I'm moving down my finished samples because I am going to be showing you. Now, next we've got for you, and this is cool as well. So, this is your train collection. Now, I'm going to try and pick up some of these beautiful embellishments because these are amazing now you've actually got in this collection so you've got your chipboard you've got um hold on a minute so these are your die cuts your die cuts you're actually getting 60 pieces of die cuts and honestly these are fabulous and i'm just going to show you quite a few of these because they're beautiful. And what you're getting in here, you've got sentiments. You've got so many different elements. They're absolutely amazing. And you can see, look at these. Aren't they superb? And this, when you think about how many you're getting, 60 of these, and they are a tough embellishment as well. Um, so it's printed on cardstock, beautiful colours, and you have got that dimension that it's going to give you. So 60 of them, for starters. You've then got... Um, now, these ones, your chipboard, these ones, I do believe these are adhesive, aren't they? And you've got 17 pieces. Yeah, they are. So you've got 17, 17 adhesive chipboard pieces. And they're, again, absolutely stunning. So they're your adhesive chipboard. You've then got your big rice paper, your A3 rice paper. This kit is only 11 99 That rice paper is stunning. I love that. And rice paper, I mean, rice paper you can put on fabric. You use the right adhesive and you could put that on fabric. You could put it on your stone paper. Um, I mean, there's so much you can do with it. I love that. That is stunning. And then last but by no means least, I'm really happy you've got now, because this one is one that you would want as a double, because this is the paper that's got your... Um, your your um, journaling cards on and I really really like that because they're double sided so it means because I find these tricky I have actually prepped this uh, one of these to, to demo with but I find these tricky to chop up because I really love them as journaling cards honestly that is such a good kit Eleven ninety nine. you've got tons in that let me show you a finished sample because have a look at this now this is a collaboration of all sorts of stuff going on here this has been sent in from Stamperia how beautiful Beautiful is that they have sent this in from Stamperia and it's amazing so you have got Sir Vagabond that's from your 12 by 12 papers you've got they have used um, stencils on the show we've got the paints on here which we have got on the show um, it's got the molds on there the papers as well I mean that is just sensational in it and that that is your papers your 12 by 12 papers I'm going to show you this one as well now this one I do believe it was, I think, did I Maggie make this one? I think, I think, I might be wrong, it might be wrong. But anyway, this is using your rice paper, but then your chipboard that you've got in this collection, which is just amazing. We've then got, have a look at this. How pretty is this? Using your papers, using your chipboard that's in this collection, and then making a fantastic book with this. I mean... Isn't that just beautiful? Mixing your chipboard, mixing all your different elements, making your gorgeous little pockets. So, so cool. Uh, please, please check your baskets out. This is such a good bundle for £11.99. You're getting so much for your money. Um, 984080. Now, We've also got your beautiful Lady Vagabond collection. Um, and again, this is lovely because you've got your stamps in this one. Only 22 99 And the stamps are amazing. Have a look at them. Now, your stamps from Stamperia are really good quality. They're already foam mounted. They have got, like, have a look at your red rubber. Beautiful. They stamp really, really gorgeously. And I'll just, I love those. It, it's just so pretty. Um, the rice paper in this is divine. Oh. Now, the rice paper on the website, the, the photo, it looks like there's two of each. You're actually just getting one of each of these. Um, no wonder for 22 99 You've got stamps in this one. That rice paper is amazing. I mean, you've got your beautiful, beautiful um, uh, luggage there, your beautiful um, suitcases. You've then got the town. Isn't that amazing? So cool. And then, last but not least, 
you have got um, the the wonderful paper. Now that's a cool one because again you can cut that out. You've got so much that you can do with that, and there you've got your London news in the background. Oh, it's so cool. Just twenty two pounds and ninety nine pence. I am going to show you again. I'm mixing up your samples They're from all of it essentially. Um, that one, your beautiful book, that is from your papers. It's from your chipboard, and it's just layering. It's also your rice paper as well. Um, please do not miss out on these. Absolutely fabulous. There's so much you can do with your uh, collections. And oh, I, it might have been Kay, actually. I know it was the ladies anyway. It was our Cool Cats Crafts ladies who made um, a few of these samples as well. In fact, because I think, I think Kay made this one. I think it was a mixture of the both the ladies, but Kay made that one, which is gorgeous, and loads of the embellishments. Okay, please check your baskets out. £22.99 for this one, uh, but there's so much to see. Um, have a look on the, the website. We'll give you some pictures and numbers. Um, now, first of all, we have got... now. This is a cracker. You've got your beautiful, beautiful mould with this one. It's your clocks and your gears. That mould is a good mould. If you do want to get hold of that one, it's beautiful. You've also got your rice papers. So you've got your rice papers with all your clocks. You've got one that's from another collection, but it does work beautifully with this one. So it does tie in wonderfully. Um, so that one is that one. Uh, we've also got for you the wonderful paints now. The paints are always really busy. You're getting all six paints here. And honestly, these are such good value for money. £13.99. But the quality is amazing. Honestly, they're absolute. I really recommend these. They're beautiful. I'm very lucky. I've got a lot of the paints now. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend them. You might have had some colours before, but you might not. So do have a little look. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you think of them as well. Um, 817 uh, uh, seven four is your item number. Now the answer. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah. Now this is cool stuff. I probably will be touching on this in the second hour, but this is well cool. This is your antique and paste. Now Antonis uses this a lot. So if you love Antonis's work, this is what he uses. It's twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, and you're getting a massive tube there as well. One eight three zero nine seven. Okay. Now, the, um, now you lot of soft clay, and you, do you know what? This one, you're getting a massive pack of it. Um, oh, in fact, you're getting two packs. Sorry, I got sent the big one. Right, you're getting two packs of this one. It's really good clay, um, and it's different as well as this one, but it's air dry clay, so it does mean you'll get it. Um, it's super, super light when it actually dries. £10 and £99 for both of those. 585725. Now, always busy is a wonderful cream paste. So so much you can do with the cream paste, so please don't miss out on that one as well. 987 81803 is your item number. Okay, now then, that was a big old counter, weren't it? So I'm going to be quick. What I'm doing, I'm going to do an art journal page, because I don't do an art, art journal with my stamp period as much as I should. So I thought, you know what, today, that's exactly what we're doing. So I am going to use a little bit of the paint in the background, first of all. Not too much, because I just want a little bit of uh, texture, but I'm not going to go too mad. Now, I'm going to use my... Um, the ivory first of all i'm using my my older ones and i'm just going to pop a little bit at the top i've already got it planned where what i'm doing with this page so i know the bits i'm not really going to see so i won't put paint there i'm mixing it up with the um with the i don't know what they're calling it with the brown the earth brown so that's what i'm i'm mixing it up with this one i've got it oh, i haven't opened that one oh fancy that i'll open mine shall i Brand new, would you believe it? Um, now then, okay, yeah, it's a bit of a treat. Give it a shake. Okay, so let's get the paint on. Now, these are really nice, thick paints. The the reason I'm putting paints on this background, really, it's for texture. And I am going to be putting rice paper over the top. So it, it means that with the, the rice paper, you'll be able to see some of the colour behind it. I know I'm using um, the, the, um, the ivory, first of all, so you can't really see that. But in a second... When I use the brown, that will blend in, you see. So the brown will blend into that ivory to give it a really nice, um, a nice colour. I'm just giving this a shake because it's new. I just don't want to make, I want to make sure it's 
there you go now see that needs a bit more of a shake rather than shake it I'm just going to stir it so there we go then I know it's all all done because I don't want to faff okay so give that a bit of a stir like so it does look like chocolate we are all hungry so yeah we're always hungry there we go so that's my paint like so now you can water it down it's very good quality it honestly i really really like these water base so you can work on all sorts of surfaces and you don't have to faff about cleaning your brushes it's dead well you do clean your brushes but you know you you can just clean it with water i don't hey i do I do, I'm pretty good with, with my, oh, yeah, I'm good with my brushes. I don't like ruining my brushes. I mean, there's some I've ruined, but, you know. So, now, I'm putting this on. I don't want it even. You are going to see slightly underneath the rice paper. So, this will just give me that really um, nice sort of textured effect. I know this side I'm going to be covering with regular paper, so you're not really going to see that. And I'm going, I'm working in the centre of the book just to give that um, a bit more... Um, to make it a bit tougher in the center and I'm just going to go back over slightly with the ivory like so and I'm using my art journal page I love using my art journals for for things like this because it, you can get to, um, some really cool pages but also with your art journals they can be as chunky as you want so you can rip other pages out of them if it's getting too chunky just rip some pages out and then it's absolutely fine so I'm now blending that a little bit so it just gives me that really nice background effect okay okay the colors are stunning so you've got you've got in this one in fact I'm going to show you theirs rather than mine because they've changed the the well they haven't changed the names they've just some are in um maybe some are in Italian I'm not sure but anyway um so you've got you've got um Verde Voglia, <laughs> that's leaf green. Terra, earth brown. We've got a vero ivory. We've then got biscotta, that's cookie. Biscoffe, oh, I'm so hungry. Um, you've then got anthracite, which is called anthracite, and then turquoise, which is turquoise. Hey, um, really nice paints. They have a gorgeous flow to them, beautiful colour palette. But what I love about these, they put them with the collection. And if I just pick up any paper and then bring on those paints, look at how they go with the papers. And this is why they've done it. So you've got paints that will match your papers. I mean, there are paints within the collection. So if I get something else from the collection, say um, the beautiful, I mean, that one, that's gorgeous. And that will still go. So they have, they've mixed it up. So a lot of them will go. But I, I really like how they do that because it gives you confidence that you've got paint that will go beautifully with your, your papers as well. Um, Okay, I'm happy with that background, so I'm just going to leave that as is. Um, obviously, give it a blast to dry, because you don't want to be putting your rice paper onto your, your wet paint. It is acrylic, so um, it'll dry nice and quickly for me, and it'll go on loads of different surfaces. Uh, you can use lots of different things with it for different techniques as well. So it is a, a cracking, cracking investment, those paints. Okay, so that's okay, that's dry enough. So let's get the rice paper on. Now, I don't think we've got the glue on the show, but we've got the collar gel. That's the, the glue I'm using. I really like my collar gel. Um, we have had it on before, so hopefully we will be bringing it on in future shows. Now, what I'm doing is, is just popping my adhesive on my page first of all i'm going to be using my rice paper so i'm just covering this now you don't need too much don't have it swimming in um in glue because you don't need it you don't need it you know really really over the top but enough to give it a coverage i know i am going to be covering this up with other elements so i will be losing some of my rice paper I'm not being too worried about that though. And this side, I'm only putting my rice paper kind of over here. 
So it's going down the centre of the page. I might as well have it down the centre of the page because that's a beautiful thing about rice paper. Because it's so um, lightweight and fluid, doing something like this will be perfect in the centre of my page because it will fold wonderfully. It's not going to be fighting with my page. There we go. So enough glue on there. So I'm going to take my rice paper and I'm just going to take it from the top now, normally, I will also glue on the back of the rice paper. For this, because I'm putting it in my, my book, I'm not going to bother. And I'm actually just going for it. I'm just putting one layer of rice paper on. Now, I'm then going to get my water brush. Oh, I would get my little one, wouldn't I? I'm going to get my water brush. And rather than cut this, I'm just going to get my water brush and go along the bottom so I can tear it. Okay. Now, this rice paper collection has been super popular. If you do want this, over half the stock has gone. So if you do want this, please check your baskets out. This is the one that's got the mould in there. It's got the card sheet. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Please make sure you check your baskets out. It is stunning. Now, I am ripping this. Because, because I don't want it to be a hard edge. I might not see this, but just in case, okay? So I'm going to pop that to one side. And then, oh, sorry, wrong details. Right, so this is the right one. This is the right paper, rice paper. But over half the stock has gone here. So you are getting your chipboard, you get your rice paper. You've got the card sheet there as well. It is absolutely beautiful. And see, that's the one. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's ace is this one. And I love the fact that you've got all those uh, chipboard elements as well. Remember, you've got 60 chipboard elements in that kit. It's superb. Um, please check your basket. It's like 11 99 Prices are amazing, aren't they? You know, they're really, really good. And the quality of the products. I think this is the thing, you know, when you're working with Stamperia, it's all that quality. Right, okay. So, sticking that down. I'm working in the center. There we go. And over the top. This will glue it down properly. Now, I'm working, and I know I've got air bubbles on in this. Because I'm working on my, um, my uh, mixed media page, because I'm working in my journal, I'm not actually too fussed about uh, right, uh, air bubbles. I suppose if I were working on um, a canvas or something like that, that might bug me. But on this, it really doesn't irritate me. I, I kind of like the, the texture that it's given me. I, like put, I do like using my fingers to glue it down. It feels really good. And also, you can really work it then into the centre of that page. Work it. And because it's rice paper, that, you know, if you were doing your normal scrapbook paper in the middle of the page, it could be a bit tricky to fold rice paper. No, nah, it's going to be perfect. And that bottom bit, I am going to fold back over. In fact, I'll fold it there. Okay, happy with that. Now, let's start building up a page. So, rice paper, you do need to leave that to dry. So, I'm going to start working on this side of the page. Now, what I've already done is, I've taken... I've already done some cutting out and stuff. So I've taken one of my pages. Now, this is, this page, you're getting in your 12 by 12, but you're also getting this in, um, it's in one of the kits. So you do get this one separate in one of the kits. And what I've done, I've cut it down. So you've got that pit there. So that is, I've put a score line on that, okay? So this is going to sit on the edge of my page like this. And then this bit is going to come over the side like this. So this is going to be your pocket. Do you see what I mean? So I've got that as a pocket. So to make it into a pocket, all I'm going to do is use my, good grief, it's 22 already. All I'm going to do is use my double-sided tape like so, to make this into a pocket. Now, I really wanted a pocket because I've got those beautiful journal cards, which again, you get in your 12 by 12 and you get separate. But those journal cards are just so cool. So it does mean I wanted something to, to really show off those journal cards. So, look. <laughs> so what I'm doing is just popping that down. Good old red liner. So now I've got a little pocket, which means my beautiful journal cards, of which I haven't cut one out because I cut it out and then chopped it up. So if I just quickly cut this, because look, 
And this one, you're getting your 12 by 12, you're also getting your 8 by 8, but you're also getting your journal cards in a separate kit, so you do get extra of your journal cards. And I just adore these. These are one of my favourite papers. So see, oh, they are so beautiful. Look at that, so cool. And that's my journal cards. And it'll sit in there like an absolute treat, which is amazing. And then, what I'm going to do, look, so my gorgeous die cuts. You've got your die cuts. So with this, look, you could put that on the front of that pocket. So then that is going to give me a really nice sturdy pocket, uh, which is just gorgeous. And that means I'm not worried about that being weighty enough to hold the pocket down. It'll absolutely hold that pocket down. Now, while I do some gluing, I'll glue this, or Adam will give you a bit of a refresh, because it's, it's 22 already, can you know? I don't even believe it, Adam. Adam and Eve, it. Well, 22 already. Well, I know, where's the time gone? I don't know. I'm... It's disappeared in a time machine. <gasps> Funny you should say that. Vagabond. With the sheer fact you have your 12 by 12. Oh, smooth. Oh, seamless. smooth. Seamless. Oh. Uh, the, oh, do you want me to flick through as well? Oh, I've got a lot to do. Uh, it's very, very Christopher Columbus, this reminds me of. It's sort of that round the world in 80 days. Um, and they are beautiful, beautiful papers. Uh, they are that stunning. I was just flicking through while um, Leonie was talking there. They are worthy of just framing on their own. Literally take three of your favourites and just frame them. Uh, that's in there. It would work really, really well. A third of the stock has already gone as well. Um, Let Leonie Loose again is back at 2 o'clock. Uh, who knows if it will still be here. 11.99 is what you're looking at. 202.724 is your item number. Then you've got your Lady Vagabond as well. And what you're looking at, uh, 11.99, again, I'm thinking, so what's that, 22, 23, 24 pound, you got both 12 by 12 kits, which is absolutely phenomenal value uh, for money. If I do it that way, look, uh, then you can see what you're getting in there. 50% uh, of the stock has already gone here as well. The big 12 by 12s uh, for what you've got in. Uh, absolutely love every single one of these because there is so much you can do with them. There is so, so much you can do, and this could be absolutely anywhere. And if you're a big fan of London, there is something about London, unless you live there, and then people are like, well, it's just London. Uh, there is something about going to London that gives you them sort of little butterflies. Mm. Something very exciting about going to London. Uh, so if you are a big fan, just find them. The, the old maps as well, they're, they're quite uh, realistic. Uh, they look amazing. Uh, 126691 is your item number. Your 8x8 minis flying out the door now, 50% of the stock, and you get both of them. So it's exactly the same as your big 12 by 12, but they're in 8 by 8 form, okay? So in an 8 by 8 size, uh, but they're all just shrunk down. So there's not, you don't get different scales. They all still work really, really well. 13 by 13, 98, you can't go wrong, can you, to be honest? What's that, 25, 20? I'd have all this. I'd be putting these in my basket as well. I think we're just touching over the 30 pound mark now. Uh, 941335 is your item number. Everything's on extended delivery as well. I remember the 23rd of June, as my Nana says, good things worth waiting for, and you will are worth waiting for as well. Uh, then, uh, these are your A4 moulds. 40% of the stock has now already gone. You are getting both moulds for 14.98. You've got those wings. Those wings remind me of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The swing that about it as well, isn't there? Something yeah. chitty bang bang, the old grandpa that sits in the, the as in the little port -loo thing that hangs underneath. It's something about them I absolutely adore. Uh, then you've got the little train, because you could just do the train on its own. If you make a little canal and cut it off, you could just have the train or the big um, air balloon that's in there. Then you've got the cogs, and then this way for an adventure. Imagine them on the front of your journals and things like that would be absolutely stunning. Uh, 1498 is your item number. Something else that you are absolutely loving is your, uh, is your keys. Keys and Clarks, this is your Sir Vagabond Travellers Collection. You're at your fine mould, you're eating rice papers, and you're getting a card sheet as well. Well, I never. 9 99 over half the stock has already gone on this one. Uh, then you've got the train collection. If you're liking this collection, you're going to love the train. It all works. Approaching 60% of the stock for 11 dollars 984 is your item number. 
A, someone must have been a dull day in the office to lay all them out. Uh, someone done well. £11.99. Well done, Luke. Uh, 984080 is your item number. Then you got your Lady Vagabond collection. Uh, £22.99. This time you're getting red rubber stamps. Uh, but this, just so you know, you're only getting one of the rice prices. So you get. Oh, we are getting both now? Where line? Well, we spoke to someone high up, let's put it there. We went straight to, we, we skipped out the buyers. We went straight to the top. We went right to the high. You are getting both rice papers. So you get a set of four rice papers now. Uh, and you get your stamps and you also get your 12 by 12 as well. Well, I never in this place. Uh, out of curiosity, obviously I won't be here. I'll be sitting on the other side of the studio. How much would it be for, I haven't got my phone in with me. How much would it be for the entire counter? I reckon... We're looking under, we're talking flexi on the two flexis easily. Mm. But I'll hand back to Leo. you haven't got to stay with me. Well, let's go back to Leonie and see what she's doing. <laughs> um, Are you doing some maths? Well, well Molly. Someone does some maths. I'm Molly. I'm Molly does some maths. Place. I want the entire counter. He wants the entire counter. He wants the lot, including the, lot. Including the um, thingy, though. You'll need uh, your doodah as well, though. You're, I've always um, got my doodah out. Don't forget your doodah. <laughs> Love, I've, I've always got my doodah in my hand. I'll tell you what your doodah is. It's your stone paper. You want that. We'll be, we'll be doing that in the next hour. Oh, right. Don't add all the clays in and stuff like that. Just the paper pads and the moulds. Can, can I crack on? Yeah, you crack on. Right. Sorry. Right, OK. Well, they do a bit of maths. <laughs> Look at this, right? Look at this. So, so, you've got... Look, this is your little extra... So that is my little extender page, see? So that is your little pocket. Oh, isn't that cute? I'll put some on the back of that, but for now. And I wanted that because because I love the journal cards that much. So you've got one of your lovely little secret journal cards in there. So you could put loads of journal cards in there. Isn't that pretty? So then that folds in. So that's my that's that side of the page. I've also got because I had this. Now this is the other side of this. So when I cut Sir Vagabond, that was the other the other side of it. But there's no way I'm wasting that. So this is going to come on this side here. And this is when now... So the lovely thing is with your, your papers, they they show you how to, to layer them. They show your collage. You know, they, they inspire you on your collage. So then to do it, just bring in your ink. And I am inking rather than painting here because it's easy and quick so bring in your ink along the edges and i have cut it down slightly just slightly so it'll fit on and then just glue this in place i'm using my stamperia glue i am using the um my colored uh, glue which is such good quality i've got a few but this one sometimes it takes a bit longer to come out uh but da -da 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 -da. so i'm going right up to the edges making sure you don't need much because it is a really strong glue is this one to be honest so popping that down like right, so so this one you see will fit beautifully there which is gorgeous and you can I'm gonna actually let's batter this up a bit because then it's not too perfect Um, so so because it's like meant to be your, your old sort of newspaper let's get it a little bit beaten at the end like this can you see so rolling it up and it takes a little bit of welly does this they are strong papers so just a little bit of welly getting it so it's nice and beaten now our mo has done all the math so she spent adam's money how much does it all come to then if it was a lot Okay, so, oh, wow, so everything in the basket, that's all the things. Oh, and the paints, and the gorgeous stone paper. Do blue, blue, blue. So, all together, your first flexi is 7140. And then 6745 in a month's time, because obviously you will have paid for your postage in the first one. Unless you're a Freedom member, obviously. 
we're freedom members, so we haven't got any postage. Um, that is amazing. So your first payment, if you are a freedom member, um, £71. Oh, well, if you're, if you're a freedom member, it's less than that. But if you are a freedom member, then obviously it's going to be less than that. But £71.40 if you're getting everything. There you go, Adam. That's all right, isn't it? It's all right. And you get everything everything and it is just amazing such a good collection right now filling in your gaps okay so i probably won't fill in all the gaps because of time but with this now so you're taking your little bits of card this is where you can use all your scraps so all of these fill in just beautifully so where i've roughed up my paper you can then bring in your your little scraps like this and your scraps keep all of these it makes it when you're doing your collage work it's such a nice way of using it because it means things like this they all start to blend beautifully so bringing this in now like so i'm blending that as well just there like that okay so where i, I roughed up my paper you can't even see now because look, it just blends in gorgeously. Obviously, I'm going to cover this in a minute as well. Okay, so I love that. Now, let's get on. What time is it? Oh, 22, that's okay. It's not horrendous time yet. Okay, we've got a little bit of time. So bringing this in. Now, I haven't got any stencils in this show. I would bring in some stencils normally, uh, but because I've no um, stencils, I'm still going to bring in my paint. It is a little bit wet, so I will just give it a blast with my heat tool. Um, just to blast the, uh, the glue. And this one again, the rice paper is just gorgeous. And you can see, can you see underneath where the paint is? And that's the thing with the rice paper. You, it layers wonderfully on top of things because you can see through it, because it's got that sort of transparency. It allows you to, to see some of the, um, the goodness that you put under there. Now, if you do want the rice paper, the kit that this rice paper's in, this is the one with those wonderful embellishments. This is your train collection. It's only 11 99 Again, really good prices. We're approaching two thirds of the stock gone with that one. Okay, that's enough of that for now because I'm bored of drying it. It's a little bit of glue there, but I'm bored. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add on a little bit of paint on this. So I'm gonna go, I'm loving the darker paint. So I'm gonna use the dark paint there. I'm then gonna use a little bit of the brown as well. And then a little bit of the ivory, just in case I get a bit too mad. Now, I'm not putting much paint out because these are beautiful. They will go a long way. So try not to get too carried away initially. Because honestly, if you do, you, you kind of waste them because they do go a long way. So start bringing your paint in. Don't bet the, yeah, the anthracite is gorgeous. It really is. And just go for it. Because this is where, again, you'll start to be able to blend your pages. So just blending that paint in. Ah, oh, thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy likes this. And you see, what you want to be doing is you'll be bringing the paint in, but allowing it. Don't worry about covering your um, your rice paper, because you just you want it all just to start blending in together. So it doesn't matter if your rice paper gets a little bit obliterated there we go and the cream will uh, it'll allow this to blend a bit see what i mean so now it's not just one color you start bringing your colors in oh, i love that it i love those colors as well they're just gorgeous <laughs> so so what Look at that mall. She likes looking up in them big posh buildings. Churches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, buildings. Ch churches. St. Oh. Paul's. St. <laughs> Paul's. There's loads of them. There's loads of them churches. Mall. This inspires Mall of them. They're big churches, them big churches, them, them big cathedral type churches. 
Our balls. That <laughs> you're on it though. It does. It is very much like a beautiful church ceiling. It really is. <laughs> Those beautiful posh buildings. Uh, oh, it reminds me of a posh building. What are they called? Churches. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Jack isn't surprised. <laughs> Now, I know this takes a while, but keep building it, okay? Keep building those colours, keep layering, layer, layer. Because this, it does, it, it just looks so interesting when you start um, layering the colours. And the colours work together so well. It's beautiful. Oh, we've got, we've got a picture. This is from lovely Jill. Let's have, a, oh, Jill. That's amazing. That is Sir Vagabond. Yeah, that is just gorgeous. She's used Sir Vagabond. It looks like she's used some of the embellishments as well. And some of the um, wonderful um, collage pieces. Absolutely beautiful. Jill, thank you for sharing. I tell you what, I want more pictures by two o'clock if you would. That would be marvellous if you could. Thank you very much. Um, right, okay. Now, can you see where we're going with the paint? Which looks really effective. I'm going to stick him on, though, before we go any further, because look how Sir Vagabond works on the page. I would do more painting. I would bring it round more. Because, look, you want to really... You want... And I'll just really quickly... Super quick. Come on, girl. <laughs> Get that... Oh, just, just scrub it on. Scrub it on. So, with this... Okay. Adam, Adam's been crying. Look, look, look. So when you bring the paint on, it starts coming round and it looks, looks so effective. And what I do with this one as well, glue him on. But then, and I do this every time with Stamperia, you want to put a drop shadow on it. And you definitely need to put a drop shadow on this because, let me get it on, because that will really... That will really add to <laughs> that will really add to the dimension of this. So he's going to go on that page. Any cool? I've even got I've even got out of the mold. Look, I've even got a little eyeglass out of the mold. Isn't that fabulous? And that is out of. I'm not going to rummage which mold, but it's that mold. You know the clocks. Oh, I think that's that one. Is yeah, it top, this? Top is it the time machine one? We've got on stage show. I might have picked up my wrong mould. But anyway, oh, it might have picked up the wrong mould. But anyway, it comes out of that mould. Uh, but that looks amazing. What else I've done, and I know I'm going to run out of time, but what else I've done, so one of those wonderful journal cards, I've taken the journal card, I've cut the centre out the journal card. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be glued on. And this is the one, you get it in your 12 by 12, but you've also got extra pages, which is so cool because it means um, with this, you are going to be able to use it for this and for, for other goodies as well because you've got it twice. So I'm going to pop it there. Let me make sure he's... Right, it needs to be moved over a little bit. Oh, one minute. Right, so this is going to sit. Let me just make sure my pocket's coming in like that. He has to come in like this. So that can sit about there. So that's going to sit about there like that. But then my the actual, um, this bit, the top of it, that I'm going to put my 3D form on. Okay. So my good old 3D form is going to sit like this. And then my fella with the wings, no. he's going to, oh, aye, he's going to sit inside, but his wings are going to come outside the frame. Oh. So that's going to be like that. Isn't that just beautiful? That's Isn't nice. that just beautiful? And then I'm going to finish all this little bit. The paint's really good because the paint, you can, it blends the papers in. So around here where there's no paper, if you're putting your paint, it doesn't matter. You know, once you put your paint over here, it absolutely works. And then, of course, you want to add some of your beautiful embellishments. Oh, all my embellishments. Your beautiful embellishments. And just keep building up that gorgeous page. It'll look cool, won't it? If it finishes. And then that's my pocket. Oh, 
Um, I'll try and finish it off, maybe. Uh, but I am back at two o'clock. Are you with me at two, dear? No, I don't know what. I'm finished at two today. Oh, you bye know. bye. See you soon. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Never a chore. Never a chore. We could go to one of them big buildings. Oh, amazing church. <laughs> Wonder. It's not even me doing the menu, they told me I was doing the menu, you're doing it. Am I doing it? Yeah. Rowan Dean, then I'm Broadway, Quill Dragon, and Lee. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Welcome to the craft store. It is wonderful to have your company. Now, we've just followed on, of course, from Let Leone Lose, but we're going all stitchery now because, of course, we've got Rowan Dean and it is the one day special, the second live hour of today. Now, busy from the start, very busy again this morning. In fact, we have now lost over 70% of the entire stock. This is the one day special in front of me. It is huge as well. But before we get into this, better just say good afternoon to Katrina. She's been working hard over at the other end of the studio there. How are you doing, Katrina? I'm doing really well. Are you Thank having you. a nice day? I am, I am. It's good, oh. good fun. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, of course, we'll see lots from Katrina when it comes to demonstrations throughout the hour. Now, the One Day Special itself, this is made up of actually three kits because, do you know, you get the whole lot, but if we break this down, now we did have individuals available, I'll come to that because one of them sold out, another one's limited at the very least, but let's have a look because we're starting here. On screen, you can just see the lavender kit. That is so pretty, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. When I say kits, I mean kits because you're getting needles, you're getting threads, you're getting the printed fabric, you're getting organzas, you're getting full instructions, you're getting everything that you need. Now in the centre here we've got the beautiful card kit 
Now this is the Coastal Delights card kit. You get the blank cards, you get the envelopes as well as all the components to create the kits. But if you want to break these down into separate projects, you can. You don't have to turn them into cards. It's entirely up to you. But what a way of creating some beautiful, beautiful pieces of art here. We will be, of course, talking to Katrina about these kits a lot more as we go through. But you can see again there those beautiful textures when it comes to the yarns, the different colours, there's some metallics in there. The beads and the sequins, there are so many. I'm not even going to attempt to pick that tray up because I will lose them. We've got wooden beads, we've got sequins, we've got bugle beads, we've got little seed beads in there. Gorgeous colours just to have that little glint, that glistening effect when it comes to the coastal theme for the waters. Now something else that we've got also is the needle case kit. Now individually this one has gone. Do you know, I'm going to come to you at this point, Katrina, and say you must have had a lot of fun putting this sample together, designing this. I loved it. I really enjoyed doing this this project. The fact that it so, has so much detail and so much uh, texture in it, I think, that is created with the thread. So it's, it's an, and I think it's something that you can build on. You can do the, uh, you know, the front and the back cover, but you can also enhance the pages uh, of the hand felt when you've got that inside a little bit as well. Definitely. Do you know, it's worth opening that out and showing both sides together again. It really is beautiful. Yeah, the hand-dyed felt is there, the lining, the tweed, of course, that's woven specifically for Rowan Dean. That's also included. All of those components. There's so much texture in this one. The only way, as I say, you can get that is part of the one-day special. So all those three kits that I've just mentioned, everything that's in front of me here is available to you with that £7 saving, just 49 85 And we've got Flexi as well. So we'll break that down for you. Two payments of just £24.93. 678-299 is your item number. Now we think, we think we had this discussion earlier, but we think there's a lot of new people tapping into this this time because lots of you have been going for the accessory kit as well. So if you've never seen Rowan Dean before, if you are going for the one day special or anything else actually, then it might be worth popping these into your basket. You get the 5 inch and the 7 inch adjustable hoops and you also get the little embroidery scissors as well. You'll see Katrina use these throughout demonstrations. 646785 is the item number. Now because we've just gone through the one day special and we've got three kits there all incorporated into that one bundle, we're going to go straight over to Katrina now and see a little bit more from this wonderful one day special itself. So Katrina I'm going to hand it to you great, if I may. Great. Well I'm going to start with the needle case here um, and we've done a little bit so far on more or less everything. We've done some of the shells, some of the limpets, some of the pebbles, some of the water, a little bit of the seaweed and gradually it builds up until you've got that whole tidal pool there with all the sunlight going into it and you, you've really got three, three parts to design. So we've got the front design and we've got the back and then in the middle we've got a much flatter area and so if you're going to make it into a book you can fold that and it's not going to distort the sequins or anything. So the next thing I'm going to show you is I know I haven't finished co completely on this, but I've got the boucle yarn here and I'm just going to twist and lie that over the bottom area of the design and I'm just going to pin that into shape and then I'm going to couch the thread down uh, with another, another colour just to hold it in position and you can pin it in any shape that you like. It's, it's very easy to attach. I think the stitch is called, it's called couching. So you just, this just lies on the surface and is just secured with another thread. So I'm just going to do this without my frame to start with. And you can just take a little sort of stab stitch and you're just going to go through the fabric with this second thread. And then you're going to just about every half a centimetre or so, a centimetre, you're just going to secure that and if you've got the thread coiled or uh, twisted then you can do that a little bit closer and you're just going to go around some of the French knots and hold that in place and as you go around you can remove, remove the pins you kind of lose that stitch don't you because of the texture in the yarn as well yeah it sort of, it sort of gets buried in there but it just reminds me of seaweed I think it's just I th really you know, it's the perfect choice isn't it it's, it's hand dyed so I've dyed this, this really? yarn is it? so I've 
dyed that just just for this project oh, wow. and I think it suits you know it just it's just the right color and it's randomly dyed so you'll get different colors appearing yeah you can and almost then, see a teal coming through there can't you that is so pretty it's, it's really pretty now we were talking earlier I've just started on this little bit and see if you can see it wasn't intentional when I first did this when we did it on a, a, a pebble and we had um, a, a lady uh, contacts us and say, I like the little baby octopus on the front. <laughs> so we were looking for it. So I th just thought I'd show you what it looks like and what it's been named Oscar. Oh. So here he is. He's got a tiny little smile there. And it's two <laughs> little French knots and a bead. And you can see his little face there if you hold that. There's it. There's the eye. And there's the, uh, oh, the we'll mouth there. We'll come over the top so, so we can just see got that. A tiny little, tiny little bead there, just for the mouth. And then you can carry on and create <laughs> your shape. And you could actually place that wherever you wish, but it's probably something to do at the very, very end of the project, just so that you can, it's going to lie over the whole length of the project. So I quite I think that's a nice thing to do. It's couch that down, uh, and you can secure that uh, later. It is beautiful. And just a little word about the kits again, Katrina. For anyone that hasn't caught the earlier shows and maybe is seeing this for the first time, we're picking up new viewers constantly. You, oh dear, didn't touch it that time. Uh, <laughs> the cars keep falling over. When it comes to the kits themselves, Katrina, you, everything's pre-printed onto the fabric, whether it's a, a tweed kit or it's got cotton in there. That's but it's, right. You, you use this mainly as a guideline full instructions are there but you can improvise can't you as well there's no right and wrong there's no strict rules on anything that's right there's, there's uh, you know I mean there's a little bit of a plan do this and make this shell and and, and and sort of build your design but the actual how much you stitch on your on your piece it, it, you can add more French knots you can add more sequins you can build it's not uh, prescriptive in that you have to do it exactly uh, as, as mine and yeah. you'll find that when you get going on this you'll add a little bit more you'll have perhaps have some more gander in there I mean when you look at the colors and the beads they're just magical and they're just going to give you the chance to just add that little bit of sparkle, little bit of texture. So some of the some of the wooden beads are great, and that you can add as many as you wish, just to create as much texture on that piece as you would like. Yeah, and you were really, using little bits in the of sparkle. Sorry, you were using little bits of felt as well, weren't you, early under the limpet to sort of lift and build as well? That's right. So here we're, I'm trying to raise the surface. So I've got a little bit of, of, of the undyed felt. Uh, and you just cut that into a circle and then you just build a little bit of a shape higher up and just go loop round the thread and I've got a little one here just to show so that you can if you wish you can make um, a bead underneath and that will give a different shape oh, or yeah. you can use the felt and that will give us a slightly different shape just by adding a couple of layers of felt that works and the really same for well. the pebbles yeah of course, definitely, and nothing too difficult. If you've never stitched before, you could actually achieve these kits as well. This is a, a, you know, a craft that you can do that's quite peaceful, if I can put it that way, because you know you can sit quietly, you can sit with family and, and stitch. You can pick it up, put it down. You're not following charts, so it makes it very, very easy. We've been so busy on the one-day special. I'm not surprised with the value that you're getting here. Everything in front of me essentially is three full kits, and you're getting the whole lot together. So many components. There's far too much to count in, in one big bundle. Six seven eight two nine nine is the item number. You have got that seven pound saving, and you've got that flexi as well. So if you are popping things like the accessory bundle for the hoops into there you can split the cost there as well maybe you want to go for some extra tweed or a play around pack we've got all those different things which I'm sure we'll see in a little while six seven eight two nine nine remember is your item number for the one day special in fact actually talking about the play around packs We've got three of them. Now, there's three different item numbers here. The first one we're going to look at is spring. Spring, beautiful. You can see why it's called spring, can't you? Lots of greens in there, the yellows, the blues, a little bit of pink coming through there as well. I mean, Katrina spends so much time choosing the yarns and the threads. There's metallics in there. You are going to get your beads and sequins again. You get the appropriate needles, so there's different types of needles in with the kits. You've got a beading needle, the needle for the main work. You know, it's all there. Now, in this particular 
kit. You also get a piece of the cotton. You also get a piece of the tweed as well. 18.95 is the price. 519.571. Uh, been busy on these as well. Now the next one. The purple and the pink. This is a different item number. Now, this time, it's a choice of cotton or tweed. You will get two pieces. So you can see we've got the tweed out here. Uh, lovely colours again. You've got fabrics in here, the organzas. They were in the previous kit as well, of course. All the kits are the same. It's just the colours that vary. And, of course, the components inside do change a little bit. Look at the metallic thread running through there again. I love the greens that run through with the pinks and purples. You've got texture yarn, the mohair the boucle is in there as well I had no idea Katrina had dyed that green I thought I think it's beautiful on this kit though you've got that whole bundle for, again for 18.95 just make your choice of the tweed or the cotton I'll go for one of each 319597 then we have the brights for you so again you've got the choice of the tweed or the cotton and with the brights lots of green in this one again but you've got the brights almost the colors of the rainbow running through here everything that you need all those organzas you can be taking inspiration from demonstrations from previous work maybe you've got left over some kits as well and you want to sort of pinch ideas from those kits and then put them together in different ways that's what it's all about that's why they're called play around packs because you can do whatever you please with them 915 244 is the item number now we're going back to the seaside a little bit because we've got the seaside doodle cards now once again this is a whole kit you can see there are six different designs here they're all pre-printed on the tweed for you you've got masses of organza in beads and sequins again you've got all the needles the instructions everything comes together once again if you want to break this down in a different way you don't have to use these as cards you will get the blanks you will get the envelopes i think katrine's got a cushion over with her actually i don't know if it's one of these that's on there but we'll have a look at that later so maybe if you're going for this this bundle look at popping in maybe I don't know one of the fat quarters for the cotton or the tweed as well or some of the beautiful colored cottons that we've got to extend on this one but as it is as you've seen it there in front of me 19 pounds and 95 pence you break that down how much is that per kit is it three pounds something it will be three pounds and oh, three th three thirty two Wow. 954091 is the item number. They are beautiful. What a way to get a, a whole kit with uh, so many different designs in it. Love it. This next one proved to be very popular at the end of the last show because Katrina brought this into demonstration. He realized how pretty it actually is. Now, you don't get the hoop that is displayed. We do have those separately, but you are getting the kit. And how you work with that kit and what you do with it afterwards is entirely up to you. I want you to come in and have a look at these beads on this one. I really love these little beads. You get them in with the kit again. You get all sorts of beads in this one. The white bees, the little small seed bees. Look at those, aren't they lovely? Really beautiful. You've got the gauze in there as well, organza. That frayed effect adds texture again. You've got the height with the foxgloves there. What a great price point on this one as well. All those beautiful colours running through here. And you've got that little bit of shimmer with the metallics again. 789799 is the item number. It's only 14.95 for that kit. Now, the next one does actually come with a display hoop. This is so cute. Look at this. This would make a perfect gift for someone if you make it first and then gift it or gift it as it is in a kit. If you don't want to stitch it yourself, this is Duck in the Reeds. Isn't that gorgeous? 15.95 again, 943.177 is the item number. Everything comes perfectly packaged as well in a really nice uh, bag with uh, a beautiful label showing exactly what you get in the kit as well. Then moving along again, we've got summer leaves for you. Now this is where the organza has really been used well. Not only the green, but you've got the pink. If you look at the layering of the pink and the green together at the top leaf, there, isn't that lovely? Such a beautiful effect. You've got that little bit of glitz in there again with the beads and the metallic thread. This is a good size kit as well. All pre-printed on the cotton for you. 29 dollars 287808 There we are. Lots of beautiful uh, yarns in that one as well. Then, oh... This is stunning, isn't it? This is what, you know, Rowan Dean, when I think of Katrina and Rowan Dean, I always think about the images. It's like a picture within a picture where you've got that beautiful work in the foreground there. It invites you into the background, into the, the picture itself. But the, I mean, the detail in this one is just stunning. This is your shingle beach. 
Now, it is a kit. You do get the mount. You won't get the frame, but you do get a mount, so you can, of course, create that. You maybe want to turn it into a cushion if you wanted to. You've got Flexi on this one as well. So two payments if you want to split it down. Item number 029518. The fact that you've got Flexi on this one as well, if you're going for this and anything else, you can also split the cost. So lots to choose from. Now, the one-day special continues to prove very, very popular. So we're going to hand back to Katrina. We're going to see more in the way of demonstration. Over to you, Katrina. Showing here how you can use a bead either to create a shell or you could, it could be uh, an open shell where you're just using uh, the shape of the bead and stitching around about. So I'm stitching. There is a print under there just as a guide. And I'm using the full six strands here to do that. And I'm just going to go through the bead. Now, the, be the beads will vary in uh, how many, how many, uh, how that big the hole is in the center. So you can use uh, finer threads if the bead is slightly smaller. So once you've gone all the way around, you're then going to bring the needle up to the top and then you're going to start and you're going to wind the thread around. So you're going to go under, back over one and under the next one. And you're just going to go repeat this process all the way around. And it be, it's just as before, but this time you're creating quite a, a high shape. And it's it quite really does add a, a to lot to the height of that, doesn't it, that little bead? But it just, it just makes it so interesting. And depending on the thread, you know, the threads are variegated, so that thread, uh, the magic sort of happens. And you can uh, tighten the thread a little bit if you wish. Katrina, can you just tilt it. that a little bit towards our camera? Camera three at the front, that's it, so lovely. That's it. So, so we can, can really see those stitches. And then as you approach, when your thread's starting to run out, you can swap to a new thread. But it's great, it's, I think it's just great just to have a go and just try one of these. You get more than one, more than one uh, bead in there. You can have as many shells on it as you wish. And you just keep going round and round. And as your thread approaches about four or five centimeters, then take that thread down to the back. Don't pull it too tight. And then you can fasten off and restart. And this is where the hoops really come into their own, isn't it, as well? Because that's one of those points where if you didn't have the hoop to help you, you would probably find you're getting I think so. little puckers in the fabric and, um, you know, you're pulling it maybe too taut or you're not pulling it tight enough because you're worried about the tension. Yeah, I, th I think uh, the idea is that you want to enjoy the process of the yeah. stitching. Uh, so that helps, that keeps it, uh, the threads nice and taut, it keeps it, in, it keeps all the interest in one area so that you can focus on, on the French knots. So I'm just going to take okay. a thread. And of course you can move the hoop around, so once you've put those beads in place, you can sort of change the position of the hoop so you're not interfering with the beads you've put on there. Lovely the fact that you've got a 5 inch and a 7 inch, so depending on the work you're working on and the size of it. Don't forget you do get the embroidery scissors as well. It's everything that you see Katrina using, only 15 646785 is the item number. We'll just show you a picture so you can really see what you get in there like the fact that both hoops are a different color as well so you're not sort of trying to work out which is which so make sure you grab yours if you haven't got them already okay there we are lovely now one day special is still proving to be very popular almost three quarters of the entire stock has gone there is supposed to be another show today but we always make those sales in between as well so make sure you check your baskets out so Basically, what we've got here is a bargain because you've got three individual kits all in the one day special with that seven pound saving. But when you really start to break this down, we'll take the lavender. It's just a lovely little kit there, but you've got the most beautiful threads. You've got organza. You've got beads in this one that are white and clear and silver. So they really sparkle. How pretty is that? The clever layering of the different organzas there. You will get instructions, but of course, watching Katrina, or maybe go for Katrina's book, we've got that on the show as well. Absolutely beautiful. That's just the first part of the one day special. Then moving on to the next bundle, or not bundle, the next selection that we've got in the one day special is of course those beautiful cards. These are your coastal delights. Six completely individual 
designs here if I can put it that way because that's what they are you've got the tweed of course all pre-printed all of the materials the beads the sequins the threads again and the needles they all come in there you've got the beading thread everything you need is included and finally of course as part of the one day special we do have that beautiful needle case this is sold out individually you cannot get it in any other way than as part of the one day special now look at the work there I mean the design work that's gone into this as well but I know Katrina enjoys that so much you can use this to sort of use your stitches, your spare bits and pieces or maybe the card kit to work on the pages in between. You can see the front and the back have also been included there. The hand dyed felt is all in there, the lining, everything that you need once again. 678299 is the item number for the one day special. You have got that £7 saving, you've also got that flex seat so you only have to pay 24.93 today. 678299 as I say. We will get back to Katrina though because I think we're continuing on with that demonstration. Okay, so we have we have here. I've, I've added some more colour to this, and I'm really going to just show you how to do the the last little bit. And you're just going to work the thread around until all the spokes of the thread are are, are hidden and are filled up. And you can add as many colours as you wish. You can have the, some of the metallic threads or some of the uh, woolen threads and you can build that and go round and round and round until it, you've completed all those spokes. Katrina, if you wanted to add a little bit of metallic in there, would you use it alongside the thread that you've got there? Would you sort of bulk it up or would you oh, use it separately? You can, you can use it separately, you can add as many layers in. You can actually get a, quite a lot of thread when it's a bead that's really high like that. If I just bring mine over from earlier on this is the one that I had as the, as the as the my practice one really so you can see on this one you can add metallic threads in between and you can use a very textured oh, one nice. or you can use the bead on its own and just take the threads all the way around the bead giving it a really nice interesting shape and you can always make the stitches a little bit longer as well just to create quite an abstract shell and you can add I mean obviously these ones, the lines are printed, but you could add as many of those as you wish, really. I think they're really exciting to do, and it gives it's quite tactile then. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I've got to say, when you, I was watching you stitching a second ago, the sort of lilac colour that you were working with, with that peach, looks so pretty. It, it, it's just a, a lovely way of introducing colour to a piece, and I think the combination of colours, when you look at the colours, we've got really gentle shades, we've got woolen ones we've got sandy and we've got watery colors and especially that purple there I mean that's great as well you know if you're thinking of lavender as well so they're, they're a nice combination and there's plenty of thread uh, to do that and of course you've got this, uh, the second part to your your piece and that's where you've got the inside of the book and so you've got a starfish and you've got some seaweed. So that the, the idea of this is that you can create your own texture with different stitches. It's going to be, uh, I've used shades of blue organza. I've frayed the organza. It's a, it's a whole piece at the moment, but eventually you'll cut the piece in two and that will form the inside pages on your piece. Uh, and Beautiful. you could make that as highly decorative as you want. And again, on this one, we're doing a little bit of couching. So you just take a little tiny piece and you can twist that into shape and stitch it down as before, just to give a little bit of texture in there. And this one has a couple of sequins. And this is really where I go overboard, really, is that I give you lots of uh, inspiration in that you could use the starfish and star sequins and you can add those as many or as few as you wish Aww. and then you, you will have loads of beads left over so that you can add a little bit of texture so you can have with have really good fun not just with the, the front but with the inside pages definitely Oh, I love it. Make sure you check your baskets out. We continue to be busy. As I say, three quarters of the entire stock is now gone. You, you know, we've got one with six there, seven, eight. Do you know, if you were to count every single component here, it would just be endless because there's so many different threads, so many different beads, needles, oh, the fabrics and everything. But, you know, you will have spare as well. Now, we have got Flexi available. If you're not sure what Flexi is, if you just joined us, we're going to tell you about that right now.
Notice Flexi Order. When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Thank you, the other Catherine, for doing that. Uh, yes, there's two of us, you know. <laughs> right, one day special. <laughs> that would be an awful thought, wouldn't it? You don't want two of me. <laughs> 678299, make sure you grab yours. We're going to get back to Katrina as soon as possible. I think we're continuing, actually, with the one-day special. Um, you're so busy, Katrina, over there. You're oh, surrounded got, oh, by all your goodies, aren't you? I, says, I love it. I love this. This is the way to, to stitch. Have everything out, all your threads, all the beads. Uh, you know, just have fun with it. And you get so inspired just by looking at the beads or looking at the threads. Uh, and then you look back at your work, which I think is is really nice to do. People, I think sometimes people forget to admire it. Yeah. You just love the bit that you've done. And it doesn't have to be like the instructions. You can add your own creativity to it. So I just think take each one and enjoy the process of the stitching and just, you know, just relax with the stitching. I and totally agree. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to... They, they were, it's not wrong, it's never going to be wrong and no. nobody's ever going to look at the back so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, you just enjoy the process of stitching. Okay, we have had some customer images in as well, Katrina. Would you like to see yeah. them? These are from June. Thank you, June. I've not seen them properly yet either. Oh, oh look lovely. at this. Oh, June has done these, created these during lockdown. These are the most perfect projects, aren't they, for any time? But lockdown, I should imagine, it, it kept June very, very happy. Isn't that wonderful? You probably That's can lovely. find that kit somewhere on the website. Uh, oh, and the dragonfly as well. Again, Katrina, the use of the beads that you put in there, the different fabrics, you can see how they're laid out. Hasn't June done a wonderful job? That's, and I love the way it's framed in the, in the display hoop. That exactly, really looks yeah. great. Oh, if you do want those display hoops, they come in a pack of three, actually. Uh, a five... A six and a seven, is it? We'll soon find out, because I think we're going to bring the details up. There you are. Five inch, six and a seven. There you are. They are hardwood as well. Absolutely beautiful. You'll see a lot of Katrina's work displayed in these around the studio, so they're the perfect item for the job. Only 13 99 Back to Katrina. Okay, I'm just going to see where I've put my actual needle it seems to have disappeared anyway we'll, we'll do the beads first okay so this is uh, we're going on to the uh, card kit uh, we've got the six designs on there some of them are really they're all all slightly different but they use the same basic stitches and uh, so I'm just going to show you I've done some, a couple of French knots on there and then we're going to add a couple of beads so the beads are uh, a mixture of beads and you'll get those and you just choose whichever ones that you like uh, there's a mixture of green and teal and pink so you're just going to dip into a bead thread it onto the bead needle and then you're just going to take the bead and then just add just to give a little bit of color on the fabric but there is a guide as to the size of the stitch that you can do so that's that's really you will add more, but don't always put too many lines on there, just enough so that you've got, um, you know the size to work with. Yeah. And you're going to build that up gradually and fill the whole space with beads, sometimes green and sometimes, and sometimes pink. So that, I think that's a lovely way to get texture, really compact the whole area. And we've got some straight stitches there. And then earlier we did a fabric flower. And then we might have a go at doing those, those French knots there, or some loopy French knots. I've so got to just say as well, Katrina, that none of the materials in your kit are substandard in any way, shape or form. All of the threads, all of the yarns are really, really quality pieces. Uh, there's no scrimping 
at all and I can say that I have I have worked with Katrina's kits myself we have such great feedback you can see that for yourself on the website but it is important to know what care and consideration goes into these behind the scenes as well it's an endless job really but I know Katrina absolutely loves it that's why we appreciate bundles like this with the one day special and the fact that we've got that flexi buy payment so you can break that cost down all you need to pay today is the 24 pounds and 93 pence I think it was and then everything will be shipped to you and you will be making a way as soon as you get these home because everything that you require is in the kit beautiful six seven eight two nine nine there we are Right, you're still stitching away there, I Katrina? I am, yeah, if you get carried away with the stitching. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've done some uh, French knots. We've done, um, these are in six strands, so they're really quite big. So to do one of those, you're just going to take the thread, you're just going to go around once, twice, and then as you take the thread down, you're going to push that into the fabric, and just then, just tighten it, and just hold that thread there, and that's just going to keep the thread really really taut and give that beautiful shape so that's how to do a proper french knot all right but then once you know how to do that you can make them go loopy so you can have the thread and this time keep it very very loose around the needle still go to the almost the same place but this time don't tighten the thread and you can leave and you can make a loop oh, there. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? A really nice way of creating texture. It looks great with a metallic thread. So you can build an area of texture and just get them really loopy. So only once or twice around the needle and then just once or twice. And you can work that in a wool or a texture and you'll get some great great effects and I, I always say it when I see you work with it but it's the magic of the variegated thread as well those different colors coming through you've gone from almost a very hot pink into an orange and um, what's the color I'm trying to think of that sort of, sort of bright corally color isn't it yeah that you've got there it's great it's just just that color change you don't have to think about that that's just going to appear on your work uh, and you'll just love the texture it's really really good fun to, to use the variegated oh, threads and then to fasten off just a cut, couple of stitches on the back and then something that, that's actually on uh, the one that's seaside doodles is a way of using um, a textured thread just to create a little bit of texture in there so I'm just going to show you how to do that on here okay. if we can get that threaded through So you take the thread through and this time you're going to work from the right side of the thread you don't need it a great deal and you're just going to take a small stitch uh, and back onto the right side and you're going to leave the loops and you're just going to create a couple of stitches in the same place and then you're just going to cut those And you've got some grasses there just to create a little bit of drama and just just those you could make you could actually attach those in the same place or you could just leave them to be free and then you can they'll just move with your work and they're a little bit you can always imagine they're like grasses along the edge of the beach you know you could just dry grasses just there with the thread like that so you Lovely. can add to your design you can build on it uh, and make them really it's hard to know when to stop I think that's that's the bit uh, when you're doing the card kits because you can keep going and keep going and you, it's you just having such great fun doing each one and they've all got little different ideas in there and again the starfish is so easy it's just lots of tiny French knots in three strands and six strands and you fill the whole shape uh, with the French knots and it looks really really stunning really really stunning it really does they are just delightful aren't they absolutely gorgeous now we're going to take a look at the seaside doodles card kit we broke this down earlier on and it worked out at just three pounds and 32 pence per card now you do get the card blanks you do get of course the envelopes in there as well if you don't want to create these and turn them into cards you can use them for something else but remind you we've got the tweed and the cotton separate as well the card the, the one that you were doing just then um 
Katrina. Was that the, the set from the One Day Special? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, but the so little bit of the grasses was in the in the Dougal one. Yeah. So you've got, you know, you go for the One Day Special, you've got one selection, this is completely different. So if you want to go for this one as well, you can split the cost because you've got the Flexi and the One Day Special. As an individual, you, as I say, £3.32. pence. That's all it works out at. 954091 is the item number. It's absolutely amazing, the value there as well. Beautiful work. Um, yeah, do have a look at all the fabrics we've got as well. The, the Fat Quarters. I know Katrina's got the coloured ones over on her table. Um, beautiful. Now, we've also got for you more details about the One Day Special, actually. There's another kit that is available in there. The one that we started with, the little lavender kit, you can get that one individually. It's the only one now that is available individually, but it is limited stock. I think that's so pretty. You don't get the hoop. You can go for those display hoops if you want them separately, but you do get everything else. You're getting the fabric, of course, the organza, the threads, the needles, the beads, which is so pretty. Full instructions and guides there as well. Only 10.95. Yes, limited stock individually, but you are going to get that with your one-day special purchase. So the one-day special, there it is, everything in front of me again. So we've got the lavender we've just mentioned. We've got the six cards there as well. And we've got that fabulous needle case in there as well. Over three quarters of the stock has gone. I'm just going to hold this out again so you can really appreciate what you've got here. You're going to have so much fun putting this together. Playing with those beads, building up the height of those shells, weaving the different yarns, creating those different colours, adding the shimmer and the glitz of the beads and the sequins. Beautiful. You've got the hand-dyed felt inside there as well. Uh, everything that you need to get going. I mean, you could break this down into so many different gifts if you want to give them when you've made them. You, do you know, you've got six cards there. You've got the needle case. You've got the little kit there. So you really can break this one apart. 678299 is your item number. Now, I think we are going to head back to Katrina again now because... Uh, did you find your needle, by the way, I Katrina? found my needle. Oh, wonderful. And when, when I take all the the debris on here we'll find lots of them <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're gonna, I'm going to show you a little bit of the lavender uh, mini this is it we have a whole series of, of kits in the mini mini kits that they're, they're a, a really nice size to do there's something you can really take away with you uh, and m really make lots of them um, you can put them on a bag I've got a, a bag to show you that you could attach these to and I think the lavender one is especially pretty. Uh, so you'll find it's the same same ideas as our other kits. It has the, uh, a print on the on the fabric, just ready for you to stitch. And I've placed a little bit of organza just to be left on the surface, just to give a little bit of colour there. So I'll just pin that out of the way. So it's very easy to start. Uh, you're just going to start by just going over the printed line and you're just going to work that thread all the way through with straight stitches. So the print gives you the idea of what size to do it and then you can add other colours in afterwards. And then of course the little beads. I, I keep mentioning the beads in this kit. I think, I don't know what it is about them but the fact that you've got the white, the clear glass beads and the silver, they're really, really pretty aren't they against the colours? It just, it just gives it that little bit of glint. So that's a new addition to this. Um, as I was preparing for the show, I was thinking, yeah, I think I'd like to add some beads. So that's a new addition to this kit. Oh. Oh, well, it was a good choice, I think. I think it's, uh, it's really just that little bit of extra. So yeah, as a... you work through, it's, it's very quick to actually start to stitch. And the, these giant stitches will hold the organza in place and then you can add some of the other colours in there. Gorgeous. Now, I don't want to interrupt, but we've had a, another lovely email in, actually. This is from Sue or Suzanne, I think it was. Uh, Sue. Uh, oh, I so agree, Sue. Get ready. It's a compliment. <laughs> Katrina, you are such a pleasure to watch and so calming. Aww. Oh, and so was already spent too much. You can never spend too much on <laughs> Rowan Dean. You can never do that. Do you know, calming is the word I often use for you. I've said this so many times when I've been on shows with you, Katrina, just watching, just watching you stitch, you feel so relaxed and at ease. You can just kind of forget your troubles. And I think when you sat at home and you're stitching yourself, think about Katrina, but that'll be you. You'll be the calm one. Everybody else will feel calm around you as well. 
It is a lovely craft to do, isn't it? It is, it is. And I know that uh, some people, when they're watching, they get the stitching out and watch the program yeah. at the same time. And that's really, that's really lovely, really. And, and when you see uh, the results of everybody's stitching, it's just fantastic. It's well, we saw lifting. June's magnificent work, didn't we? Do oh, send in, well, yeah, everybody loves to see pictures, Katrina or here in the studio, whichever way you do it, we do love to see what you've done. We can't always show everything, but we try our best. Okay, so you'll see how quickly this one develops and you can build on the texture and then you're going to concentrate on the, on the lavender itself with Lazy Daisy. So eventually you can take all your pins out there. It makes a nice sound as it goes through the fabric. So this one, unlike the other ones, this is made on the cotton. And it's a really nice, it's the cotton that we use. I think it's a, it's, a, it's able to take sort of heavy threads, fine threads. And it's the same one as that's in, in the different colours as well. So really, you're just going to go all the way over that. I'm a big then, fan of the, your coloured cottons, Katrina, because you've got such pretty colours. And, uh, you know, if you've got a certain project, like I know you've got the notebook there, but, you know, if you're making a cushion or, you know, something else completely different, maybe a bag, then you might find that one of the colours will complement what you want to do so perfectly. We have got the fabric fat quarters on the screen at the moment. There are lots and lots of colours. If you go on the website, there's a drop-down menu, and every time you click on one of those names, it will show you the colour. 246064 is the item number. They are beautiful. I mean, there's everything from terracotta. You've got pinks, you've got mauves. Mauves in there as well. Look at that. That's my favourite one. Um, now, there's enough there to make a 14-inch cushion. It's, that's great, isn't it? Ah, you've I, got I a just, cushion next to you, Katrina. That's still with the tweed, one, isn't it? I've got it? this one here uh, from ma that's made in the tweed. All right, so that's just showing how if you didn't want to make the needle case, uh, you could put it uh, the, use the fat quarter to create um, a cushion. But you've also got somewhere, I'll just reach across, if you've got the fabrics oh, like uh, the corn flour, you could maybe use the lavender on a cushion as well. That you know, is you could so sort of pretty. add your own texture, you can machine that on uh, and you can add and create a soft sculpture. Or just, you know, what that. colour fabric is that? Is that the what it's which? it's, uh, it's um it's a slightly different colour that they, they used to make. I've right, forgotten okay. its name, but it's there it's, is a very pretty powder wedge, blue that would Wedgwood work, isn't and there? there's uh, Wedgwood is slightly darker than that one. That is but such I think a it's an it's the idea of yeah. using that the your your mini on and putting it on the fabric that's Love really it. quite nice Ooh, and then of course uh, if you get carried away you can use your your bag uh, to put all your minis on yeah. and your I mean you could put your beach things on there that would look great uh, with putting you know you could always put it onto a onto a tote bag and that would be uh, that would be lovely too. That you know, would just, work just so Just to well, keep all your it? sewing in and take it with you wherever you happen to be, room to room, wherever it is. Love it, love it. Well, we've got that bag on offer as well. Three pounds saving today, nine ninety nine. You can keep all your bits and pieces in there, but then really showcase your work on the outside. Four zero nine four five one. Now I've got to tell you, Katrina. Do you know I love it when we get emails in, especially today. We've had such lovely questions or pictures being sent in. Would you like to know that there is someone watching right now who's crafting along with you oh, at the same great, time? Great. This is, yeah, this is Kat. She saw the the pebbles last night. She's having a go. Oh, lovely. Uh, she loves them, absolutely loves them. Don't for forget, everybody, not only have we got the one-day special, we've got all those different fabrics available, we've got the play-around kits as well, so take inspiration, have a go with your own colours, your own uh, designs as well. Do have a look at all of the different options. Oh, well done, Kat, that looks lovely. Love That's it. That's brilliant. That's great. That's really good. Lovely. It's nice, really, isn't it, really when you know that so you're here in the studio and we're chatting away and you kind of, you get lost in your own time a little bit and we talk about the audience, but you kind of, for, not forget, but you, you're a little bit oblivious to what's going out there, of course. So to know someone's actually crafting along I with know. you and enjoying the show at the same that's time. Great. That's great. That's, that's what it's all about, really, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I really love nice. it. That's really good. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. 
time, the time, I don't know whether the time... We've got about 11 minutes left, Time disappears. So I've got my, I've taken my work out of the frame now. So I've got, I've got the uh, fabrics on there and I'm just going to do some lazy daisy stitches or detached chain. And sometimes I find this stitch is better without the frame. You can hold the fabric in your, in your hand much easier. So I'm going to go back into the same place and then I'm going to bring the needle out just beyond the little circle on the print and then I'm going to tuck the thread underneath and I'm just going to pull the thread and I'm just going to make a small stitch to hold that in place Okay. and then I'm going to repeat that all the way up it's quite, this is quite, I mean this is probably a stitch that you would recognize if you rotate the stitch you know you can make it into a daisy yeah but at the moment I'm just doing little tiny ones of those so it's in three strands you could if you like your work more delicate you could work it in two strands and then you take the thread through and eventually you'll see the shape of the lavender coming through I just find these colours so pretty together. There's something about those the lavender colours that's very that's very restful. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Uh, do you know it's the greens as well? I always just the lime green, the freshness of that green against the blue and the purple. It just works so well. So I think I think that's what the organza gives. It gives a little bit of extra dimension. It's amazing how the colours change when you lay them up as well just the layers are great you know I think uh, it's nice to see when other people like you know if you've got extra colors you can always put extra colors just you know it's only to create a little bit of a mistiness you know, we've got extra packs of organza as well haven't we we've got summer colors we've got various different options for you so do have a look at those we've not mentioned them before and but they are there 10.99 you normally get 10 pieces in a pack 556605 all different colors do have a look on the website all the different options will be there for you okay so as you work down you'll begin to see the shape of that flower appearing and then you're going to repeat the same thing on the others with the different colours. So if I just show you the colours, I'm just turning mine the right way around now. Uh, you can see all the colours for the lavender there. Uh, so each of those columns of flowers will be a different colour. And then you've got a little bit of metallic thread in there just to give a little bit of a sparkle uh, along with the beads. So it's quite a nice restful, a restful piece to do that. It really is. I've got the finished sample again here as well because, of course, that kit is part of the one day special. I've picked it up just so you can see it really, really closely and I've given it a bit of a wiggle. You can catch the light there on the beads and the sequins. Isn't it pretty? Just a reminder as well, if you do want the display hoots, you can get those available in a separate uh, bundle. I think we're going to change the details at the bottom of the screen, actually, to those. Don't forget about your accessory hoops as well. We just did have those. Everything's on the website. But, yeah, five, six, and seven inches is the size of those display hoops if you're going for those. If you want to pop those into your basket along with the one-day special, you can split the cost. 80% of the stock has now gone when it comes to the one-day special, and we do have queues on the phone lines now. It's got busier and busier throughout the hour. So we've had another email in Katrina. Wait till you see Please. this one as well. Oh this is from Michelle. Now do you recognise we've got that on the show with the foxglove? That looks fabulous. Isn't that amazing? Look at those colours. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know I might just grab if I may the sample that we've got here in the studio. Oh well we'll have a look at the kit actually. I just want to compare um to see, because when Katrina says there's no rules and you can improvise, then you certainly can. Now, obviously, when you're buying a, a kit, you get the organza, you get the threads, you get all of those colours, but how you apply them is, you know, can be very, very different. It's entirely up to you how you work with it, but all the components are there. We're looking at Michelle's right now, and there's Katrina's. That's a sample in the studio. Look at Michelle, she's got a little butterfly in there. Gorgeous. She's added some more foxgloves, I think, as well. Do you know, I'm liking it. I don't know if it's bluebells in the background, but those blue flowers work really well, and the daisies in the front. That is a perfect example of how you can improvise and add more. Ab absolutely. And I just think where you place the organza yeah. and you have the different colours there. It. That's, it's gorgeous. That's Isn't really it? nice. Yeah. 
Oh, do you know, I hope, Michelle, that you've got that on display permanently because it does, deserves to be. John, we've had some lovely images sent in, haven't we? If you want to go for the foxglove yourself, you can. The kit is here. It's only 14 95 799 Now, we are going to return to Katrina. We're going to let her demo to the end of the show now because it is getting quite close. So, Katrina, we've got about five minutes left. We've got about five minutes. Okay, let's just have a go here. So we haven't really used many metallic threads here today, uh, but I think they're they're worth they're worth using and have a go with. They're made of six strands. Sometimes they're a bit tricky to use them uh, full length. So I'm just going to take a couple of strands out there and just separate those. If they get in a tangle, just re reselect them. They, you know, they're just they're just worth persevering with. So you just take the thread and I'm just going to add those through there. And you can uh, put a knot or not a knot, that's up to you. And then you're just going to add a little bit of sparkle and then this is where you're going to go over some of the stitches that you've already got and just take those across build up a little bit of the design and then occasionally you can do a fly stitch just to give a little bit of interest in amongst the grasses and you can add those so you could try with a one strand or two strands three strands six is a bit more tricky and then you're just going to fasten off just the same as before. This is my second and final show with you today, Katrina. Dare I ask, do we know what's coming next after this Monday special? We've got lots to sh we've got lots to do yet. We've got uh, we haven't looked at summer leaves. We haven't looked at the ducks. So we've got really I mean all the all the seaside doodles. So we've got we've got loads to oh, do. Plenty to fit in for four o'clock then. Perfect. It's going to be good. And then I'm just going to take the last little bit. Got just That's under it. three and a half minutes left, Katrina. Okay, so as well as with that metallic thread, you can then do some long legged French knots as well. So these are the ones where we take the thread around once, twice, and you, instead of going back into the same place, you can go higher up. And you can be, it's almost got a straight stitch with is, a little Is there a staining. length that you would say don't go past with a long-legged French knot? Would you say keep, try and keep it within a certain... Yeah, you don't want it too big, you know, I think. I, I mean, uh, when I'm thinking of doing this stitch, I'm thinking of flowers. I'm thinking of um, the stamen on a flower. You know, I, I don't think it would need to be too big. Yeah. Now, we've, we've said there's no right and wrong, and there isn't, but there isn't. I presume if you, if you make them too sort of straggly, it just won't look the same. You'll lose the effect. you lose the effect, and, but really, it's got to be fitting with the design. Yeah, of there. course. Yeah. You know, I think that's the way to go. And then, of course, uh, I'll probably disappear within the time. When you start to look at the, where you're going to place the sparkly bits and the beads, you'll find that there's a collection of sequins as well. So we've stitched those on already earlier in the show. You could have as many of those. And sometimes when you're going to place the beads, you could just drop those on just to see where you want to place them. I like that idea, actually. And so then... Just see where they fall. Just, just see where you want to put those and how many you want to put on. You don't want to go too many, but, you know, everybody's going to have a different idea of how many they want on there. And, but that just gives you a great... It just adds a little bit of interest, though. Yeah, you could do that and take a, a photo, because obviously you'd have to tip them off to stand, yeah, stitch yeah, them on. Yeah. So if you take it's, a photograph, but, if you're yeah. happy, and then work to that. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah, I think you're right, definitely right. But dropping them on just gives you a little bit of interest and just, yeah, I like those or I don't like those. You know, yeah. I think you can do the same. 
I don't think you can go wrong at all. I think whatever you do, however you scatter those beads, they're going to look amazing. Now, 80% of the stock of the one day special is gone. Do check those baskets out. We will make sales in between now and the final call at four o'clock. I think the one day special, if we've got stock, will be available till six, but I don't know if it's going to last that long, actually. Do have a look at everything else we've got on the show as well, because, I mean, we have been down the counter, but we've got play around packs. We've got different kits for different budgets as well. All prices, I've got to say, are incredible. Do have a good look at the fat quarters, the extra tweed, the extra cotton, and don't forget your accessory bundles, such as the hoops and the scissors. There's a, a pack with pins in there and needles and all sorts of goodies in there, and those display frames as well. Katrina, it's been an absolute delight again to work with you today. I've been very lucky because I've got two shows with you today, the 8 o'clock and the 12 o'clock. Now, I know you've got plenty to do at 4 o'clock, but what about past then? Do you know what's coming ahead in the weeks to come or the months to come well, here? At yeah, the I've got store? lots of things, lots of things in the in in the planning. Oh. Uh, the Rondine Garden comes to mind, and I think there'll be things from that. Amazing, amazing. So do keep tuning in, of course. Check those baskets out. As I say, we're still busy. So go to the website if you can. Much more to come. Adam's up next. We're uh, we're going quilting with Quilting Dragons next. Menu to follow. Yes, we've embroidered with quilt dragons. They're coming up next. Very beautiful as well. Let Leonie loose. We're letting loose again at two. And then we've got Block Blitz Paving Cleaning. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to do mine. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. A very good afternoon to you. I hope you're well. Popped indoors. Little bit warm, isn't it? Little bit warm out there and muggy. Uh, so what are you doing when you're outside, though? Are you just sitting there? Can you not take all that card making outside? Have you took your big machine? You're running extensions. Ca yeah, I know. It's a pain, isn't it? A faff. I think we used to call it. Well, do not worry, I've got a craft for you. It's like an infomercial, this is. Uh, I've got a craft for you that you can take anywhere. 
Uh, we are talking with the Quilt Dragon kits. Now we've got brand new kits that complete the rest of your collections as well. Shop ahead of me on the website is the quickest and easiest thing to go. Now I'm going to bring it straight in for the sheer fact I know we haven't got many of these at all. This is your seat frame. It sells out time and time again uh, it's all adjustable so you can go from the highest all the way down uh, to the smallest with the smallest peg that's in there literally a screwing system there's no faff with this either which i absolutely adore once it's in it's in and then it's all locked into place uh, the hoop as well is from the majority of the kits you are going to need a hoop this is the bit you sit on or pop it under a thigh it's entirely up to you uh, but for 23 pounds and 99 pence it's going to go again it's already busy 481 699 is your item number but i am not on my own no 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 she's here she's standing next to me what she doesn't know about a piece of thread is not worth knowing uh, it's Aramanda. amanda how are you my love i'm fine thank you madam yeah good 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 uh, brand new kits you've bought me uh, yep. today as well which i adore and it, it is one of them things, let's roll it all the way back for those people that may have never seen one of these shows before. They look really intricate and really, really difficult. I'm going to say it as it is, you know <laughs> me. Uh, it looks, is it as difficult as it looks? No. Oh, there you go. Honestly, no, no. No, there's lots of detailed instructions. I've taken care with the, all the kits to make sure that it is easy for anybody to follow. So I think in the new um, Masquerade one that you've got there, it's... There's some like 65 photographs through that kit, oh, just to so all... take it all the way, take you through every single step. So you're not on your kit. own. As we've got the, uh, no. looking at the masquerade at the moment, let me give you the details for it. The details are on the screen for your masquerade, £37.49. Now, what you see here, you will be able to do. Okay, you will be able to do this, trust me. If you only ever do once, trust me. You will be able to do this for the sheer fact most of the hard work's been done for you. And what do I mean by that? You already get the outline pattern. Okay, and not a half a pattern, it's a full outline pattern is what you're getting. So in theory, you're colouring by numbers. Well, you're stitching by numbers and different techniques to different areas on the mask that you're already looking. So there's our first point. We're getting it already printed on. And this is not printed on any old canvas, is it? This is high quality. Is, it's good quality linen that we're using, yeah. Which is amazing. So you've got, so it, first of all, it feels amazing, but then it also is going to look amazing once you've finished. Then you're getting all the threads that you will need in every single colorway. These are high quality threads, uh, is what you are looking at uh, for this at the moment. So they're all your high quality threads that we're talking about, it's all your wolves and yards. Now, do we get more than we need? I'm new, I'm just starting out. I may go a little bit wrong and have to cut a little bit out. Yeah. Am I getting more thread Plenty of thread, plenty of thread, yeah. Do you get more thread? Not only are you getting all your beautiful purples in there, you get this little shimmer and shine, which I love. I love a bit of the shimmer. If I take that off there and I can give it a wiggle. Uh, look at the shine that you're getting, which is from this thread that you get here. Now, there looks to be more thread on here than I actually need anyway. I think it's about 200 metres, and you don't need 200 metres, so... And it, get, it's, it's so a machine embroidery thread as well, so if you finish whatever you've got left over, use it on your sewing machine. So you could use it on your sewing so you could put it in a little border if you wanted, you could do mm -hmm. decorative stitch with your sewing machine around the edge uh, to frame it. Mm -hmm. Then you get all the needles that you need, you get more than needles than you need as well, which is always handy, because the more needles you get, the more threads you can have going at the same That's time. That's correct, yeah. I, I say yeah, I do take all this in. Uh, so you get more threads there, so you can have each needle can have its own thread on. So you can do a little bit here, a little bit there, then you can do your blending. Uh, then we get a little bag of jewels and gems. Oh, here we go. That's what we want. We want the bag of the jewels and gems. We love the jewels and gems, uh, which makes it really, really sparkly and shine. Beginner friendly. I know you're thinking, yeah, yeah, of course you're going to say that. You're on the telly. No, it really is. It really is beginner friendly. Uh, the instruction booklet that you are getting here is all broken. Oh, sorry, be here. Uh, is all broken. It's my first day. It's all broken down for you. Everything is lettered. Everything is numbered. Uh, very easy to follow. There is also a stitch guide in there as well. So if you've never stitched before, each pack comes with a stitch guide. And then it will also tell you where to put all your threads. Everything, literally, all the hard work has been done. All you need to do 
is just enjoy it. £37.49, 006448 is your item number uh, for our masquerade kit. Like this one. Now, this next one is the one you've been waiting for. I stood just on the other side of the tube saying winter is coming. And here it is now. Already 10% of the stock has already gone. This is going to complete your fern collection. We've had spring, we've had summer, we've had autumn, which was the last one, I Something, think, if I'm yeah. some head. Uh, now it is winter. Winter, though, is slightly different to the rest of them because we've got this metallic thread once again yeah. woven through to give us that winter look. And it is absolutely beautiful. So if you've got the other three, this is the one you're going to want to add if you're thinking, well, I've not got the other three, Adam. Where do I start from here? You can start with winter and work backwards. £27.99, 860194 is your item number. Remember, you are getting your metallic thread and your jewels and gems in here this time. So you're not just getting the walls, you are getting your sort of added extras, as they were, to give it that winter-esque look that you've got. Now, I'm going to ask the same question for this one that I asked on the last one as well, because so many people have, so many people have bought this in the past. Um, but it is beginner friendly, isn't it? Like li yes. your instruction booklet, I, we can't stress this enough, really does break everything down. It does, yeah. Every step by step, all the way through, yes. Uh, once again, you're getting the stitch guide uh, that runs through there. Then you get your full instructions as well that will tell you everything that you need to know and more. This is what I love about this. I really, really do. 20% uh, of the stock has now already gone. 27 pounds, 99 pence. Winter is finally here. 860194 is your item number. If you want the others in the collection, though, I've got the others in the collection. So I've got all the other three. So we'll start with spring. This one here. Uh, we'll start with your spring. So this is your spring uh, details. Now, each one's got a separate detail, so bear with me on this one. £24.99 for your spring. So now we're talking your greens and your purples that you've got through. Now, would you say, I mean, would you say that because we've got the metallic thread in the winter, it's slightly more difficult? Or would you say it's exactly the same process? It is a little bit trickier. Um, I would have said out of all of them, the spring is probably the easiest. So if okay. you haven't stitched before, I would say spring would be the one to go for. If you just wanted to try, it was your first time stitching and you fancy trying something new, spring would be the one to go for. So go with spring. And then so each of them use different stitches. So it's, you're not using, I haven't just changed the colour of the wool. I've added in different stitches each time. So in theory, if we're going through all of them, we've worked our way up to winter, yeah. haven't we? Yes. We've, worked, we've sort of done a progressed our way through to then start using uh, the metallic threads that you've got running through there. So you've got your spring. One of the easiest ones, £24, 99 pence, and with all your needles in there as well that you're going to need. Everything is in the kit. These are ready-made kits. These are good-to-go kits. From there, we then move to your summer. I love these. Look at this. So this is your summer. All the stitches that we know and love with the lattice in there. There's a French knot I can see in there as well. Uh, you've got the blending. That's what I love about this work in the Good Dragon is the blending that you can get. And it's so easy to do. I remember it from previous shows. So easy to get that blending that you've got running through. So that is your summer, £24.99, 662420 is your item number. Then we have your autumn with your autumn colours that you've got. So all those beautiful browns and oranges and sort of rich yellows that you've got running through there. 242198 is your item number for this one. But obviously you've now got the new one as well, which is the winter. Let's bring it in. Look at that for a complete collection. Really is beautiful. That finishes off all four of the seasons. The details on the screen now are for your winter and you're getting metallic thread and beads in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, then, uh, a favourite from last time, back by popular demand, is the Jacobean Thistle that we're looking at now. This is stunning. And very, very easy to do, if my memory serves me correctly, because you are just following lines. You are, yes. And you're sort of offsetting it from the last line that you've already done. Yes. Uh, but you are going to get that it looks real three-dimensional, doesn't it? It looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, then you've got all the beautiful shading around the leaf itself that you've got around there. 
Uh, then you've got all your stitches. Um, and once again, when you actually look at it like this, just take single elements, take a leaf, any leaf, pick a leaf. Look how much detail's on there, but there's not that many stitches. You can do that. Break it down. Don't see it as a full image until you've completed it. Take it as a simpler image. But you could do this at home. You can do this in the garden. You are getting full instructions as well included. It tells you where to stitch. It tells you where to start. It tells you how to do all the stitching that we've already got in there. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you every page. I'm not a library. But you've got everything that you need running through and your stitch guide as well. And you've also got... So you know where to put your stitches because you could go other colours if you wanted to go to. There's so more many things on this show as well. We've also got the feathers are backed by popular demand. They weren't going to be put out. I thought I want them feathers out because they're amazing. Check the website for those. Uh, everything is on there. There are so many kits that are on there. So many designs that's on there as well. And everything's got its own number. Everything's got its own item number that we've already got. You've got your thistles. You've got your fancy birds on there as well. You've got your peacock on there, like the little peacock, because you get that sort of side sashing that you've got down the side. Uh, you've got your falling leaves in there, there's so many things, and you've got your birds, and by golly, you've got that hook. You really need that embroidery seat frame, the eight inch frame. Will the eight inch frame fit all our work? Everything apart from the new filigree mask. So it'll fit everything apart from the filigree mask. Mm -hmm. So if you're going for winter, if you're going for winter, you may want to go for your hoop as well. Uh, then we've got your acid cats in there. Oh, we've got loads of wall hangings that are there. Those little dragon wall hangings are very nice as well. Uh, we've got books included on the website. Always, You always love a book. We always love a book is what we love. Right then. Uh, we've saw up to the thistle. Uh, I'll see the rest. We'll see the rest later. Do not worry. But I want to go to demo uh, to see what we're demoing first. What are we demoing first? Out of curiosity. We're going to do with the, start with the winter fern. <gasps> yes, the winter fern. Okay. So what we're going to do on this? So this is the, the one of the new stitches I put on for this particular kit, which is long and short stitch. And this is used around the. It's the using the, the white with the three shades of blue as well. So I'm just going to start working on this one piece here. So you start this stitch um, it's a bit more technical than some of the other stitches so it could be something that you may be a bit frightened of doing or not wanting to to tackle so that's why i'm demo demoing it today so we start with it's going to work it in this shape so i'm going to start with a split back stitch around the edge first and this is just to give it a much crisper and neater edge so just work this in the white thread i'll try and be as quick as i can so you go back through this. You go back through the yarn. Yeah, yeah. So this just gives it a much cleaner edge, and this is always quite good if you're doing satin stitch or something like this to put a split back stitch around the edge first, and you'll give yourself a much sharper, smoother edge to it. So you know, use that on any time you've got to do satin stitch on any kit. Split back stitch first, and you'll give yourself a much neater edge. So just coming around. Details are on the screen are for this. And remember, you're buying into skills is what you're buying into. Once you've learned these techniques, you can really go to town and do it on... Um, you could also do it on anything, to be honest. Oh, yes. Yeah. Take your stamps and things like that. You can put this process onto your stamps and start colouring in your stamps if you've got like large flowers or roses or anything like that. These stitches are a bit, might look a bit haphazard and a bit untidy, but they are being hidden, but they're, they're performing an essential job. So, when we come to working the satin start stitch part of it, or the long and short part of it. So this has got to work all into this point, and it's the angle of this that can often cause you a problem. So, what I would always do, you come up in the middle, oh, reel of thread gone, up in the middle, and down at the point. And then another one, that needs to come, everything needs to head towards the point. So if you put a few almost setting stitches, they're just giving you the line, they're giving you the angle that you know you've got to go to. And then you continue, so as you come, you're coming up in the middle and you're going down beyond that back stitched edge. Okay, and that will give you and you're doing long and short stitches. So you're varying the length of each stitch that you do 
and that way, that's where it gets its name from, obviously. It comes together quite quick, though. Yeah. Absolutely, you working. won't be doing it upside down, facing the opposite way. No. Well, you could, but I you don't could, really recommend it. If you want to do an exciting it. evening, I suppose, if it was a dull Wednesday night. Well, exactly, yeah. Just keep working around. This is the winter we are looking at. Your brand new winter fern. This is the one uh, we've been waiting for. This is the sort of effect we're going for as well uh, with this two tonal leaf look. How beautiful is that? And it looks really difficult, but we can see how easy it is to do. Just keep working around. I suppose this is the bonus of having all the different needles in there. You can go from blue to white, and that's it's just the ease. Of the, otherwise, I'm guessing it's a fact that you go, oh, I've got to do that blue now, so I've got to re-thread a needle. Yeah. And yeah, you don't want to be re-threading needles all the time. Oil instructions included in the kit. You're not on your own with this. You're really not on your own. It's a lovely little giftable as well. And if you're going for the masquerade, it comes in a, a giftable box, which is nice. Uh, shall I, I can show? I've got it here. Obviously, I've got the. Uh, there. So it comes. It comes in a uh, giftable box, so it's easy to wrap as well. So if you are gifting it, everything is already in there. Everything has been done uh, for you. You can't go wrong. Everything else uh, comes as giftable as well because you're getting everything you need in these kits. So if you are just starting out, don't see the, the finished picture. I'd never be able to do that. I've never even tried embroidery before. Don't worry. You will be able to do it. You have step-by-step -step tutorials and instructions along the way. Read them first and then go in. You've got more threads than you actually need as well. Okay. That is pretty much the white done. So we're going to change to the So blue. Okay, so this time I'm going to come up where I've already stitched in the white. I'm going to come up and just go straight down into the middle there. Also, then do we do the same but just backwards? Yeah, if you like, yeah. So we're now coming up through the stitches. So as before, we were coming up the middle of the shape and we're going yeah. back, back down beyond the split edge. So now we're coming up in the middle of the already worked thread, work oh, stitches, so and then you're coming up into the middle. The, oh. Yeah. And that will enable it to blend together. But the good thing about doing this with something like wool is if you go along and if you think, oh, I should have had more white in there, it's very easy just to shove an extra stitch in. And you're not really going to notice it. Yes. Yeah, you can actually, it allows you to do that. Look at that already, that blending that you've already so got there. What you're I've doing is that strands. is very simple. And is this straight stitch? We're only straight stitch, is it not? Is it? Yeah. No? So, well, it's a long and short stitch. So, as you can see, short. that's it. You can see the variety, the very variation of it and you can make it as blend in as much as you like obviously go down to the lightest one the the darkest one into the bottom of the shape a quarter of the stock of the winter has now already gone it is the one you have been waiting for we've got all the other three seasons this is our fourth season this could be the frankie valley as it were, twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. No one in the studio got that at all. Eight six zero one nine four is your item. No, yeah, it was Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, but obviously this is the fourth. This is the I could be Frankie Valley as this is the Four Seasons. Let's leave it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've gone most of that one. So we change to the next one. So would you do each leaf individually and then cut the thread at the end, or would you continually do all the leaves if you've got some thread left over? Um, I'd probably I'd do the white round the one, whatever's left, go on to the next one, start the next one, start the next one. Oh, so you do inside. all the edging keep, first? Yeah, I probably, I probably would do that one. But then it just depends where the end, end where you, when you come to the end of the wall, whether you so, decide to... Do that. So there's no real so, right or wrong 
no. where to How start. How do you feel or... like it? You know, it's however the mood takes you. And I suppose if you're doing a few of these leaves, maybe you did two or three of these leaves, maybe four leaves, and you're thinking, oh, I'm getting a bit getting a bit tired of this now you could go to another part of the design and pick up that's another it. stitch if you wanted to that's it yeah we, when you've got fed up of this or you're thinking i'm not really enjoying that one i want to do something different then you can swap to one of the other leads just that's the good thing with this it doesn't depend on you doing that area first and filling that area first before you move on to the next one i try to make it like that so it's a bit like a little sampler so you can just jump from leaf to leaf and fill in the bits that you want to do so you could jump where are we here we are uh, you could jump from these leaves as here and then you could start doing the curl if you wanted to. Uh, on that one or some of the leaves that are at the bottom, you could start doing them. Some of the lattice work that you've got in there. Um, obviously, the French knots need to be done once you've done the lattice work so you know where the lattice finishes. Uh, but you could work around them if you so wish. Uh, it's the beautiful blending uh, that you've got on here, which I absolutely adore. This is the only one in the four collections that has this blending work. So you really are working up uh, to the blending. But do not fear... If you're thinking, well, I've never tried this before, I've never tried this blending, uh, I can't do these, you can. You will be able to achieve this. Uh, obviously, there's full instructions in there. There's a full stitch guide in there as well, and it'll give you a step-by-step. -step. It will hold your hand every step of the way. Uh, Amanda's done all the hard work for you, so you haven't got to with this one. But obviously, this is the last in the collection, so it is going to be that little bit more tricky because we are going with that silver thread that's going to run through and also the pearls and the gems and the little sequins that's going to go on there as well. And you might want to add that... Uh, sea hoop that we were talking about let me grab it for you uh, into your collection as well because obviously as you can see it fits you wouldn't have it in a hoop obviously uh, but you you it does fit perfectly uh, in there that eight inch hoop that you've already got this is the part that you either sit on so you sit on it facing you or to the side depending on how you work it's entirely up to you you can also rest it on the table it does mean you have two hands free obviously i'm holding it so i haven't but it was all fully adjustable so it all depends on how you like to work so if you want to go from that way and turn it the other way around and do it then you find that easier it's entirely up to you but it's well worth getting hold of for 23 pounds and 99 pence and it is a quality hoop isn't it oh, it's yeah. going to last the yeah, test it'll last of time. a long time yes definitely so it's worth having a little go uh, if i was you and it's all storable it all literally all unscrews uh, so you can put it away if you haven't got the space. Right then, let's see one more little bit before we do a quick recap. Okay, right, so what we're going to do now is just going to show you with the metallic thread, and this is just a little trick for threading and working <coughs> with your metallic threads, because they, they can be a bit troublesome. Okay. So, cut a length of metallic thread, fold it in half, and thread both ends through the eye of the needle. Now, I'm using the largest needle purely because I'm threading a needle live on television and it's always the way yeah okay so that's going through there and then you then pass the needle through the loop of ah. thread I don't know how easily you can see yeah that. we can see that so there now that means you're not going to suddenly drop your needle it just makes it easier but it also means it will reduce the wear on the thread because by nature, the, these threads want to shred as much as possible, and that's really irritating. So by threading it like that, you've got less chance. I'm not saying it won't, because, yeah, it probably will eventually, but it just means it's less likely to. Less it's likely just to. easier to work with. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit, just show you some of the... Once you add a bit of sparkle, and this is a small amount of sparkle, but it does make a difference. So in this leaf down here, I've already worked the basic trellis, which obviously full instructions have shown how to do that. And I'm just going to work where these cross, where both of these threads cross. We're now just going to work a very small stitch over those. So we're just starting to add the first of the sparkles to, the, to this piece. It's these little finishing touches that really add to the collection. Yeah. They do make a difference. And then adding the beads and that in it. But, you know, you could add more beads. You could add, you don't have to put the beads where I've said to put the beads. You could get to the end, have a half a bag of beads left and go, right, okay, let's add some more. Let's make it even sparklier. They're not French knots, they're beads. I thought they were little silver French knots in there, but they are. They're the beads in there. Uh, they're the yeah. beads that's in there. At 30% of the stock of the winter has now already gone. I'll bring the details up on the screen for you. 30% um, of the stock. Our Ross can't keep up. We are that, that busy. Uh, very busy on this one now. It's flying out the door. 
27 pounds and 99 pence. 860194 is your item number. 27 pounds and 99 pence for the metallic threads, the jewels and the gems, and all your threads in there as well. Okay, so that's just giving you a little bit of sparkle, but already just by adding that, it's just made a big that's difference nice. to it. And then the other part of this particular leaf is you add some more of the trellis in between where your existing trellis is. So you're just going to put straight stitches in. You've already done the hard work with the last trellis, so all you're doing is you're going in between. So it's quite straight. And once again, all the work's been done for you. It's not partly been done. You can see the lines, you can guide the lines. You are literally using your thread as paint and you are painting uh, onto your canvas to give you that full detail uh, that you're looking in there as well. So there's no working out, oh, where does that leaf start? Where does it begin? You've got all the shapes of the leaves. All you need to do is simply follow along the line. There you go. That's just showing you a little bit of that. And it's the smallest of details, the smallest of silver. It really works. Yes. And then again, where those two layers cross, again, you work another little small stitch in the silver. And that just holds that all in place. Look at this. I suppose because it's double stranded now as well, you're going to get a bit more of an impact rather than it being single stranded. That's it, yeah. There you go. That's a little tiny bit. There you go. Look, and obviously when you've gone around the edges and you've done it up, it will look like the one uh, that I've currently got in front of me at the moment. You can add your little beads on there as well. So then in the centre, you've got all the beads. So there's the lattice, uh, lattice work that we were looking at. There's the cross on its own. And then you can also throw your beads into the centre. It looks like tiny French knots but they are actually the beads and the gems. We are very busy. 40% of the stock now has already gone. 27 pounds and 99 pence. 860194 is your item number. It's the last in the collection. You've been waiting for it. Uh, we've now got it back for you. 860914 is your item number, £27.99. Uh, you are getting all the threads that you need uh, that's in here as well, all the beautiful blues. Then you've got all your, your sequins and your glitz and your glam with your thread. You're getting two needles uh, thrown in as well. And then you are getting, look at this, so you're getting everything has already been marked out for you. Very busy on your winter one. We knew we were going to be busy because what you've, it's what you've been waiting for. You've I've got the other three. If you're thinking, well, Adam, I haven't got the other three. How do I get my hands on the other three? I wouldn't leave you on your own. Uh, I've got them all here. I've got spring, summer and autumn. Uh, you've got your spring, you've got your summer and then you've got your autumn. Uh, the spring, first of all, though, so this is your spring one. Uh, that we're looking at at the moment. 20% of your spring has already gone. 24 pounds and 99 pence. 6749, uh, so I'll start that again. 674691 is your item number for your spring. One of the easiest to do in the collection. It was the first uh, to be released in the collection as well. So you are really building your skill set up. Everyone is the same design, but they've got different stitches that run all the way through them. From there, we move on to the summer. A quarter of the stock of your summer has already gone. Once again, a beautiful design. It's the same. Everything's going to tie in, but you're using different stitches again. You might think, well, I can see all the same stitches. You've still got the lattice work on there, but this time you have got tiny French knots that run through the leaves because you haven't got the jewels and the gems. You've got that uh, lattice that runs through. And remember, you're learning skills from each set. £24.99, 662420 is your item number. Then we've got your autumn. This is the, uh, the last one in the collection that I launched with you. Uh, the beautiful browns and autumnals uh, that you've got going on. £24.99 once again. 242198 is your item number. Love the colourways uh, that you've got in this. It's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. And then obviously you've got the brand new winter collection as well. So they are your, your seasons that we've got there. So now we've got all four of the seasons, £24.99 for these ones, uh, £27.99 for your brand new winter one. Then uh, we've got the thistle up next as well. So you've got that beautiful thistle that we're looking at. We were very busy. Uh, it's always a favourite. Always goes time and time again. You've got all the detail uh, in the thistle as well. Because what I also like, oh sorry my little sausage arm that's in there. I'm new to this. Is, if I'm just going to bring this up a minute, the lattice work. If you're thinking, well how do I get this and make it all perfect? Everything's been marked for you. 
everything has been marked on there. So you are never on your own, even to the top points of where to put that beautiful V. You're thinking, well, that's bang in the middle. How am I going to do that? All the hard work's been done. Everything is, which I absolutely adore, and you get your needles thrown in as well. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. And if you are a sort of free motioner, as it were, and you want to go bigger, you could add to these designs. If oh, you yes. wanted to go all the way around, you could add to them quite easily. Definitely, yes. Yeah. So it's worth having a little look at these ones because not only do you get the one image, you get the creativeness to work all the way around. Maybe pop someone's name on there or a date on there or something like that. Uh, turn it into a cushion; it'd be absolutely beautiful. Uh, twenty-seven pounds, forty-nine pence. One four seven seven eight eight is your. Number. Now, I remember launching these, the Indian vases uh, that we were looking at. These are beautiful. We have two options uh, for you to choose from. Uh, we've got the blue or the pink uh, is what we're looking at. Um, the same designs, but sort of subtly different, obviously, as you can see, uh, that's in there. Now, these are beautiful. Is it a different technique to maybe the fist, or is it a different technique to the, the, the summer, spring? Is it different, it is, or is it sort of the same process? It's, it's slightly different. This is silk ribbon embroidery, so okay. you're actually using the ribbons as well. Um, and then there's some couching with some of the thicker threads, which is the thread laid on the fabric, and then another smaller, thinner thread used to stitch over the top of it. So you can see like, that around the edge. You'll see that around the edge. I don't know if you can see on your picture. It's so subtle. It really is. Uh, over on the gold and the blue, you've got a real light blue. Uh, you just see it round here. Look, there's one just there. It's literally a light blue that goes over both of the threads to hold all that down. And that's how we're doing it. Uh, that is how it's all stimmed down. But then, once again, it's a new technique. You're sewing with ribbon. Look at these. These are absolutely beautiful they really really are and these are what's going to create those gorgeous flowers uh, that we're looking at uh, in the picture already then you've got your jewels and your gems and your beads um but what are we sewing into this time because it's slightly different to what we've it, yeah it is still a linen but it's a slightly different weight of linen it's a much op more open weave linen so therefore you've got um a, there's a thick cotton fabric which goes underneath it just gives it a little bit more body so and you're getting all of fabric. this it's not, it's absolutely beautiful. I, I was just thinking, oh, I'd like a little jacket made out of that. Uh, 26 pounds and 49 pence, 589539 is your item number. That's the blue option. Uh, the pink option, it's the same sort of processes that runs through there. Obviously, it's in the pink, then it's a different style of vase that we're looking at. This or vase, depending on where you're from. Uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. And remember, you're learning a process, because not only do you get all the materials, uh, you're also going to be getting... Uh, templates as well for this yeah. one. So you're going to get templates. So you could do this then on other projects, should you so wish. So maybe it's going to be a table runner and you want a vase on either end of the table runner, but you want them to be the same. Well, you do your vase first of all, and maybe that's going to be the centerpiece of your table runner, but you've got the templates to go on either end. £26 and £49 uh, is what you're looking at for this one. 589539 is your item number. Then, once again, they're always popular. The feathers are. The feathers come in four different colourways, and then so I have some other ones to add as well. Uh, there are some in metallics, uh, but these are, I love these. Absolutely love them. And they would go well with the colourways of the spring, summer, autumn and the new winter that yes. we've got. Yes, the, the golden eagle goes very well with the autumn. It's the same colours. Um, spring is the same as a hummingbird. So, yeah. So they do work well. So if you're liking um, the spring, summer, autumn and winter design, you're going to love these as well. You've got things like your blue jay, you've got your phoenix in there, you've got your hummingbird. And then last but no means least, uh, we have your... Golden Eagle. Uh, that is your Golden Eagle uh, that we are looking at now. So that would work with your autumnal uh, colourways that we looked at in the patterns. Love these. I really do. Uh, for, I don't know what it is about these. I don't know if it's because it's close together. It looks more intricate and difficult, but you've we've said about all of them. They're yeah. really, really easy yeah, to exactly do. Exactly the same stitches. Yeah, they're not. They're not any more difficult than the fern, the ferns. I really, really love them. Look at the detail that you've got in there from your shading. So it's good to practice your skills because at the end of it, you're going to have something that's absolutely phenomenal and that you've done. And I suppose this is the thing about embroidery that I love about embroidery, that you can pick it up and put it down whenever you want. Yes. It's not one of these like when you make a card, you have to do it from beginning to end. Otherwise, you sort of lose your way. With this, you can do a little bit tonight. You can do a little bit in the morning. You can do it if you wake up in the middle of the night. You can do it anywhere and any time. That's it, yes, yeah. You can keep putting it down, pick it up 
whenever you've got a few minutes. And because most of the, like the feathers and the ferns, you've got the little sections in with the different stitches. So you can say, right, okay, today I'm going to work two leaves. Or if it's the feather, I'm going to do, work that section, this section, and just work a small section at a time. It's worth having a little go. And uh, it's going to be one of those things that I'll just do that one. I'll just do that one section tonight. And then all of a sudden, one, that one section, oh, I'll just finish this bit. I'll just do that next section, why I'm here, why I'm here, and I've got my threads out. Oh, why I'm here, I might as well continue. Before you know it, you've done a complete feather. Uh, you've got things like your golden eagle that's in there. Uh, then you've got your hummingbird. Uh, from your hummingbird, you've also got your blue jay that's in there. And then last but not least, is you've also got your phoenix in there as well, which is the beautiful red one, uh, which was very, very busy. Then... What you can also then do uh, is a different item number for this one. I love the Look how beautiful this is. But this works on the same concept, I'm guessing, with the threads as the new winter scene yes. that we're throwing in at the moment. Yeah. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're working across the threads already and you've got that beautiful silver thread that you've got running through. But there is no rush with these. You take your time. If you're thinking, well, I only like the blue one, but now he's saying it's really difficult. It's not. It's really not. All I'm saying is, if you've never tried it before, it's going to take you a little bit longer to do it. But you will do it. You've got full instructions included in the kits as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. And the instructions do break everything down for you. You really can't go wrong. The details on the screen uh, for the blue one are there at the moment. £25.99, 321925 is your item number. Jump to the website, though. It's the quickest and the places to go. We've got even more that's on there. There's things that this, we won't be able to even see this out because I haven't literally got the time uh, that you've got there. Uh, you've got your triple leaf uh, kit in there as well. But we are very busy on your masquerade mask that we're looking at. Uh, hoop, once again, look, we're loving the hoop, loving the hoop that's on there. Uh, many, we do love the hoop. It's selling very, very well. Once again, you're loving the hoop. Uh, and then we've got more kits. So you've got the birds on there. Uh, what else we've got there? We've also got uh, the red feather. So what's that? The pink feather that you've got. Oh, we've got pink as well. So not only do you have the blue, you've also got the pink that runs through. And then we've got your masquerade mask that we're going to look at next. Now, your masquerade mask that we are looking at is the only one uh, that comes in a beautiful gift box that you are getting. So you are getting the gift box with everything in in the kit. So you're never on your own with this kit. Full instructions and tutorials as you go along. It looks very, very difficult, but I'm guessing it's not. No, it's not. Of course it's not. No more difficult than any of the other kits. Okay. Okay, so where do we start? Where would, you, would Is this a project where we can start anywhere or would you work in an order? Um, you can pretty much start where you want to if you wish. Okay. Though I have what I have done, we've got um, two stitch plans with this one. So this first stitch plan has actually got it broken down into... Um, can you see it? There you go. Right, so you've got... Um, I've lettered, put letters on so you know which bit is referred to in the instructions so you can follow it there. You also get a blank version there because in case you look at that and go, I don't like the way you've done that, I want to do something, you know, I want to do my stitches where I want to do them. Yeah. So feel free, you can write on that. You also get a larger, more detailed stitch plan which shows you where I've put the stitches if you prefer to just look at that and not read the instructions that I've written for you as well. Okay. Because you have a way you work. There's a couple of points I would like to point out because this, and this is purely because I went wrong on this myself. This is partly symmetrical with the eyes. Now, really, don't trust me on this. Do not stitch one half of that and then think, right, I'm now going to stitch the eye. I'm going to complete this one and then go back and stitch this one. Don't do that. Really, don't do that. I tried that. There's another kit of mine that hasn't been released yet, and that is completely symmetrical, and I stitched half of that. And then I had to go back and do the other half, and I thought, I don't know where I started. I don't know what uh, went. Okay. So when you get to the eyes, you start with one colour, and you do it on the one side, and then you do it on that side. And then you do the next row, that side and that side, and you work them together, and you'll make your life a lot easier. And trust me, I've done that. Then do it all that. one at a time. Yeah. I do tell you that in the instructions, and that's why. Okay, so the area we're going to work on here, this is the my favorite stitch it's a it starts with a basic trellis which is on every single kit and if you don't like trellis i'm really sorry <laughs> but i put them in every kit because i really like them but this is called battlement and this is the same as the stitch on the thistle which gives it its 3d effect oh, okay so i've put down the first layer of stitches okay and i'm going back to do these now you do exactly the same thing but in all four shades so we've got the first one 
So we're now going to go back and put the next one in. So I've gone to the, so started off in the palest purple, and I've now gone the next shade up. And all I'm doing is making these stitches slightly to the side of the first stitches. Okay. And do you always start with light to dark when you're doing this, or do you go d light dark to light? Do when I'm doing this particular one, I'll do light to dark. If you did it the other way around, yeah, it could be great, actually. It's going to make it go the other way. It's going to give a slightly different 3D effect, isn't oh. it? It's going to change it. It would sort of sink it in. I said, yes, it could be interesting, actually. You can have that. Thank you. Yours, yours, I, can, I can try that on the next one, shall yeah, I? Yeah, put it in your next I'll put it in, in the next kit. Course. Okay. Yeah. I don't want nothing for it just yet, unless it's really busy. <laughs> okay, so you go the one side. And then you're going to go back and do the other way. And you've already got your first layer down, so you're just following where that is. Fifty percent of your winter fern has now already gone. If you're liking the winter fern, fifty percent of the stock has now already gone. Well worth having a little look. Eight six zero one nine four is your item number. Okay, so you can just see how it's just building up, just moving to the side. So this is one area that you'd look at in the kit and you think, I can't do that. That just looks so intricate. I can't, I can't possibly do that. Well, you get, you can. It's long stitches. And that's what I say when you just break each section down. It's actually not yeah. as difficult as it looks. No. Okay, so that is that one. And we go to the next one. And we do exactly the same again. Oh, so then we just go around with our third colour. So we're going with our third colour. You're going both ways, remember, so you go all the way off and then come all the way back down, would you say? Yeah. It sounds a silly question, but do you keep your stitches in all the same direction? So if you've come up from the back to start with, do the same again because your stitches will look different, or doesn't it matter? Um, that doesn't make sense. You'll do all the stitches going that way first, and then all the stitches going that way second. Okay. Yeah, if that's what you meant. Yes. That's what I meant, yeah. There you go. I don't know if you got to the top and you think, oh, I'll just go back down now. I'll go the other way first. Keep all your stitches exactly the same. I mean, look, if one of the, this... If you did happen to change it round, you know, I don't know that anyone's going to look at it and notice. True. <laughs> it gets to a point with a lot of things like embroidery where, you know, you think, oh, I shouldn't do that because you're not supposed to go that way. And then you get to a point you have to think, is anyone else going to notice that? I suppose that. I, suppose <laughs> that's the, I shouldn't that's say the that. that. You know, this is it. technically, it's maybe technically incorrect, but there is a point that you think, is anyone? Look at that. Though. This is what we're aiming for. So the detail we've seen on the screen, we've seen the finished piece at the moment. Is that just a continuation of what you're doing? Because it looks all um, shaded in. This is it. This is all it is. This oh, so it's all, literally just lines just, of It's just lines. It's just the lines, yeah. Oh, my so word. So it, well, it looks like really, really, it looks like it is really difficult and really complicated. But, I mean, you see how quickly I've done this. Okay, it's not the neatest, <laughs> but... Oh, we get the gist, though. You get the gist, yeah. I think the beauty of these, because these walls are available in such fantastic colours and so lovely shades, I think it's nice to do things on this and on the feathers. You'll see it on the feathers where you are using, you're blending the walls together, so you're giving, getting slightly different effects because you blend them together, and you get that shading and that 3D effect. So easy. It's such an easy concept, and I use the easy in, in the lightest of terms, because it, it is, and I say it's easy because it is easy. All you are doing is literally following the same line that you've yeah. done for the last three times, that's and it. it's going to build up on its own. Yeah, that's it.
37 pounds and 49 pence. 006448 is your item number for your masquerade uh, little kit that you're looking at. You get everything you need in the kit as well. So you're getting all your colours in there. You're getting your beads in there. Uh, you're also getting uh, you're getting more needles in this one. So what you can now do is you can now start threading up more needles. So you can uh, be doing this a lot easier. So you haven't got to worry about going. Oh, now I'm going to need to uh, do that lighter purpose. So I need this. I need this needle now. No, you can do all your needles at the same time when you start. Leave them in your work. Four four eight is your item number for this one. Uh, a quick reminder, though, of your winter. Very busy for the winter is what we're looking at here. Uh, we are two-thirds of the stock of the winter has now gone. £27.99. 860194 is your item number for the winter. What is going to be? Is it going to be the stock or is it going to be the clock? This is the question that we need to ask. Will it sell out before the end of the hour? If you are liking the winter... You might want to swallow them at the same time. Uh, if you want the winter, you might also want to go for the other colours, uh, ways that we've got. Uh, so we've got spring, which is the easiest in the collection, uh, which is you're maybe going to be where you're starting that's from here. From then, you're going to move on to your summer collection. When, remember, full details, full instructions is what you're getting, including your stitch guide as well, so you're never alone included in the kits and from there we will then also move on to your autumnal scenes in your beautiful browns and oranges and yellows that you've got running through we'll give you the details for that 24 pounds and 99 pence 242198 is your item number uh right then let's get back uh, to our amanda where are you up to right i'm just finishing i've just done the the long stitches of the darkest shade and if you can see that there you go and then all oh. you do is you put the tiny stitch there's a tiny stitch that go, then goes in in the darkest shade and that just holds everything together so it's just that finishing stitch and it just pulls it in beautiful but you see that looks really complicated but it isn't is it you could do that couldn't you no i could, you could do, that. do that you just literally yeah. follow the stitches i don't yep. know why everyone asks me if i can do it anyone can do it i have what do you mean that you well, know. no you know, you did, yes, you did. <laughs> you're not the first you're not the first to say but i could this is the thing as a non-crafter i dabble i do dabble in the world of it but embroidery is one of these things that scares me and it scares me for the sheer fact that it looks really good and i'm quite privileged to stand here and i can look at the finished samples up close and personal and I can ask the questions and I can look at them. And even I stand here now looking at what you're looking at on the screen and go, well, look at that. I'd never be able to achieve all that. But then when you break it down bit by bit, section by section, segment by segment, you would be able to. And even if you only do one bit of an evening, you think that's all I'm going to do tonight. I've, 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 it took all my time to do that. I'm going to do no more. That's fine. That's all you simply need to do. £37.49, 006448 is your item number. And remember, if you're spending over the big value of £60, you can spread the cost onto Flexi. Don't believe me? Watch this. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Uh, uh, I didn't see you there. I was engrossed in my little books that I've also got on the show. Uh, this one is a brand new book today, £15.99. It's all about the birds, is what we're looking at here. If I turn this way, uh, look at this. So it literally tells you how to do things like flamingos in there, little duck feathers that you've got. Each one doing a stitch that, guess what? You already know because you've done it in your feathers before. So how nice would that be, doing things like uh, the peacock 
that you've got there, but just next to it, you've got one of the little feathers designs. That you can, so it's like a fallen feather that you've got from our Kevin. Uh, love this book, £15.99, 648787 is your item number. That's not the only book that I've got, though. I've then got this one. Uh, more about embroidery and you know everything. This is a beautiful book that gives you so much detail uh, that's in there about the threading and how uh, to do it all, how to do each stitch. It shows you the stitches. It breaks everything down. You've got patterns throughout as well with full-on flowers so you really know what you're doing. Looks really intricate but guess what? You've done half of the work before. How to start and how to use colours. £17.99. 729161 is your item number. And last but no means least, the A to, D, A to Z even of embroidery stitches. That this is really going to... Couching. So as we said in these ones. How to do couching. It's now going to show you how to do the couching all in all. So from that, you can now work out. But remember, it's also in the instructions as well, is what you're going to be looking at for this one. But not only do you have things on couching in there, uh, you've also got things about like blankets. So it's really going to break everything down. For £12.99, you really can't go wrong. Well, nice little giftable as well. I would be getting one of these kits, and I'd also be getting maybe the A to Z of embroidery. Then every base is covered. You've got every base covered uh, of what you need in this as well. Right then, let's get back. Winter is coming. Well, winter is here. You've been waiting for it for so long, and it's very, very busy already. Three quarters of the stock of winter now has already gone. £27.99, 860194 is your item number. Let's get back to more demos. Uh, what part are you looking at this time? Okay, so I'm going to go around one of the leaves, and I'm just going to mix the wool thread with the metallic thread, because I think that's something that people haven't oh. tried that before. It might be something something it's worth having a go at so what for this you need you cut your cut your wool as normal and your metallic thread cuts slightly longer because your wool stretches but your metallic thread doesn't okay and blend at least two strands of metallic thread with one strand of wool now you could do more metallic if you want to but I use just use the two I'll just show you the effect with two so I'm just going to do I'm just going to go around this particular leaf now normally I'd fill that leaf in first and then do this but this is just to show you what the metallic thread how the metallic thread works so it is a bit tricky you can see it just sort of wants to doesn't want to lie neatly together but so you've just got to be a bit more patient with the metallic thread so all I'm going to do I'm just going to work a stem stitch around this particular one so I've done the one loop Just see, hopefully. You can see why it's quite therapeutic, this. Yes. Do you find yourself losing hours of the day doing these sort of things? Like, like you think, I'll only do a little bit. Yeah, you can for work. do. work. I'll yeah. do a little bit for work, and then you end up completing you just an go, entire... Yes, you, just, you just keep going, you just keep going, and you forget what's going on around you, and... You've lost like three days. Yeah, yeah. You just okay. What happened there? <laughs> so you can, can just see. see. I can see that. But you can just see how that's just starting to sparkle. So this gives that little hint. Details for this is now on the screen. £27.99, and pence. Eight six zero one nine four is your item number. Only show today as well, so uh, start checking out your baskets. If you've got it in your baskets, I don't want you to miss out. Very popular, this one is. You can see how the thread's twisted through the yarn. Yeah. Remember, not that you're a womble, but remember that you've got the other three colourways as well. So if you're thinking, mm, nah, I've, my budget will only stretch to one today, go for the one that you like. Go for the one of the colourways uh, that you enjoy. Go for those ones uh, for the sheep folks. Um, Ross, my producer, is a big fan of autumn. Maybe because he just likes brown. Uh, and then I, the winter as well. I'm with my direct speaker. I, I like the winter as well. I like sort of the bling and the blue uh, that's in there. 
Uh, but you've also got summer and you've got spring uh, that runs through there as well. They're all available at the moment. Everything is available on the website as well. If I was you, I'd jump on there and start checking out your baskets because uh, I don't want you to miss out. How long have we got left? We've got two minutes left. Wow. Where's that 57 minutes gone? Wow. Three times larger, Time, we see we've lost 57 minutes out of this watching Stitch. I love this stuff. And this is the thing. You will too. Once you start, you won't be able to stop. Uh, and for those people that are thinking, I've never tried it before, I'd like to give it a little bash, but it looks so intricate. I, and it, it, they keep saying it's so easy, but I don't think I'd be able to master it. What would you say to those people as you do classes as well? Give it a go. Give it a go, really. Seriously. It's just, these instructions are broken down into so many simple stages. And you can see now because it's the picture of the video. Uh, and it's so effective. We're currently having a, issues with your microphone at the moment. Uh, so, uh, we were just saying, as I'm going to say, it was very, very easy. It was a very, very easy. Um, all we can do, though, man, if you want to if you want to wave to camera six to say goodbye, there we go, look. There we go. A nice little, nice little wave. Uh, you can't go wrong, then jump to the website. Everything is on the website for you. Start checking out the uh, baskets. That's all I can say. Start checking out your baskets. Now, uh, you've seen how quick winter has been gone as well. Everything is on here, though, in singles. If you want the singles, um, and stay tuned, there might, be, there might be some little bumper packs coming next time as well. Who knows? I've just thrown that into the mix. Uh, but uh, who knows what will be coming up next time. If you want the, uh, the hoop as well, very busy for the hoop get the hoop while you can sells out time and time again at uh, 15 seconds left don't you go anywhere there is so much more to shop for here in the wonderful world of the craft store and you can watch all these back uh, on rewind for the next 60 days so you are never alone i'll see you tomorrow morning bright and breezy see you tomorrow Yes, indeed, the next three hours look a little bit like this. Let the Only Loose is up next. Then, Block Blitz. You do not want to miss that. Now we're outside in the gardens. It will spruce up your patios. A treat. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. Make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you.
Hello and welcome. Um, it's lovely to have your company. I just realised that that's really loud. Um, He's like, oof, I've just realised it, Sol. Um, it's lovely to be with you. Um, second hour of the fabulous Stampiri. Now, it was really busy in the first hour. Um, everything's gorgeous. It is Sir uh, and Lady Vagabond, um, which are f the fabulous. <laughs> um, the, the, um, it's a collaboration uh, between Antonis and the wonderful Belinda, um, and they've brought us something that's it's magical, it's so imaginative, it's very cool i mean it's very cool it's steampunk but uh just sensational um do please check out um or oh, stamperia because stamperia have wonderful youtube uh, clips giving you loads of ideas inspiration tutorials so please do look them up but i want your photographs please um because i know this has been ridiculously busy we have had it on before um this is the only second time we've had it on, but it was so busy. So if you've got photographs, hopefully you've cut it up and made something marvellous, then please share with us. Right, let's go. So, first of all, we have got Sir Vagabond. And I am going to be a bit quicker. I'm not going to take as much time this time, because I did take 20 minutes to get down counter last time. Maybe 25. Uh, now, your first page, in loads of gorgeous sentiments. You've got so many fantastic um, inspirational quotes there. You've also got Sir Vagabond. Vagabond and of course Sir Vagabond is just fabulous absolutely fabulous it's all about him really but it's all about his adventures so Sir Vagabond lives in New York and he's going over to see Belin uh, Belinda um, he's going over to see Lady Vagabond who lives in London so you've got maps you've got the beautiful times but of course you have to have the wonderful flying machines which is just incredible isn't it incredible? Um, and you've got so many different images. Love the map, but this one is just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just so different, isn't it? And this is the thing with this collection. It's got so many different elements in it. You know, I love that all the papers are double-sided, which is why if you have got this already, it's so handy to have a second set. Because obviously everything, it's, it's so difficult to cut it up. But please cut it up. Please use it. So Vagabond there. And I love all these calculations, all these workings out. Um, and again, the beautiful city there in the background. Um, I love all the elements on this one. You can fussy cut these out. You can use it as a beautiful background. Um, every single paper has so many possibilities. And the quality is just gorgeous. This one is amazing. Because, again, you've got loads of tools, but then you've got things like the octopus. Because, obviously, it's the travels, you know, and you've got the map on there as well. You do have a lot of maps. You have a lot of, um, of different kind of... Um, your a different kind of symbols as well in here i love the advertisements i think they're super and then you've got tons and tons of toppers which is really really handy because obviously they're brilliant for your card making but for your mixed media for whatever you use in it um you've got so much choice they're all double-sided every single paper is beautiful quite frankly and it has been super busy in fact 40 percent of the stock has gone with sir vagabond 11 pounds and 99 pence 202724 however uh, oh, it is going to be sent out 23rd of June because it is coming from uh, Budapest, the wonderful Budapest. Um, now, we've got Lady Vagabond. Um, and as I said, this has been designed by the um, incredibly talented Belinda. And I love this. Now, Lady Vagabond is the most popular. Oh, she does. She does. She's nearly 60% of the stock is Lady Vagabond. Boom! She comes from the London, that's why. Um, now, you have got that fabulous, fabulous Lady Vagabond. I mean, she is super cool. She is so steampunk. I love all the layers. Again, that's amazing. All the travelling trunks there. And again, you can see the city in the background. Um, I love the layers. She's there with a cat. Oh, yeah. She travels with the cat, obviously. Obviously. Um, yeah, Miss P, travel with your cat. Um, I love it because you've got all these layers. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. You literally just want to cut that out and put it on a canvas, you know, or just frame it. Um, obviously, Lady Vagabond has to have her travelling machine. Her travelling machine is basically a city um, on wings. So she had to go one better, didn't she, eh? And that is amazing. I love this paper with the doors. I mean, that is strange London. And see, now, wouldn't you do a strange London guide? 
Yes, definitely. Would you take one of those doors? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Um, the old maps, again, absolutely gorgeous. These are brilliant because these are double-sided. So you've got so much scope with those. And the other side, they're stunning. Absolutely stunning. You've also got your beautiful cityscape as well. Um, and, of course, you can do so much with each one of these. Now, it doesn't have to be London if you don't want it to. This is cool. Your books and then the, the actual big book. Because the big book, when you turn it over, the other side is literally the book. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, yeah, I love that. I love that one. Um, these are amazing because they're double sided again. So you've got all your little books that you can use as your journaling cards. And then, of course, you've got all your fantastic toppers. Um, I love this. I absolutely love this. Now, she's been busy. If you would like to get Lady Vagabond, I'm just going to nip over there and get the finished sample that matches that. If you'd like to get Lady Vagabond, please check your baskets out. She is super amazing. She's very, very cool. And obviously, there's tons you can do with that one. That one decorating um, one of the stone paper books, actually. Um, and there's loads you can do with that. But I've popped on our lovely Lady Vagabond on the front there. Ridiculously easy to create something like that. But it's so effective. Now, if you would like that one, £11.99, pence, 126691. Now, next, um, you're getting your 8x8. Now, these are always popular. So you're getting both your pads, but of course they are on a smaller surface, a, a smaller, um, they look smaller. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really rubbish with words today. Um, I really like the small format because it's great for your card making. It also means you're more likely to chop up your 12 by 12s as well because you've then got the smaller ones. Um, and the price is amazing. You're still getting all that gorgeous artwork, all that wonderful imagination and all that beautiful colours. Um, now, this is actually approaching 60 as well. If you do want to get hold of that particular kit, £13.98. 941-335 is your item number. Now, these were busy in the first hour of the moulds. These are so cool. I mean, I love Stamperia moulds anyway. Um, but I must admit, the ones in the, the Surly and the Vagabond collection, these have been my favourite. I adore these. Um, the wings especially. I think this is my uber favourite mould, this one. I love this, love it. You've got the big uh, mechanical wings. You've got all the wonderful cogs as well. I mean, it's a superior mould, is that one. Half the stock has gone. You are getting both of these moulds for $14.98. You're then getting Sir Vagabond. And you've got, the get again, that time machine. You've got him looking splendid. And again, you've got loads of little extras in there. Yeah, this was the one I did last time we launched this. And the wings are just magnificent, aren't they? I actually, they're um, air dry clay as well. And we've got the air dry clay on the show. So, and that's the thing with air dry clay. I mean, that looks amazing, you know, but that is just air dry clay. Mixing it with other moulds, mixing it with the rice paper in the back there on the frame. And yeah, they're splendid. Um, if you would love to get those, £14.98. pence nine zero six. One five seven. Now, next, if you do want the clay, you've got two packs of the clay. It's just sat at the bottom of the screen there. Five eight five seven two five. Your item number. Always busy is the clay. Now, this one's a good one as well because you've got a mold in this one. It's a lovely mold with the clocks and the keys on there. You've then got your paper. Now, it is a single sheet of paper, but it's really handy because um, it's got all the wonderful advertisements. The demon. Um, which is, which is that one, absolute secrecy. For perfect gem, hundreds of testimonials daily. I'm not quite sure what, oh, it's a detective camera, is the demon. Aha. Uh -huh. um, what's this one? To sail positively on the sea, um, that's to help your constitution. <laughs> um, I know, right? I mean, it might. Or um, Oceanic Steamship Company. Oh, there's all sorts around. Do you know what I love about that? I mean, they look real. They might be real. You do know, it's one of those that it's like, are they real? Have you made it up for this? What is that? But yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful piece of paper there. Of course, it is in your 12 by 12, it's in your 8 by 8, but you can get it singular within this one. You've then got the rice paper, and this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, you've so much on there. And because it's rice paper, you can uh, cover boxes with this. You 
can put it on fabric when you use the right adhesive. Um, I used it for my art journal. It's gorgeous for art journal pages, but uh, I love that. And it just gives such a wonderful um, finish. Because you've got that uh, transparency with it, because you can sort of see under it it's just perfect for layering love that one and then the other rice paper is the machine and that is so cool um again that is your wonderful time traveler machine um it's just amazing isn't it like it's just the um the, the imagination that's gone into all of these just looks so clever. Uh, 5218891 is your item number. Um, brilliant. And the price, I mean, 999 such a good price for that one. 521891. Now, you've got a lot in this one because you've got your embellishments. Now, with your embellishments, what you're actually going to get, and let me just work, pop that one down for a second. Um, so you're getting all of these embellishments. Now, you've got 60 of your die cut embellishments. They are a heavyweight cardstock, so you can see there, they're a heavyweight cardstock. You've got loads of beautiful um, sentiments. You've got loads of little ones that you'll layer up, which look absolutely gorgeous. You've got your pocket watches. You've got wings, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, again, really, really cool sentiments. Life is the journey. Absolutely, it is, my friends. Um, you've got Sir Vagabond there as well. You've got your chap with the wings. Um, yeah, he's very muscly, isn't he? Um, it's just amazing. It's such a good set, is this? So you've got 60 of those. You've then got your paper. Now, it's a cracking paper in this one because it is those... Um, the wonderful uh, double-sided journal pages again. You can use them as your journals if you want to, or your, you know, your little journal cards, or you can just cut them up and use them as toppers. I love that paper. It's stunning. You've then got um, your adhesive chipboard elements as well. And in this one, you've got 17 pieces. Sticky, so dead easy to use. And it's, again, really cool because it's that dimension but it's all the beautiful artwork that's um that's you can see throughout this wonderful collection and then last but by no means least that rice paper now i use this in the first demonstration um oh i love it because it's um it's got that it's the steampunk element with that beautiful sort of um i don't know the mechanical elements in there as well oh, it's just fab i am yeah the blueprint element thank you jimmy that's what i'm after now i will show you you um, again one of the finished samples now this is a, um, the stone paper pad and you can see the rice paper rice paper is so good for covering things like this because it's so lightweight you can literally just put it around anything um, and then you've got your chipboard embellishments there I'm going to show a few that you might have seen in the last hour you might not have if you didn't manage to join us. Some of the elements aren't in the, the kits that we've got today, but I'm going to show you anyway, just because they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. You've got your fabulous hole. You've got your chipboard embellishments in the centre. You've got your amazing papers in the background. Again, those chipboard embellishments. I mean, look at that. How super cool is that? Just beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, it's got printed acid. I'll show you one more because this is the best sample in the world. Yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? That's the wings. Now, that's the mould, actually. The mould that we saw, yeah, that's your mould. But you've got all sorts. He is the 12 by 12 uh, Sir Vagabond. Isn't that fabulous? And that has been sent to us from Stamperia. I love that. It is so good. The paints as well. If you do want those paints, they are on the show. So please check those out because that turquoise is exquisite. Now, if you do want to get hold of this bundle, the prices are amazing. Eleven ninety nine for all of that. Uh, that's nine eight four zero eight zero. Next, uh, we have got for you. Um, now, with this collection, you've got your stamps. And I haven't used the stamps yet. And these are just lovely because within the stamps, you have got, um, again, quality stamps. They are Stamperia, so they are ready mounted. And you've got that beautiful red rubber. So really good quality stamps. Now, you have got Lady Vagabond's flying machine. You've got a cat. You've got the, uh, the beautiful clocks in there as well and then escape the ordinary how um, <laughs> so 
Uh, and my thought is, said, escape the Chardonnay. <laughs> Chardonnay. She, oh, I can't say it now. Chardonnay. <laughs> uh, yeah, escape the dictionary. Um, it doesn't. Escape the ordinary. Keep your wine. Um, now, we've also got your rice paper. Now, you are actually getting two of each sheet of the rice paper. And these are gorgeous. So you're getting the wonderful travelling trunks there. And then you're getting that wonderful map of London. Your vintage map, which is just a map. The vintage photo of London. I love that. I think that's fabulous. And then, so you're getting two each of those. And then you're getting one of your papers as well. And it is Lady Vagabond's wonderful flying machine. Uh, £22.99 is your price. Half of the stock has gone there. 171411, your item number. Now, next, we have got for you another mould. And this is a cracking mould. Really like this one. It's one of those you'll, you'll use a lot. So, you've got your beautiful mould and look at all the detail in that. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. You've got all those wonderful clocks. And with something like this, I mean, you use your, your beautiful, um, you know, your, your soft, um, or oh, your cream paste. Use your cream paste in there and you can create some incredible effects. So that's your mold, really nice, flexible mold. You've then got your rice papers. Um, so with your rice papers, you've got your beautiful clock there with, and this is, I know this isn't part of this set, but the clock does go with it. You know, you don't have to have it completely steampunk. And then you've got all your other wonderful clocks as well. Really like this rice paper. It's gorgeous. Now, that wonderful kit, just £9.99. 513 238, your item number. And then, last but by no means least, phew, because I can speak no more. Um, yeah, that was a lot quicker. Oh, my word. I tell you what, I'm going to have half my bottle of water when I get to the other side of the counter, though. I'm parched. Um, you've then got your wonderful stone paper. Now, this is cool stuff. Stone paper, if you've never used it, you can sew it, you can wash it. You can wash it. I mean, it's really weird stuff. Um, it doesn't rip. So you can't rip it or tear it. You can actually scrunch it up to create texture. You can cut it. You can die cut it. So it's, it's amazing. Again, please, please watch Stamperia's YouTube videos. There's some cracking demonstrations making bags. You can literally make usable bags out of this. I mean, it's really, really cool stuff. If you've had this at home and you've made some out of it, send your photos with this. I would love to see what you've created with this. Get your sewing machine out, sew it, superb stuff. But you can do everything you can do on paper. So you can stamp on it, you can ink on it, you can spritz on it. So all those techniques that you do on paper, you can do on this, but then some. Uh, 108703 is your item number. Now. Uh, the wonderful paints. Oh, we love these. And these are such good value for money. Now, you are getting all six paints here. They're luscious. Um, the colours are beautiful. But it's just so smooth. Really, really lovely colour palette, this one. And the colours match your um, your Vagabond collection perfectly. So if you do want to get hold of this one, um, please make sure you don't miss out on it. I mean, only £16.94 your price there. 812 to 674 your item number now we've also got the clay now the clay's been busy um the clay is fabulous because obviously with your clay um you can do so much with it it is an air dry clay which means uh, you can use it for all sorts, but it's really lightweight. And I love that because it, it means you can use it for, um, you know, if you're, if you're using it for your moulds, you can uh, use it with, um, with all your different moulds, actually. But you can use it freehand as well. But it dries so light. It's such a good product. If you would like your clay, please, please, please check your baskets out. Um, now, uh, I need a drink, so you're going to just look at that, I think. There you go. That's a sample. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I was so thirsty. Um, right, okay. I tell you what I could have done a tr to try. Maybe I need. I tell you what it is. I don't use baby wipes, do I? So I was just thinking, what do baby wipes actually have in them? They've got kind of um, they've got like a they've got stuff in them, haven't they? 
Yeah, it's a bit soapy. So I'm wondering if um, soap would be the one. Oh, uh, Jack, I wonder if you'll do me a massive favour and just get me, you know, some of the, um, the, the, the hand soap in the kitchen. Would you be able to get that for me? I'm going to try it on this. Um, so, thank you, lovely Jack. So, what I'm doing with this, now, I made this the last time we had the Sir and Lady Vagabond on. I made um, this. Now, this is actually rice paper. Oh, no, it isn't rice paper. I'm lying to you. This is stone paper. And this is why I love stone paper. Um, I've actually, and it is for my um, iPad, but other what's it's are available. I mean, I don't know where I've put mine now to actually show you how it fits in. Where have I put mine? Oh, I'm not liking myself today. I'm really irritated to myself. I keep losing stuff. That's annoying. But anyway, it fits perfectly in there. Oh, um, and the thing is with it, this is sturdy. This is a really cool product. And you can cover it with all sorts. You could sew this. I would have sewn it, but obviously I didn't have a sewing machine or anything. So I haven't. But if you sew it, it looks amazing. Um, I've just used double-sided tape to actually glue this together. But it is super, super cool. So definitely try your rice paper. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, this is another product that's on uh, the show, the Vintage Antique and Paste Now. Um, Antonis uses this a lot. So when you see all these lovely, like, um, distressed effects, this is what he uses. Antonis does use baby wipes. You know me, I don't like baby wipes. I know there's some now that actually are... Um, you know, the, the, they say that they properly um, disintegrate, don't they? Yeah, but do they, though? I don't really know. I mean, I, I, I don't care. You don't want to be flushing them down the toilet. I don't care what they say to you. That's, but, but, um, but they say that. They say they're completely green. So maybe those I would give a bash now. Um, and maybe I'd see how fast they disintegrated. But anyway, what you do with your antiquing paste, now I haven't, with this one, I haven't uh, put any stencil on it. I tell you what, if I'd stenciled on this as well, it would look amazing. But I'm just going over the top with my antiquing paste. Now what this will do, when you work it in, like can you see when you really work it into all the the nooks and the crannies when you work it into all the um all the sort of texture bits it will really emphasize your texture so that's what i'm doing as i said antonis wipes the excess off with um with baby wipes i have found a wet cloth doesn't wipe it off as well so this is why I was wondering if I put a bit of water and a little bit of soap, if that would actually help. So I'm going to try that. Hand sanitizer, I'm not sure, because some hand sanitizer has alcohol stuff in it, doesn't it? So I'm not sure, because I suppose some baby wipes do as well, don't they? But, um, yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? It's because I'm not sure what baby wipes have in them. Oh, but look. No, oh, that's good. Okay, so what you get is this beautiful vintage look and I, I really like this i tell you it, it makes it look finished you know sometimes you have a project and it just looks a little bit too clean still do you know what i mean whereas this i'm putting a little bit of hand soap on there and then a bit of water just have a bowl with water and hand soap in and just dip it in so just lifting the excess off but but look and i'm not going to go over the the ridges or I will, but it'll be on the, the outside of it. Look, so just, and you can see then inside it is really nice and, and it's got that lovely sort of vintage look to it. So then when I whip that round now, go on this side and just take a little bit more off here. There we go. Yeah, that I do love this. I love it because it's it just makes it it almost makes it look like I have really waxed it. Do you know? Like I've um like I have actually used a beautiful sort of you know, a, a wax that you use for your wood or something like that. It gives it that kind of yeah. When you've got the soap on it, it, it does make it a bit easier actually it does come away a bit easier you're not wanting to lift it all off but it doesn't because if you now look at this compared to this it's got a different look it's got a different tone that actually does look more finished if the truth be known it gives it a really really nice sort of um a nice 
a, a, I don't know what the word is. It just looks, it just looks more vintage, doesn't it? I mean, now when you look at that, I've already done that bit. That now looks much more finished than if I flip it over on that bit. I'm going to do this bit, as well, doesn't it? It looks more finished. It looks more vintage. It looks proper. So I'm going to pop a bit more. So I'm popping it on a plastic bag. It, yeah, it does look like you're a die or something, doesn't it? It does. It's it's interesting stuff. I wish I'd a, a stenciled this um, first because it wo it works beautifully around stencils. It works beautifully, like um, if I put it on this as well. Now this is your one of your, and I should have painted it first because I'm betting. I bet that's quite tricky to get off now, especially in the little nooks and crannies. More crannies and nooks. Only some nooks. <laughs> All the nooks and the crannies. There we go. Uh, but there might be big nooks, but I don't know what I've got to get in them. It's, you know, it's a bit tricky, is that? I'm not, sh I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get my cheeky little cloth in there. Pop that to one side for a second. There we go. Yeah, I think it's cotton butter is required for that one, I reckon. Right, see, so just slapping it on now, like this. <laughs> and slapping it on. There we go. And it's really going to... Yeah, go on, let's see some pictures while I'm slapping it on. That'd be fabulous. So, the first one... Who's this from? Jeannie, what a lovely name. Um, oh, that's amazing, Jeannie. Is it? I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's like, it looks huge, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, she's decorated a craft yourself silly box. Jeannie, that is beautiful and lovely idea because it's really something you can use as well. Love that, Jeannie. Thank you. Now, we've also got, this isn't it. Oh, that's amazing. Do I recognize that journal? No. What, what, what? Oh my gosh, that's utterly different, isn't it? Is that Paula's Boundless Journal? Well, fancy that. That's our Paula's Boundless Journal. Um, that's from Angie. Angie, thank you. That's amazing. And you've utterly transformed that into something completely different. But that is the beauty of crafting, isn't it? Ladies, thank you. Um, Kate, keep sending those in. We love seeing what you've done. We love being inspired. I do. I'm very nosy and I love it. So, now, going on. So the paper, this with the paper at the bottom. And that, I, yeah, I really like that. That's proper, proper. Um, I've used 12 by 12 paper on this. I've used my rice paper on this one. Oh, see, look at that. Look how vintage that looks now. That's absolutely gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's beautiful. A little bit of soap. And then lifting that off. Oh, yeah. It looks like, it almost looks like um, a walnut, doesn't it? You know, like a, a walnut finish. Walnut. Like a, like a walnut wax. Yeah, walnut stain. As a piece of walnut whip. Looks like I've smeared it in walnut whip. <laughs> I suppose it does a bit. There. I really like that. That looks so much better. And it's funny, actually, with this, because I have been using it. I put my iPad in there and forget where I've put my iPad because I forgot I put it in here. Oh, my. Honestly, I have spent hours looking for my iPad, and I forgot that I've even made this. Oh, I tell you, I do my own editing a lot, a lot of the time. But, uh, yeah, I love that. And it's the texture. It's the texture. So this one is, I'm going to say Servagabon because of his moustache. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, 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 I figure, yeah, I figure he's possibly more likely to have the tash. Is, um, but, but it could be either of them that you use, to be fair. Yeah, it, it could absolutely be anybody. So I, he might not want to. Uh, yeah, whatever. So I love that. I really like that now. I think that has finished it off completely. And it's, I like how this still looks a little bit new, but this is so vintage. Oh, I'm pleased I did that. I love this because this has just been an exercise in Leone finishing off her own iPad cover. But in the meantime, I'm also demonstrating. Amazing. Who knew? 
And I'm just doing that just to see if that comes off the paint as well. Oh, it does. That's so nice. Yeah, I love that. Okay, let me let me just see if it will come off here. Be quite. I think I should have painted this first because I think if I'd have painted it first, it would come off a little bit easier. Um, I'd absolutely use the Allegra paints because if I painted it first, it would give it a little bit more... Um, it would give it a bit more sturdiness. Because the thing is, with your your um, air dry clay, it is a paper clay at the end of the day. So because it is a paper clay, obviously, it's not, you know, sometimes you don't want to be scrubbing it at any rate because it's not going to withstand that. I mean, actually, I really like that. I think that looks kind of cool. It's funny, when you get in like that, you can see the green bits. I don't like that. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to, oh, see, you see me green bits. It's got into the bits. No, oh, now you can see me. Uh, I have no roots because I haven't had it dyed, so I don't care. That's why I just have I got all my green bits because Jimmy's zooming in on my green bits. I'm gonna have to do my edges now. Bear with. Tell you what, if you started, Jimmy, oh, where have I missed a bit? <laughs> you directors, I tell you what, those directors, they are the monkeys, you know, for for getting right in on your what's it's and your um. <laughs> And you don't want that quite fra Oh, no, I can see another bit there. How do you do that? Oh, come on, it's your fault. There you go. <laughs> okay, so then, ah, now look. Taking that bit off. <laughs> look at that. That actually looks well cool. Oh, I'm loving this stuff. And, yeah, the, the soap makes a big old difference, to be fair. I've tried it before with just my wet cloth and it didn't. The soap absolutely does. So you don't need a baby wipe. You can use your grotty old um, rag with a bit of um, soap and that that works an absolute treat. I mean, I love that. That now, that looks so effective, doesn't it? Doesn't that look good? Thank you. I need to wait. I see I was waiting until someone in my eye told me it looked good. <laughs> and then I will move on. If you hadn't, I would be looking at this for a long time. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you just with paints quickly. Um, just because I don't want to mess too much. But with the paints. Now, with the um, with the beautiful mould. So this is one from the mould. I've already just spritzed it just to give it a base colour. Um, and then you can start painting it absolutely love this now please remember with your molds you have got the molds um but they have been super super busy and i'm not surprised because oh my gosh the molds are amazing i'm just going to quickly stick a bit of paint on this one just quickly and then just see so i'm not i'm not going to take ages I, I must these are fabulous you would take ages you would take your time because the the detail is incredible and um, this is done with the air dry clay again remember you can get the air dry clay on the show i've already spritzed it i used um the stamperia mixed media sprays and the pentart mixed media sprays i'm not sure what pentart products have been on this morning actually but if they have got any of the sprays then um they are rather fabulous are the pentite sprays so just popping that on i won't do tons and tons oh he's close again <laughs> i'm not too bothered i'm not too bothered because i don't care <laughs> uh, oh that man you did you did it for a director to be your other half wouldn't you tell you they'd be like oh yeah you've missed a bit love you've missed a bit I tell you, they'd be like, no, don't get that close to me. Yeah, you've missed a bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's the reason she don't like it. Um, now, what? Uh, which were the brown that were in this kit? Because I've got two browns and I've forgotten which one. So it was earth brown, which is a terror, I do believe. Yes, it was. There we go. They're beautiful, beautiful paints. So I'm going to pop a little bit of this on as well like this okay i'm just popping that on and then what i'm gonna do is just quickly show you see with the paint oh i wish i'd have gone 
the moulds are beautiful. Yeah, I want to go over with the, the gorgeous thing now. We've got the green as well, haven't we? Mm. I love that green. And it's just exquisite. Oh, did a bit. Oh, that one needs a bit of a shake, actually. Oh, I'm not going to faff with a green. I have got... Do, 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 oh, I'm going to put my turquoise on instead. Then, let's see, what else have we got? The green, the turquoise, the... Ah, yes, this one. I've got all the paints, you see. So it means that... Um, I can't remember which is which. Yes, and I have got the anthracite. There we go. So pop a bit of the anthracite on as well. Now, I'm not spending as long as I should with this because I'm actually rushing it a bit just so I can get to the vintage bit, which isn't what I should be doing. I should be taking my time and then doing the vintage bit, not rushing the paint a bit just so I can get on. Do you know what I mean? But And I should have really turquoised it. That's what I should do. Right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Fee remind you what we're gonna get, and then I'm gonna blast this dry. And I'm gonna do the turquoise, and then put the vintage on, because I reckon if the turquoise is underneath it, when you see the vintage, you'll see the turquoise better when you take it off. Whereas with this, you won't see it as much. So I'm gonna dry this, then go over with turquoise. In the meantime, Fee. Thank you, my darling. Best quote of the day from our early only. There's nothing worse than a director getting into your watsits. Yeah, she wins the prize today. Uh, there's the turquoise, there's the verdi, there's the lovely uh, lo lovely cream, that vintage sort of cream. Then we've got the anthracite, the biscotto, and the terra in the browns. So you get all six of those for £16.94, 817674. And as Leonie says, they work perfectly with all of these fantastic Samperia sets. The beautiful colour matches there. So Sir Vagabond, he is very busy, very busy indeed. So pleased to see these, these guys back again because uh, I remember them selling out when uh, they launched with Leonie there the last time Sam Peary had them on so fabulous to have a second chance a little bite of the cherry there if you love them the first time around 11.99 you've got 10 double-sided sheets there of the 12 by 12 uh, Sir Vagabond 202.724 approaching two-thirds of the stock gone 60% then we've got Mrs Vagabond Lady Vagabond uh, yes with her floating city oh she's gorgeous isn't she with her cat as well in tow love all those emblems with the keys because it's coming from Budapest, is it? Uh, dispatch will be the 23rd of June. There we go. Not long to wait. And it's worth it, yeah. And all those fabulous moulds we've got in the show to time beautifully. I love this flying house stroke bird. Two thirds of the lady gone now as well. Very, very popular. It's close. It's a close knit race between the two of them. To be fair, I'd have to have both because they're both absolutely tremendous. 11.99, 126.691. What's great as well uh, is you've got the 8x8s in both of those as well. So we've got the Diddy versions, identical sheets there as well. You've got both those sets there for £13.98 if you like working on a smaller scale or if you just want more because obviously they're double-sided. 941335. Love that. Over, over two-thirds of the stock gone on that one. Fabulous. And then the moles, always so popular, so flexible, great for your mediums there. Um, your air drive we've got on the show, as uh, Leonie was saying. I mean, these wings, are, I've just seen them used in so many different ways. The cogs, the nuts, the bolts um, that, that are, they're just brilliant. All the different, uh, the screws, the round head, the flat head. I mean, they're just brilliant, aren't they? And you can really build that up. Lovely Ernie's uh, iPad cover there. And then you've got Sir uh, Vagabond himself and that uh, fantastic steam train floating there. That's the one Leonie's just been using and she's uh, antiquing up there with the varnish beautiful they are absolutely stunning and a really let me just put on the, a really deep mold as well you know it's a bit um it's a bit you can't quite discern you know just how deep and uh in detail the impact is but i love that malleability of it as well and uh over 60 percent gone look at that cost costing there 14 pounds 98 it's so cost effective isn't it nine zero six one five seven really amazing then the Traveller Collection, yeah, this is great because it gives you that ta that little taster. You get a bit of everything. You get the cards, you get the rice papers, which are phenomenal, and you're getting the moles. That's a great mole set, isn't it, with the stopwatch and the clock and the keys. I know you use the keys over and over again in your mixed media. Uh, I love that, all the numbers, just brilliant. I mean, the mold itself I'd buy for 9 99 there. The old keys, the new key there, just brilliant. But you are getting that fantastic double-sided 12 by 12 sheet there as well, 
which is tremendous because you cut those little bits up. They're almost, almost like individual tags, aren't they? Little newspaper articles. They're, they're, they're individual pieces of artwork in themselves, but as a, as a whole sort of scenic piece, it's brilliant. And then you've got that fantastic large um, A3 rice paper plus the A4 one as well in the colour. Um, just a stunning match there as well. 9.99520891 for that whole set. Fantastic. Yeah, lovely tippy toes in little teaser of the whole Vagabond collection there. Added to which we've got the, the ephemera, we've got the chipboard, the large A3 rice paper there. And uh, we've also got the, the gorgeous card sheet as well. 70% has got, I'm not surprised that the individual ephemera pieces are just amazing, aren't they? I mean, look at these with the wings there. Beautiful. Are they gorgeous? I mean, some of them are so huge. Really huge, so detailed as well. There's so much going on in here. So Vagabond himself, look at him. He's such a dashing, spiffing hunk of a man. Um, he does remind me of Walther Strong. Yes, he does. I think that's exactly what Walther looks like myself. Um, just amazing. And then you've got the, the actual die cuts themselves. Then there's the rice paper. All that detail, all that layering over you know, it's like a piece of engineering. It's fantastic. 1199-984-080. That is a, an incredible uh, collection there. Great value for money, I'm sure you agree. Moving on to our Lady Vagabond collection. Yes, couldn't have, sir, without Lady. Uh, so we've got your 12 by 12 card. You've got the two A4 rice papers. Now you're getting two of each of these. Have I got that right? So you get two of each of those. So two of the lovely piled up suitcases there and the two of that cityscape as well they are beautiful they work fantastic together so you get four of the rice papers there the large card sheet as well and there's her mode of travel which is a boat come airship come yes it is just fantastic and then look at the stamps as well those deep red rubber etched stamps the cat with the top hat the steampunk top hat is just brilliant isn't it they are fantastic Great collection again, $22.99, Escape the Ordinary. Too right, let's escape the ordinary. 171411. Amazing, amazing. So many beautiful samples back here as well. Uh, the clock moles as well. And then you've got your, your A4 uh, lovely um, rice papers as well. The gears, as it's called. So the clock and the gears. So this is great, that layering up. Not that you've got to do the whole thing as a giant mould. You know, you can just use aspects of it. You know, as Leonie was saying, just a, you could just do the one clock face. You could just cut around it. Um, what's that paste they, they use, Stamperia? That lovely mold, cream paste. Yeah, cut around it. Yeah, we've got that on the show somewhere. That always goes. Then you've got your actual clock faces. I mean, you could layer those up as well individual cogs there and almost like the washers and ah oh, just brilliant and then take it in a different direction as well if you're thinking more to coincide with your lady vagabond as leone saying you know it is from a different set but it doesn't matter it's still that clock it's still that lovely um sort of romantic sort of you know it just takes you to another realm doesn't it you can steampunk that up a little bit if you want to keep it in keeping with the whole idea but it doesn't matter they are just superb quality. And we've got the cat in there as well. Uh, to rice papers, 513-238-999. And a stone paper. Oh, my word, this is a revelation to me. I couldn't get enough of Leonie telling me about it. The fact that you can die cut it and stamp onto it and sew it and it doesn't tear and you can scrunch it and you can put it in the washing paper. My imagination was running wild. I was thinking, oh, you need to stamp that and then I could sew it onto this. And I was, oh, I was just thinking, this is amazing stuff. Her, the, her tablet cover is phenomenal. It's so strong. She stuck it with glue. I couldn't get over it. I actually thought when she showed it me, it was just a lovely canvas of artwork. And then she went, oh, no, me, me, me tablets and so I'm like, wow, you can open it up and it's so durable. Um, I'm astonished by this stuff. I can't get enough of looking at it. And as Leone said, there's loads of YouTube videos there as well. So have a little look. 108703. You're getting both of those, that fantastic silver and, and the stone paper and the, the, the cream white there. 108703999. Have a look on the web. Shop ahead on the web if you can't decide. Create your own flexi order, I know. Um, it, it's always so popular. I'm so pleased they bought this uh, collection back. There's your cream paste. We need the cream paste. It's phenomenal stuff. Two pots. You never used it in your moulds. Honestly, it's just amazing. It's like stone paper. It's like alchemy. 
Uh, and there's your soft air dry clay there. And I'm loving the vintage antiquing paste. That, that tube's going to go a long way. It's all there on the website. Have a little look. But let's go back to our lovely Leone. Ooh. Okay, so I did dry this. It is dry, and then I've set up my other demonstration as well. So what I wanted to do was just slap on some antiquing paste on this um, just to see um, what it would look like. It's one of those again, isn't it? I just want to put antiquing paste now on everything. But I'm thinking with something like this, especially because it's got your paints underneath, I'm thinking that'll give you such an incredible finish. Um, I mean, you could then put some of the, the beautiful metallic paints with this, you know, if you want to create a different effect. And what I love about this, you're not, you know, you're not uh, being too precious where you actually put it. You just slap it on. I like that. Because sometimes you faff too much, you know, we're trying to, if you're antiquing, you, you faff where you're putting it, but with this, just slap it on. Now this bit, I'm being a little bit careful, it is at the end of the day, air dry clay. If it was, um, if it was thingy, <laughs> the, the harder stuff, yep, if it was resin, then um, I'd be, you know, I'd be, I'd be more, I'd be a bit rough be a bit harder but I'm being a little bit more gentle because it is your air dry clay okay now look I am getting it into my nooks and my crannies again although let's face it Jimmy's probably found a cranny that I've missed or a nook <laughs> that Jimmy oh he's a pain yeah I'm leaving that there you go I'm leaving it that were on purpose that's a cranny that didn't need didn't need fixing <laughs> And then I'm just, I'm not filling every cranny just for you, Jimmy, quite frankly. Sometimes they're going to be left. <laughs> um, right, so just fill that in and let's have a play. I love this. I, I love that in this hour I'm literally just going to be addicted to this paste. Yeah, this is all I've done in this hour and I've had a lovely time. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I, yeah, it is all I've done. I've talked a lot. Um, right, so getting my mucky cloth again. So I'm using a cloth that absolutely has had everything on it. Um, with this, I do pop them through the washing machine afterwards. So when I've used them a few times, um, they will go through the washing machine. A little bit of water and then some soap and just lift that off. Now, see, because you've got the blue paint underneath, yeah, that absolutely works. I mean, this is just a treat. I would definitely, when I was doing this properly, I would definitely not be spritzing on the cloth. I would absolutely have um, a, a, just a, some, you know, some soapy water next to me so I can just dip the cloth in so I wouldn't be faffing like I am doing on live TV. Whew. As if, as if I'd make it easier on live tele. But look at that. I mean, this is just superb. Um, use this on your cardstock. Use it on, you know, your stuff that you have um, stenciled over the top of. There's so much you can do with this. It just gives you such an incredible effect. And this is definitely, Antonis uses this a lot, you know, on so many of his beautiful projects. And if you have seen Antonis's work, you'll know how incredible it looks. You know, it's so, so effective. So this is how he gets some of those effects. And just pulling that off now. And you can, now, this is interesting because I've used so much water. Air dry clay, you find, if you're too harsh with it and you use a lot of water, you can take it back to the clay. <laughs> but sometimes that looks really cool. Doesn't that look cool? I really like that a lot. So I won't faff anymore because I know I'm getting carried away. But how cool is that? If you do want that antiquing paste, I'd highly recommend that. It's just so good and it's easy to use as well. Uh, please check your basket out with that one. It is just £12.99 and you do get a massive tube of it. You know, I have used a little bit and I've really, there's excess that I've popped out there. So please make sure... Um, yeah, you stock up on that because it's cracking stuff is that one. Now, what I'm going to do, and I will actually wash. So what I want. I know I'm going to run out of time. Um, I've only cut this out. I'm not going to demo it, but I just. Won't that be cute? 
And the the eight by eight has exactly the same in but in mini. I know that that is so cute. So that I I only cut it out to show you because it's it's beautiful. But stone paper so i've already cut my stone paper um to shape so with this one and, and this is the beauty of stone paper you can do all sorts so i've obviously made my um my cover i do use this all the time this is genuinely what i keep my um my thing in my ipad in it that is that is what i use and i love it i just think it's absolutely beautiful even better now i've finished it uh, but but you can make all sorts out of stone paper and i love it because i mean look you can scrunch it up and it keeps its texture look at this properly scrunch it up look <laughs> well, who said that Steve O, Steve O's called Jimmy, me sorry boy. <laughs> but um, I have met your parents. Oh, I have met your parents. I met your girlfriend as well. Awkward turtle. Uh, but, but, you know, such, such is life. Such is life. We know how you're all. No judging. No, well, we do. I'm really judgmental. <laughs> um, but anyway, look, 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 you can scrunch it up. When you scrunch it up, I mean, we have a lovely time. When you scrunch it up, you can keep that texture. Can you see that? How cool is that? But, but look, so I've already put pre-scored um, folds in this. So now I'm not going to stick it together yet because I'm going to decorate it. Decorate it first. But put your scores in first. I've put my little things in the bottom i mean if you've got dies that create boxes you can make boxes out of stone paper it's really cool stuff so i'm just going to make this is going to be a little box and then i'll make a lid for it so look you could then make a little box out of this see so it's going to be a little box how cool is that and then just make a lid for it and it looks the texture is mad it's it's that kind of stuff that messes with your head. When you use this, it's it's just, what is that about? It's so cool. Right, let's get a rice paper and get this covered. You could cover it with your normal papers, but your rice paper is absolutely the way to go because, and I'll just go for it because I know I haven't got tons of time. Um, because your rice paper is so... Um, it, it just it just bends and moulds to whatever you're working with. So for something like this, it's utterly, utterly perfect. So if I just use my, oh, and I'll tell you what I'll do first of all. So it's going to go to about there. So I don't need to do the, oh, I will do it bottom as well because I might as well. So it's going to go about there. So I'm going to rip that off the top there. Like so. I don't normally rip it. I normally use water, but I am rushing now because I know I've only got minutes. I'm ripping this because water is absolutely better. It just makes it so much easier to tear. Because if you use your water, you've got that line and it will actually rip along the line. It's complete control then. Look, so much easier there. Otherwise, you're all over at shop but way easier and it means when I put another piece on it'll blend in perfectly okay take my glue I'm using my collar gel as usual for this and no stamp here also do a mixed media glue which you can use with this and then I'll stick this on see you don't need to put rice paper on I could have just painted this um, the rice paper I'm using it over the the fold because it doesn't matter because the rice paper is that um, you know, it, it bends and folds and it's just that flexible that on the on all the hinges it, it'll work with the, the actual stone paper. And with this, I mean, obviously your stone paper you can stick in the washing machine, but think about the product that you're putting on it. You know, once I've put the rice paper, if I'd have used the right glue, then um, I would be able to put the rice paper in the washing machine. So if you use a fabric adhesive, you could do that. I'm putting the adhesive on the back of the rice paper as well this time. Now, the reason being is because now I want it to be quite a smooth finish. When I were doing it in my mixed media book, I weren't too fussed. With this, I want it smoother. So I'm putting my, my adhesive on the back so I know it'll give me a really, really good finish. So I'm really covering this with adhesive. <laughs> it is funny how much I actually think I'll get done in an hour. I actually thought I'd decorate the full thing. 
but I did, yeah, I did have a lovely time with the vintage thing, I must admit. I had a lovely time, though. <laughs> okay, I hope everybody liked it. And then, lifting this off now, hopefully not picking up all my embellishments. And then, just popping this on. So, don't panic, Mr. Manry. You know what's going to be easier, don't you? Yeah. Pop it like this. I never do it this way, though. So I say it's going to be easier, mate. No, it will. There we go. Boom. And then just lift it up again. And let's go. It was way easier. Oh, I love it. I just love this stuff. And then you go over the top to get rid of any air bubbles, but also to seal it. Um, and this means, oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Now, I could have painted underneath, but obviously I didn't have time for that. Um, if you paint underneath, then where you can actually see through your rice paper, the paint underneath, you will also um, be able to see. So you can create shade, you can create shadows. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So just slapping that on really quickly, like so. And then just peel that off and pop this on here as well. And then just lifting. Oh, I did nice. <laughs> And then, there we go. Now, when you've put this on, <laughs> when you've put this on, you can actually let it, let it dry, cut them bits, but then, look, you will then be able to, you will, of course, allow it to dry first. You won't do this. You could actually sew this, but, see, you could actually sew it there. I don't know how you'd do that, but people who sew probably would. Uh, but I'll use, use double-sided sticky tape. But look at that. When I make a box out of that, how cool is that going to look? Isn't that going to look amazing? And then, obviously, I'm going to decorate it with my one vintage cog. Boom. And, and other things. Other things. Oh, my gorgeous embellishments. Maybe other things as well. Like that embellishment. <laughs> Yay, or maybe stick a little book on it. Or my book will sit inside it because yeah. it fits perfectly. Yay! Uh, thank you ever so much. Thank you, our lovely Fiona. Thank you, darling. Uh, uh, please check your baskets out. Don't miss out. Bye! I've had a lovely time watching Leone. Now we've got Block Blitz paving with Dane. Then we've got Row and Dean embroidery one day special last call, and then the Jelly Bean Crafts happy hour. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows.
Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you are well and I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Where are you at the moment? Are you inside or do you have us on the app and you're sitting outside? If you are sitting outside or, nor you, or near your window, just take a look outside at your patio area. Yeah, I know, it doesn't look too great, does it? How about the pots? They need cleaning right? Well, do you know what? We have got a safe, a very easy way to get your patios, your decking, your gravel, your barbecues and your outdoor areas nice and clean so you can enjoy them once again alongside this beautiful, beautiful summer we're having at the moment. But I'm not alone with our block blitz. We have Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hi, Janice. Good How to be back. You? Yeah, fine, thanks. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm really good. Yes, well, uh, absolutely <laughs> welcome back, might I add. Um, it's so easy, isn't it, to be able to clean with Block Blitz. We don't need to get our uh, hoses out. We don't need to get our power washers out. And it makes it simple and easy to use all year round, doesn't it? Yeah, it's super quick, super easy and super simple. No jet washing, no scrubbing, no scraping joints out in paving. None of that on your hand, hands and knees, picking weeds out. Just super simple. Apply the product and let it work. I love that. Do you know what? I'm going to get straight in and ask you the first question because this is what um, concerns me. I've got a dog. I've got pets. I've got birds that are all around me all the time and I really enjoy the wildlife that I have within the garden. Is this eco-friendly? Yep, all our products are eco-friendly. So they're all mineral and plant-based. There's no petrochemicals in there or any nasties at all. So they are a strong alkaline, so we suggest when you put the product down, you leave it, let it dry. Don't let any pets on there or anything until it's dry. Once it's dry, it's fine. Excellent, excellent. Well, of course, with anything, always keep out of reach of children and out of the way of pets before you use it. That's just common sense, isn't it? But I would like to start with a brand new product. We are thinking more about eating outside. We do have barbecues. And if you've been out to your barbecue lately and you've had a look at it and you're thinking, oh, my days, I think I might need to buy a new one, wait don't go and buy a new one why should you when you've got a perfect perfect barbecue there it just needs cleaning and we've got the perfect product for you it's a great price as well this is the eco mini multi cleaner not just for your barbecues though for your seating areas for your children play areas for your sun loungers for your pots in your gardens as well now it does come with the spray bottle so we've thought about everything for you so that when you get this home with the instructions with the great demonstrations that we've got lined up you will be able to clean and protect those small outdoor areas within your garden. £19.99. pence. It really is an incredible deal. 343487 is your item number. And with that, you get the four sachets. Right, let's go to a demonstration, Dave, because I'd like to see this in action. Yeah, no problem. Can I just say first that uh, our products is powder-based, so the customer at home hydrates the product at home. So you get one bottle, yep. then you keep that for life. Excellent. So we're not buying more and more plastic, we're just buying more and more pouches. Like that. So it's really eco-friendly. So what you do, you get one pouch, fill your bottle with water, put the pouch in there, and it will dissolve, give it five minutes or so, then you're ready to go. Excellent. So just normal tap water as well? Just normal tap water. If you use warm water, warm tap water, it will yep. dissolve a bit quicker. Excellent. And then that's it. Just make sure it's dissolved and you're ready to go. Easy, yeah. isn't it? It's very easy. And you've got that spray bottle, which is instantly recognisable with the logo on the front, so you won't get that mixed up with your other cleaners at home. And I really like that. I think that's a great idea. You also get the leaflet as well. So everything that we tell you in the show today will be in that leaflet. But shall we we give it a go we can yeah so we'll start on the uh, garden furniture yes. so with the product there's um, three modes of cleaning yes so our favorite mode which is self-clean so you just squirt the product on there 
the product's going to dry yeah. and when it rains, the rainfall will activate the product so it's going to clean itself. So is it going to be safe to sit on in between? Maybe I've got some cushions, I want to put them on, um, you know, I've, I've got some friends coming around. It's the first time I clean yeah. it, it looks fantastic. But when I've got my friends coming around, um, does it mean that it's going to be safe for them to sit on? It's safe to sit on. You might see some white residue, yeah. which when it, when it rains, that will wash away. If yeah. there's some white residue there, you can wipe it away. Yeah. But if you do get that on some clothes, that's fine. Sure. But, so you can just wipe it away. Yeah. So. And also, do, do I have to wait for it to rain? Can I just not wash it off myself with hose? You can do. You can use it in a traditional way and just yeah. squirt it on and clean it. So yeah. use it as a traditional sort of cleaner surfactant. Excellent. So it's a two-in-one, really, isn't yeah. it? Right, let's see it in action. So you just take it. This is sort of um, standard sort of rattan furniture, which is complete nightmare to clean. It's yeah. got all little nuts and crannies everywhere. Yeah, it is. So you just get on there, your product dissolved in there, and you're just going to squirt it on, work from the top down. And it's a fine mist, isn't it? It is, yeah. You've got two options on there. You've got okay. like a jet or a yeah. mist. So on this option, we're going to use the spray, the mist. Excellent. And you all know at home if you've got rattan furniture just how di I know how difficult it is to clean because I've got rattan furniture. It really, really is um, difficult. So this is going to make it so easy. The problem with rattan furniture is it's got all the nooks and crannies and you mm. can't really get in there. You've got to use a little scrubbing yeah. brush or something. The product will get in there in all the gaps, yeah. work its way in, then when it rains, it'll just keep cleaning the um, furniture. So we can just spray it on and leave it if we want to? Yeah, you can just spray and leave. So when it rains, it's going to self-clean the product. Love that. And let's face it, in this country, we kind of know when it's going to rain. We get those weather reports and they are really reliable. <laughs> we could just look outside, actually. So if we have a weekend or we have a day where we know that it's going to rain, the next day we can go out, we can remove our cushions, we can spray that rattan furniture, we can spray the pots as well, knowing that when Mother Nature comes along with that rain, it's going to wash it for us. This is so easy to use, Dave. Yeah, so originally I used to take my furniture springtime used to be mouldy green algae on there yeah i used to sort of hose it down and scrub it and things ready for the springtime but now just treat it all year round yeah. leave it out all winter time as well and it just stays clean how many times do we need to apply it so we apply it for the first time we see our rattan furniture it's looking a bit lacklustering yeah. you know it's got that green algae and you know the sort and then that gets on your cushions and you don't want that it could get on your clothes as well um so we spray it for the first time how many times do we have to reapply it um, if you've got sort of standard sort of soiling on there, sort of like green algae and so on, that's going to get removed after the first rainfall. Yeah, excellent. More ingrained dirt and so on, it's probably going to take two treatments. Yeah. But once it's clean, you just use it then as a preventative and it just st stays clean. Superb. Now, some of us might not have rattan style garden furniture, but we have other style garden furnitures um, that have a lot of detail in and some of it doesn't have detail in. It's more like a, a plastic wood effect, for example. We might have bought some brand new at the end of last year ready for this year, but of course keeping it outside, it does get a little bit um, algae ridden. Can we use it on those kind of materials as well? What can we use it on? You can use it on, all, on just about all sorts of materials, so wood, plastic, painted metal, metals. Uh, there is some um, uh, materials you can't use it on, sort of galvanised steel and copper. Yes, yeah. But other than that, most, most um, standard materials in the garden. Excellent, you're good to go. Some yeah. of us might have the, you know, the lanterns that yeah. uh, are quite cost effective that you buy. You hang them in your trees and yeah. you put them on your patio and it looks lovely at night time. But you know at daytime when it's got all <laughs> that algae on, can we also use that to clean them? You can do, yeah. I'd suggest on any surface where you're unsure of, just sort of squirt a small area just to test really. Yeah, but excellent. Just about 99% of the surfaces in your garden you can treat with the product. So Love you can that. walk around just squirting whatever you think, it just keeps it clean. Yeah. Now we can also use this on plant pots as well. You can, it's brilliant on plant pots, so you could take it on your plant pot, just give it a squirt around. So this is a plastic one here. And what about the plants that are in the plant pot? Yes, yeah, it's, it's safe for plants, yeah. so it's not going to cause, try not to squirt uh, excess amount yeah, of onto the plants, it might cause some localised damage. Yeah. But it's not a weed killer or herbicide or anything, so it's fine around your plants. Then you can just, just wipe it as a... Um, as a standard cleaner than to clean the pot. Yeah. Also, um, say, on a terracotta pot. I was just about to say that, yeah, because a lot of people have terracotta pots, and th they, I mean, sometimes they look nice when they're beige, but it's also nice to have them clean, That's isn't it? That's it, yeah. And what you find, the more algae and sort of grime and dirt you get on there, over time, they're going to get weathered, and they start to break down yeah. as well. 
So the cleaner you can keep the pot, the longer the pot's going to last. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely true. And some of us, yes, do go out and buy brand new pots. Well, now you don't need to. The plants are established. They're comfortable in that pot. You want to keep them there. You don't want to disturb them. You know what happens when you start to disturb the roots. Sometimes you replant them and they never really come back, do they? Well, you don't need to do that now because you can bring your plant pots back to life and the plants in there are just going to enjoy where they are. Now, we are thinking about using this sort of coming into the summer can we also use this within the winter months as well you can you can use the product all year round so anything what's outside exposed to the weather yeah is going to get algae on there it's going to get dirt on there and grime and mold so anything what's exposed outside, leave it outside and just treat it with the product and it's just going to keep it clean. Now I'm also thinking about uh, lights outside your house. You know in, in your front door you've got probably a PVR light that comes on and goes off when people come and visit uh, you. Could we also use it to spray on there as long as it's not exposed to the wiring? Yes, you can use it on all sorts of light fittings and so on as long as there's no exposed wiring and just test it on there first so any glass or plastic or yeah. metal casing is fine. Excellent, I like the idea Window sills as well, it's really good on window frames, so your PVC window foot frames. Is it? Yeah, it's amazing oh on my there. Now that is a game changer. <laughs> that is a game changer. We all know how dirty the windows can get and get that green algae in there. Well now if you spray your windows, oh my days, it's going to keep it nice and clean. And that includes your patio doors as well, where you're sitting and you're inviting people round. Right, let's talk about barbecues, shall we? Because I think we've got the weather for them. That's it, it's come now for summer's here at yeah. last. So yeah. it's amazing on barbecues as well. So all types of paint and metal on the barbecue grill. Um, on stainless steel, on stainless steel it's amazing. Yes. So if you've got any stainless steel items outside, even inside the house, it's, it works really Superb. good on there. Let's put it to action. So this the, looks like my barbecue grill. It's not, but it looks like it. So this is a barbecue grill. And what we're going to do with this, the third mode of cleaning, we're going to use a powder neat. Yeah. So in the pack you've got four sachets of powder. Yeah. So you've got enough there to use some powder neat. So if you've got any surface what's really in poor condition, you can use it as a abrasive powder as well. Excellent. So I'm going to take one pack, Okay. and I'm going to prime the barbecue grill first with some already diluted solution. Okay. So I'll do half the grill. What's your favourite thing to barbecue, Dave? Um, sausages. Yeah. <laughs> you can't beat a good sausage. There's a bit of a sausage debate going on at the moment in the UK. Yeah, UK and Ireland at the moment, but it does leave a lot of residue, doesn't it? Sausages. Yeah. It does, and this is the thing to get it off. Let's, let's clean <laughs> so, it. <laughs> you lined me up there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Straight over the head. <laughs> now, you're putting on some gloves. Do yeah, we I'm need to wear Whoops. any protective Yeah, gloves? when you're using neat powder, yeah. especially if you've got sensitive skin, it's quite a strong yeah. cleaning product, so I would yeah. recommend using a glove to do that. So we've um, treated the area, sort of primed it up, and then we're just going to... Works on that. This is on a bit of a slope, but okay. There we go. I'll get my s scrubber, and then we're just going to work it in there. Now, this is something we could bring inside and do in the sink at home, or maybe you could if you've do, got yeah. a spare washing up bowl, you can take it outside. Yeah, just outside. You don't need hot water either, so you can just use cold water from the garden. You probably... And you're just using a, a, a scowler there to get off. Yeah, just using a scour, scouring yeah. sponge to get off. And it's going to give it a really good intensive clean on the grill there. Now you can see on the back of the scourer there the dirt that has come off just by simply place it, priming it and putting the powder on and then scraping over. And you probably um, would leave on a little bit longer than I have yeah. just put it on there leave it to work for a few minutes. Yeah. The longer you leave the product to work, the, the better the clean you're sure. going to get. So, sure. And then you're going to get plenty of... Yeah. Now, I'm thinking, I've cleaned my barbecue, I'm getting ready for, you know, my guests coming round, or I just want to barbecue myself. Do I need to swill it through thoroughly with water before I use it? Yeah, just wash it with normal water, just give it a good rinse, and then yeah. you're good to go. Excellent. Yeah, there's no petrochemicals in there, no nasties or anything, so it's, yeah. Do you know what? I wish I'd had this particular product last year, because my barbecue was looking like that. It was looking absolutely disgusting <laughs> and I couldn't find a way to clean it I tried every household product I had I tried creams I tried powders and nothing even sweat 
and elbow <laughs> grease and that still won't get it clean so do you know what I had to do I had to source another top to the barbecue the barbecue cost me a bit of money so I had to source another top and that cost me 35 pounds in essence there was nothing wrong with the original one it was just too dirty for me to clean with the products I had if I'd have had this last year that would have saved me 35 pounds and then some because you just keep cleaning it don't you you keep bringing it back to life so throughout the whole of the summer throughout the whole of the winter some people still have barbecues in the winter time it gives you a chance to clean not just your barbecues your patio containers your pots it also cleans your furniture kids play areas for example it's safe it's eco-friendly just make sure that you keep the powder away from children away from pets before you use it and dilute it and you also get your um, sprayer as well and that will give you a chance to give that equal distribution all you need to do to add to that is your water and within that you get your um, uh, your leaflets and that will give you all the directions and all the information that you need to show you how to get the concentration level so it cleans and it protects and it's safe to use so no more scrubbing no more elbow grease well you will need to use a little bit of elbow grease but not like before to try and get your barbecue clean and that's really important and again we want things to look fresh we want them to look clean and it's all about having our guests round and treating ourselves this year because we are vacationing at home so this is going to give you a chance to get your outside areas nice and clean and you know what when they are nice and clean it gives you that inspiration to go out crafting again so if you've got some garden furniture you love to sit on but my goodness it looks disgusting at the moment use the cleaning products that we've got available for you and get back out there in that fresh clean environment and start crafting and entertaining outside right it's not just the barbecues and our pots and our plants sometimes we have got areas like decking uh, areas outside, larger areas like our, um, pave, uh, our uh, tarmac that we want to keep nice and clean. And we've got products for you. This is an eight pack set for you. It's a great price at £27.99 and it's 767972 is your item number. Uh, so if you do want to get a hold of this, we do have a smaller one available for you, but this is where the value for money is. 380 grams in each of those bags. We'll talk to Dave in a moment's time about how much we use and how long these will last. But we've also got a smaller pack for you. And if you just want four pouches, we've got that available for you as well. We'll bring the details up for that. It cleans up to 60 square meter coverage. 14 pounds and 99 pence, 800197 is your item number if you want to go for that. But for double the amount, that's where the value for money lies. 767972 is your item number. Now, I'm thinking Father's Day is coming up. So I, I know, isn't it awful we get our dad's cleaning products? But they love that kind of thing. They do. They really, really do. Because they love to get outside and they love to be cleaning. Uh, and they love to make sure that we've got a lovely area to be in. Right, let's um, head over to our demonstration so we can have a look at this. But if you do have any questions, please do email in at it is studio at thecraftstore.com. So if you've got any um, questions I'm not asking, please do email in. Right, Dave, let's talk yep. about this. How do we apply this and how long will it last? Yeah, well, it's really easy to use. All we're going to use is a 10 litre watering can, plastic watering can. You just put the product in the watering can. There's no um, measuring or anything. It's just put, put the product in there, yeah. get it to dissolve, and then water it onto the paving. So it's really quick and really easy to use. There's no measuring chemicals or anything or quantities. All we do is get one pouch, one pouch into a 10 litre watering can, and that's it. So Excellent. Shall we yeah. see it? Yeah, no problem. Let's see. So I've got uh, 10 litres of cold water in the watering can. I'm just going to pour the powder in there. So no measuring as such? No measuring, just one pouch in there. And it's that simple really, just pop it in and then just give it a stir. So if you get the uh, Block Blitz uh, watering can, you get the bespoke rose and you get the stirring stick as well. Uh, that's only £14.99. It's a great watering can, it really is. And do you know what I like about this, Dave? I like the colour, yeah. because of course it's Block Blitz company colours, but it also means that you use that for your Block Blitz 
pellets in and don't use it for your garden. But if you just want to get this for your garden watering, it's got a great hose, um, uh, rose on there. And this has been specially designed, hasn't it? It has, yeah. And what makes this so special, Dave? Well, a standard uh, watery can rose, you get sort of holes all the way across the middle. So you get quite a large quantity of liquid and water coming out at one time. Um, with our rose, it, we've designed it so you just get the right amount of product coming out, so you're not putting too much on or too little on there. I love that. That is a great design. It really, really is. So if you do want to go for the watering can, and if you take your rose off, you've got the area just there to pop that on to store it, which is really great, just in case you never knew what that was for. <laughs> there you go. Lots of people are going, that's what that bit is for. Yeah, you can, because sometimes you don't need the rose on the end and you just want to pour it. So there you go. Every day is a school day. <laughs> Uh, right, Dave, let's see it in action. Yeah, so that's it. So you've uh, mixed the powder in there. It'll turn sort of a milky white colour, a bit foamy. Give it a stir, wait 30 seconds or so, then give it another mix again, and then you're ready to go. Take it round to your patio and your paving. Then always start at the highest point of the paving so you can control the runoff. You don't want too much runoff going into the lawn or planted areas. And then just start at the highest point. And all you do is just water it onto the paving. Just give it a good soak. So you don't need to use any kind of hose beforehand or brush it down beforehand? No, just make sure, you can give the paving a bit, a bit of a sweep if you've got debris on there, loose debris leaves and so on. But if it's um, okay, the main thing, it's got to be dry on a nice dry day and then water it on and it's good if it sits on there for at least 24, 48 hours before it rains. Okay. So the product gets in there, soaks in, crystallises. And when it rains, the rainfall is going to activate it. Wow. Well, we've got some f before and after pictures for you. So, yeah, is your block paving looking like this? I know mine does occasionally. And it's a real, um, I nearly said a swear word then, I do beg your pardon. It's really difficult, that's what I meant, to get rid of that moss. Oh, look at that. That's like it's just been laid. Oh, my days. Um, now, look at this drive. Lacklustring, it looks pretty much, well, a mess. Don't like to say it, but it does. No way. Can we see the before again? Oh, now let's see the, let's see the after. It is the same drive. I don't, that is incredible. Oh, I've got, I've got drive envy. Now, here's another one as well. So this is slightly different. You've got the block, pa block paving around the outside and then you've got the bit of tarmac in the middle. No, I thought it was tarmac. Oh, that's actually the block paving. Let's see the before again. Oh, I, that's, inc now, that is incredible. I've got goosebumps. I definitely <laughs> well, have they, they drive have taken envy. four treatments over the course of a year. So it's not an instant clean, but you keep popping the product down and it'll oh, keep slowly it's working. it's worth it. It's worth it. Now, we might have smaller patio areas in our garden that we've laid very proudly, maybe last year, the year before, and they're not looking very good. Uh, like this by the fence, you know, when you've got all the water running off the fence, it can build up that uh, mildew. But look at that. So that's just taken one treatment. So there's some like fresh green al algae on there and sort of low level dirt. One treatment, one rainfall, clean. Do you know something? Not even my pressure washer would get, get, get it that clean. And you know when you use a pressure washer, have you guys done that at home? So you think, oh, I'll get the pressure washer out and I'll clean the patio. And then you've done it and it's really wet and you've got it all up at the side of your houses. Then you've got to clean all your windows and everything. And then the next day when the sun comes out and it's dry, you look out the window, you go, oh, Oh, and there's all stripes, Dave, isn't there? there is, yeah. Where you've missed areas. Oh, my days. Using the Block Blitz gives you an easy, environmentally safe way to clean with minimum effort. Now, we've got two packs available for you. We've got the eight pack. The details are on your screen, £27.99, 767972. And we've got the smaller pack, and you have four in that and if you want to go for the smaller pack you can the details will bring up in a moment's time but I have had an email through I have had an email through it says uh, it's from Lynn uh, hi Janice just to say I've used block blitz on my block paving and it really does work I've applied it three times over the last year or so and about to order more so I can do it again so easy to use and my neighbours did think I was a little mad watering my drive to clean it but now cleaner than my neighbours drive and they have theirs power washed and it's just and it used to look cleaner than mine very little effort but amazing results 
there you go. Uh, and also a note on the power washing, because again, I've done it. It can actually discolour your driveway and damage some of your stones as well. Um, and you also have to wear glasses to make sure that nothing, speaking from experience, goes into your eyes. So yeah, just get your just get your watering can out and water those areas you need to clean. Uh, so uh, that one is your multi-surface um, cleaner. So for your decking, for your tarmac, that is for your multi-surface. Let's move on to the block paving. Um, and this is a different item number for you. Also a pack of eight, £27.99. 273363 is your item number, 380 grams in each. And if you want to go for the four pack, well, the details at the bottom of the screen, if that suits your budget, uh, 785636. Now we have had a question about the block paving cleaning from Pam. Thank you for emailing in. It's a great question. Dave, Pam wants to know, does she remove the moss from in between all of the blocks before you put the block blitz down? Um, you can do, but it will remove the moss on its own it? over time. So one, two, three treatments, you might break it down. So if, if you really don't want to, you can just let the product um, do its thing. Really. That is, yeah. that, do you know what? That is brilliant because sometimes the more you scrape that moss out, Pam, you'll know this, the more it grows back and the more resilient it gets and the bigger it gets. And then you scrub it out and then it comes back again. Uh, well, you don't need to do that. Just let the product do its thing over time. Now, Dave, we've just been looking at the multi-surface cleaning. Yep. Now we're looking at the block paving. Is there a difference in the actual formula? Yeah, the formula's slightly different. So the block paving is designed as you just said, to get in there and stop that moss growing, stop the weeds growing, so it gets in the joints. Yes. All the joints are fill, filled with sand, so the product gets in there and prevents the weed growth. Well, you all saw the pictures of those driveways. I mean, they are just absolutely incredible. Can we see, the, can we see them all again? Um, this is brilliant, Dave, and it really does bring it home how easy it is to clean. Now, I'm sure you've all had a driveway like that, or even it could be a small patio area at the back, or maybe just a surrounding area to your driveway. We don't want that, do we? We want it to look like this as it intended to, as it was when it first went down. That's just incredible. Here's another driveway over years. It's got dirty, you've got that moss growing. Let's face it, it's too big to get into every single crevice. Look at that. That is amazing. How many treatments do you think that is, Dave? That's four treatments four... over the period of a year. Wow, and how long do we leave in between each um, treatment? On a driveway, what's in, say, really bad condition, I put first treatment, wait four weeks, second treatment, then go on sort of a five, six monthly cycle. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you something is worth it. Now look at this one. I saw this and I thought that was tarmac. So I was like, you know, each to one's own, but that's a tarmac driveway. Let's see how it cleans up. Look at that. It was block paving all that time. If you've just moved into a home, if you're thinking of moving, well, one, if you're thinking of moving and your driveway looked like the before, use this and it looks like the after. Well, I don't know, you might be able to. If you've just moved into a house, you've got it at such a great bargain, now you can use this product and really bring it to life and be the envy of all the neighbours. Uh, we are very, very busy for the block blitz pavement cleaning, the uh, block paving. So let's see it in action, Dave. Yep, no problem. Same again. So I've got my 10 litre watering can, filled it, filled it with 10 litres of cold water. Yep. Take one pouch, so it's one pouch of 10 litres, no measuring, no ratios or anything, it's really simple. We're just going to slowly pour it in there. And then, just with your mixing stick, just give it a stir. And stir it for about 30 seconds or so. Wait for another 30 seconds. I suppose it's almost like sugar in tea, isn't it? Just stir it up until the granules have disappeared. That's it. Exactly, yeah. Just keep stirring it, then it'll sort of go milky white and a bit foamy. And take it around to your paving, and then you're ready to go. So, Excellent. Super Excellent. simple. So round, round to your paving, and always start at the highest point when you get there, because you don't want a lot of runoff going into sort of borders and lawn and yeah. so on. It's not a weed killer, but still you don't want it sort of flooding into the grass yes, and so on. Yes, of course. So start at the highest point and just watch where it goes. And just simply water it on. Now so, you, so you get a good soak. Yeah. 
I mean, like the email from Lynn, uh, she said she was out there just watering her driveway and her neighbours were looking out the window thinking, what on earth is she doing? And they were getting out their power washer and washing their driveway, going all up the fence, all up the car, all of that mess you've got to clean afterwards after you've used your power washer. I know because I've done it. I know because I've done it, speaking from personal experience. Uh, and there was Lynn like Dave, just watering her driveway. Well, I guess who had the last laugh there? The thing is, when you pressure wash, you make an awful mess. Mm. It takes a long time. And you do get a sort of an instant clean to a certain extent. Whereas, but the day after, you'll start getting dirty again. A few weeks, you'll see the ground building up in the algae and so on. With our products, it works the opposite way. So it's a slower clean, but it just keeps getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. Excellent. And all you do have to pop it down twice a year. Now, if you want to go for the watering can, Dave was using the watering can, we'll bring in the details. I think this is a great addition to your home and garden. Whether you're using it for your block blitz or whether you just want to use it as a watering can, £14.99, 322857. It's a good colour in your reds and your whites and your blues, so you know this is your block blitz. And then you don't use it for your plants. You've got your stirrer as well, that comes included. And then you've got that unique rose that's been designed by block blitz so it gives you the right amount when pouring you've got that going around the outside really really important uh, so this is an excellent addition if you want to pop it into your basket three double two eight five seven we've been talking about father's day what an amazing gift for your dad or just a gift for yourself if you've just moved into a home or you are doing your home up maybe um, you're looking out into your garden lots of us are staying home this summer so we want it to look nice don't we we want to revive it how it was when we first moved moved in so this is going to give you a chance to do that with minimal effort it's safe and it's easy to use the two words that I absolutely love now if you do want to go for an extra rose they are available on the end of call and when you check out your baskets you'll be given that option so you get your adapter and your rose so that will go on your watering cans that you've got at home if you want to go for that it's only 4.99 uh, a great addition again to your basket or maybe you've had some block blitz before and you just want to add that now to your basket Right, so we've got more products for you, more ways to keep your area clean. Now, you might have a gravel driveway, you might have gravel running along the edges of your borders, of your flowers, or it could be of the house. Now, if you do that, it's normally decorative, isn't it? So we have light stone because it's a nice contrast. So I think one of the most popular ones is the Cotswolds, isn't it? That nice cream, and it looks absolutely beautiful. You know when you first put it down, you put some green plants dotted around, you've got your green grass, and it looks amazing. You sit there in your garden and you're like, oh, this is bliss. And then what happens? Well, life happens and weather happens happens and mother nature happens and then after a few months it starts to get a little bit lacklustre it's no one's fault it just happens it's just the way that it goes so if your gravel is a little bit dirty and you're thinking do you know what I'm going to go down the garden centre I'm going to buy some more I'm going to put it on top of the gravel that I've already got or I'm going to dig that gravel out I'm going to throw that away put it somewhere else I'm going to buy lots of new gravel now I don't want to put anyone out of business but the thing is why waste your money why not clean it I know, clean your gravel. But I'm not saying you need to clean it like you're digging for gold and you put it in a sieve and you clean it like this. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're going to give you an easy, effective way of cleaning. Very, very easy indeed. It's only £14.99 and it will cover approximately 60 square metres, which is a lot because when you think about your decorative uh, borders, you don't have an awful lot of those, but we do want to keep them clean. But if you do have a gravel driveway, then this is going to be ideal for you. 264927 is your item number. Dave, how does this work? Yeah, it's the same technology, so you water it onto your gravel, it dries, forms tiny little crystals. When it rains, the rainfall is going to activate the product and slowly clean the gravel. Because there's no real way of cleaning, say, an area of gravel or a gravel driveway. All you can really do is put weed killer on there. Yeah. The weed killer is going to kill the weeds, the body of the weeds are going to sort of break down, decompose, then that's going to create a sort of habitat for more weeds to grow. Yeah. Our product's going to get on the gravel, clean the gravel, and break down all the dirt and sediment beneath the gravel, so you're sort of um, getting rid of that environment where weeds want to grow, so you're going to get less weed growth as well. 
Excellent. That is music to my ears. Let's have a look at it in, in, in action again. Yeah, so same again. You get a 10-litre watering can, fill it up with um, 10 litres of cold water, take your gravel pouch and just slowly pour it in there. So there's no measuring, no ratios. Really simple to do. And take so your mixing stick. You, you, you used about half the pouch there. Is that how much you're going to use with your 10 no, litres of water? No. No, it's a full pouch, but yeah. it's just because I'm in the studio. Yeah. I'm, I'm not using all the product. <laughs> OK, brilliant. <laughs> well spotted. <laughs> yeah, so just give it a good stir. And it's going to sort of turn a milky white colour. You'll feel it when all the crystals have dissolved. 30 seconds or so. Then take it round to your gravel. And just the same again. Walk up and down your gravel. Yep. Just water it on. The neighbours might think you're a bit crazy. <laughs> but listen, if it gets it clean, like, like our Lynn said and Pam, it's worth doing. Now, when I'm looking at the decorative um, borders and we've got the gravel down, I'm thinking cats. Jumping off fences, jumping down onto the gravel, you know, after you've done it. Yeah. Dogs come running around, you know, no matter how much you say to them, stay away, they see water and they're like, I'm in there. So they want to come running over when you've done it as well. Do we need to keep them away? Do we need to protect the area and cover it, for example, after we've watered it? Uh, just keep pets away from the area, so until it's dry. Yeah. So say on a day like today, it's going to be dry within minutes. Yes. Uh, in winter time, it might take an hour or so. So just keep the pets away until it's dry. If you get any of the products on any surfaces or pets' paws or anything, just um, give them a rinse of cold water. Okay. Now, do we always need to use it on a very, very dry day? Ideally, yes. The drier the surface, the better. So the surface, uh, most surfaces are going to be sort of porous to a certain extent, so they're going to absorb the product. Yeah. And then get in there, crystallise when it rains, it's going to activate the product. So yeah. the more you've used the product, so you've got a clean drive and yeah. then you're just popping it down for prevention. Yes. It's not so important. It could be a bit damp yeah. or it could rain in a few hours' time. Yeah. But if it's the first time you're using the product, dry as possible, it wants to sit on there for as long as possible. Excellent. Would you say then, here's an idea, um, you know, the cats and the dogs and the kids and everyone's in at night time, you know, after the tea, we stay in, we watch a bit of telly, uh, watch the craft store, do a bit of crafting and things like that. Maybe do it later on in the evening, about seven o'clock, for example, when we're not going to go back out into the garden and it can sit and it can rest and it can start to do its cleaning. If it's going to be dry overnight, that Yeah, that, that would be perfect, especially this time of year, because you've got longer evenings. Yeah. Pop it on there, then it's... After a few hours, it's going to be dry in the morning. It's fine, so. Excellent. Oh, my days. You're all going to have lovely, clean houses. I can't wait. Right. We've got another product for you. Uh, more and more people are putting down artificial grass, not in large areas, but in smaller areas, for example. You know, we might have a garden that we can't get out into as much as we'd like to, or maybe we can't do the maintenance as much as we'd like to. So we've now got our artificial grass. And sometimes with the artificial grass in the back garden, we've still got pets that uh, do their thing. Um, but a lot of the artificial grass, yes, is porous and it does go through. But like anything, we'd like to give it a bit of a clean. Now, it could be a decorative area where we've got plants. It could be a practical area out in the back garden. But it is still an area that we want to keep clean. So we've got your artificial grass cleaner right here. 172890 is your item number, £14.99. And, and again, your coverage is 60 square metres, so a fabulous price. And you've got one, two, three, four of those packets for you. 172890. Uh, now, with your artificial grass, we talk about pets, and pets do their thing, whether it's yeah. artificial grass or not. So we're thinking about sanitising that particular area. Will, the, will this help with that? Yeah, the, the product will sanitise the area, so to a degree where it's breaking down all the dirt and grime and uh, distributing it so it's washing it away. So it's going to clean and sanitise the area and, and deodorise it as well. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look at how we do it. Yeah, so same again, 10 litre watering can, 10 litres of cold water. Take one pouch. I'll pour all the pouch in this time. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't do it just on my, my account. <laughs> I just thought it was boring, boring TV. Well, I was just thinking, actually, once there we finish the demos, we could go and clean out the outside <laughs> of, the, of the building here. Not that it's dirty, everyone. It's not. So one full pouch into 10 litres. 
no measuring, then just give it a stir. Stir it for about 30 seconds, wait 30 seconds, and then another yep. little stir, then you're ready to go. But visually, you can see it's, it's um, you can, yeah. diluted, yeah. can't you? Yeah. And the longer you leave it, give it another mix. If you yeah. have trouble to get it to dissolve, just leave it yeah. another little mix. So you'll get there in, eventually. So, okay. And then you're ready to go on the artificial grass. And uh, the only thing you can't really do with artificial grass is mow it. So yeah, other than that, it's going to get dirty. Yeah. You're going to get grime on there, build yeah. up of sediment, then you're going to get weeds growing, you're going to yeah. get moss growing. Which defeats the object, doesn't it? It does it? really, yeah. Artificial grass, yeah. So you need some way to keep it clean. Okay. So by applying the product twice a year, that's all you need to do. It's going to keep that build up of sort of moss and weeds down. I suppose it'd be a, a, a good thing. If, I don't know if you've got a tennis court at home, uh, but there are artificial grass courts. Yeah. Um, it'd be a good idea to um, be cleaning on that. Yeah, you can use this on um, synthetic surfaces, the artificial grass products, so on tennis courts. Yeah. If you've got um, tarmac tennis courts and so on, a lot of our customers use the multi-pay product on tennis yeah. courts. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, some groups have bowls and they play bowls on artificial grass as well. So collectively, as a group, it might be worth purchasing. They were just laughing at me saying, <laughs> who's going to have a tennis court? There might be. If, a lot of if people you've do. got a tennis court, <laughs> please email in badminton tennis please please if you've got a, I, I wish there's someone out there with a tennis court even if you even if you've not got a tennis court just download a picture that you can use and send it in just just so they don't take the mickey out of me <laughs> so it's a valid point though isn't it Dave? no we have got customers with tennis courts well there you go yeah we do there you go <laughs> so do we just sprinkle this on again with the, the same again can? so you're just going to water the artificial grass simple as that so Walk up and down, any areas of moss and weeds and so on, give that an extra soak to get the product really in there. And it's a bit harder to see where you're going, but just make sure you get a good coverage. Yeah. Same again on a dry day. Yep. And then when it rains, the rainfall is going to activate the product, break down all the sediment, break yep. down the moss and so on, and just keep it nice and clean. So if you do, if you do that twice a year, yeah. you're just going to keep the grass nice and clean. Excellent. Now, I know she's not got any Wellington boots on or anything like that. Do we need to wear protective clothing? If we splash it on our jeans or on our legs or anything like that, do we have to go and quickly wash it off or are we okay? Yeah, I'd recommend wearing sort of old gardening clothes, yeah. um, boots or good shoes, no shorts. Yeah. And I'd recommend wearing gloves and safety glasses as well, yeah, which yeah. is on all the instructions as well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, and each and every product will come with its own instructions. Yeah. So you'll have all the information on the eco and environmentally friendly aspects of the product. So you can have a good read through that. And then you'll get the directions and information on how much you need to use and how to use it as well. 172890 is your item number if you want to go for your artificial grass cleaner. Uh, a reminder of the watering can that's proved to be busy this hour. It's a great watering can, 10 litres, and you've got that specially designed rose for you. You'll see there the holes going all the way around the outside with no holes in the middle. That's because that will evenly distribute it for you. So it's the right rose to have. And because we've got that great colour as well on here, you will know that you're using this for your block blitz and not to use it for watering your garden. But if you did want to buy this to water your garden, then you've got a great... Um, watering can to boot. You also get the stirrer included as well, so that's good that you've got the stirrer to go in there. Three, um, do we have the item number for the watering can? Yes, it is. There it is. Uh, three double two eight five seven. Sorry. Sorry, just... Hang on. Yep, I can see it right there. Now, uh, if you are buying quite a few of the products uh, for various reasons and your basket comes to £60 or more, you can open up a flexi basket. Here's our lovely Leone, or is it Catherine? It's Catherine. Oops, to tell you more. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. 
This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Uh, I hope you're having a great afternoon. Have you been out in your garden today? What's it looking like? Have a look at the pots out there. Are you thinking, I need to go and buy some more? Well, it can be very expensive. Um, items have really gone up in price for gardens. Uh, I know, because I went to the garden centre yesterday and I was hearing on the news as well. Uh, supply and demand, isn't it? More people are staying at home. More people are doing things to their garden. And um, that means there are less products out there to go and buy. But you know what? You've bought them already. You've got those beautiful pots in your garden you've got your barbecue you spent money on that why go and buy another one just because it's dirty ah you can't find the right cleaning products well I've got the right cleaning product for you right here this is going to make it safe and easy to clean your barbecues your children play areas to clean up your pots and also to clean up your furniture if you've got some rattan furniture have you looked at it and thought to yourself do you know what I need to get some more it's filthy it's dirty I can't get it clean I might as well just sell it and buy some more but then when you try and buy some more there's none available so clean what you've got again you've bought it you spent your hard-earned money on it so why don't we just give it a spring clean or a summer sparkle uh, this is going to be absolutely perfect for you you get your sprayer that's included and you also get your packets of that magic cleaner uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence 343487 is your item number if you want to go for this is excellent value for money and it is brand new as well so you get your four mini multi cleaners with your sprayer as well uh, we've got Dave with us from block blitz Dave let's see this in action because this is really important getting our gardens back to how they were when we originally purchased our garden furniture our garden pots and our barbecues as well that's it yeah um, with a pr with a product you get um, four pouches so one pouch makes one liter of solution okay um, you only need one bottle, yep. so you don't need to buy more bottles, yep. you just need more pouches, so we're saving on the amount of plastic we're using. Perfect, love that. The product's really good, amazing product to use on barbecues, children's play equipment, trampolines, yep. amazing on trampolines. Wow, yeah, of course. Plus, and would you use that on the, the, the metal parts of the trampoline, or would you use it on the... What is it? It's not tarpaulin, is it? Well, whatever the trampoline is made of. Yeah, you can use it on all the surfaces, so it's all sort of synthetic fabrics and so on, and plastics, Ooh, and sort I... of stainless steel on there, and the springs and so on. How about my parasol? I would say yes. But I wonder. With all surfaces, always try a small area first. Yeah, good idea. Let it rain on that area. Yeah. I'm sure it will be okay, but we also always, always worth testing. Yeah, always yeah. test a small sort of uh, area. I'm also thinking now your um, areas in your garden that you've got storage. You know, like the plastic storage that you can buy. Um, it could work on that as well and clean that. Yeah, all the all your sheds and um, plastic storage areas, and anything plastic wheelie bins. Yeah, works really well on wheelie Does bins it? as well. Yeah. Oh my days! I've uh, I I don't mind sharing with you at home. I've got a very dirty wheelie bin. <laughs> I don't mind sharing that. It's really difficult to clean your wheelie bins. It is, without making a mess. That is excellent. I love that. Right, shall we see it in action? We can, yeah. So this is what uh, type of um, furniture what's really good to clean is yeah. rattan furniture. Okay. Because this is a complete nightmare to keep yeah, clean. Yeah, it is. So basically I used to clean mine sort of once a year, bring it out in springtime. Yep. It was full of dirt, grime, mould on there, mildew. Mm. Yeah, wash it down, scrub it and so on. Yeah. With the product, all you're going to do is apply the product, squirt it on there, get in all the nooks and crannies, and it's going to soak in there, go underneath and so on. If you want to, you can instantly clean it, so you yeah. can take a sponge or a scrubber, give it a wipe. Any product, what's in the gaps and everything, when it rains, the rainfall is going to re reactivate the product and yeah. self-clean. Now, here's a question. It's very warm at the moment and it's very dry and in the next week we might not, in the next two weeks we might not get any rain but I still want to clean my furniture. Yeah. So could I do artificial rain by spraying it with a hose? You could do, it won't, all the products are sort of alkaline in nature, right. rain falls ac acidic in nature, Okay. so that's when the magic happens. Right. Yeah, so if you squirt tap water on there yeah. which is kind of neutral to alkaline-ish, yes. yeah. 
it's, um, that's interesting. it's, it's not going to work, have the same effect. Yeah, so if you've got a water butt and you've got some rainwater in the water that, butt, that would work, yeah. That could work. Or I would suggest if you want to give something an instant clean, just sort of use a sponge and so on and water and give it a yeah. wipe down. Yeah. You might get a bit of white residue on there, but that's yeah. fine. Excellent. Excellent. How easy is it going to be now to clean your ratten furniture? It might not be all ratting your furniture. You might just have the back part or the seat part. Or you might have other garden furniture that needs cleaning. But it's so difficult, isn't it, to be able to scrub that clean. And who wants to spend time when it's sunny out there cleaning, when you can do this and use it effortlessly? It's environmentally friendly and you can use it on your barbecues as well, which is happy days. You don't need to go out and buy a new barbecue. You can clean your grills and also it means it's going to be safe for you. After you've cleaned it, just wash it through and you're done. How wonderful is that? Right, something that we've been really, really busy for is your block paving cleaning. Oh my days. It's really difficult, isn't it, to clean those larger areas outside your home and you don't want to damage it either. You've paid a a lot of money for that block paving so we want to keep it pristine and this is how we do it so you prep your treatments that's step one so you put it into your watering can your 10 litre watering can which we do have available you put your powder in it's very very easy to do and alongside your watering can if you're going for that details at the bottom of the screen you get your stirrer so you dissolve it like like um, sugar in tea that's all you have to do and step two, you apply your treatment. And this could not be easier. Look at this, just watering your driveway. Your neighbours will think, what on earth are you doing? But you'll be there, a little bit smug, knowing that you're gonna have an absolutely beautiful patio and driveway afterwards. And that's it, you walk away, you enjoy the rest of your day whilst your block blitz gets hard at work. And look at that. It really is incredible. Get it into those gaps, get it onto your blocks and you will have what will seem a brand new driveway. How exciting, how exciting. I bet you're looking outside at the moment thinking, yep, I could definitely use that. That's why we're very, very busy. And if you're thinking about buying this, as a gift, maybe for Father's Day. I know you're thinking, oh, getting your dad something to clean. They love it, let's face it. Uh, £27.99, 273363 is your item number. You get eight of the sachets. You get your leaflet that will tell you all about your block blitz. But also, what's not inside is that smug feeling when you've done it all and you sit back and you go, yep. That didn't take me very long at all. And then you look over at your neighbour scrubbing away. Maybe you could introduce this to them and your whole street could look absolutely amazing with minimum effort. 273 363 is your item number. Uh, Dave's with us from Block Blitz. So we're going to have a look at the um, block paving now, Dave. We are, yeah. So this is our original product, one of our biggest sellers. And use these pr products on your block paving twice a year. If you do that, we promise you, you'll never have to jet wash your block paving again. Wow, that's a big promise. It is, but it's true. You just pop it on twice a year, really easy to use. Yep. And that's it, no more um, jet washing. You see people scraping joints out on their hands and knees screwdrivers, or they've got the big sticks. Oh, I've been there. Away. Yep, I've got one of them yeah. too. <laughs> then you see them again the next year, scraping away. Yeah, yeah. Every, so, every a, month. That's it, they've done a square metre, and yeah. it's sort of an hour's passed. Yeah, yeah. So it, she, it, do you know what? It is really, really difficult, and I've done it myself, Dave, because <laughs> I do have one of those scrapers, and it's back-breaking. Right, let's have a look at a before. Uh, this is what we're talking about, the, mo the, the moss that's in the driveway. Yeah, so that driveway there, sort of not been cleaned for a few years, all the joints are full of moss. The algae on there has turned dark, it's got black lichen spots on there, and mould and mildew, so it's in really bad condition. Yeah. So we've treated that driveway with four treatments over the period, period of a year. That is, I just, I can't believe that's the same driveway. With no but scrubbing, no scraping, no nothing. So just water it on just water it on and yeah. leave it yeah. and this this was after a few treatments this one just blows me away that to me looks like tarmac from where i am looking at the monitor um it it doesn't look great it's not very nice is it especially if you've got a little bit of a party going on um but after treatment i ju i wow it looks like a different driveway it does so that's taken four treatments over the period of a year. So it's not wow. an instant clean, it's not a quick thing, but it's a process. Once you get the process going, it just keeps getting cleaner and cleaner. Once it's clean, then it's just prevention, then twice a year, yeah. easy peasy, 
No more jet washing. Wow. Do you know what? It's certainly going to be cheaper than getting a whole new driveway, isn't it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, see how it works. Yep. So, uh, plastic watering can. Fill it up with uh, 10 litres of cold water. Pour your powder in there. No measuring. No ratios. And then just take a stick and give it a mix. And that's it? 30 seconds or so to a minute. Let all the powder dissolve. Then you're all set, take it over to your paving, start at the highest point to control the runoff. Okay. And it's as simple as that, just water it up and down your paving. Now, if you've got any grids that capture any wastewater and this goes down, is that going to be okay? Yeah, that's fine. It's uh, fully compliant with the um, SUDS regu re regulations, yes. I believe it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the product just breaks down into natural minerals yeah. and um, biodegrades, basically. Excellent. Um, with the moss as well, this is going to control the moss and weeds, is it? Yeah, what it does, it gets into the sand in the joints and it, anything in there, it just cleans it away. So all the fine sediment and sill, it'll just clean it away. So then you're just left with clean sand. So moss and weeds, they need nutrients and yeah. sediment and water to grow. Yeah. So if there's not, none of that in there, the, the, um, the um, items won't grow. Brilliant, I love that. Now, if you've got a smaller um, block paving going around your flower beds, for example, is it still safe to use near to flowers to clean those particular areas in the garden? It is, just to control the runoff so you don't want a, um, a lot of products sort of surging into an area. Yeah. It's not a weed killer or a herbicide, however, it could like um, increase the pH of the soil yes. and so on, but on, on, only if you get an excessive amount of product in there. Yeah. Because this is safe and environmentally friendly, isn't it? And you're very proud of that block. It is, yeah. All our products are eco-friendly. They're all mineral and plant-based. There's no sort of na nasty petrochemicals in there or anything. All manufactured in Lincolnshire in our factory. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're super proud of that. Yeah, I bet. And uh, all you need is a little bit of nature to help you on the way, a little bit of Mother Nature with the rain, and this will keep activating and clean your driveway. Have a look at the five-star reviews on the website. Uh, this could give you an idea of what other people have been using it for. You see there, five-star upon five-star upon five-star upon five-star review. You've got two choices with the size. You either go for the four-pack or the eight-pack, the value for money being in the eight-pack, which is going to give you that full treatment uh, all year round. Dave was saying four treatments a year. Now we do have another show today at seven o'clock so if you've got any questions maybe you're going to go out in the garden, maybe you're going to go and have a look around, take a notepad with you or just make a mental note of what needs cleaning. Could be pots, could be your um, patio areas, could be your barbecues, could be your furniture. Make a list of it all. Come back to us at seven o'clock tonight and ask us the questions about getting it clean and we will reassure you that your garden will be looking absolutely fantastic. Dave, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you again at seven o'clock tonight. Yep, seven o'clock. Excellent, excellent. Do check out your baskets. Make sure you get what you want. Remember, we've got Father's Day coming up in June, so this would make an excellent gift, but also an excellent gift for yourself. Don't go anywhere, though, because we've got plenty more to come on the craft store for you today. Right, coming up next, Rowan Dean Embroidery One Day Special. Katrina is here with our lovely Fiona. Uh, Jelly Bean Crafts Happy Hour after that with myself. And then we're getting groovy in the One Day Special. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. FlexiOrder, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. 
Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. And a very good afternoon to you. And it falls to me to bring you the last hour for the fabulous Monday special with Rowan Dean. And our lovely Katrina is with us here this afternoon as well. Good afternoon, my darling. Wow, you've given us a lot for our money this afternoon, haven't you? You have. <laughs> Let's take you through everything you're getting in that one day special because there is so, 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 so much. Now, I've got to say straight off the bat, 85% has already gone. So this is the last chance, really. I mean, I know it goes till six o'clock, but uh, whether it lasts that long, I do not know. So please, please, please don't miss out brand new and just packed jam with fabulous projects whether you want to spit them up and gift them or keep them all for yourself it's going to keep you busy through the summer so should we start at the beginning our lovely lavender yes the lavender mini kit now you are getting that beautiful beautiful uh, cotton there you are getting a gorgeous organza you're getting your two needles all of those pretty pretty little beads and embellishments with your bugle beads and the white and the silver and then you're getting all of your threads there the variegated threads there as well all beautifully numbered full color instructions as always as we expect with our lovely Katrina there uh, so it can take you through step by step so you know where you're going and there's always you know there's always the picture there as well so you can see and refer back to it but it's not set in stone that's the beauty of these projects you can you can go off piste as such um, and the only thing you need if you want it is is, is the presentation hoop. the reason that's not included the display hoop is because you might want to put that on your tote bag you might want to put it on something else a bag or another project or a cushion so if you do want any of those uh, hardwood display hoops we've got them at the bottom of the screen five and six and seven inch but that's the only thing just to express that in terms of that one part of the kit then part two of the one day special is all included are the fantastic oh i know the coastal delight cards these really are beautiful you've got the starfish you've got the little rock pools you've got the the, the underwater um what do you call it the um oh what do you call it like at uh, the reefs and stuff and Just corals that's it corals oh, God. <laughs> oh, <God>. um, <laughs> They're beautiful. What else have we got in this one then, then, Katrina? Oh, this one we've got we've got lots of, of texture there. We've got uh, limpets. And limpets. We've got uh, pebbles. Oh, we've yes. We've got sea thrift. We've got um, sea bindweeds, which is that pink flower there. Ah. We've got pebbles. You know when you look at the uh, uh, a tidal pool and it's got the sea there and the sun sparkling. Yes. So you're looking in that you water. Can, yes, I mean, look at it. have got fabulous colours there. <laughs> Uh, and then a starfish. starfish. I mean, you can't have a coastal scene without one of those. You and they're can't. just lovely little French knots to create that. 
just stunning and it does the way the light catches those sequins and it does look like the light is dappling on the little rock pool it's absolutely idyllic so that comes on the large piece of this beautiful beautiful tweed that is made especially for Rowan Dean all of that fabulous organza they always fill the kits packed jam with extra embellishments you've got wood beads there little seashells bugle beads round beads seed beads large sequins of all sorts of shapes and sizes then all your textured yarns there as well some really pretty lovely wool in there as well isn't there i think the textures are good to, to mix it fits with the sand and, and the water absolutely so I, I like the idea of of using different textures and the variegated Beautiful. ones are just perfect oh. to create a joy of water or, or joy to or work with and of course you get all the cards and the envelopes to match as well so it's really up to you if you want to create cards but again it's left open to you how you wanted it you could display them individually you could put them on another soft upholstery project but uh, the cards are included in there so you're good to go and then we're still going on with the one day special you still get more we've got a third project on the go well you could ostensibly say uh, one and six seven eight projects on the go because actually this one is a needle case this is it's just beautiful. Look at this. I wanted to open it out because you've got to see the Tide Pools needle case. Isn't that amazing? And that's just the start of things to come because inside you get that beautiful hand dyed felt. And, you know, if you've got your start, you see, this is why we said you don't have to put it on the cards. You can place your little, if you've got any of the doodle packs we've got on the show, you might want to just experiment or you might have done a project already. You can go straight onto that beautiful hand dyed felt. And, you know, there's eight sides there. You could add more if you want to. I mean, just how beautiful is that? What's your thinking behind then the needle, um, sorry, the tide pool needle case then? I think it's just that it's all the textures and, yeah. the, and the stitch techniques. It's just so fabulous to do and create a design that goes all the way across uh, the, the whole thing. The whole panel is stitched. And you can really just get carried away with the colours, the stitching. You can really fill that whole space with texture. And, and you, it's sort of, stitching is like, well, it's just, it's, it's relaxing and you can think, hey, yeah, I'd like to be on that beach. I'd like, and the, in the colours, and you can be, you know, think, reflecting of holidays you've been on or places you've been. Oh. So it's all those things together. It's a happy, it's a happy. Oh, it's totally happy. It's it it very happy, happy looking at it. Yeah. I want to dip my toes yeah. in those little <laughs> rock pools straight away and the flotsam of the sea. I just love that seaweed at the bottom, the textured yarn there, that wool. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? So clever. So again, a plethora of amazing beads and shapes and barrels and cubes and sequins and oh you've got everything in there all of the beautiful it, uh, let me just show you the piece of the um the the, 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 the the tweed as it were so you can see that the design is very um it's just there to sort of pin guide you guide you you know to give you that where to go where to start yeah um, i mean i think what, what we're going to do first when you see the one here is I've, I've stitched the elements like the pebbles and like the the stones uh and sort of and shells and then the, the next thing is then to fill in with the water and the texture in between so you're creating the whole thing underwater uh, and, and amongst the sand isn't this fantastic and then i didn't realize but then you've got that separate piece that we just showed you on the inside there of the starfish so you've got your starfish there and that that little bit of the um the name i keep forgetting the, the kind of like um it's the red starfish and then the seaweed i like the yeah, seaweed bit seaweed. At, uh, uh, at the other side seaweed, i mean i've yeah. joined them together but i mean they're gonna and once you stitch them then you can separate them cut them uh, and place them wherever you wherever want, you want. Yeah, wherever you Choice want is yours beautiful and then obviously that, that lovely linen in there and you've got the gorgeous um hand dyed felt there just beautiful Wow, that was a lot to get through. That's, I mean, there's a huge amount, huge amount, 85% of it has gone. We've got it split into two flexi by payments, so you go for a one-off payment of £49.85, or split it over the cost of June and July of £24.93, two payments, 678299. Just there's so much in there. You could gift a part, you could keep a part, you could, you know, make a little little group together, sit outside and be doing our sewing. Let's have a look at the website, because Rowan Dean are, are a fabulous, well-established company and we've got the embroidery summer leaves kit on the show we've got the duck in the reeds kit I hadn't seen it but you know this is the beauty sometimes you're watching at the right time sometimes you miss the foxgloves they're back on the show again as well 
The shingle beach kit is to die for. Don't literally, but it is amazing. We've got the spring play around pack, which includes your, your lovely cotton and your tweed. And then, of course, the purple and pink and the brights. We've got extra organza, large pieces. We've got uh, lovely accessories. Now, I know the seven inch hoop, the five inch hoop and the scissors, always used by a lovely Katrina there. So that's well worth noting there, $15.99. And there's those display hoops we actually said. Extra cotton fabric there, the fat quarters, if you want it, and the Bible, the hand Stitch Landscapes and Flowers by Katrina written with all of those fantastic 10 projects in there as well, $17.99. <gasps> well, Katrina, I think we'll come to you because you've got that lovely um, sample there ready to go. So, so let's go over to you, my darling. Well, this, this, is, this is the one that I've been working on over uh, since we started. We launched yesterday and I've done a little bit of each technique to show you how to do that. But over the time, you can gradually see how, how the whole design uh, fits together. It's sort of made in the front part and then the middle where the spine is where you're going to fold your design over to make the book. Um, that, that area is very flat with just a few French knots, maybe a few beads uh, and some organza, whereas the back and the front is very textured and you know that's where you're going to get all the sparkle. Uh, and beads and stitch techniques and pebbles so it, it's lovely to do and I quite like it because you're doing different things all the time uh, and then you're gradually bringing the design together so just to not stitch too much there's a, a line all the way around the edge uh, that you will cover with French knots and beads and sequins and perhaps perhaps take some of the organza over the edge of the fabric so that in the end you don't actually see uh, the line all the way around. So I've, put, I've designed it so you can use the five inch hoop so that you can work on both areas uh, and that's going to keep you working. And I actually, I'll show you the one that I have done. This is my practice one. All right, so I've, I've been all the way through the design and tried out different stitch techniques, uh, but I've, I've made the fabric much bigger for you and uh, I've changed the water so that when you bend your design you're not going to get any of the beads in, in the way. So it's nice to see it and it's all, all the techniques and everybody, the thing is about embroidery is that everybody's will come out slightly different depending on uh, the, the, how much they've stitched and the bits that you, the colours that you've chosen. It's not so prescriptive in the instructions that you say you must use um, a certain stitch or you must must put these colors in it's a guide and so if you want to change the colors uh, then that's that's it that's great and then look at the actual beads here these are the beads that you'll find in these so you'll get a mixture of bugle beads and sequins cup sequins uh, wooden beads uh, and lots of shells uh, and all that sparkle is going to create some great texture so you'll get quite a few wooden beads so that you can create the limpets with a, a bead inside and you'll get some felt hand some felt where you can create just a, a gentle shape underneath the stitching so um, first of all I'm just going to go to a an old favorite of ours and that's uh, this bit here is, is a little bit of a beach so I'm going to take a little bit of the organza uh, so when you get the organza you'll find it, it's a woven fabric and we're going to make it a little bit messy we're just going to take that fabric and we're just going to cut some little slithers and then you're just going to distort it a bit and you're going to pull it apart and then just place that over the fabric and slightly over the edge and then just pin that in place just to give a little bit of texture and you can add little bits of the green organza or you can keep to the sand colour just see how it goes and you can add as much texture as you go rather than pinning it on all the time this time I'm going to just pin some small small little bits on there and create a little bit of the beach and one of the stitches that I think is great for this is the French knot so I'm going to do that first so for this one I've got six strands so in your in the color scheme of the of the kit the ones that I've used uh, for the sand, you know, these lovely bronzes mm. here and the variegated threads. And then you can also add some of the paler ones in too. All right, so to start off with those, you bring the thread from the back and then you're just going to take the thread 
and you're just going to make a French knot. And this is one of the things that I think it's just it's just fun to do. So you take the thread, hold the thread fairly taut, and then you're just going to go around once, twice, no more. And then you just take the needle and then you place it in the fabric. You're just going to push the needle all the way through and then just tighten that. And that's just going to keep that, that need, thread around the needle fairly taut. And then you're just going to pull that through and just let it travel in on its own. It's just going to just travel in. Don't be tempted to guide it because it tends to get in a knot. All right, so you just keep doing that and you eventually get into a, a rhythm and you can just just keep stitching. If you want the knot to be a little bit smaller, you can just do a single turn French knot. And so you can mix and fill the whole area and that'll secure the organza. And just have fun with that stitch. So I think I think if you're a fan of Rondine, you'll you'll know French knots because they're used for trees and everything, to, every, every, lots of things. Yes. The so the more the you trees. do, you'll be going to a beach thinking French knots. Mm -hmm. So you just take those threads through, and just because it's um, a variegated thread, that magic happens. Mm. So you don't have to think where that colour is going to appear; it just does. And so Which that's a great a great way to add texture. And that's going to secure the organza in place. And then when you've done a little bit and the organza is secure, you can then remove your pins. And Katrina's using um, one of the spring hoops there, uh, which I know she uses a lot in terms of um, sewing, because it's just so easy to place around your work when you're sewing. So we, we've got them on the show, the five inch hoop, which Katrina's using, the seven inch hoop, and of course the all important embroidery scissors. And how beautiful and innate are those? That lovely, lovely, nice, fine point tip there as well. 80% of the stock has already gone, proven very busy, 1599-646-785. It's such a great portable um, hobby to take with you and on the go, isn't it, Katrina? Yeah, you don't you, need, you don't have to have a room set up for yeah. it. Uh, you know, you can uh, take it anywhere, stitch in the garden. You can stitch yeah. in, in any, anywhere, really, yeah. and you can light chat. And, light and, you, and portable, it's, yes. It's not know. so concentrated that you can't talk to anybody. No. You know, you, yeah. there's a cop or make a mistake. You know, you're just here, here to, to stitch and relax. And relax, and just, yeah. Wherever, wherever that takes you, around, you know, you can You're do outside, that. Like and you can, you can stop. It's the kind of thing that you might want to do a pebble and then move on to something else. Yeah. But really, when she start, you can't stop. You can't <laughs> stop addictive. stitching. She's given the warning now. It's yeah, addictive. Yeah. yeah. So, the, so the next bit to add to that is I'm going to take a couple of the beads. I'm just going to move them across. So I'm just going to put some... The seed beads are a mix of gold and orange obviously for the starfish but you can choose whichever colors that you're going to use so I'm just using the bead needle and the bead thread and that's in the kit mm -hmm. so all that you do is you then take a little bit and then you just pick up a bead and then just place it wherever you want it to be and then that thread will secure it and then it's not going to stretch it's a it's a, a specific thread for beads and then you can just keep adding them. You can put more than one on at a time and we can make a, a group of those. Just choose the colors, different sizes. And then if you, you're using several at a time, you can just make sure that the length of the beads is gonna be flat. So you take, just stretch the thread there mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna take that through and then you can add some more there and add as many as you wish. And as you, as you get further into that, you can take, pick up a little bit of a sequin if you can catch it. Let's catch a sequin there. And do we need to be an experienced sewer to do this? Or can we be no. a complete beginner there? No, I think, I think the, um, they're all the basic stitches, I would say. So you, yeah. don't, need, you don't need to have done it before. Uh, and we don't care what the back looks like. So, uh, you know, just enjoy the stitching and just try a few of them to start with and you'll see you'll see how easy it is. And the instructions will take you through. And They um, will. And they're always just a, It's just brilliant. a guide. Uh, but, but mainly, sometimes if you watch it back, you can watch the... the, the on Rewind, uh, yeah. On Rewind, so yeah. you can see things you see on YouTube as well. So 
that little area it's so easy to do and just it's quite satisfying to create that texture and i think the some of the sequins they're they're really unusual shapes as are some of the beads so that you'll get wooden beads that look like they've been washed by the sea and then you can add those as well and you can take if it's got a large hole to get the uh, needle through you can use other colors or you can stick to the bead thread and just take that and you can you can now imagine all those fabulous colours in the water. And they're all there, and those beautiful hand-picked threads that you've given us in the kit. I mean, oh, that, number, that number 14, that goes from the blue to the green to the iridescent yellow. I mean, it's So they're, they're going to, they're going to uh, oh. stay in place, and uh, you can go on to the next bit. And then we'll just go on to the next bit now. OK. Needles come unthreaded. Um, so... Once you've done those, the next thing is to concentrate on maybe completing some of the pebbles. Mm -hmm. And we didn't do this earlier. The, this pebble here, this is, is done in chain stitch. Yes. So it's a variegated thread. So everybody, or a lot of people, will have done uh, chain stitch before. I'm using it as three strands. So you're just going to bring the thread up from the back. Start with a knot or not with a knot, whatever you prefer. And you're just going to just go round and round the pebble. It's got a print there as a guide of the shape. So to start with, you're just going to go back into the center and you're just going to go all the way around. Just turn so that you can see where you're going. You back go back into the same place, bring the needle out, and then you almost tuck the thread underneath, and that's going to that's going to create um, your chain. chain. So it's where the needle comes up that dictates yes, the size of your that's chain. Right. It is on Katrina's instructions as well. She always gives the instructions, so there's no surprises in terms of the stitches that she uses in each of the kits. If you haven't got yeah, her so fabulous book, so it's always it's always there as well. So as um, you go, yeah. Or, I mean, I think it's so easy to you know do a little bit and then look at the instructions. But if you, if you fancy going to different stones, you might not want to uh, do each one. Um, and then you, it's just it's really how it, it takes your fancy to do so that's chain stitch that's really really easy and you're just going to fill that shape uh, completely and then, then on, on the other side of the needle case you'll see that there are there are shells that are just straight stitching over the pebble and that's done with a piece of felt so there's a piece of felt ah. underneath I was right, intrigued so by your little pebbles. I was yeah, prodding so them to really, see, was there a bead under yeah, there? There's, or a, there's a, a, a piece of felt, which is great. Oh. So you can have several layers if you want to make them uh, them higher. And so do we get the felt in there as well? So the, felt, so yeah. the little bit of felt's in there yeah. as well. So there's everything that you're going to need oh, uh, to do that. And they look kind of sweet with the... They look amazing. Uh, you know, the, the other colour going over the top yes. looks like the patterns in the rock. So, you know, you, that's quite a nice way to do that. And then... The sort of limpets on the on the design they're worked sometimes with a bead so the bead has um you stitch over mm -hmm. the print and then you go through the center of the whole and um, you go round and round and fill that shape so the taller the bead you know it'll be quite high yeah if it's with the felt you can make them uh, a slight gentle slope there and use lots of colors for that and i think they're they're lov lovely to do they are gorgeous. They're really, really lovely to do. I should say very briefly, uh, if that's all right, we are now limited on the one-day special, Katrina. So please don't miss out. Check out your baskets. £24.93, two flexi-buy payments in June and July, or a one-off payment of £49.85. You're getting everything. You know, the lavender mini kits there, uh, the six Coastal Delight cards you can make, plus that lovely Tidepool um, needle case there as well. Uh, a phenomenal. Three, pro three sets of projects that take you through the whole summer. Uh, six, seven, eight, two, nine, nine. I'm just going to have the quickest of recaps, Katrina, and then come to you, my darling. Um, because there's so much on the show as well. I I've never seen duck in the, duck in the 
stuck in the reeds, but he's here. Uh, now, this is one of the fantastic play around packs, and this is the spring. And what's great about this is you've got both that, that lovely cotton and the tweed, all of the lovely yarns, different wools, lovely textures, a beautiful big bag of embroidery beads and sequins, um, you know, your, your bead ne needles, your thread needles there as well. Uh, and, and that is, you know, for you want to go off piece, you want to repeat a lovely pattern that you've done with Katrina. You just want to have a play around. That's what, this is what it's called. £18.95, 519571, and they always prove so popular. Some gorgeous colours, and they're real summer fruit colours. I, I, I love those bright yellows. Mwah, beautiful. They have got pink and purple, yes. So pretty for your lavenders. I've seen so many beautiful projects. You've got a little hand-dyed felt in there, some beautiful satins and s a beautiful um, silver uh, metallic material there, the wools, the yarns, the threads, stunning. And uh, you, you can either go either way with this. You can get two tweed or two of the cotton there. So you choose which colourway you'd like. £18.95, 319597. So if we've got our pink and purple, uh, we also need our bright. So yes, think your primary colours. Bright orange, bright yellow, bright blues, beautiful bright greens. And again, you can go in the options of the tweed sets or the actual cottons. You get the organza, your bead needles and thread needles and ev everything in there. Two of the tweed or two of the cotton. 1895 915 244. You just pick when you place your order. We've got some other kits as well to delight you with, as always. And again, because you probably tune in at different times. I haven't seen these always before. Some I have. So it's lovely to revisit. Um, this is our Seaside Doodles cards kit. Yeah, this is so much fun, isn't it? Just beautiful. So you've got your beach towel design, number one. You've got your shells on the beach. Uh, you've got your blue water. You've got your sea holly, your sea thrift, and your sweets. And again, full color instructions. You get your cards there as well, and your envelopes, all your threads, all your beautiful beads, including the wooden beads. And the, look, this is properly, you know, little star sequins and all sorts in there in terms of the designs there's so much packed in there all those lovely threads and yarns organza and then obviously the pattern prints there on that lovely tweed i mean i just think that that's working out at what 333 a card or something it's something ridiculous we worked it out to be it's, it's just a giveaway you pay more than that just for a paper card um but again you might want to frame it you might want to put it in a display hoop you might want to put it on a cushion or um a, a beautiful project that you're doing or one of their tote bags indeed look at that beach towels fabulous isn't it five nine five four zero nine one 20 under 20 pounds get all the family involved because each do one each brilliant um then we've got garden fox gloves i know fox gloves is a favorite of our katrina very very popular it's bright it's beautiful it brings cheer into your heart and look at all those lovely techniques as well in terms of the sewing stitches but again it's everything katrina's done with us before we've got some brilliant beginner tips on here as well um you've got the french knot the detached chain stem stitch fly stitch and it's all there on your instructions as well. So um, again, we need to just get the display hoop for that one, but some people like to put it in a frame, a wooden frame, or so, so we don't like to dictate. £14.95, 789-799. Now, our duck in the reeds, does this, I believe, comes with our display hoop, does it? It does, on this one? it does. Oh, that's a little mini one, isn't it? How big is that, would you say? That's a four inch four hoop. Inch. Four inch hoop. Four inch hoop. How now this is what I was talking. I hadn't seen this, so this is a beautiful bite-sized project. And again, it just brought a smile to my face. I can see that shimmering water with those bugle beads. I love the you know the, the flowers, the shrubs there growing amongst those long uh, grassy layers there towards the water's edge, and there's our little ducky there nestling inside. £15.95. It comes with your little five inch display hoop as well. All your threads, your lovely tweed, all your beads, and your organza there. 943177. What a lovely present to give someone as well. I think something like this, a lovely project, a lovely new venture into hobby, I think is such a beautiful, thoughtful gift for someone. Yeah, just gorgeous. Summer leaves. Now, I know. Katrina, she's the whiz in the garden. She's got the acer leaves. She's got the do we pronounce it dahlia? Dahlia. 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 We've got the echinacea. We've got our flowers. We've got, ah, oh, this is bold and beautiful. And eat your heart out with that lovely organza and a hand dyed felt there. Just stunning. And um, you've mounted yours on, on, on a canvas board, but again, the choice is up to us, isn't it? It is. I mean, I've got one over here when oh, we get yeah. to the 
to have, maybe have a quick look at that because yes. I've made it into a cushion into using a cushion. the quarters. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. We'll have, we'll have a look at that. £29.95, And While we're on that subject, we have got all those fat quarters there that uh, Katrina was just referring to, which will show us in a moment there, on the web. So we've got it in the tweed and in the cotton, so do have a look. This is what I was talking about. I mean, this is the piece de resistance. Talk about saving the best to the last. I know we've got the brilliant one day special, but honestly, I, I, was, I just can't stop looking at it. It is one of those pictures that just whisks you away and you do look at it and it does envelop for you and it does take you away on a, me on a, 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 on a mental journey. You know, you, you're thinking, oh, look at the boats, where have they been? Where have they traveled? And the birds flying in, that, that sea, is it coming in, is it going out? All of this lovely texture on the outside, bringing the outside in, bringing the inside out. I, I just love this. It is. It's, it's a peaceful picture. Isn't it is it? You peaceful. could be sitting in a deck chair with a cup of coffee, looking yeah. at that view. So it's it's a really a nice one. You know that shingle beach. You know, yeah. lot, well there are a lot of French knots. I've just said. You know, it's, it's it's a mostly French knots there. But the grasses. You know, yes. they they, they look movement. like the, the winds oh, moving them totally. a little bit. You yeah. Know? But it I think is. it's a 3D, it's that style, because we've got quite a few in this sort of style where we've got um, the, the, a motif on the, on the yes. mount, and yeah. that sort of takes your eye into the picture. So this is, this is an example of that. So it's still easy to do. So you, you get a, a large piece of fabric for the, the, the cream wool for the mount. So you stitch yes. that as normal. Uh, and then you stretch that over the card mount when it's complete. So you, you stitch both parts together uh, and then Obviously, the moulding, you have to find your own moulding for that. But the, the, the hardboard and the mount is in there, as well as the motif. So you just work, as you, you don't think yeah. of it, you, you do all your stitching and then stretch it over. And there's instructions for that too. And then all you need to do is provide your frame because you've got, like you said, yeah. the hard back there and the mount itself. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. It is very peaceful and it just. It envelops you. I can't stop looking at it lovingly. Uh, £58.95 or split into two flexi buy payments for you there as well. 029518. Uh, let's have a look at the website very briefly and then we'll come back to Katrina because we mentioned those lovely fat quarters there. Everything we've mentioned is on the show and more because there may be others on there that, you know, our lovely Rowan Dean bring us month after month. So I just don't want you to miss out. To, so do shop by brand as well. Uh, right, Katrina, let's go back to you. Would you show me that lovely cushion as well? I'm going to show you the cushion. Yeah. Um, I've got one little uh, tiny bit to do on uh, on the card kit, okay. just, to, just to show how to do a, a fabric flower that's on there. So lovely. if we can do that fairly, fairly quickly. I've cut a piece of organza and I've just taken um, two strands of a thread. It doesn't have to be the same colour. It does have to have a knot in the end. And I'm just going to run the thread all the way through the centre of the fabric, the whole length. And when you get to the end of that, you hope there's a knot. And then you take the thread and then you're just going to gather that thread and just, just gently pull the threads and that will gather up. And then you've got your flower. And then if you hold all the folds between your fingers, and then do a couple of stitches there just to hold that in place. And then you can attach or you can fray them a little bit more. You can trim the, the, the fabric so you can add attach that to your piece. You can either add it on the it's actually on the one with the sea thrift, uh, but you could add it to anywhere on your, your design. You just take a couple of straight stitches and then a couple of stab stitches just to go all the way through and that's just going to give you a little bit of texture in amongst all the sequins and beads mm. that you can add so here we're using the organza as a background on the wool and other times we fray the organza so there's lots of different ways of using the organza mm. to create those cards, but they're very, very easy. If you look at the six designs, we've got um, the, the C bindweed, uh, which is really quite pretty. So it's only straight stitch and a couple of stem stitches. And again, we've got a, a little bit of a beach there mm -hmm. just to create a little bit of water, a little bit of sand, pebbles and some seaweed 
and a, a really nice starfish that's really just done uh, with lots and lots and lots of French knots. And then mm -hmm. to create the texture at the edge, you just take some sequins and beads and you just you just create a, a, a panel or an edge just to, cause it's just really to, to make that interest of being in the sand uh, and just texture. So you'll get lots of, lots of different kinds of beads in there. You'll get some quite shiny ones. So you can add all of those on there and just have fun. And then I would say, wait until you've stitched them all and then cut them up and yes, put them into the cards. Just so that you, isn't it? Uh, you've, you know, you, you've got, you can see the balance of the colors and you, and you can use all the, all the beads uh, that, that, that are in the kit. And there's often little shells and there's lots of little starfish too so you can create you can make it as blingy as you want or as <laughs> or as subtle so so you know the, I think they're just lovely I mean the, the shell seeds they're gorgeous too uh, and, the, and the teal is the teal color beads and sequins oh, that yeah. just give it that little bit of sparkle in the water there so that they're, they're, it's fun to do and you get the cards inside uh, inside the kit as well so that's great you always give us that point. You always, there's always loads left over. Yeah, I've tell, tell us I've given you can bling too your much heart, this time. You can your heart's content, but there's always loads left over. I've got, I've got a bit carried away. <laughs> <laughs> now, it is limited, so please check out your baskets for the one-day special. I mean, that's just one part. You can make six of those beautiful cards. Imagine receiving one of those. Um, it's, you know, when you have to think about the individual kits, uh, it's just incredible value. Then that stunning needlepoint case with all those hand-felt pages in there. If you're into mixed media, I mean, this is, this is the one for you isn't it i mean it's just phenomenal um and then you can you know you've got those extra bits that you can put inside as well that uh, katrina gives you you can mix it up with, with maybe some of that stone paper that you can sew that uh, leone was using earlier and let leone loose it's quite phenomenal so that's just that's just i think that's just just beautiful you could make it into something functional as well like some kind of little case um not just just for your needles and then we've got that lovely lavender kit as well there so pretty um you can you can frame that you can put it in a um, the, the, the little hoops there as well, the mount hoops, but uh, you get so much in this one day special. £49.85, six seven eight two nine nine. Great gift. We could split it up, gift a part of it, keep it all for yourself. It'll keep you going through the summer months. It's what we need in the beautiful summer weather. Uh, back to you, Katrina. Okay, I'm just going to bring this cushion over here. So if you didn't want to make your piece into, um, into a... a Oh, a needle yes. case you could make it into a, a cushion oh, gosh, that's beautiful. Uh, and, and this is on the tweed so you know you get a fat quarter and then yeah. you can add that to it if you, if you wanted to or um you know use it as a, a, a textile journal and add to it and you can yeah. add photographs or well anything endless, anything anything yeah. uh, so that's that's quite useful but uh, the kit that we haven't really talked about here at all this is um this is the summer leaves, oh. all right? So summer leaves I've got here. Um, it, the fabric is actually the size of this fabric, yeah. the white fabric. Yeah. So that you could either make it as a picture or you could use some of the fabrics. Uh, um, and that's what I'm showing here, that you can use these fabrics to make it into a cushion and then just carry the stitching on onto the mount. Yes, I like that. Which is, quite, which is quite nice. So these are done in a slightly different way. You've got some fabulous organzas there in the kit. And when you're actually working this, you just take some of the organzas and you're just going to overlay the organza over the print. And these are the sort of maple leaves and oxalis and dahlia leaves. So you can just pin those on. And this for this one, you don't need a frame because uh, we're going to stem stitch all the way around. You're just going to take one of the colours. And then if I show you the colours, there's just some fabulous colours in here mm. uh, that you can use just to create the texture. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the colour. So the instructions will take you through each part of that and so stem stitch is where we is something that we use to outline a shape mm -hmm. so you know the shell on the on the needle case or tree branches or you know the, the, its use is endless really and sometimes it's easier to use it to use it without the frame 
So if I'm just going to put a knot over here, it's nice to hold the fabric uh, and stitch through. So to do this stitch, I'm just going to start there and I'm just going to stem stitch that. You can pin it or tack it on and I'm just going to do start off with a half stitch there and then you just keep the thread to the top each time yeah and then it forms either a straight a nice straight line but a line that will curve so yeah. so that's a nice way and the sort of smaller the stitches the neater the curve can be so you're just going to take those and outline each shape and then on the back it looks a little bit like a back stitch mm -hmm. which is looks is not not as neat whereas if you've got the stem stitch you'll get some lovely shapes appearing uh, all the way around so if I just continue a little bit further mm. down so once you've re you once you've outlined your shape the next thing is to cut away the excess organza so if I can quickly just stitch a little piece of that so you go all the way around the shape There's a nice noise going through the fabric. <laughs> so you just do a little bit. I'll just do a couple more stitches. So you can you can layer the organza and just make different leaf leaf mm. colours. So I think this one I think it's called Oxalis. It's a uh, red uh, iron cross. So it's got purple center and it's just a lovely plant. Oh. So once you've, once you've gone all the way around, you're just going to take the scissors, the, the sharp scissors, and you're just going to cut away the excess. All right, so you can just take a little bit. I'm just going to cut a little bit. And you can get really close. If you look mm. at some of the other ones, you can get really close to the, to the leaves. Uh, and then if you want to, you can roughly cut round the shape and then you can really outline the shape if you've got those sharp scissors yeah. and that's going to remove all the excess away. We've got those scissors in the... Um, so they're, they're lovely maple yeah. leaves and the fly stitch that we've done earlier. That's Aww. better. And then uh, you've got some couching just in the same way as we did on the needle case. You've got some lovely uh, metallic thread that mm. you can couch and then create a little bit of organza and then these are lovely and at night time they fold up oh, they, they fold up in the, in the evening uh, they're just a lovely plant and they're oh. the same with chrysanthemum they're great too not that I'm great oh that was all the bees all the sequins on the floor there. all Ryan all the whole, the Ryan's whole got a big never job mind there. never mind get the brush out never mind <laughs> uh, and then one of the stitches that we have done before is we've done a lazy daisy and a detached chain so I'm just going to show you that as well I think the beauty of this design is that you could you can add you can make it the size of the, mm. as a picture yes. or, and you can carry on you could you can trace the shapes and you could keep stitching yeah. right to the edge or in fact cover the whole fabric there's loads of thread it's like you said, I like the idea of the tracing because you could you could tie it in with the with the reverse of the cushion. Like you said, I love the idea of it spilling out and over the over different the materials. Mount. Yeah, and then of course you can you could just use it without the organza and just have the Ooh, outline. Yes, just you the could stitch. So that some silhouette. of them are just stitched. Yeah. So the, you know the possibilities are endless for this one, uh, and you could really, uh, really work a fabulous piece. So it's it's firm enough for the fabric to work without the hoop. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches. So you just go back into the same place mm -hmm. and then tuck the thread underneath. And then you're just going to make that loop and just hold it in place and then go back to the center. And then you just turn that as you work and you can repeat the flowers bit by bit and you can just turn each time 
So really, that this 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 kit is very easy to do, but it's got a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it, I, I quite like the idea of using some of the fat quarters to add it, add colour into yeah. the piece. You know, if you want to make it, it's a quick way of making it a, a bigger, a bigger picture, really. Beautiful. I'll mention those fat quarters there because Katrina just just spoke to us about those. They are on the website. We've got them in different lovely, lovely colours as well. So there's your lovely cotton as well. So if you did want to extend and make them into cushions, great idea because you've got that perfect match. The different colours there as well we've got. So have a little look on the website. It's beautiful with the hair. There's stunning. There's loads of different colours there. The mauve, the orange. Oh, that's so bright and beautiful, isn't it? Um... Mushy pea is that? Anyway, have a little look. They're all there on the website there. And uh, that, that lovely tweed as well. 246064. Beautiful colours. Oh, love that pink. Yeah, I've right. got a couple of them here. Fiona, and you, um, you could, if you wanted, you could make... Um, you could make a book, you could make oh, a yes, textile journal, you yeah. could keep a record, you could keep. Book so cover. the colours, you know, they've got the fabulous colours. I mean, the mushy pea is great, and that's what I used on that on the summer because it's yeah. gentle. But asparagus is really gentle, and the powder blue. Oh, but I think funny. probably this one, the terracotta, terracotta would look, if you could do yeah, the shells yeah. on the terracotta one, that would be really quite, quite good fun. That's beautiful. I think it looked more orangey on my screen, forgive me. It was terracotta. It looks better on yours now. That's yes, so pretty. Terracotta. Yes, and those lovely butterflies. I'll quickly recap this and we'll come straight back to you, Katrina. Okay. Is that all right? Because mm -hmm. we are extremely limited now on the one-day special because it's so much great value. You're getting so many projects, ostensibly, you know, six, eight, nine. Um, but uh, just incredible. So you've got that beautiful needlepoint uh, case that you can make with a handmade tide, tide pool needle case with that handmade felt leaves of, of, of paper inside if you like you've got the six cards there as well there for you for your lovely um at the beach and what have you there ah oh, yes our coastal delights and then our lovely lavender mini kit as, as well all of the threads all of the exam organza all of the, the backgrounds on your tweed or your cotton there your variegated threads your needles uh, your bead needles, your bugle beads, sea beads, sequins, wooden beads, all shapes and sizes. It's an absolute delight. Two flexi by payments of £24.93. We are limited, so please remember to check out your baskets. Or one off payment of £49.85. pence. Six seven eight two nine nine. Remember, this is the final call for our one-day special. Right. Katrina, we've got about 10 minutes. Are we visiting a certain little duck? We are. Yeah, I lovely. So. I just hadn't seen this. This is gorgeous. Okay, so this one's duck in the reeds. It's worked on, on a wool fabric. Um, it's got the outline on there, and this is, again, it's quite good to, to keep your work in the hoop. It's got a slight stretch to the fabric, which is really nice. And then you get a fabulous range of colours. So this time, we've got some wools, we've got some variegated colours, we've got a couple of metallic colours for the water, and then, obviously, the flowers in the distance. Uh, French knots, but, it, but the, start, the, uh, the basis of a lot of our designs are straight stitch. So straight stitch, you've got a guide on the fabric to start stitching, and you're just going over the line, and you're just going to stitch. Almost think messy, really, and it's very easy to straight stitch. You've got my organza on there first, mm -hmm. so in the instructions you'll see a picture of what the organza more or less looks like. Look. So you're not going to stitch so densely that you're not going to see a little bit of it. Mm. So that's quite quick to do. I'm using a, a botany wool here, which is really nice and vibrant. Yes, lovely full colour instructions as always with our lovely Rowan Dean. So you've got your pictures as you reference there. Karina was just talking about the, the, the organza there and the, the, the placement of it. You've got beginner tips on there as well. How to do your French knot um, and obviously your, uh, your random straight stitch. But, you know, all lovely. That, that's, it, that's it. And But if you're an accomplished embroiderer, you'll probably be able to get stuck in straight away. But beautiful. It does come with a five inch. Uh, was it five inch hoop? No, four inch, four inch. Four, in, four uh, inch display hoop as well. Display so hoop. Beautiful gift idea for someone. It's so easy, this one. I mean, we've, we've done um, just cutting little slithers of the organza and then horizontal 
um, stitches mm. for the the water. So this the, the thread that's for the water is a uh, is made up of six strands. All right, so that and they'll separate really easily. They're diff they're, they're more tricky to use as six strands, but you just take one out, and that's enough to create some water. So you can thread that through and just do some horizontal stitches just to create the water. So you just take a few of the, um, few of the areas and you're just going to stitch a little bit. Those metallic threads in that kit are They're gorgeous. They're just lovely. So it's sort of multicolored this one mm. with sort of flecks of blue and pink and gold. So it's perfect for water. So you just take a little bit and just do some horizontal stitches. So a it's lovely easy. one as well. If, I mean, I appreciate all your projects, but us beginners can get stuck in, but it's a great one for a true beginner because you're going to see results fairly swiftly and then mount your result because it's all included. It's, so it's, it's a gorgeous gift for someone to... To, to give them something to do and start them on a new journey. I think it's just perfect bite size. It is, yeah. it is, because it, it's quite daunting, isn't it, if you, you've got a, a really big picture and you think, oh, I'll never finish it. And yeah, that, we want and to that, see results, uh, you, know, don't you we? want, we want to, to see we're accomplishing yes, something. Yes, and, and, and fairly embroidered, this is quick results. It's not going to take, you know, ages to no. actually see, oh, there's the duck, you know. You can try out those few stitches. And you start to see the picture building. I mean, already, just what you've added there, I can really start Stiglint. to see that dappled water straight away. And that little bit of organza just gives it a little bit of interest as well. We've still got a good eight minutes, Katrina, so you, you show us whatever you need to. Well, we've got... We've got uh, time disappears all the time. Oh, well, we've, got, we've got play rounds as well and <laughs> loads of things to, to show you. All right, so you just go over there and then fasten off the threads. Just take a few through there. And then you can remove the pins out the way. Mm. And then go back to the card and then just we're going to add a couple of French knots and then we'll have a go at the, at the duck. Uh, so you just take the thread and I'm just going to split it so you can either take them out individually or you can uh, take them out gently, but fairly uh, peel them apart fairly slowly. I love your duck because you've really given it um, the way in which your placement of the, the straight stitches, you really give it a feathery aspect. It's fantastic. Yes. Is there a trick to that, Katrina, or is it just thinking about the... the, the well, I think it's going to be done in one strand. Yeah. So we're basically you follow the shape of the duck's back and you can work work round yeah. and then you uh, uh, around the neck and underneath and then round the head and so it's just a matter of working with you know it's not going to take very long anyway yeah. but I think the best is one strand yeah okay. and then a tiny little French knot for the eye and the and, and the beak a couple of straight stitches yeah. and you've got then in, an instant picture oh. so again it just shows you that you can create just with French knots mm. again, and these are three strands, so they're quite delicate, and that fits the side. This picture being quite because it's quite small, and you can add French knots in there, and it doesn't, you know, that magic happens. So, yeah, if you haven't got to think about it. You'll get a really nice effect, and you want to cover the prints and make sure the French knots go over the line. You don't want to see that in the end. It's just a guide there. And just work those and you just I think when you do French knots it's very relaxing it's you just switch off and enjoy the stitching and it's the law that you have to show me a French knot if we're together <laughs> for the hour yeah yeah I can't do it otherwise pro. I'll go away unsatisfied <laughs> and very can't unhappy. Do a pro um, I should just them. mention very briefly sorry to interrupt you Katrina but there we've got some breaking news about the one day special it is now sold out I'm not surprised in the slightest given the amount of value that you are getting and the quality of the fantastic projects well done if you got that absolute delight there the summertime bundle can't wait to see your creations next time Katrina's with us so email them in um, 
The play around packs, we've still got those, don't forget. They're all on the website, our lovely uh, springtime, our pink and purple. Uh, that's the springtime one, so you get the cotton and the tweed there, um, I should say, and your needles and your yarns and threads and uh, lovely satin in there and sequins and beads, 1895, We've got our purple and pink play around, and now there's two options. You can either go for the two pieces of the tweed with all the pink and the purple colorway there, or you can go for the cotton option, 319597. So you just choose, and or we've got the brights. So again, everything you need to have the play around. So if you wanted to add more to those beautiful cushions that Katrina was talking about, you know, and trace your patterns, these are perfect. 1895915244. If you wanted to do some more, you know, some more cards with the one day special, you see, um, we have got the fantastic seaside doodles. So again, great value. You've got all of those beauties. You've got your beach towel there as well. Oh, I'm trying to remember your sea holly, your blue water, your sea thrift, your sweets there. Just gorgeous. Shells on the beach there. Um, six beautiful designs with your cards with your organza, with all those fabulous beads and that fabulous piece of tweed with the designs there, 1995-954091. Our foxgloves, always favourite again. Don't forget we've got the seven, five and six inch hoops there on display, or the display hoops, I should say, uh, if you want to get those, but people like to put it on cushions or bags or um, frame them, as Katrina was explaining, 1495 for that kit, 789-799, stunning. And our duck, yes, and we're just talking with, with Katrina, with this one you do get your four-inch display hoop, great beginner one, lovely bite-sized project, uh, great price point, lovely, lovely bite-sized project to take on the go as well, if, you, if you're travelling, you just want to while away the hours there, 1595-943-177, or to get someone else involved, Beautiful. And summer leaves, Katrina showed us with those gorgeous um, cotton-coloured fat quarters as well to really create your project uh, into something bigger and uh, but usable, maybe, rather than just displaying. £29.95, 287808. And you do get, on the next one, you do get your mount board and, obviously, the backing board. You just need your frame then for our fabulous seaside shingle beach there yes this is just a wonderful wonderful project 58 pounds 95 zero two nine five one eight so last couple of minutes there katrina okay, sorry right. there was a big update on the one day special people you know wanted to say it's sold out Amazing. very popular okay. how's our how's our how's a do? duck it's becoming a duck now it's ah. like, it's working so it's a matter of just taking a little bit of time just to create the feathers, feathers. When you're back just, with us again, Katrina? Uh, I think we're back on the 18th of this month. Oh, right, OK. Gosh. Uh, I think so it's not long to wait then. A little, uh, not long. I think that's right, anyway. Ah, anyway yeah, I think it's we'll keep an eye out. I think it is. Gorgeous. I do love this project. It's fabulous. So we're just going to work a few stitches like that, and then you can go back to do along the back and that make the stitches a little bit longer. So there is a step-by-step -step, um, picture in, yes. the, in the instructions so yeah. that of, of the, how the duck is formed. Yes. So that you can look at the shaping. Yes, and we can follow the sort and of pattern of your stitches. Pattern, yeah, yeah, I can see that. So that's quite a nice way to... And we've got that pretty little ice white metallic thread in there that I see that you've sort of placed interspersed over the top of the little ducky as well yeah just to, just to give a little bit of interest and a little bit of sparkle there just a little so bit that's of a really, it's a really lovely thread uh, so it's just going to take just give it a little bit of glint in there just to make it sparkle a little bit as it's hiding in the reeds. yeah it's just and it really caught my eye I could see it just gorgeous have that interspersed amongst the feathers there beautiful well Katrina we've come to the end Thank you so much for all your hard work over the last 24 hours. It's been a Thank brilliant you. and a Enjoyed huge it. success. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you in about nine days' time. Yes, I think. Well, I think that's right. Well, I, th well, I, there think, I think it's nearly, nearly. We'll look forward yes, to it yes. anyway. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank well you. done to you if you managed to get the one day special. Absolutely brilliant. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Looking forward to seeing those. Uh, when you can email us in when Katrina's back again, if you've managed to complete any of it, uh, we'd love to see those images. So make sure you do email Katrina in uh, when she's back in with us. Uh, go to the website. Yes, have a look at the other Roan Dean projects. Have a look at the fa fabulous book. There are some amazing projects on there and some extra play around packs and tweeds and 
Oh, cottons, it's all there, all gorgeous. Just look under Row and Dean. And we'll see Katrina uh, again in a roughly, or thereabouts, nine days' time. Let's see what's coming up. Well, you love a bargain and you want to increase your stash, then you need to be with our Janet now in the Jelly Bean Crafts Happy Hour. Then we're going to get groovy with Paul. He's in the building in the one-day special. Then I'll join Dave for some block blitz paving cleaning. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinis Powys, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearl Inks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. everyone yes happy five o'clock in fact happy hour yes it certainly is well every hour is a happy hour here at the craft store but this is extra special because we've got discounted prices for this hour and this hour only so this is the hour to stock up or restock up on your fantastic card and my word just looking down the counter we have got lots of different sizes lots of different colors and lots of different variations in gsm for you look at that sweep down the table wow and we've also got some grey board for you as well so if you are into your construction as in making boxes or little gift bags we've got everything for you and we've also got some seven day savers yes we have seven day savers are there for seven days usually or if the stock runs out, then they've gone. It's the same with the happy hour deals as well. We've got them for this hour and this hour only at discounted prices. And we're already busy. You've already found them online. Right, by the way, you can head to the website and you can buy all the items before I get there. So let's see if you can do that. Let's see if you can get to any of the items that I'm yet to get to. And I wonder if they'll be sold out by the time I get there. Uh, right, your clock is in. That is going to be a reminder of the amount of time you've got left to buy. Let's start right here. Let's start right here. Now, this is your 12 by 12. It's high white and it's 300 GSM. So let's give it that. Oh, it's 350 GSM. What did I say? 
Did I? I said 300. It's 350 GSM. Um, wow, you know, this is fabulous. Do you know what I'd use? This is smooth card, so great for stamping, great for your acrylic paints on here. If you wanted to do any kind of design or artwork, I think this is the optimum size. I really do. Because with a border going all the way around that and a frame, you've got a piece for the walls at your home. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, of course, you can cut this down. It's very, very easy to do so. You've got 50 sheets in total. We are really busy for this one. £9.99, pence, saving £3. Um, over 10% has gone. Over 10% has gone. I'm going to give it a flick from the back as well. I don't know if anyone has ever done that before. But that back flick, yeah, sounds pretty deep, doesn't it? And that little wobble there. Now, I don't know if you know this, but paper grows up and becomes an adult of the card world at around about 170 GSM. A little bit like... 17 year olds going into 18 year olds you know going through you become an adult well cardstock does the same from 170 uh onwards kind of becomes cardstock from paper um, so this is absolutely perfect stamping texture paste you've got your inks on there it's beautiful it feels nice and soft as well two four three three seven zero is your item number we're getting very very busy you're loving this one you really are uh, this price though only for this hour and this hour only um oh i tell you what we have got some marvelous pattern card coming up for you next oh love these and do you know what i'm thinking I'm thinking Father's Day is just around the corner, is it not? It certainly is. Uh, it's on the 20th of June this year. Yes, it is indeedy. So if you want to make your Father's Day cards, boxes, gift tags, um, envelopes even with your scoring tools, uh, then you can do. We have got, I mean, look at where am I? That one there. <laughs> um, that's amazing. It almost looks like, you know, the posh patios that people have or the posh tiles that people have in their homes. It kind of looks like that. Look at that shimmer that you're getting on that. You get 10 of your per lessons and that is 300 GSM. All oh my days. Can I just pick this up and give it a wibble? A wibble. Now that's a new word for a wobble. I'm going to give it a wibble uh look at that now that is beautiful isn't it that is luxurious that is luxurious it's single-sided so single-sided bear that in mind when you're making and creating so great for folding over and making your cards because inside you've got that white area to write on sign in or maybe put a piece of artwork great for matting and layering as well as is the other cardstock that we've got available for you in this deal my word this is a huge deal by the way right so you're getting 10 of the per lessons you're getting 20 of the black which is 190 gsm you're getting 20 of your white also 190 gsm you're getting your black check which is beautiful i love that it's a real nice beautiful plaid isn't it and you're getting 10 of those they're 190 gsm and you're getting 40 of your black spot in the card but with the black spots you've got four different designs so you've got your bigger spots your smaller spots and your multi dot spots <laughs> I, I love these these are absolutely incredible and again for your matting and layering they will be perfect I'll show you what I mean let me grab a piece of white card first of all and let's grab some of the plaid the check now if you were to place that on the front you've actually already got your measurements because you've got your check going around the outside, you know that that would make a perfect frame. You, actually, that's really nice, isn't it? Or you could take it a little bit in. There you go. There you go. That's nice, isn't it? Now, yeah, I like that. And that really makes the white card stand. That's white, but you've got that nice grey in the background with your black. Oh, my goodness, we're approaching 20% of the stock gone. Do you know something else that I'm looking at as well with this? You could also cut that into squares itself, you know, so that way and then under there. Let me just, there you go, like that. So, yeah, it is like an optical illusion, but you could start cutting into that and you could put a little sentiment and those, they could be card toppers. It's the same with your spots as well. You can start matting and layering on those. Again, just placing some white card in the middle there. Look at that. Doesn't that look fabulous? A black card would look nice, especially the pearlescent. Let's bring some of that in. To mat you could do a three-way look. You could have spots on the outside, then you could have white, and then you could have your black card there or eliminate the 
white and go for your black. Now you can really start to mix and match. And you can do that because you're getting all of this for $12.99, saving £13. Unlucky for some, but very lucky for you. That's your baker's dozen. $12.99, is your item number. 20% of the stock is gone. Oh, my word. Very, very busy for that. That is beautiful. Now, you've already found the next set online. I told you you can go to the website and find everything before I get there. Right, so we've been busy for this. You're getting 50 sheets. It's 235 GSM. That's grams per square meter. Did you know that? Grams per square meter. That's how you measure cardstock. At uh, 9.99, saving 21 pounds. Now, that reminds me of the test card that used to come up at, do you believe this? 11 o'clock in the evening, TV used to go off. 11 in the evening. And then we were lucky, it went on until midnight. And then we used to get the test card coming up. And back in the day, we only had three channels. BBC One, BBC Two and ITV. That was it. We had no social media. The TV went off. And that was it. So then we just went to bed. That's all we did. And we had no morning TV. But now we've got crafting 24 hours a day, seven days a week, courtesy of thecraftstore.com and the craft store on your television. Because after 10 o'clock at night, we've gone to repeat. You can watch us all the way through the night on your smart devices, on your tablets, your smartphones. You can watch us on the TV, on your computers. You can take us with you. Woohoo! Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in your pocket wherever you go. You can wake up with me, you can go to bed with me. Now, you've got assorted colours, and they are beautiful rainbow colours to boot, 9 99 That's saving. What are you going to do with that £21? Probably stock up on some more of the cards that we've got available for you. Now, if you want to multi-buy, you can do. So if you're multi-buying, if you're buying this two times, you're saving £42. Yeah, do you know what? That It starts to go up in saving. So for under £20, you'll be saving £42 if you go for this twice. 050707 is your item number. Can I show you something? Because we have books around the studio. We have inspirational pieces around the studio. And I picked this up and I thought to myself, do you know what? We could do this with the cardstock that we've got on the show. I'm not going to do it for you now. But you could do a little bit of your origami. Your little animals, look at that. So all those different coloured cards that you're getting in your rainbow, you could now start making animals. We've got ducks in there. We've got snails in there. We've got a little cow in there. They're just having a gathering by the water hole, which is also made of card. You see? All the things that you could do. And if I flick through these pages, I might be able to find us another little project to do. Uh, oh, now, this is a great project for this. <clears throat> Are you ready? A kaleidoscope of butterflies. Now that's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Just some of the things that you can do. And they would be very sturdy butterflies, but I tell you something, wouldn't they make great name cards for tables? Mmm. All made out of your card stop. There you go. Right now, at the book, is not included. You'll have to get that yourself. Uh, but it was just some ideas, actually. I might uh, have a peruse. Oh, I've seen something else you might be able to make. Now, in crafting terms, Christmas comes early, does it not? Not only the fact that we've got some great deals for you right now, but we start Christmas a little early than normal. In fact, here on the craft store, we're starting Christmas next month, is it? Get your cardstock in. Yeah, look at those beautiful little angels. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? Uh, right, so that's what you can do with your cardstock, but you do need to get it home. 999-050-707 is your item number. Let's talk some grey board. What do you do with your grey board? We've got two different options for you, different item numbers, different sizes. So you're 12 by 12. I love grey board. Do you know what I do with mine? I'll put a bit of gesso on there. Could be white gesso, could be black gesso. And then I use it as a creative board. So I get my texture paste out, for example, uh, acrylic paints, and start painting on it. Now, we've got a really good thickness with this. You could, with your magnetic sheet, stick them on here. 
and then you've got your boards to place all your dies on there. You could get your graphic 45 papers and pop them on here. So you've got nice uh, construction style um, and it is super, super thick shirt. So shall we do the wibble wobble and shall we do the flick? Let's do it. So first of all, ah, you see, that's how stiff that is. Not a lot of wobble. You can't hear the wibble, but there's a lot of, no, there's not even a lot of wobble. Let's do the flick. Oh, ow. Yeah, I'm all right. I don't know why, but I'm going in again. Ow. Yeah, you see, that's, that needs a knock, not a flick. So some flick, some knock. So yeah, if you've got your dog at home, there you go. <laughs> Chaos at home now. Um, it's a great deal, isn't it? Eleven ninety nine, saving seven pounds. Five six zero three one four is your item number. Now, alongside that, we've got some A four. Uh, again, it's the same depth, same depth. You could use it in the same project if you want to. You could start making and creating instantly when you get these home. Nine ninety nine, five nine five six. 33 is your item number. I don't know why I stuttered there. Give us a call on 01733 or head to the website. And we only have these deals for this hour and this hour only. Now, we're kind of halfway down the counter, so here's the thing. If you've got any makes you would like to share with us, and it's always good to have inspirations, whether you've been folding your card, doing some of the old little origami, or whether you've made some mat and layering, or whether you've just made cards, anything you've made with paper or cards, send in your makes we'd love to see them we'd like to inspire other people as well that's what we do here at the craft store we help one another so email in it's studio at the craftstore.com and we'll have a look at that and your work will be shown on the telly box now my favorite colors are coming up next uh you're loving these already 20 percent of the stock has already gone this is the cobalt blue um do you know what it's it's, it's difficult to say coal is it coal, coal, cobalt or coal? Is there an L in it? No, I'm looking at it on the screen. There is no L in it. But I always say coal bolt, and that's why I can't say it properly. It's cobalt, Co cobalt. It's blue and it's lovely. And it's 270 GSM, that's grams per square metre. Um, it is cobalt, yeah. Now what I like about it is a little, there's, not texture, but there's a nice finish on this. Nice finish on this. It's nice and soft. Nice and soft. Oh, there's your flick. And again, has it got a wibble and a wobble? Of course it has. Look at that. Oh, that has got a good wibble wobble. Uh, 270 GSM. Shall we see if it goes all the way through to the core? Now, this is important because when you are maybe die cutting, you want to make sure it doesn't have a white core because we want it to be all the way through. So let's see, let's see. In fact, sorry, I've got a hair in my eye. Um, I'm gonna cut this in such a way and then I'm gonna do a little bit of crafting with it when we go back to the top of the counter. So you'll have to guess what I'm gonna make. So let's, let's, not, let's give this a little bit of thought as we're pairing. You might be able to think, now look at that. That is a cobalt center, is it not, on both sides? yeah now that could be yeah, a mountain range we'll probably we'll probably work with that when we head down the counter when we head down the counter do you ever get those annoying little things in your eyes it could be an eyelash could be a hair it could just be i'm all right i'm probably having a moment i don't need a moment they're becoming more frequent just having a moment I'm all right. Only a moment. Um, right, 30% uh, of the stock has gone. 999, 186696. Um, and you get a lot for your money here. 100 sheets, saving 10 pounds. That's a huge saving. And the great thing is, these get delivered to your door. If you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay. Wow, delivered price. Right, let's go to your cornflower blue. Um, this is a gorgeous blue. Again, it goes all the way through to the core. Um, it's a beautiful colour. These two would go really well together. Um, I think if you wanted to use them um, if you pop that on there you see they're a really nice tone on tone they work well together don't they that cobalt and the cornflower we are talking about the cornflower though 100 sheets in total 9.99 saving 14 pounds what an absolute bargain and you're getting 100 sheets 
a hundred sheets wow that means they are always going to be there for you as you go through your projects if you're using these as a four pieces of cardstock it's going to last you a hundred times and if you're chopping these into two it's going to last you 200 times if you're chopping these into four it's going to last you 400 times if you're chopping these even further it's going to last you a lot longer uh four three two eight two one is your item number 9.99 what a bargain what a bargain now we have got a big bump up bundle for you it certainly is my word now there's a whole mixture there's a whole mixture of colors and finishes and weights and they range from 160 to 350 gsm 200 sheets in total so we've got that lovely checked that's in there we've got gorgeous super duper smooth in white uh, we have got in here some lovely texture style cream we've got some silver in there as well which is beautiful yeah look at that How lovely it is like marble actually it looks like i tell you what it looks like it looks like marble or a bishop's finger a little bit like <laughs> well i went cheese shopping the other week and there was some uh, i should or is it, is it Bishop's Finger or Stinky Bishop? I can't remember which one it is now. Can we check? Can we, is it a Stinky Bishop, Jack? Can we check? <laughs> yeah, just, I, we are talking about cheese. So put cheese after Stinky Bishop, cheese. or Is it always called Stinking Bishop? Stinking Bishop. Um, we're kind of on the right lines. It looks like a smelly cheese, but it also looks rather fantastic as well. Uh, we've got some nice lime green, which is lovely, and some silver. And we've got some pink, same colour as my shirt. And we've got some gorgeous blue in there. Um, contents will vary. And they are assorted colours, but for that saving, my word what a bargain. Saving £25, you're getting 200 sheets, it's 9.99 what does that work out per sheet 9.99 divided by 200 divided by is five p a sheet five p a sheet yeah look at that look at that because uh, if you would div if you divide it by 100 it would be nine pence then you divide it by two um yeah five pence a sheet isn't it 9.99 divided by 200 five pence a sheet yeah look at that bargain absolute bargain. i did i did that all in my head I did that all in my head, just like we used to do at school. We had no calculators at school. The odd abacus every now and again. And the odd smart person sitting next to you every now and again. I bet we all did that, didn't we? Uh, number 99, 542640. A whole variety of different projects, including... Your, can we show that origami book again? Gonna go grab it. You, look at the, you look at that. You look, oh! Let's have a look over here. I'll go over there. Um, because I'm going to pick up another project. So I, I'd like, I'd like, we're not selling the book. We're not selling the book. But I'm just giving you some inspiration. Ooh. 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 How about having a carnival with your card? A carnival, a card, ca a cardival. Yes, let's have a cardival. Uh, that would be fantastic with all your different coloured cards. Let's have a look for another project because we've got lots of brightly coloured cardstock in here. Again, matting and layering, but let's get a little bit ambitious. I've showed you the, I've showed you the butterflies. I'm just going for another one. I'm showing you the carnival. Um, party, parties are great. Uh, bunting, bunting will be amazing in all this different coloured card, don't you think? I'm just trying to find one more project for you. Uh, if you've got the grandkids coming round and you could make and create some fabulous bunting. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look what this is called. Blooming flowers. Blooming flowers. Um, isn't that lovely? I think this is, yeah, I think it is a Dutch book. That could be. Could be, yeah, could be the translation. Blooming flowers, like blooming. I love that. I think it's Dutch or German. Forgive me if I don't know. Anyway, uh, there you go. You could make those as well. 542640 is your item number. Uh, what an amazing deal. Right. Now, when you're making cards, you need some envelopes and cardstock to place your designs on. Well, we've got some for you. 
These are your five by five. It's a good size, actually. So I like this size card. I think it's fabulous. Oh, I folded two then. Um, it's a great size card. Again, putting your... Um, your card toppers on there would look amazing. And if you're using any of the coloured card to matten there on top of that, how cool would that be? Uh, we're sorting you out with the envelopes as well, £11.99. So you're getting 100 sets in total. So when they're folded, they will go in there perfectly. Now, shall I, I've got a question for you guys at home. Right, two questions. Number one, when you put your cards in your envelopes, do you make sure that the actual design is on the other side so that it's not show telling through the front? Okay, I need to know that. Let me know. Secondly, do you put the fold in first? Do you go side in or do you go bottom? Side in. So if you go side in, is that the best way to put your cards in? Always go side in, I'm being told. So the open bit shouldn't be facing the top. This is, this is a card science. Right, guys, I need you to email in and let me know. St uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. I need to know which way that card needs to go in there for card etiquette. Is there a correct way? Let me know. Let me know. £11.99, 532202 is your item number. Great little size, that. And we've got the envelopes to boot. Love. And do you know what I like about these as well? I like the fact that you've got that little bit of curve on the bottom. And do you know what else I like about this? We don't always have to lick it. We're living in a pandemic, so why don't you just tuck it away? See? Don't have to lick and stick anymore. Just tuck it away. And you could put a little seal over there. That would be lovely. Uh, right, 532202 is your item number. This is a happy hour. It's great to have your company. Uh, we have got, oh, this is great. Now, I hope this is going to come across uh, on the cameras. I'm going to hold this so you can see, because this is pretty amazing. There you Now, look at that. Oh, there you go. So you've got that lovely embossed detail in there. I do like this. It's going to be fantastic for a whole variety of different projects. Again, matting and layering, because you've got those stripes in there. Maybe popping your gilding wax along the top, or maybe just some paint to really lift that detail. That would be a really good idea, actually. If you were to get your paintbrush and paint, which is the right and wrong side? There's no right or wrong, actually. Just right, slowly raise up. If you were to get your paintbrush or your pens, well, maybe I could try that out. Maybe I'll get a pen or a pencil. A pencil. A pencil would be amazing. We'll have a look. We'll have a look, see if we can find a pencil to see what it looks like. Um, 9 99 saving £20 on that deal. Uh, it is an amazing deal as well. 117122 is your item number. Now, something you haven't seen yet, which is on the website, is your super duper smooth. Great for stamping, great for colouring, great for your acrylic paints. 375986 is your item number, saving £15. It's 9 99 It's for uh, 240 GSM as well. So it's a good weight. It's a very, very good weight. Now we've got some textured sky blue card for you next. We've got 100 sheets. We're treating you here. Look at that. Half price, 9 99 Now that is lovely. It's like a linen effect, isn't it? Uh, sky blue as well. It's a gorgeous colour. 708659. And do you know what I like about that as well? Uh, not just for the summer months. I think that will also be nice uh, at Christmas time because it's a nice blue, isn't it? It's sort of like a wintry blue. Now we've got a linen embossed card for you as well. My word, we're really treating you in this happy hour. This one is 270 GSM. You get 100 sheets, it's a happy hour deal, 11.99. You will be laughing your socks off when that comes to the door, saving 13 pounds. Again, unlucky for some, but lucky for you. 903-998 is your item number. Now, if we haven't given you enough deals, we've got some seven day savers for you. Uh, again, great to stock up. So throw these in your basket as you check out. This is your foam pad and glue dot collection. Wow, 8,800 pads. My days, my days. Uh, not pounds, pads. Look at that. And do you know what? These are really, really useful because you've got the smaller ones, all individual. 9.99, really easy to take off. 8,800 little foam pads for you there. And then we've got 800 sticky glue dots. Sticky glue dots. Um, now... 
Where are? I don't know whether you can let me. Can you? Shall I put some black card? Oh, you can see it right there. Can you see it better if I put some black card? Oh, just as much. Oh, sorry. No wonder. No wonder there's not one there because they're there at the top. There you go. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, really easy to use. Do you know what I use these for as well? Wrapping. Hide the tape. Wrap with a dot then you'll be spot on uh, and they're all perforated as well so you can just simply pull them apart like so 9.99 excellent deal that absolutely superb 8831688 is your item number now we have got your watercolor in illustration inspiration and guide oh this is good wow do you know what you know when you want to start watercoloring it's it's nice to have a stamp to be able to stamp it out but if you don't have the stamps this is perfect for you you get 20 of the printed illustrations are they the same oh they're all different let's have a look at these so you've got your beautiful sunflowers there aren't they gorgeous you can cut into these and cut them out afterwards we've also got your lovely daisies with a bit of zing tangle dingle dangle in the midst of them um, we've also got more sunflowers for you. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Again, with some zing tangle dingle dangle in there for you. Um, and we've actually got some finished samples behind as well. Oh, hang about, hang about, hang about, love. Look at that. Now these would be these are these would just be an absolute pleasure to colour in. Whether you're using your pens whether you're using your paints uh, to give these to the kids as well when they come round just to colour in would be amazing and you know if you're sitting outside you've got the family round you've got a barbecue um, give these to the children give them some pens and pencils on the table so that they can colour in and it's something for them to take home with them and they'll really remember that wouldn't that be lovely um, beautiful beautiful floral displays in here 20 pieces in total absolutely incredible no two will be the same once you've colored them in because everyone will color them in differently I've got some finished samples to have a look at which would be really nice so we've got your inspiration is that a finished sample of course they're behind I knew that that's just showing you the different brush strokes isn't it yes it is yes it is uh, and then you've got a foreword you can paint no seriously you can everybody can everyone's an artist everyone's an artist so yeah starting to paint with watercolors and it's always nice to get started in the right way right let's have a look at these samples here we go here we go oh Trayvon look at that isn't that lovely Trayvon as they say oh my goodness you wait till you see the next one Oh, I don't know about Trayvon. That is a little bit monge too, isn't it? Look at in it. I went all Lester then. In it, in it. Oh, look at that. We have a sunflower growing competition at our allotment. We do indeed. I've never won because I've never planted one. Uh, so maybe if I did, I would. Uh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Right, if you want to go for that, £13.99, a nice little new hobby, craft for you, 719474. Oh, talking about new crafts and hobbies, if you want to take something up, maybe you want to start a new craft, maybe you want to start a new hobby, but you just want a taster at it. Maybe you want to start knitting, maybe you want to start crocheting, maybe you want to start soft crafts, but you don't want to go out and buy the whole full kit and caboodle. Well, how about we get you a kit and caboodle for £5? and give you lessons. Would you like that? Well, tune in to nine o'clock tonight. You can head to the website and go and have a look and already get those kits if you want. Uh, right, Mama makes, Mama makes some fantastic stamps. We've got some great stamps here for you. You've got nine stamps in total. They come beautifully, beautifully packaged for you. Uh, I'll pop them that way. I'm going to show you the stamps themselves. So you've got something for all kinds of occasions, beautifully packaged. So we can have a look at all the difference. You've got cozy hugs, happy birthday to you. Uh, lovely presents, cake. Oh, do you know what? I could do with a bit of cake now. Sprinkles on there, make a wish, happy birthday. Happy birthday to my most favourite human ever. Oh, 
Look at that. Birthday wishes, cupcake kisses. Oh, I love it. Right, let's show you the stamps because they're great size stamps. They really, really are. Um, I've got this on a bit of black card. There you go. Turning it that way, you should be able to see. So you've got those, f the big, actually, if I just grab, excuse me for a second. Yeah. Do you know what? That's your card front done, isn't it? You know, if you're going for the cards with the envelopes, just stamp that on the front or emboss it. Wow, that'd be amazing. And the other one fit perfectly. Uh, let me show you the another set to show you the great sizes we've got there as well. Also, just it's a statement piece, isn't it? One stamp says it all. Use them inside or outside. Use them for tags. Also, wrapping paper as well. 582-971 to write a number. £19.98. That's for nine stamps in total. Good size stamps. Right, let's head to the website. This is where you can find your seven-day savers. Uh, scroll down. Go to your latest offers. And there's your seven day savers. You'll find the countdown clock. So you've got three days, 14 minutes, 26 uh, minutes. No, sorry. Three days, 14 hours, 26 minutes and seconds to boot. So it'll tell you how long you've got. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got some more Mama Makes. Oh, these are brilliant. The hexagon heavens. Yeah, these are really on trend at the moment. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, we've also got pink frog for you. Oh, look at that. Immaterial Magic Polar Bears cotton canvas fabric. <gasps> that is fabulous, isn't it? And we've got some zips as well. So plenty of seven-day savers to go and have a look at. Right, now, we have said that most of the items, if not all of the items, if you're, well, actually all the items, if you're a Freedom member, you're not paying any PMP. You also get great discounts as Freedom members. And if you want to become a Freedom member, here's our lovely Leonie to tell you some more. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Oh, thanks, Leone. Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth becoming a Freedom member. Right, so let's head down your happy hours again. We have got 25 minutes. Let's have a look at the clock. There, am I looking in the right way for the clock? I never, I never, can I? Can I? Oh, I touched it. I touched, let's not go into it. I'm not very good at things. I'm not, I'm not very good at, 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 I was never good at aerobics or anything like that. Never went to aerobics class. They'd say go one way, I would go the other. They'd say jump up, I'd be sitting down. I'm that kind of person. It's just the way it is. Uh, right, shall I clap a little? There you go. I like that. That was my... My... Left. That was my left. My left. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm so confused. Right, okay. Uh, your happy hour, we have got that amount of time left, 25 minutes. You do need to check out your baskets before the top of the hour, and we've been exceptionally busy. So, smooth card. This is high white, so it's going to give you a great finish, whether you're using embossing powders, whether you're stamping on here, using your acrylic paints, using your alcohol markers. Um, it's high white, so it's a good backdrop. 350 GSM. So, again, great wobble. Great tap. Also, shall we bring in that cobalt blue? Look at that against that. So there's your mountain range instantly. That's, do you know what? That's not, that's not bad. And you could put that behind it. You've got, yeah, you've got double the mountains. Doesn't it look great against the white? I love that. Or, A up, A up, just thought of something else. How about, you've seen those mountains in the evening. How about now, snow cap mountains? And that's the sky. Look at look what you can do with a bit of ripped card. 
what will you do with your high white card when you get it home? Nine ninety nine, saving three pounds. Again, if you want to send us some inspiration, you're more than welcome to do so. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. We would love to hear from you this evening. Nine ninety nine, two four three three seven zero is your item number. Now we've got plain spots and a little bit of plaid check for you next. This has been very very popular. Uh, I love this. You can mix and match all of this card when you're making. You could do some really cool matting and layering. Look at the sparkle in that. That is absolutely phenomenal. It's almost like a granite worktop, isn't it? It would also make, yeah, a beautiful night sky. Could, could be a bit of a shimmer on the top of the water at night time. Yeah, you could put a, put a moon on there. Um, actually, it's the eclipse of the moon today. Did you know that? Uh, ele it was 11, 12 this morning. It was all in the day. I don't know whether we're going to see it again. I think it was happening a couple of times or in different times. I think it was 11, 12 this morning. Yeah, I think it. Mm. Uh, right. So what an incredible deal for your cardstock. You might be crafting this evening under the moon. Uh, 158758 is your item number. 300 GSM is your top and 190 is the bottom. So you've got that range in between. 100 sheets in total, £12.99 saving. £13. That's an incredible deal. It's a half price deal. So here's the thing. If you usually pay £25.99 for this collection, why don't you buy it twice? Do yourself a favour. And this is the most expensive item on the show. Everything is under £12.99. So this is a fantastic deal. So whether you like your spots, whether you like your dots, what's the difference between a spot and a dot? A spot's bigger, dots are smaller. A dot's bigger, spot's smaller. Maybe spots are the chunky ones, dots are the little ones. Oh, it's all about nouns. A spot means a round or a regular patch, and a dot means a small spot. Crikey, Mikey, explanation, Ikey. There you go. <sighs> That was a doozy boozy. Uh, so we got, so, ooh, makes me eyes go. You got your small dots, your big dots, your little spots, your big spots. You got your checks, your plaids, and your planes. Almost going into a song then. Uh, 158758 is your item number. Don't miss out on this. It's an exceptional deal with Father's Day just around the corner. Don't fall short of that great card stock to make and create great cards. Right, we've got some colour for you now. This is your rainbow card pack. Isn't this fabulous? Look at all those colours. 50 sheets and they're 235 GSM. Beautiful. Even if you were to cut them in thin strips like that, it would make a great card. So here's the thing. Cut them into thin strips like that and then... Let me just lift this up because I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I'm just going to... I'm just going... Oh, oh, da, 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 da. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of the white. Bear with. Don't be afraid. There's not a real bear. There's not a real bear. So if you were to cut these into strips... There's, there's, there's method to my madness. There's, there's method to my madness. I don't know what... Actually, I really don't know what I'm doing here. I, I'm, I'm lost completely. And I'm just, I'm just thinking you, you could cut into that. You could have them all striped, and even that would make a great card topper. No? Maybe not then. Let's just put the white stock back, and let's move on, pretend it didn't happen. Never mention that again. Never mention it again. We'll move on. Didn't happen. Didn't say anything. The choice is all yours, what you do with it. Uh, it, it is fabulous, so it really is. And this will be delivered to your door. All the colours of the rainbow and then a little bit more. 9 99 saving a whopping £21. Remember, if you go for this twice, you'll be saving £42. I know you know that. Uh, right, we've got some grey board for you now. It's great for your construction. Also great for putting some gesso on as well. Uh, you can put your magnetic sheets on here. You can put your papers on here. If you were to white gesso this, then maybe get some of your rice papers on here. There's another project for you. Uh, 560314 is your item number. £11.99. It's a great deal, fantastic price point for you. Saving £7. And it's a, a 1,200 micron. Uh, which is 1200, 1200 micron or 1200 micron. Doesn't matter how you say it, it's the same thing. Or 15 mil, all 650 GSM. 
Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? Is that, is that the end of the joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? I think it is. And then you go, ha, ha, ha. Do you know another one as well? You could say to somebody, what's under there? And they say, underwear. I said it was a happy hour for the prices, not for my jokes. Shall we move on? Shall we move on? Uh, we've got some A4 grey card for you now. A4. Again, perfect for you to uh, paint over uh, with your gessos, put your magnetic sheets on. In fact, it'll be the exact right size for your A4 magnetic sheets, will it not? 20 sheets of your grey board in total, 1,200 micron or 1,200 micron. A4 grey board for you, 595-633 is your item number. Shall we give it the knock? Let's knock it. There you go. That. Do you know something? Hang on a minute. Let's tap this one. That's perfect. You could use both of these together to make some kind of construction. Uh, 595-633 is your item number. That is an amazing deal. Right, shall we head on to the coal cobalt? Co co cobalt. Cowbolt. Cobalt. Cobalt. What does cobalt mean? It means blue. Does it mean, some, does it mean something else? Does it have a meaning? Because I like to know the meaning behind words and names and then I kind of have a better understanding. That's it. It's the chemical number of atomic element 27, is it? A hard, silvery, white, magnetic metal. Do you know what? How interesting is that? Cobalt blue. Who knew? Uh, is that... Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, yeah but... Uh, um, so that means it's on the periodic table, cobalt. Number 27 on the periodic table. And there's that famous song, isn't there, for remembering the periodic table. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing it because I can't remember it. Uh, 9.99, saving £10, 186.696 is your item number. And this does cut through to the very core. Have another look at that. Have another look at the cobalt. Yeah, I'm off. I'm coming back, though. I'm coming back. Right, come back, come back. Here I am, here I am. Um, oh, hello, where are you off? Stay there, settle down. Uh, it cuts through to the very core. It cuts through to the very core. And just a simple tear that we did earlier on today, just a simple tear against a white background. Look at that, we made some hills and we made some mountains. Yeah. And you know what's really nice? Because it tears all the way through to the core, it looks like a little bit of a shadow, doesn't it? Uh, let me take the bottom away because you don't need to see that. And then if we turned it the other way, look at that, multifunction. It's now snow-capped mountains with a dark blue sky. Love that. Do you know paper piecing images is very popular? I went to um, a garden centre and there was a little back room and there was a, a, a workshop. And in there they've, cut, they've got lots of different magazines, lots of different pieces of paper. And they were just placing them together and creating pictures. It was amazing. So not using any paint, but collaging with different coloured pieces of card. It was really, really good. You could do that with the great card stock and paper stock that we've got for you on the show. Give that a thought. Nine ninety nine for your cobalt blue. You're getting 100 sheets of that. Wow, amazing. Now, let's have a look at the cornflower blue. I really like this blue. This is beautiful. It's a soft blue, isn't it? It's like a powder blue. A spring blue. Why do they call it powder blue? Here's another thing. Powder blue. Because surely powder could be any colour. But powder blue, the, lots of people say powder blue a lot, don't they? Oh, it's a powder blue. Maybe it's just soft, like powder. Powdered. Ah, powdered. In the 1650s, they used to use powdered smalt, which is... Cobalt, co oh, here we go. <laughs> cobalt glass was ground down to make a fine powder, and that was used in laundering and dyeing applications. You see, every day is a school day. And then it became a colour name in 1894. You learn something every... I, I, do you know what? 
I knew there was method to my to my madness. It's in my head because I, I don't know about you guys at home. Do your own research, of course. But doesn't it make more sense when you when you understand why things are called things? It, it makes more sense to me. Maybe it's just me, uh, but I'm like that. I like to know, and then everything just falls into place. Nine ninety nine, saving fourteen pounds. Four three two eight two one is your item number. 300 GSM cornflour. Um, so it's not it's not powder blue. I just said it's like powder blue. It's cornflour. Let's move on. Uh, we've got lots of coloured card and lots of different GSMs for you. So we have got that lovely plaid in here. Uh, we have got some gorgeous. This is wow. This has almost got like um like a waxy finish to it. Yeah, like a waxy shine to it. So that's in there. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, now that, yeah, look at that. You've got the lines in there, so you've got a bit of that. In fact, it looks like you're getting a little bit of everything that we've got on the show for you today in this mixed pile. That's nice, isn't it? You could do a lot with this. And then we've got that, oh, wow, that's your nice sky, isn't it? Look at that. That is nice. We like that. We like that. Um, and then you've got your green, which is fabulous. Uh, that's single-sided, by the way. So it's white one side and green the other. Uh, and then you've got your other colours in there, like your pinks, your yellows, your oranges, and your reds. Wow. Saving £25. So the finishes on here are between 160 GSM and 350 GSM and you get 200 sheets in total. That is quite some stash. That is a stack and a half. Do you know what? I wonder what it sounds like when you drop it on the table. Shall we do the drop? Let's gather this in. I shall ask my I shall ask my floor manager if it's okay and appropriate and safe to do so. Jack, is it okay and appropriate and safe to do so? No, he's saying. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm not. I, I take what my floor manager says. On, Very. Oh, he says go on. He says go on then. Go on then. Right, you ready? It's not going to knock everything else off. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Whoa! <sighs> Should we do it again? Right, are you ready? So, you must do this when you get this home. Because the, the postie is going to come up your driveway. This is going to weigh a lot. And here we go. Here they go, should I say. Um, yeah, imagine the dog trying to grab this through the door. Three, two, one. Ooh. Whew. Right, oh yeah. Right, 9.99. Have we stopped? Have we stopped? Shall I stop? Shall I stop? Uh, 542640 is your item number 999. That is quite some stash of card and a great deal for you. Amazing. Right. Now, when you're making your cards, you need something to put them in and put them on. Now, the correct way we've been told of folding a card and placing it in the envelope is to hold the card with its front side facing up. So let's say I'm opening the card that way. That's the front. OK, get the envelope or envelope. And you pop it in so the fold is at the bottom. And the front of the card is facing the back of the envelope. Now, that's interesting. Apparently, did someone email that in? We found that out online using our own research. You can find lots of things online. So, when you receive your card, you open the envelope. Now, with this, you do have the gummy, gummy, gummy gum there. Um, and you can, instead of licking it, because we do have to remember we are in a certain situation at the moment. So maybe just get a moist sponge and uh, sponge it on. So just get, or get, get something that's wet, like a cloth or a sponge, and just press it there. Something a little bit moist, a little bit damp, um, or just simply tuck it away. And then you could put, do you know what? You know those little dots you get for, for your journaling, uh, your little sticky dots that you can put on, you know, when you, when you, you know, when you, when you do kind of what we're trying to say, you know, the, you know, the multicolored dots, they're not, they're not gloss, they can be glossy, but they're just normal dots that you buy from a stationery and you put them on something to say that's color coded. You could put one of those just to seal it on the back. Just an idea, just an idea. Anyway, the point that we're getting to is we open it up and this is how you take your card out. Ah, so that's at the top. 
and then that reveals the card and it's ready for you to open up of course genius genius so that's a good way of remembering so bottom in first in it goes let it talk to you hello thank you for making me and then when the person receives it they open it up and they go "Ooh, who's this from and then it's revealed and it's in the right area you see everything has a method there's method in everything i love that um it's a great size as well it's a perfect size if you've got any wedding stationery to make or your batch making what and do you know what it's multifunctional because you can have this landscape or portrait 11.99 saving eight pounds five three two two zero two is your item number right shall we have a look at what's coming up tonight here on the craft store let's have a look so um oh that was midnight you see you can go on the website you can see all the shows and you can also watch on rewind so stop okay so uh hammer town uh get groovy one day special that's coming up next with our lovely fee uh, and paul church is back live in the studio it's great to see him he really is and it's a rather special one day special too uh we've got block blitz paving cleaning with our fee again at seven o'clock and we had a busy show earlier on lots of five star reviews for that get your home and your house and your surrounding areas nice and clean um we also have the one day special back at eight o'clock and then at nine o'clock if you've ever wanted to start a new craft, maybe you do a lot of knitting, but you want to do watercolouring. Maybe you do a lot of watercolour painting, but you want to do knitting. Maybe you do a bit of crochet, but you want to do soft crafts. Maybe you do soft crafts, but you want to do a bit of crochet. Our Catherine and our Hayley, our Hayley Smith and Hayley and Matthew Palmer have got some great kits for you. Now they're only five pounds. Oh my days. They're reduced to five pounds. We'll send the kit out to you. We'll give you the date for the programme. You can craft along at home with Catherine, with Hayley, with Matthew. And then you can have some homework and there'll be another show. You'll have some homework, there'll be another show. It's only £5 and you're not paying for those lessons or the workshops. They're all included. It is an amazing deal. Get your family involved, get the kids involved. Age dependent, of course. But please do join me at 9 o'clock tonight. You can go to the website now and buy them. You can. Be sneaky. Get to the website. Uh, oh. We've got a challenge. We've got a challenge for the last few minutes. Okay, I can use, I can use the next three, four pack shots to create a scene in three minutes. Okay, so I need my backdrop, which is the white. Um, I'm going to get, can I get a selection? Get a selection of that, hold fire, and I've got a selection of this. Okay, so what shall I do? I need to create a scene. What scene shall I create? Well, we're all going to the seaside at the moment. Uh, can I rip into the card? I can? You sure? Sure? Okay, let's do this. Right. Oh, great. This is, this is white. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Bear with, bear with. Let's just fold that, fold that, fold that. I'm going to tear this with my very hands, very hands, very hands. Okay, guess what that is? That's the C with the white, with the white. So we need some sand, we need some sand. Let's go for yellow sand. Let's place that underneath. Let's, so we don't need the white. What are you doing with the white, Janice? I don't know, don't need that. Let's go for that. So that's your C coming onto the sand. Now, 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 now. We need some uh, beach towels. We need some beach towels. Okay, beach towels uh, normally uh, are patterned, aren't they? So let's go for the check. Let's whiz that down there. Uh, let's just tear that. Oh, hello. Let's just do that. Uh, let's do that. And let's. Uh, 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 oh, I've got a little bit. Oh, it doesn't matter. 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 It does. Towels have a little bit of a wiggly edge, but not my towel. No, it's going to be neat. It's going to be neat. It's got to be neat. Got to be neat. Got to be neat. Let's just do that. So now let's have. How long have we got? I've got a minute and a half. That's a towel on the beach. That's a towel on the beach. Now, with the towel on the beach, I need some cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. Let me run down and get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Oh, no, I've got that. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Where is it? Where have I put it? Oh, look. Tick tock, tick tock. Where are my mountains? What have I done with my mountains? Sorry, I don't know why I went like that. Where are the mountains? 
Are they under, under the big 12? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. We need an umbrella. We need an umbrella. We need an umbrella. I've not got a lot of time to cut this, so I'm just going to do it straight across like that. How long have we got? One minute. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tear it like that. Da, 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 da. Oh, like that. Uh, so, how... Oh, Oh, right. Uh, so we need that there. We need that there. We need, we need, we need something white just to get down there. Um, that is your umbrella. There you go. That's on the beach towel. So that's your beach towel on your umbrella. What else do we need? That's the sea coming in. We need a sandcastle. We need a sandcastle and a, and, and a who? And a bearded chuff. Oh, I don't know about bearded chuff. Um, um, uh, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, sandcastle, sandcastle, sandcastle. Sometimes sandcastles are a little bit darker. I don't know why they're darker than the actual sand. Because they're wet. Because they're wet. Because they're wet. There you go. Everything's darker when it's wet. There you go. There's the sandcastle. There you go. That's my scene. Thank you very much. It's been great having you here for the happy hour. Please check out your baskets. There's a scene. Oh, thank you. I'll be framing that and uh, putting that onto one of those artist websites to sell that. Oh, Get Groovy One Day Special is coming up next. And guess what? Gold Church is here, isn't he? Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me the demonstrator and you the customers and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. Make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Next Door brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me and continue your crafting journey with me and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. very good evening to you and welcome to the launch of the one day special we have got a fabulous new groovy plate collection and yes he's here he's in the building he's not on skype i'm so pleased to see him it's a lovely paul church hello good evening good evening it's lovely to be here fiona oh we're so excited i'm sure a lot of viewers are going to be excited to have you here with us in this evening as well and for a very special occasion as I well oh i know Beautiful. how gorgeous is this tell me about our one day special we'll get straight to it paul. okay so the one day special josie davidson a lot of people that are into their groovy will be very familiar with that beautiful name mm -hmm. and jo josie's sort of queen of grids and lace work 
work. And when we talk about lace work, when we look at the samples, you see this beautiful sort of frame around the artwork. Yeah. And it's a skill to be able to create that mm. quite easily. So what Josie has done, she's broken it down for us. Right. And we're looking at the samples here. So you can see you've got that intricate lace, the pico cutting, the white work. And if it was done traditionally, it would be on a grid that has thousands and thousands of holes. This is what you're telling me. It sounded horrendous. And what you would have to do, you'd have to count them and make up your own pattern. And then if you made a mistake, you've got to adapt your pattern or start again. <laughs> or start and then, again. Like, oh, lose the wheel. Oh, completely so lost Josie the wheel, yes. So Josie has made this. These are beautiful. These are A4 square plates. So these are our big plates. Yeah, the big, yeah. And what Josie has done is... It gives you the combination of both embossing mm -hmm. and perforating. Ooh. So there's no counting, there's no thinking about it, and you can easily achieve these beautiful results. Now, when you look at these, the artwork from the fantastic design team, you'll think, oh, I'm not into my Pico cutting, I don't want to cut them out mm. yet. Then what will happen is that you adapt it because that's all about the groovy journey. Right. So if you're not into the Pico cutting, you can just perforate. Yeah. And get a beautiful result. Still get result. a fantastic effect, yeah. All of the plates have straight lines on them as well to create frames. Right. So again, if you don't want to cut out the, the intricacy, oh. then you could just cut it down with a craft knife and a ruler. Fab. So we've got lots of choice there with that perforating and that embossing. So this is part of a large range, isn't it, with Josie? We've moved to the princes now because you were telling me about the kings and we've the queens. We've got the kings, the queens, the princesses, princesses. the um, Italian cities, yes. the ribbon lace plates plates it yeah it's just so and when you see what people create with them that have never ever been able to do it before yeah it's just mad phenomenal it really really is phenomenal um so we've got it on two flexify payments so you it's working out at the moment for 59 pounds 96 you're 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 getting four of these fabulous plates but you're only paying for three but if you're a Freedom Club member, look at that discount. It takes it right down. £26 saving, which is huge. It takes it right down to £53.96 and, and two flexible payments there of £26.98. And, and already we have a lot of interest, Paul. Almost 20% of the stock <gasps> has gone. Wow. I know. I've barely had time to show a sample. Something I will show, though, is the individual princes, if that's all right, Paul, just simply because these cards are made up for us to see the intricate designs. That's right. So what Josie has done, Josie has created these beautiful frames from them. And that's the whole idea of the plates. Now you can do square frames, you can do rectangle frames, you can just do borders. And in each of the four different plates that you're going to get, you also get the cutting guide as well. Ooh. So Josie tells you how to work with it, how to do the embossing first, then the perforating and then where to cut as well because it's really important to be able to know how to do that to get this beautiful lace type of effect there we go i'm going to show everybody um in terms of our guys and what have you there we go so you've got the the pattern grids there so that's what it will look like if you follow the instructions and then on the reverse yeah. you can see that beautiful corner yeah and in the red it tells you exactly where to pico cut that's fantastic that's really useful that's so useful because if you weren't sure how to approach that that's 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 just a gift isn't it that's just well it's like anything incredible. that clarity we bring to you we don't yeah. just bring you something and then say right go and get on with it yes. um, <laughs> it's especially with loose. something with with this it's you need to be able to learn and we have Groovy Worldwide and Clarity Worldwide where all our beautiful design team are on there yeah. and they can answer any questions. These are Glynis's. I'm just showing some of Barbara's Paisley's there as well. And the design team, I mean that one was Glynis wasn't it, that yes. one there. And you can see they've combined them, so the one we're looking at the front there it's is James. from Jane Telford. Can then we've got Crystal. Harry so it's there. using a combination of two other plates we have on oh. the show as well. Yes. We've got Lind um, Barbara's Paisley's. Paisley sampler, yes, which is wild. brand new tonight. Yeah. And then Linda's one, two, three wildflowers. Gorgeous. I'm trying to show some of those individual plates there that we've got. Forgive me, I want to show you Philip. Here he is. Oh, wow. 
Oh my gosh, these samples. So this that was gorgeous Francis. from Francis, isn't it? So Francis, rather than take a, an outside frame, she's created a frame panel to be the centerpiece of her card. I'd never thought of doing it that. That's phenomenal. And then Jane, my goodness, Jane. So Jane's done a really nice just border, just using yes. an element of the plate as well. Stunning. And then we'll move to the Albert, and this is Francis's sample there. Okay, isn't and that then gorgeous? we've got. Oh, look at this now. That's using the new Paisley plate. That's Carol's. Isn't that stunning? Oh, they're amazing. Now, that's just a sample of a few. There's so many here. Uh, all the princes here, very, very busy. I don't want to muddle them up. We've got cues on the phone line. Please, if I can direct you to the web, if you've got access, then that will expedite the process there. And, uh, yeah, please don't miss out, especially with that £26 discount for the Freedom Club members. Now, you mentioned the new plates there, Paul. Let's move on to this phenomenal system here because already 10% is gone. There's a lot going on here, isn't there, Paul? <laughs> there is. So I've just heard in my ear how much of the stock has gone already. Yes, I know. We haven't even <laughs> shown it yet. No. So, again, this is another... It was a, an idea that um, we do... When we're working with our plates, yes. we have a plate mate. You do, In order yes. to house our plates so when we're working with parchment. And basically... What we did, we have a Celtic A4 square plate, mate. And when I was using Linda's um, gatefold Ooh, plates, they were um, an A4 folds. plate. And yeah. so I had that either end of it. Yeah. But there was a gap in the middle. Right. So Dave, Barbara's husband, Mr. Clarity, he was watching and he said to Barbara, he went, oh, we need to do some spaces for that. Ah. So those little panels in the middle, one of them's gone a bit wonky. Oh, well, These yeah. are what we call extenders. So right. this would allow you to take the A4 square plate made and then make it bigger so yes. that your A4 plates will fit in there perfectly. Ah. So in you want to show me that in, in practice. That's right. And what you're also going to get, these, um, this design is embossed, so there's no perforating, and it's designed by Josie again. Yeah. And it's the first time on a single plate where we've combined both diagonal, diagonal. and straight patterns. Which we just saw in that beautiful That's color. right. Yeah. So the, the prince plates are based on a straight pattern. Yeah. And then the plate mate here, oh. you've got diagonal and straight as well. Gosh. And then we've got, the, 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 yes, so then we've got our groovy tabs there as well. 16 of those, which I know you always use to hold everything in place. So you've got your lovely square grid with the extenders, your groovy tabs there, and your plate mate. Absolutely amazing. But you're going to show us just how that fits together, Paul, if that's all right. Yes, absolutely. So basically, when we get the um, plate, it comes in two parts. I don't think it's broken. We, in the office, we call it the broken plate, mate. But <laughs> only because if we was to pop that in the post to you with the plate in the middle, oh. what's the chances? One, it's not really going to go through your letterbox. No. And two, would it survive in one piece? In transit, no. So basically, you have your A4 square plate. Yep. That goes in the middle. And then what happens is you bring this around to either side of it. Gosh. You then take your groovy tabs so that it holds it in place. Whoops. All the fingers and thumb. So it holds it in place just like that. And they're and reusable, they, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, what I tend to do is just keep two on there and it acts oh. as a hinge. Oh, right. You see? And then that fits in there. Yeah. Now, if I've got one of my A4 plates, for example, I've just got a plate mate here. Mm. So if I want to extend that, then all I would do... I mean, it's, a, it's so simple, but it is so effective. The best ideas always are, though, aren't they? Yeah. So there we go. We've got. A, ah. So this is what I was doing before. Yes. Because our original plate mate, that's how it worked. So and Dave saw you the gap. You had this gap. Yeah. So then we have these beautiful little spacer oh. or extenders that just pop perfectly oh into there. And then if I take my larger piece of parchment, oh. it wow. means now I can attach my parchment to the plate mate yes. and again still check my work like who would with a normal plate the mate. The possibilities are endless with it. I mean there's so much on that plate mate. There is the, the design of it. I mean I have so this more. beautiful sample here from yeah. Josie <gasps> and um, what she explained was that she's combined both the um, straight and the diagonal together which wow. isn't really sort of been possible before Gosh. but Josie's made it so easy to do and even though these are embossed, you then take a basic grid and then you can perforate in between the embossed pattern or around the outside, <gasps> just like Josie's done. Wow. 
Oh my gosh, so many possibilities. Very, very busy on this uh, fabulous brand new bundle. £29.97. We've got some more stunning samples as well. Um, 077430. Now this is Francis and uh, isn't that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? Now, she's using Linda's Wildflowers, which are on the show tonight, and we've talked about Barbara's Paisley, so please have a look at those, because they are on the show as well. Isn't that beautiful? Love those wildflowers there. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at the intricacies. I love this idea, as Paul just said, of, yes, this is the embossing, but we can use it with the, the perforated uh, plate mate. Isn't that amazing? Just, that's um, Carol, and then we've got Glynis there. I just want to do, do a name check for everybody. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at some more fabulous samples and inspiration. Yes, do shop ahead. Do shop ahead because already, I mean, we've barely had time to chat. I've just introduced him. Uh, Ten minutes in and a quarter, almost a quarter of the stock has gone of the one-day special. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow, Paul, but it's all gone. I don't know. See, if, I was, if, if it was back at base, then I, <laughs> I could rustle something I up. Say, but quick, being uh, in the studio, just... it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, just make sure you check out your baskets, especially with that big £26 saving of your Freedom Club members. There's never been a better time to become a Freedom Club member. And do shop ahead for the new Barbara Paisley uh, plates, as well as the repeat of Linda's Wildflowers, which is stunning. Right, well, listen, Paul, I think we'd better see a demonstration before it all goes, my darling, if that's okay, all right. Okay, no pressure, then. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> right, okay. So what I wanted to do was to showcase what we've got coming up over the next five hours, stop Lovely. permitting. Yeah. So <laughs> that people think, oh, I I, like, I didn't know you could do this, so you could do that. So let's just have a look on the, the overhead. So, right, Chris, I'm not going to lean forward and press the button to turn the camera. <laughs> uh, I, I'm resisting that urge to do that. So this is the, the card we're going to have a look at during this hour that Josie is very kindly. I mean, a big thank you to Josie, not only for her beautiful designs, mm. but for doing these samples oh, and yeah. staging it all for me and for Chris. So this one here uses William. And you can see you've got this beautiful, intricate frame. And then we've got Linda's one, two, three wildflowers in the middle. Yeah. And then with the designer paper in the background, it just enhances it and brings it all together. Yeah. So that's what we're going to look at in this hour. Mm -hmm. Then this, I love this one. This Ooh. is another one. This is for eight o'clock this evening. And this is uses, is, this this is uses Barb's Paisley plate Ooh. together with our designer parchment. So this is using the Waimea Falls designer oh. parchment oh, wow. that we also have on the show. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And that one is using is Prince. I've forgotten is it, it now. Philip? Prince Philip. It's Philip. Yep. I'm trying to spot the princes. Spot the yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, again, just a, there's two different colour tones, the purple oh. and the light purple. Gives it a sort of an elegance. Again, using Linda's one, two, three plate in the middle. And this one Harry. is We've using gone to Harry. Harry. Eight o'clock tomorrow will be with Harry. I'm glad you know. <laughs> <laughs> My mind has just gone totally blank. And then at 12 o'clock. See, can you see the difference between the sizes mm. with the, the adaptability that you have? So this one is using Albert combined with some of our other groovy plates we have on the show. So it's a rectangle rather than a square. Yes. So it much really does give you that versatility. Yeah. And then this, I love this Ooh, one. A completely different look. So this one, again, I think this one goes back to William, but yeah. it's just using a corner. Yeah. And then this has taken the designs from the oh, plate mate. Yes. So it shows oh. how they all mix and match yeah. together. 
beautifully work together in harmony. So that's that's exciting. So that's the plan yes, for the, the next plan. five hours. If it lasts, Paul, if it lasts. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to say in bon voyage. Okay. Love to see you. Sorry, well, you have to go somewhere. Then, a if short sold visit. Out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when we have a look at the design, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down. So if you're brand new to the the, the lace grids, the duets really sort of just break it down so that you can see exactly how they work yeah. and what you can do with them. Yeah. So when we're first looking at our design, I've got mine in the folder. We've got these fantastic folders on the show. Mm. These are the A4 square folders. So I have mine stored in here. So I've got William, I've got Harry, and I've got all my instructions yes. in there as well. And then also in here, I've got the ribbon plates we also have on the show. Mm -hmm. This is where the A4 square really started. This was back in January right. of this year. And then, so we've got the four of those. And then in, also in here, which I need, we've got the lovely paisley oh, plates. Oh, these, these are divine. And then we're also going to Linda's need our Linda's one, two, three wildflowers. Yeah. So if we so grab William. This is what you were showing me earlier, because about the two sides to it. Um, that's or, right. Yes. And the instructions, again, yeah. that, you, that come with the plate. But also, it tells you, for those that are new to, to parchment and the groovy system, mm. normally on a design plate, you can feel the grooves are laser etched within them. Yeah. Now, because obviously it's only going to be on one side, the perforations are drilled all the way through. Yes. So you may think, well, if I do this and then that, so it tells you when you come to perforate, perforate this side it's up. It's foolproof. It is. I like it that. It really is. Because you, you would trace it out and say, keep the plate down and say, oh, it doesn't line up. It, there's something wrong. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so what we're going to do to start with, I've got my plate. Okay. Now, if I take a large piece of parchment, for example, I've got to try and attach it to the mm. plate and there's not yeah. much room. No. So this is where the plate mate really comes into mm. play. Okay, so I'm going to pop that around my plate. Mm -hmm. Now, 20% of the plate mate's already gone. Don't forget, it's got those fabulous extenders. And I should point out, it was remiss of me not to say this, once that's gone, it's gone, I'm afraid. Uh, so we have no more of that. Uh, I can't say, oh, we'll put it on extended or anything like that. That's it uh, for now. So, yes, so please don't miss out. Okay. So I've now got my plate in place. It gives me that larger area to work on. What we've also incorporated on the plate, mate, are the, there's some straight lines. Mm. So that when you're working with your parchment, it gives yeah. you a reference for lining up. Yes. You see? So I could obviously go with the, the lines on here if I w wanted to. Yeah. But if I wanted to have that straight line, yes. then it wouldn't be much good if I was sort of lining it up with those lines because I'm not going to get those no. lines. Yeah. So the idea is what to start off with. You can decide how big a frame you want. Mm. Okay. So if I bring in Josie's one here, we can see you've got the longer side down there mm -hmm. and then you've got the shorter one. But it means we have to extend it. Yes. Okay. okay. And what happens when we first um, brought out the designs, we, we found that there was a lot of people, they'd trace all this out, turn it around, then trace more out, all again, trace it all around, and they'd get up and they'd be slightly out and it oh, wouldn't line up a little yes. bit. So you'd have to put a butterfly to disguise it. <laughs> so Barbara came up with the, the idea when um, we was working with them, is that what you do is you create reference marks. Right, okay. okay. So rather than trace out all of the design and then get round and it doesn't join up, you just do a number of reference marks. Okay. So that once you know that it's going to join up, then you can go back and complete it. Yes, for your card okay. size, yeah. So, for example, I need to work out how big a frame I want. Mm. So if I bring in a topper that Josie, this could be a picture, it could be a stamped image, it could be any size. The only restriction is the size of your parchment. Mm. Okay. So what I can do is I can, let me tape this down. Okay. Fingers and thumbs. So I'm using the line on the plate, mate, just to line it up. Because this is, you know, for people that are experienced, this is obvious. But for someone like me, it's like, I, 
I, yeah, I don't know how to work this out, so, yeah. but I understand the, the, how you could fall into the trap of getting it slightly wrong. So, for example, if I didn't want to do any pico cutting, this is where these straight lines on the plate come into play. Yeah. So it means I could trace those out and mm -hmm. then just trim it down with a paper trim and a craft knife yeah. if I wasn't into doing the pico cutting. Yeah. So what I can do, I can position this where I want it to be, and I can say, right, how many of these do I need four, to come five, across? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So that seven, and then I come down here, uh -huh. will give me my positioning. Perfect, okay, yes. Okay, so it's a good way to work on, start with your top of fur. If you don't, um, if you don't know what you're going to put in there, yes. you just want to do the beautiful frame, then you can do that and then do the um, centerpiece After, afterwards. Yeah. It's entirely up to you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wipe with our tumble dry sheet. Now I need to get my tools out. Now I've got, oh, I had to stock up my pink bag. Oh my gosh, that's this, full to busting, it that is, is cool. We've got these on the show as well. So I've got, <laughs> I had to amazing. reload everything. So I'm going to take out the tools that I need. So I'm going with the, the one and two tools from the starter kit. And That's then look, I've got my bag, pencils in here. We've got the Perga liner pencils. Ooh. I've got my Perga oh colour pens. Oh my gosh, we need this bag I've in our life. I've got all Paul. my tools in here. This is the best bag ever. And then I'm, I know I'm going to need my one needle bold and my two needle bold for later. So we'll take those out now. So we've got okay. that bag on the screen, twenty nine ninety nine, five pounds saving, six five three ninety one. I've not seen the bag before. Have you not oh, seen no, that? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Fine. I mean, look how much stuff I've got in. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I can, I would take this with me wherever I go. Yeah. And as long as I put the stuff back in there, yeah. then I know where to You've find it. You've got everything it. on hand. Yeah. yeah, fabulous. Okay. So what I would do now, I'm going to bring my groovy guards in that comes with the accessories kit, and. When I'm embossing, I'm going to emboss with my number two tool. Right. And the number two tool has a little ball on the end. Okay. Okay. And so what I would do, I would just press into the dots. Okay. Okay. And huh. what I'm doing, I'm going to create a reference mark. So I'm not doing all of it. I'm just doing certain areas. Okay. So I've got my corner piece here, mm -hmm. and then I know I want to do seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do these couple of dots here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to come across here as well so that it gives me the right angle. You see? But this, I love this. The, the, doing the embossing looks, with the dots, it is so it, effective. It looks so satisfying, and I'm only watching. I'm not doing it. Fantastic. And then what I do, so I know it's going to be seven down here. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. okay, so I'll stop there. So I'm just sh stopping short of the seven. Give yourself a little guide, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. And if I just repeat that process like that, and again, see, this is where back in the beginning, what we would do, we would have embossed all of this, taken yeah. the time to do it, and then as we turn then around, then you think, oh, it doesn't I'd line up. Overlap slightly, or yeah. So I know, let's just do a couple of these little boxes here. I should remind everybody as well, 30, was it 30% of the one day <gasps> special has gone? We're only 22 minutes in, so please don't miss out. And the, um, the, 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 the groovy plate accessory kit there, well, not the accessory kit, the large plate mate as well. It's proving very popular there at the bottom of the screen with the A4 square grids. Okay, so now, this is, was my first one, so I can now reposition this. I've still got that straight line yeah. across the top, so I know then my parchment is going to be straight. Yeah. You see, and then I would continue on to, and do this side. Oh. Then I would turn it round again and would repeat that process. Oh. Now, I do have one that Josie has very kindly prepared for me, just to show how ex what I mean by that. Okay, so we can see now, let's just pop a black piece of card underneath. So Josie's done a little bit more tracing out than what I did, but it was just to give you that explanation. Mm. And you can see now how the frame is starting to come together. Yes. So all I need to do to make sure that it lines up, see, look, this, it just falls back Your into the dots. There. Yes. Just like that. Okay. So they they fall back in. And what it means now is that I can complete my frame. Mm. And I know that it's going to meet up. So let me just oh. check that. That's in the right place. My groovy tabs. 
fold that down. And my groovy guard. I brought a couple of these. I keep losing these. <laughs> these are sort of like a They're an a accessory kit, aren't they? Paul? They are, yeah. yes. Okay. Fab. And then, see, and then you just push that in. So this is the embossing side at the moment. This is, is still the really embossing yeah. side. Yeah. So this is just to give us an, our initial frame mm -hmm. to mm. make sure that it all joins up. Okay. I, I love doing this. This is... <laughs> and Josie just makes it so easy for us. She's done all the hard work, Absolutely. hasn't she? Absolutely. She's done all the counting. She's, yeah. she's worked out where the embossed dots need to go. All the beautiful different variations of patterns. I can't believe the amount that's yeah. on there. See, and then what happens is that we then go round and we start to, if I just do this piece in the middle, you'll see exactly. And what I love is that I can see if I've missed a dot. Yes. Because the parchment goes white straight away. Yes, yeah. Okay. She's got so the right just, level of depth for each of those see, dots. I get carried away when I'm doing this. So you <laughs> have to, when you're doing the initial frame, you just have to have that control not to get carried away as long as you've done the key parts yeah so let's just do those so that we can see what Josie has done for us yeah so now when I lift that off I know my frame is now complete let me just bring that in mm. there you see so I've now got my completed yes. frame so yeah. now that I know it all lines up perfectly mm -hmm. I can go back in and complete the the rest of the design yeah Rather than having, you know, gone all, done all of that done work all that around time, one side. And then it doesn't meet right at the <gasps> yeah, last point. Heartbreaking. Um, it's so frustrating yeah. when that happens. So it's a really good, it's something that Barbara came up with when we first brought the, the frames in. Yeah, no, so. great top tip. Because it's a trap you'd easily fall into if you didn't know. So great to know that, Paul. Thank you. So this is the one day special. 30% has already gone. You are getting, this is the Prince's collection. So you're getting four of these A4 square grids. You are getting the lovely, lovely William and Harry and Philip and Albert. Um, four for the price of three. Even better if you freaking club member taking a whopping £26 off that price and taking it right down to £53.96. Uh, £59.96, sorry. Two flexible payments of £26.98. So we can split it over July, June and July there. 422726. Absolutely stunning. Yes, let me show you some more samples. I've been rotating them because I want you to see what the team have done because they're phenomenal. Uh, this, have I got the, the, Yes, I have. Yes. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Oh, my word. Isn't that amazing? Oh, just the, the William plate there. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, that is Carol. That's Carol. That's our lovely Carol. And again, using Barbara's Paisley there. That is Chris. Those, they're new on the show today, so please have a little look. Shop ahead. Um, this is Glynis there, and this is using Harry there. Oh, isn't that amazing? Look at that. Oh, how beautiful is that? Just shows you the different ways in which those fantastic lace plates can be used. So, so, so different, so unique. And then we have Sheila. This is the Philip plate there. Isn't that stunning? And again, it, with uh, Barbara's Plazies there, that's Chris Walker's there. And then with, this is um, to Albert, because again, Chris Walker's there. Isn't that beautiful? Well, the, uh, is that the wildflowers in that one there, um, Paul? That's the wildflowers, yeah. Yeah, Linda's wildflowers, which we've got on the show. And then, oh, Karen's excels. Not that anybody else has, there's just some of them just take your breath away, Paul. Just yeah, amazing. It's a really good use of the paisley, isn't, isn't it? it? To create that pinwheel Love effect. That. Love that pinwheel effect. We need to get those in our life. 422726. The team are amazing, as always. Please don't miss out. Very, very busy, very busy. What you need to go with it is the plate, mate. You do, because a quarter of the stock's already gone, and Paul's just been showing us the versatility of having this plate, mate. Plus, you've got that fantastic A4, well, the, the plate itself there to go in the centre, and the extenders, and 16 of those groovy tabs as well. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Very, very busy there. £29.97, 0774300. Zero. I will show the paisleys if that's all right because we've talked a lot about them. These are brand new and these are Barbara's paisleys and I hadn't even thought about the pinwheel till I just saw it. You've already found them and already 20% of the stock has gone. That's a great price point, isn't it, Paul? 14 99 for all those paisleys. Absolutely. You've got nine beautiful designs on there. I've got some samples here that we've been looking at in our Groovy Tuesday. Yeah. Just to show. I don't know if 
Chris can come to the overhead for me. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. So wow. basically, what I've done, each this is just one of the designs on the plate. Yes. And you, with the benefit of the groovy, you can break it down by just tracing out different elements. The different machinations, okay. yes. So again, we then look at another one. <gasps> so this is the, exactly how it comes on the plate. But again, look how different they look. Yes, break down there. the elements there. Then we have the next one. So this is the design in completion. And again, breaking it down. See, for me, that's one of the th great things I love about the Groovy system, is that you can have the design yeah. and take it exactly how it comes, or you can pick and choose the different elements. You see, Amazing. I love this one. It's sort of like really nice. But look at that. You could use that in a yes. corner on Isn't its that own. Isn't beautiful? Yes. You've got the lovely leaf one. Oh, there we There's go. There's nine that's on the, there. The yeah. one there. So you, you've got nine different designs, but I've broken each design into six. And that's just a starting point. Yes, absolutely. So again, this I call this one my, the strawberry one. I, call, I was just about to say that. The it's strawberry. like a strawberry pool. It's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? It's funny what you see when Isn't you trace it? them out, the different things. You've got the lovely one with the hearts, Aww. and then the final one, the ninth one. I wow. think this is quite retro, and you've got a lovely little border there as yeah. well. Looks like a little gate, picket fence. Absolutely. St Isn't that amazing? All just from one plate. Amazing. One plate. $14.99, brand new, 246300. I think they're amazing. And, and then there was the pinwheel. Never be more designs. Uh, so back over to Linda's Wildflowers now. These are proving very popular. That beautiful large poppy is a stunner, isn't it? This is gorgeous, Paul, Linda's uh, Wildflowers. So this we haven't seen since, was it 2019? 2019, Gosh, yeah. you may have missed it because people, you know, everybody watches at different times. Um, so you've got nine of those beautiful wildflowers. I'm dying to show you some of those finished samples. So this is Linda's there. Isn't that subtly beautiful? Look at this. Are you ready for the wow? Jane, you're amazing. Look at those fantastic background papers as well. Oh, my giddy. Look at this. Um, just beautiful. I can't read who this is. Oh, this is this Linda again? Oh. Um, and then, oh, there's our Linda again. They're just beautiful, aren't they? Josie there, stunning. Well, we've got Josie's fantastic plates on the design. Jane, I mean, look at those poppies. The oh, my gosh, look at the gorgeousness of this. Isn't that beautiful? Just stunning. Oh, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven, Chris. Beautiful. 14.99.703.070. Lots on the website, so please have a little look. Shop ahead. Uh, Paul earlier mentioned the ribbon lace Jewett collection, so that's on there. Uh, we've got those folders, the groovy storage folders. Very busy on those. You know, I don't think Paul could have lived without those in, without, in lockdown, quite frankly. Um, just amazing. So there's plenty on there, all the pergamon pen pencils and what have you there. So, yeah, you've got your poppets, you've got your parchment, you've got the deluxe starter kit, you've got the pergamano ball tool kit, the fantastic tool organiser. It's all on there, so please don't miss out. Very busy, Paul. Very, and people are so happy to see you back, honey. Thank you. As it's it's lovely to be back, and it's nice to have a, a sort of a face-to-face -face interaction, even though we're socially <laughs> distant. I know. But it's nice to be able to bring you something so special as well. Yeah. It's been this has been a long time in the making. Yes, I um, believe We don't it. say. I mean, it, you imagine the design the element of yeah, it yeah. takes time, and then obviously we then have to put it into testing, make sure that it all works. Yeah. And so, like, the, the, the prints is, it was just the next progression. Mm. And when we looked at the designs, we thought, can we get away with them on a smaller plate? And I thought, we can't do them justice yeah. on an A5 square plate. So that's why we brought them on to the A4, A4. square. Yeah, and fantastic. It's well worth it because they are absolutely stunning. Very, very busy. So please don't miss out. Almost a third of the stock gone, and this is just the launch. So I suggest everybody checks out their baskets and don't miss out. Right, Paul, what are you going to show us next? Okay, so I thought what we've done, what, what we've done, what <laughs> Josie has very kindly done for us is this is in different stages mm. so we can see how Josie's completed out the embossing of the design she's infilled with the areas and where she wanted to do what we call white work see how these areas are really popping out yeah then they've been traced out with a number two tool to get that soft line ah. okay and what that means is that when we stretch the parchment to create the white work 
what happens is you get a, a natural look, so you don't get the rigid line that no. you would normally. Right. Now, what I wanted to show, we'll concentrate on some white work in the 8 o'clock show, but I want to show how the plates work in conjunction with the, the duet part of it, with the perforating. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we recently launched our 12 by 12 super foam. Yay. Okay. And you've got black and you've got white. Okay. And you think, why do we need black and why do I, we need well, white? Well, I'm going to ask the question, why do we, Paul? Okay. <laughs> the reason we need black and we need white is... If you have the light panel yeah. and you want to work with perforating or pico cutting, mm. then the light needs to be able to illuminate through the super foam. Yes. Okay. So the white will allow that to happen. Oh. Now, if I was to pop this on here... You can't see anything. You can't <laughs> see anything. But the yeah. light would illuminate from underneath. Right. But not everybody has the light wave. No. Okay. No. So this is where the black comes into play. Oh. So now when we pop that on top, we can clearly see our design. Makes perfect sense so now. So it's really good to have yeah. both. And why do we need 12 by 12? The reason we need 12 by 12 is because now, if I bring in my plate mate, the oh. plate mate, look, yes. made to measure, sits right, perfectly right, yeah. on there. And then I can take my plate. Now this time we're going to do the perforating. So we need to make sure we flip the plate over so that it says perforate this side up. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we do the same with our parchment because when we're doing the embossing, we're always working on the back. Mm. But when we perforate, we need to perforate from the front. If I pass this over, Fiona, and you just gently rub your fingers across the back where it's been perforated yeah. and pico cut, you'll find that it's quite scratchy. Oh, yes, yes, okay. yeah, definitely. So that obviously needs to hide underneath the yes. card. So if you oh. find that when you do it, when you do the perforating, I mean, it won't work if you don't flip it over anyway because yeah. you're not going to be able to line up the no. design. No, no, okay. But that's the, the reason yes, why we perforate yeah. from the front. From the other side, yeah. yeah. Thank you, yes, brilliant. Thank you. So what we're going to do now is the way in which the design works is that the embossed dots fit within the perforations. Okay. Because it won't work like you said otherwise. Yeah. That's You'll right. No, you've got it wrong. So the the perforations, if I just move that slightly, there we go, there we go, perfect. So if I try and position this and I try and line it up with the dots over it, all I'm gonna do, it's not gonna work. No. So you just position your parchment so that the perforations around the outside so we can see that can't we mm -hmm. yeah there we go and then once you're happy i'm looking at the line across here mm -hmm. and now i'm going to come in and look at the side so i just need, but look the way josie's done it she's lined it up with the line on the plate mate yes so yes. the thinking has been done for me so if i take my groovy tabs so i'm just going to Line that up, make sure, I'm just going to bring my head in right over the top so I can make sure I'm in the right position. Okay. Take the time just to make sure, and what you're finding, where Josie's already perforated along here, they fall back into the perforations. Mm. So that's another little help as mm. well. So I'm just going to take my time. Come on, there's taking your time and there's taking your time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to position that one there. And just make sure this is in place here. And it is because it's lined up Perfect, there. Perfect, yeah. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, you've got choices. Depending on the design, you can either use a one, a two, or a four needle bowl tool. Okay. All of our plates have been designed to work with a bold needle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a set on the show. Now, for me personally, I prefer to use a one needle tool okay. because I get more into a rhythm. Right. If you watch Josie, who's queen of the, the perforating mm. and the grit, it's like a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's crazy how, but again, I suppose it's like something that it comes with practice, doesn't it? So if I take my groovy guard, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus, I'm going to use one of the apertures within there. And let's come over to here. 
-hmm. And what happens is when you perforate, the needle goes down straight. Yeah. Because the grid gives you that balance. Yeah. Okay. Now, I remember once trying to test one of these grids before it was turned into a groovy plate. Mm. And it was a printed pattern. Yeah. How it was done traditionally. And it looked as if I'd just gone stab, 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 stab with it at all because I wasn't getting the needle at the right angle. Oh. OK. So the, What's the trick there, then, So the, Well, the grid is the trick, ah. because it forces the needle to be upright. It guides it. You see? Yeah. And then what you do, and you can only perforate where there's a hole. And it'll only go in the, <laughs> in the one direction. So if I try yeah. and perforate where these white dots are, nothing's going to happen nothing's because happened. there's no hole underneath. Right. Whereas traditionally, this would be grid like this with hundreds of holes <laughs> and if I did get carried away and I went over an embossed dot I would perforate it. I don't know how anybody coped. I know. <laughs> how did anybody do that Paul? I can't believe it even existed. Exactly. Thank heavens for Josie. So what we can do now is we start to just perforate. So this is at the point where you think okay I like this but I'm still not at the pico cutting stage. The design will look just as beautiful without any pico cutting. And through there, you can see where those holes are, because from my angle on the camera, I can't quite see, but I, I can see obviously where you've embossed, but through your plate, you can actually see those holes that you're piercing. You can, can you? yeah. yeah. yeah and clear. if I put the light panel underneath with the white super foam, then it would illuminate it. Should we yeah. have a look at that with the white super foam underneath? So oh, you can do, see yeah. the light I tell you panel. what it was, it was just, no offence to my lovely director, it was just the camera angle, because you're looking at it over and above, so I just wanted to reassure people that you can actually see where the whole perforations are. So if I bring my light panel and my white super foam, Ooh. and then I'm going to transfer this over. We'll get that light panel up on the screen there. So what are the other benefits of the, the light panel, uh, Paul, for anybody who's not invested yet? It, a lot of people will use it when they're tracing out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it helps illuminate the design, especially if you're using coloured parchment, the darker yes. colour on the designer. Yeah. So it can really help with that. Um, another reason, if you're doing pico cutting, yeah. I like to maybe have an illumination underneath yeah. to help that. If I'm tracing out and I don't want the big lights on in the living room, yeah. then it just I can have the table lamp on yes. and it's the perfect work position, that way. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So Ooh, now yes. we can wow, see. What a difference. There we go. We'll Gosh. Just, there we go. We'll just get Chris to come in on that for me. There we go. Oh my so gosh. So we can see now a lot more clearly. Yeah. And, and through the foam, that's amazing, yeah. isn't it? The white foam. But for me, if I was doing a lot of perforating and pico cutting, the light panel makes a big difference Doesn't for me. It just... It's not essential, no. I say, because you can use the black super foam yeah. if you don't have one. But Gosh. it's just great. And Isn't it's sort it? of, as you perforate, the light comes through. Yes, you can see it inst instantaneously as soon as you've done it there, Paul. And we've got that on two flexi by as well of £31.49, 436518. Uh, gosh, I, I think that's such a fantastic tool, isn't it? Or you go for the one off payment, £62.98. But as Paul said, um, the black and the white foam, you can get both of those uh, in, in the pack. So it, it gives you the choice. Fabulous. See, yeah, no, see I, I love perforating it. Uh, you get carried away. And I don't. It's a skill to be able to talk and demonstrate at the same time because you have to concentrate on what you're doing. Okay. Now with this, I don't really need to concentrate on what I'm doing because Josie has done all the hard work for me. Yeah. So I know I can talk. If and I'm not saying it, I can, can watch TV at the same time. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, to the news. but I haven't got to think about what I'm doing. Yeah. If that makes sense. Because you'll see instantaneously, oh, I've missed one, or I missed a bit, or... Yeah. But it won't have ruined your design. So then you can see to... now how it sort of, it starts to sort yeah. of really come to life and build up. Fabulous. It's yeah. so effective, it really, yeah. really is. It is amazing, yeah. 
Fantastic. Um, I'll have a quick mention about the yeah, Monday special. Absolutely. We'll come straight back to you again, Paul. A third of the stock has gone. We're so, 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 so busy. £59.96, £20 saving. But that has increased to £26 saving if you're a Freedom Club member. And that's two flexi buy payments of £26.98 over June and July 422726. This is the Princess Collection. And it fits perfectly with the groovy make plate for the A4 square grids with the extenders and the groovy tabs, which are at the bottom of your screen. But let me show you some more fabulous um, samples. So again, this is our beautiful William there. This is Chris's, um, our beautiful William plate. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's in conjunction with one of Barbara's, well, the brand new uh, Paisley plate. And then get a look at that. I mean, it just sends your, your card making and uh, into another stratosphere. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I'm, I'm a little bit besotted with Harry over here. Um, the Linda's wildflower there, the poppy. I mean, is, isn't that beautiful? But look how beautiful it is with Barbara's gorgeous um, paisley there, isn't it? That's, that's Jane's there. So that's Harry. And then we have got Philip over here. Now, Philip is using, again, with three of Barbara's paisleys. Isn't that beautiful? And then we could swap that over with our lovely Jane's wildflowers. Stunning. And then let's move to Albert. There we go. Carol's gorgeous. And again with a paisley. It's a match made in heaven, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful, Francis? Oh, the team are amazing. We'll keep rotating those around. £53.96, two flexi-buy payments, 422726. It's well worth your while to become a Freedom Club member for £7.97 because that includes um, unlimited delivery for the month. Yeah. And don't miss out on your groovy plate mate because that's a necessity to have with it. Yes, 30% of the plate mate has gone. You are getting 16 of those lovely groovy tabs. You are getting the A4 plate mate and extenders as well. And when I look at the wealth of design on there in conjunction with your plate mate, I mean, it's just astonishing, isn't it? For your larger A4 projects there. £29.97, Really, really beautiful. So many beautiful cards here. Let me show you a couple more. Look at these. Oh, stunning as Chris's. And again, what, what, those lovely um, background. We've got those on the show, haven't we? The, background. the parchment pockets the parchment we have pockets. on the pockets. show. So we've got yes. a special offer on those with the storage Ooh, folder. Lovely. Have a Good look at those on the web. Those. Sheila there. My lovely Karen. Gorgeous. 077430 proving very popular and brand new today. Right, let's go back to Paul because we've got 10 minutes left for this OK, hour. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, wow. my darling. What can you Where's give us? Where's the time come? OK, so we've sort of worked out how we create our frame. Yeah. We've worked out how to do the embossing part of it to completion. And we've worked on a little bit of the perforating. Yes. So what Josie has very kindly done, she's perfect. She's perfect. She's pico cut some of it for us. Yes. But as I explained, if you've got to that stage where you think, oh, I don't want to do any pico cutting, you don't have to. But Josie gives you those guides within yes. each of the four different plates because each of them are cut in different areas. And it's the same for any of the different duet plates that we've brought to you in the past. So what we could do, we could just have a little bit, I know, because there's. I want to show something special about the middle, of the Ooh. middle. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just do a little bit of Pico cutting on mm -hmm. one of these. If people are thinking, what is, what's he talking about? What's this Pico okay. business? Yeah. So I'm going to bring it, I've got, I've got my back on so I like. can be bad. <laughs> I love the fact that she's included that on the back of the, um, the pattern grid there, because when you get the packaging and everything, you've got the picture on the front and on the back, as Paul's explaining, there is the guide to do the pico cutting for each of the individual A4 plates in the Prince's collection there, so so that you have an idea of what to do. That's right. And again, rather than just give you the plate and say, right, we'll get on with it. Yeah. What, what yeah. It? You're not going to get any enjoyment no. out of it. So we try and guide you as much as we can so that you can achieve some beautiful results. And you do your Groovy Tuesdays. We do the Groovy Tuesday Tell on Facebook. That, uh, Groovy Tuesday at 10 o'clock on the Clarity Stamp Facebook um, live every Tuesday. Yeah. This week we had the lovely Linda Williams in the room Ooh, with us as well, lovely. the virtual room. But it's all about sort of just breaking down the myths of parchment craft and how you can achieve it. And I've always said, and I'll always say, if you can hold a pen, you can use the Groovy system. Tracing out the actual design, there's no skill required whatsoever. It's when you get that confidence that you can create something so beautiful, you want to learn those other steps. 
and for me to be able to have these plates to learn how to create the the lace work oh. is an added bonus oh, it really really is yeah astonishing Okay, so I've got three different weapons of choice, as I like to call them. <laughs> the three different Pergamano scissors. Okay, so the first one, which are the cheapest option. Now, these are Barb's favourite ones. These are called the exclusive. Okay, so they've got a really nice point to them. Mm -hmm. They're curved. Yeah. Okay, because you need a nice curve on them. So that's the exclusive scissors. Mm -hmm. Then we have the ring lock scissors. Ooh. And these ones are my ones of choice Ooh. because they have a larger aperture oh right okay. okay so my fingers are a little bit more chunkier yeah so i just find those a little bit more comfortable okay then we have the the perga cutters now i call these squizzers um so again squizzers, squizzers <laughs> because it's a cross between tweezers yes, and scissors yeah. so yeah. again Ooh, but gosh. what you'll notice that they've all got that Ooh. really fine point Snippity snip, yeah. and it's the main point of all of these three pairs of scissors the main point the point the main area is the tips because yeah. that is what does all the cutting right. so you don't use them like a normal pair of scissors no. so let me show you with the I'm gonna go with the ring lock now when you're cutting you're always going to cut over the waist area okay so what I mean by the waist the waist is the piece that's going to fall away from the outside mm. so I'm gonna turn my parchment so it's comfortable for me I'm going to come in with my scissors, and all you're going to do is just find. I need my glasses for this. These bright lights. See, with the bright lights on my eyes are going funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's better. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just resting. I'm just popping the tips of the Ooh. scissors in, and the idea is you just squeeze gently yeah. until it comes to a point. That wasn't a point. Look, there we go. And then I'm just going to twist towards me oh see i should have warmed up first you should always warm up before you start how, how would i do that cutting. just take a bit of scrap just take a scrap to... with a, right. a number of perforations in them and there, there we go i've warmed up already it only took two holes for me to mess up <laughs> but you know what in the whole scheme of things nobody's really going to look and go oh I would never have noticed unless you told me, I, I promise you so that. So then I'm going to turn it round. Uh -huh. So you'll notice that I'm going in one direction and it is just the tip. If you go in too far, yeah. all you're going to do, the blade of the scissors is going to cut the parchment. Oh. Okay. So, and what was the purpose of, can I ask a daft question, no. turning it over? Turning it over, what do you did mean you, by... Oh, you didn't turn it over, did you? No, just... we're still on the front. Oh, sorry, right. No, no, no that's fine. Sorry, darling. Yeah, no, I didn't explain that. So what you're doing, you're also perfect pico cutting from the front as well. Okay. Okay. And rather than twist my hand, I turn my work. Oh, that might have been what you were saying, actually. You just turned it around, yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay, so uh -huh. now oh, those oh my word, look. fall out. <gasps> and we still see all that beautiful uh, edging of the design. Yeah. yeah. So you get that beautiful Gosh. pico. And you can't really see. Chris isn't going to come in too far to show off my mistakes, are you? No, because he's a kind director. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? In the whole scheme of it, actually, I can't actually see where I've gone wrong now myself. No. So, Fabulous. Uh, <laughs> so at the end of the day, if your first couple of picos are not perfect, yeah. then don't lose any sleep over it. No. So, at all. so you would then complete that and then once you've done that this is what you would end up with fantastic Isn't look that at that gorgeous and wow. it really really is achievable because you get hooked and you you want to learn i'm not saying that you're going to pick it up straight away mm. because for me pico cutting took six months for me to learn right okay. some people do it instantly some people take longer some yeah. people will never get it so never get sort of disheartened think, oh i can't do it it's about persevering mm. and giving it a go practice just okay, trace think, part it? of the just border practice. out yeah. on a piece yeah. and 